together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. It's Flextravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flextravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town and it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on a chanda and have some fun. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Matte Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a Chandler.
morning, brand new day here at Ashanda and it's Sunday and we do like to do a little bit of sewing on Sunday. So we've got quite a few kind of soft craft shows, but don't worry if you're not into your soft craft. We have got lots of other um, shows coming up throughout the course of the day. So I hope you will keep us company throughout. Now we've got a little bit of a treat this morning because we are talking daisy chain crafts. And of course, when we talk daisy chain crafts, we are talking the SAS of sewing because we've got Sue. And Sue. And that's who we've got coming up a little bit later on. So usually we'd have both of them here in the studio because current climbs means we can't do that. But we're not going to stop. We still want them on the show. So we're going to have Sue by telephone coming along the counter with me and some fabulous demonstrations. The other Sue a little bit later on. But I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look because the Daisy Chain Craft Shows are always incredibly busy. Or should I say Daisy Chain Designs, I do apologise. So do jump ahead and have a little look because we've got some amazing projects, some real fun projects and things that are certainly going to brighten your day. Now, we're going to kick things off. Um, we're going to be is Sue, are we chatting to Sue straight away. We're just winding up the old telephone, so we'll be in touch with them at Sue in just a few moments. But what Daisy Chain Designs do is they bring us some incredible um, patterns and projects. And it's kind of a three-way team because the lovely Gail, um, who I think is still in Wales, is she in Wales? She probably can't get out of Wales if she is in Wales, isn't she? She's certainly Welsh. Um, and I think she's moved back over that way now. So um, I'm just waffling on, I do apologise. But, <laughs> but Gail regularly comes up with some fabulous designs for us. All sorts of applique. Oh, it was behind me early on, but it's further down there. So we'll show you some of those applique designs. Lovely Sue, who we're going to be seeing a little bit later on. She does a lot of kind of red work and embroidery designs as well. Um, so those are some of the things that we'll be sharing with you in a little while. Now, the lovely Sue, who is very, very still in this photograph here this isn't a live image just in case you're wondering but i know i have got um, a, a living breathing sue on the end of the phone good morning sue how are you doing good morning hayley very well thank you how are you and happy new year happy new year to you <laughs> as well um and thank you thank you for bringing us so many fabulous things um on, on the show today i know you guys would love to be with us but as everybody is aware things are a little bit weird at the moment a little bit strange so we're kind of accommodating but uh, we're not we're not going to be held back by that are we absolutely we're not Haley. We, we will come prepared and lovely sue's got all the demonstrations organized for us this morning so we're very very lucky you know that uh, that we can still do this because you know it, it a lot of circumstances things have to be cancelled but aren't we lucky yeah. we can still we are we can still come and virtually be there with you well, this is it. <laughs> and i know a lot of people at the moment are taking a lot of solace from sewing there's lots of projects that uh, people maybe um uh, have got their sewing machines out had a little go with kind of scrubs and masks and, and kind of think i kind of like this sewing thing and looking at projects and that's what you've brought to us some wonderful project kits and patterns that we can really get stuck into. Now the first one that we've got on the screen is this lovely little sewing organiser. This is adorable. Absolutely love this. Now obviously we've got the finished project here um, and uh, this is just a really nice little project that maybe as your first project as you're getting sewing because of course you're going to go on and use it over and over again. Absolutely. Any, I think most people like a little sewing case or a pouch or something you can always keep little bits and pieces in. And uh, Sue Rose has designed this lovely little sewing kit. And it's really sweet with a little bunny. Um, and then you've got a little uh, place to put your scissors in there as well. You've got the little red work for that. I don't think I sent that up to you, actually, Hayley. That's but okay. Pattern, we will imagine see that. As well. um, and we've had the panel pre-printed by the oh. lovely... Um, Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly um, and so the permanent mark is on there in red and then you do nothing more easily than just stitch straight over it so it is a lovely little first project as you say or just something oh they are in there that's good they are yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing about a pocket you can hide all sorts of goodies in there can't you <laughs> they, they are indeed Exactly. So, so I've included the pre-printed design in there. And um, as I say, we're, we're, so you can just basically start your stitching straight away. Um, and I've also included the lovely red wool felt that we've made the actual little pouch from. Okay. And also the little square of red fabric. That's to do your little ties and the little yo-yo as well. So there's plenty of fabric there to, to, to make You've been very pouch. generous with this fabric. Because when you look at the amount of fabric that you're needing for the ties there, and the, uh, like you say, the, the little embellishment that you've got in there, I mean, you, you, the, I'm... There's a lot there. Yes, it's surprising really how the, you know you do need the tie the fabric there just to 
fold the ties over. But I, I hate being mean with fabric. I like people to have a little bit of extra. So, yeah. so they can they can they can have that as a little bonus. But yes, it's nice. It's fabulous. <laughs> thank you. Now, of course, your instructions. I always love your instructions because you give us so much information. So even if you are the most novice of sewer, then you know that you've got all the information that you need here. And of course, of course, if you've done never done embroidery before, maybe you're more of a, a machine sewer. Then don't worry. You, you're not going to be left on your own with these instructions. No, not at all. And, and there's, uh, you know, red, red work. There's, there's stitch for red work. And we've got some red work coming up in the later show as well. And Sue will, I'm sure, be demonstrating it throughout. But it is so easy, Hayley. It's, as you know, it's nothing more than a, a simple back stitch or a stem stitch if you, uh, if you want to uh, stretch yourself with the embroidery. But a back stitch is all that's needed. Um, and uh, just two strands of embroidery thread just to cover the line. It, it's, it's as simple as that, really. Wonderful. So, and, it and, it, and the nice thing with red work is it actually makes up quite quickly. Fabulous. Um, yeah, so you'll, you'll be fine with that one. <laughs> I like that idea. So if you fancy getting hold of your little sewing organiser, £14.99 is your prize, 851582. Now, the next one. I love this. This is brilliant. Things that I love, bags and hexagons. And I've got them both in here. And I love these. Absolutely adorable. Now, of course, we are looking um, at a set of patterns. So these, obviously, are the finished examples replicating the kind of results that you might get of course you can use lots of different styles of fabrics love the choice of fabrics on this particular one and you are getting the pattern for both of them so a little bit of a plique going on with this one as well lovely designs and very roomy bags yeah, I mean, I, I love a bag, and Sue, I think, is particularly good at designing bags. And actually, although we've had both the bags on before as various kits and sort of starter kits and things like that, I actually thought this time, you know what, let's just team up the pattern set, because often quite a lot of, you know, our viewers do just like the pattern so they can actually make it up in their own fabrics, Hayley. Now, the, the basket you're looking at as well is really nice because that's actually fully reversible, and you can turn it the other way out and have two, two different Oh, fabrics. the hexagon one? Yes, the hexagon one. Right, let me go back to that. Because, of course, we've got a little bit of a delay when we're chatting to you. So Sorry, we I'll, have. <laughs> no, that's, don't apologise. It's not your fault for the universe. Honestly, please don't take that on your shoulders, sir. <laughs> you might be thinking, why is she so always just talking? With <laughs> so we're, we're, we're a few seconds delayed from each other, so it, it is a bit weird watching. It is a little bit odd. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit odd, isn't it? But look at that. Oh, I love that idea. Yep, it just fully reverses, and that's really nice. And then you can have two different fabrics, so you've got two different bags for the price of one on that one, which is really it. nice, isn't it? And that's, as you said, it's lovely big hexagons, um, very easy to make. Um, and, you know, it, it's, we've sold lots from the previous shows we've had on when we had it with a template, and it is, it's been a very, very popular design. And, you know, you could take the handles off and just actually make it into a just little sort of store bar. That's a good design. idea. Yeah. like that idea. Two patterns, as you can see, incredible value for money, coming to you at £13.99. And, and as Sue said, they're very, very popular, um, and they always have been. So uh, if you fancy getting a hold of your 766993, um, pop that into your basket. Why don't you? Now, of course, bags might not be your thing, but kicking back and relaxing, I sure will, sure it will be, especially if you're doing a little bit of hand sewing. And I love these because these are kind of cushions with personality, which are always gorgeous, aren't they? And then you can see here, you've got some fabulous little teardrop flowers featuring on here. Very clever design because each of these petals is a separate piece that you're going to be able to paper piece together. So you can see they're absolutely beautiful. So it's something that's quite mindful, sitting there doing a little bit of hand stitching. And the beauty with this one is you are going to get your little teardrop um, paper pieces as well. So you've got plenty of those in here so again very generous yeah well we like to again give people you know opportunities they can actually make make things and get things completed there's nothing more frustrating is that um and I, I love these cushions as you say i think the teardrop shapes is quite an unusual shape in english english paper piecing we tend to sort of recognize sort of certain shapes like the hexagons and the diamond shapes but the teardrop's quite unusual and as you rightly said i think what sue's done is very clever is she sort of turns the teardrop shapes into these really lovely little flower designs. And again, if anyone hasn't done any English paper piecing, then it's a really nice little foray into having a start. Choose your fabrics. You can do them obviously in any colours. Sue's done a, a light one and also a dark one. And also you've got a little bit of a, a, a proper, I say proper, of ordinary piecing down the bottom as well. That's right. With yeah. the pinwheels Oops. and things like that as well. So, yeah, it is, they are really nice, easy projects to get, again, 
Love it. <clears throat> and again, nice way of using up your scraps as well, because of course those little um, petal shapes there don't take up too much fabric at all. If you want to get a hold of those, oh my goodness, look at the price there, £9.99, and, and that is including all of your fabulous little pieces in there as well. 304373 if you're wanting to get hold of that. Now, what have we got for you next? Well, yeah, we've got a pattern. We haven't, <laughs> you're getting a coat hanger <laughs> alongside this, but there is a reason, because where has she gone? She's hanging up over there. <laughs> Have a look at this. This is adorable. I love this. Now, these are so, so cute. And of course, is it Gail that's designed these ones? Yes, yes. Gail, our, our lovely other, other sort of part, partner in crime. And <laughs> she, uh, she designed Peggy Sue. And, and again, whenever we feature on there, I think she's always very popular. And I thought, oh, you know, people again, like, quite like to make presents. And I noticed, you know, particularly now we've again got more time on our hands that a lot of uh, my customers have sort of been saying, oh, I'm going to make this for that person. And, and I thought, well, if we put the peg bag on, it's so cheerful and lovely, isn't she? And it would make, make a lovely, well, it would brighten up your washing day anyway, but it Wouldn't would also it? make a nice gift as well. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Nice little project as well, maybe if you're teaching somebody to sew, it's another way. And of course, perfect as a peg bag, but it could be a little organiser, maybe um, in, I don't know, somebody's bedroom, could be putting little socks in there or different bits and pieces. Yeah, so. pair, pair piece, you know, like all your little hair, you know, people, girls with long hair have got Good all the bubbles and stuff, haven't they? So again, it'd be really pretty for that, wouldn't it? It is indeed. Again, incredible value at 9 99 And of course, you are going to get your little wooden coat hanger with that one. So you can get cracking the moment you get home. Um, so, so um, 409910. Now, of course, one of the pro um, kind of fabrics that Gail loves working with, and I think you get some incredible results with, a fleece and felt. And this is a lovely bundle that we've got with regards to this one. It's a little starter kit. So within this one, talk us around what we've got within this particular one, Sue. Um, well, the felt, felt flowers kit, uh, yeah, that's actually, you know, that was designed by Sue, which is surprising because I say she doesn't often work with felt, but yes, I've, what I've done there is put a complete kit in there, uh, except obviously the cushion pad, Hayley. So okay. you've got all your choices of, of felt colours in there, the lovely mustards, the mints. Very simple stitching design uh, over it again, so absolutely fantastic for a beginner because, as we know, with felt, there's no raw edges, there's That's nothing true. to worry about. Um, and then I've also just included the, f uh, the felt, which is on the cushion front, and the fabric for the back. And also, what you'll notice, Hayley, in there are three acrylic templates as well. They are there to make the, the petals and also the little, the, th the two different flower shapes as well. So I have really tried to incorporate pretty much everything in there that you need a bar say cushion pad and, and threads i love it and again very generous with the fabrics and of course like you say those little acrylic plates there you'll be able to use those after the event so 14.99 if you fancy getting a hold of yours details there on your screen 218345 one more thing to share with you um because of course we've got another hour coming up a little bit later on so we will hear again from sue at 11 um when we're going to be looking at some of the other products which you can jump ahead and have a look on the website if you want to but the next one that we've got is this fabulous quilt that i've got to the side of me um, um, absolutely adorable and again using that wonderful fleece this is another fabric that's so easy to work with it is fleece is fantastic and and i don't know whether everyone knows this but um it's they're very it's very uh, green and friendly because uh, fleece is made from recycled uh, plastic bottles uh, oh, which is just okay. amazing, isn't it, to get something so wonderful and soft as a, as a fibre. Uh, but I, I love working with fleece. Gail has really opened my eyes to working with fleece. And over the years, I've done a lot of applique uh, with fleece as well. And it is just the most lovely, forgiving fabric you can make. And I've put teams of these up as a, a pattern set. So the uh, jungle place, like, look at that lion's face. I mean, it's just <laughs> lovely, cute. isn't it? The animals are just so nice. And that's, I think, what is what works so well. And that's often... You know, when you're designing, as you probably know yourself, is, is it getting the animal, the faces right and the features right is absolutely oh, gosh, you know, yes. crucial, you know, and uh, we spend quite a lot of time really playing with the shapes of the eyes and the, how far away they are apart or together just to really get them looking, you know, as, 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 as we want them to. And I think girls have an absolutely sterling job with that. Do and then have? the farmyard quilt is all to do with farm animals. So you've got your little piggy and a donkey. And all of the applique shapes are in both of the pattern sets. So uh, if you, say, wanted to make a cushion, you could just use the lion for the front of a cushion, or you could make a, you know, sort of use the giraffe to make a height chart. You know, you can, you can play around with those uh, templates because once they're there, you know, you can do with them whatever you like. 
Well, this is exactly it. Because like you say, having those little um, kind of applique patterns, they're with you for life, aren't they? So all those future projects, you're going to have loads of fun with. I think you're going to get a little bit um, carried away with your farm animals and those fabulous <laughs> wild animals there. So thank you so, so much for spending a bit of time with us going along this counter. Now, we do need to get the other Sue ready for her demonstrations, but you're going to be back with us at 11 o'clock. I will, Hayley, and thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you. And, and you uh, too. Have to say, take care. Yes, you too. Take care. Lovely speaking to Sue there. So just while we get some everything set up for our video call with the other Sue for the demonstration, let me show you those patterns again that we were just chatting about. You've got your two patterns here coming to you for just £13.99, but you have got an incredible amount of information in here. Not only how to make up your quilts, obviously two beautiful quilts as we can see, but there's a lot of content with regards to the patterns. So you've got your letters there, your lion, your elephant, crocodile you can see, numbers, the giraffe, the monkeys. Think about those elements that you can actually transfer onto other th projects bags, cushions, such a whole um, kind of a wealth of um, information in there that you can be able to use. And again, it's the same with the farmyard. I could imagine many of you making almost play mats with little three-dimensional um, animals, finger puppets, things like that. All of the patterns that you've got with these, you could actually transfer over into other projects. So if you fancy creating one of these for your own cheeky, it's a little, the little belly button that I love there. Adorable. I just think it's so, so cute. And the expression, and that's what Sue says, it is Gail that gets these fabulous designs together and as Sue said there you've got to get it right for them to look incredible and she does it every single time if you are watching Gail thank you for sharing these fabulous designs with us now there's a couple of things coming up a little bit later on but you've actually had a little nosy on the website and you found them already so we've got your scrappy pineapple quilt now this one there's no pineapples were damaged in the production of this quilt but you have got that fabulous design there really pretty design um, so if you fancy getting hold of that one then you can do um, a good size quilt with that one and again you are actually going to get your violin with this one so of course that's going to help you when you are doing your quilting as you're going along so 13.99 for that one as well 339333 now something else that you might like to have a little look at is this beautiful camphor stitch um, kind of needle case really pretty design and again you are going to get a wonderful little acrylic template in this which is going to be very very useful for you tracing out those paisley designs there you go. Look how amazing that is. That is beautiful. 11 .99. With that one, you've got your pattern and your acrylic template. You just need to add in your fabrics for that one. So 450, 470 if you're wanting to get hold of that. £11.49 being your price on that one. But as I say, jump onto the website. There is a lot more to look at. But of course, we're going to kick the show off with some fabulous demonstrations from the other Sue. Um, and we're looking at hexagons um, with the first demonstration. So Sue, good morning. You're going to be working with your hexagons, I see. I am. Good morning, Hayley. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Looking forward to your demonstration. Good. Well, I'm going to be talking about the Hexi bag this morning. Okay. First, first thing, but that's my first demonstration. Um, so for the Hexi bag, you need um, slightly thicker uh, violin than we normally use. Okay. I think it's a, a 250 weight. Uh, and I think there's um, an acrylic template or a card template contained within the pattern. So um, it's very easy to draw around those uh, templates to create a hexagon. And there's the hexagon you can see under there. Um, the templates have a hole in the centre. So you need to mark the centre of the uh, uh, template there and then uh, on some of them there to give the bag the hexagon bag the shape that it it requires um, then uh, you need to draw a line from the center to corner to corner which I think you can see on that hexagon there <coughs> I think that's clear um, this is iron on violin so if I turn it over you might just be able to see it's a little bit shiny because that's the glue side. oh yeah there it's just catching the light you can see the glue side of the uh, hexagon there uh, and that gets ironed on to the wrong side of fabric um, once it's ironed into place uh, you need a half inch seam allowance and then you uh, in order to finish off the hexagon, the sides have to be glued down. So using some fabric glue, you simply run your glue along the seam allowance and start to turn the hexagon pieces over like so. So it's very simple, the first stage, well, all the stages of construction of this particular bag. And it's double-sided. I don't know if, I didn't hear the uh, feed of, uh, when That's you were talking okay. about it, but it is, it is, is double-sided. It is, it's a very so, clever design. 
it's a very useful bag. It's a good size, and obviously you can do it in two different colours. Mm -hmm. So it's quite versatile as well. So once you've glued all the sides down, um, it looks like this. Oops, I'm just going to do that. Fabulous. Now, for, for, so it's nice and neat, ready to sew. Some of them uh, need a dot taking in them to give the bag its shape, um, okay. just like dressmaking. And that is the dot. So in order to stitch the dart, you simply fold it in half where you've marked the lines, pin along the line, like so, and then stitch along the line, like so. So that gives you um, a slight, uh, it gives you a dart. Oh, it's so it's kind of like the corners of the, the bag. That's the corners of the bag, yes. and uh, there's a plan within the pattern which uh, tells you where to position the darts. It is important that you get them in the right position, but uh, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. So that gives it sort of a cup shape, like a, a, a bra or a bodice of a, of a dress. That's what creates the, the shaping of the bag. Now, the hexagons uh, have to be sewn together, and uh, I'm not going to demo on the sewing machine this morning, but uh, you can see that they're very easy to sew together. Because they've got a finished edge, uh, all you need to do is just put them together with no seam allowance. You just butt them together okay. and then stitch, stitch down using a zigzag. Um, on the, uh, I know we can't see the sample at the moment, but perhaps you can have a look at it later on. On the on the denim side, uh, you can see I've got denim here. Now, I, I, on the sample, I stitched it in white, but on the actual sample, I stitched it in red, I think. You uh, did if indeed. I can remember rightly. Oh, I did. I'm quickly turning it inside it out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> You and go. you did, and so you, you use a, a lovely kind of, not, I wouldn't say a satin um, stitch, uh, it's more of an open zigzag, no. but still quite close together. They're quite close together, and it needs to be um, a reasonable sized zigzag. Okay. Um, I find when I put my zigzag on, on my sewing machine, when I choose my zigzag, it's the factory setting that I use, oh. because it has to travel. It has to travel from side to side. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it needs to be wide enough so that it will catch both both sides of the hexagon. So the bag is actually, it's very strong because, of course, it's its made, um, uh, constructed using a machine rather than by hand, which often is the way with the hexagon piece. Um, so uh, it does make it very strong and you can use the stitching as a, um, a nice design feature. Uh, in the pattern itself, there is, whoops, sorry, got that caught underneath. Not quite used to this new technology yet, but I'm but you're doing, doing a brilliant <laughs> job. I might. Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> That's <a bit> nerve wracking. <laughs> right. So um, here's a little plan that I, uh, a little flat one that I made just to demo. This is smaller than the hexagons in the bag itself. So uh, you lay them out according to the plan, and this is what it looks like when it's <clears> flat. Uh, I give all these edges a number. Uh, and so you start to just bring the edges together and it is actually really quite easy to sew them. Once you start bringing the edges together, slip it under the sewing machine uh, and off you go and doing the zigzag. You can see here, I'm not, can you see? You can see yeah, it perfectly positioned there. Yeah, there's the, um, the uh, ones with the uh, dart in them. So the, this section here becomes the bottom. Okay. The ones at the top are flat, <clears throat> so they don't need to have any darts in, so they come up. So um, actually, it's it's quite an easy bag, and you do do it twice. Okay. So you make two bags, put one inside the other, uh, and then hide the uh, raw edges of the handles in between the two bags and top stitch along the top. And there you are. It's done. It's a very, very Fabulous. versatile little pattern and uh good fun to do and of course you can it's my aim in life is to use up my scraps yeah. <laughs> so it's a it is a really good scrap buster pattern. it is indeed and, course, what, and like you say you that... sorry, sorry so carry um, on uh, uh, I forgot. Oh, oh, you can make it in different sizes. Once you've once you know how to make it, we've given you in 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 a big in a big size. Okay. Um, but uh, if you wanted to, you could start to make them in smaller sizes. They make lovely little toilet bags and things. They're That's quite chipchy when they're small. Yeah. So it's quite versatile. 
Love it. And like you say, an absolutely fabulous scrap buster. So uh, thank you, Sue. Um, we're going to have a little look at some of the other items. So we're going to come back to you again in a little while for another demonstration, I believe. So I'll let you get ready while we give uh, um, our viewers a little bit of a recap. Because one of the most popular items already in the hour, this fabulous little sewing so, so organiser, half the stock has gone. And I'm not surprised because it's brilliant value for money. Ultimately, you're going to be creating the most incredible little sewing organiser with a little bit of red work. Now, red work traditionally is in embroidery done with red thread which you can see sitting here now there's a design that is included within the pattern but the beauty is it's already printed on a panel for you so all you need to do is use your embroidery and the threads to stitch over the top of this now we have got fabric included and I know um, the others who did mention the um, threads now are the threads included with this one do we know it's just I haven't got them here I think sometimes that they do but um, not too sure we're going to see if we can double check on that one there so it might be that you need to add those in yourself but what you are going to get <coughs> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat this morning. Um, you can see there you've got obviously a gorgeous design. And I love this because each of those little images really does tell a story. I mean, you've got mummy um, rabbit there with a little teddy bear rabbit, if there is such a thing. And the little babies in the bed there. So, so cute. Love it. Um, and again, you've got lots of those details in there. You've got your little pin cushion feature in there with all your little sewing paraphernalia in there. And of course, they all come together when you're creating your design because you're going to be creating your front cover. Of course, the story continues on the back there. And then you've also got inside your little sewing elements there. Isn't that lovely? You're also going to get the ability to make a little kind of um, scissor keeper, which um, is this wonderful little kind of pouch that you've got here. And that is something that's going to be able to loop through your um, the, the kind of the handle of your scissors. So when you pop it in there, you can obviously pull them out nice and easily. But a really nice project. And something that I think, using the template, because obviously you've got your fabric to start with, but you have got the template in there as well. And this is something that I think is very generous um, of Sue, because of course, it means that once you've exhausted your panel, then you can actually go on and trace similarly um, on the panel on your own fabric and make your own template to do well many more of them um, 851582 if you fancy getting hold of that one just 14 pounds and 99 pence and of course you've got your felt and also your fabric in there to help you um, put it all together there you go pop that one into your basket now the hexi bag this is the one that we saw lovely sue demonstrating brilliant demonstration it's the first time that she's worked with us and they're doing everything on sky i think she did a fabulous job there and i love the way that she scaled everything down so we could see how it all comes together and that's something that's quite significant because once you've got the pattern and the template and the no knowledge then you can do exactly the same so as she said there make them into smaller if you wanted to make them larger hexagons if you wanted to turn it into more of a tote bag but what you've got here is a fabulous reversible little bag there with your hexagons maybe using up your scraps as um, we heard there you could almost be making fabric into hexagons and then quilting them together as you can see here and it is reversible so we've got that lovely denim and that fabulous red stitch which works so well with your, your denim there all coming together absolutely beautiful now you've got a pattern for your hexi bag but it doesn't stop there because you are getting a second pattern for this wonderful summer sunday i love this but i'm guessing i suppose if you've got a plea you could be making this and maybe using the farm animals or something like that maybe you've got to, a bag that you're wanting to create to take down to your local shop when you're doing your shopping and you want to put little animals on there you can do this one though has got your ice creams on there and you can see a whole variety it's making my mouth water just looking at this absolutely beautiful and again a really nice size bag but of course i know that you will play around with those designs and use those wonderful applique pieces on lots of projects as well so two flex um, two flexi buys two, well actually you could have two flexi buys actually that's a slip of the tongue but it's a good reminder as well which i'll tell you about in a moment but two patterns for 13 pounds and 99 pence and as i mentioned there yes yeah, two flexi buys because flex extravaganza is still continuing through until the 15th of january so that means that any of these patterns that you're going for you can spread the cost over two payments if you're wanting to and if you are paying post and packing it will go into your first payment now this is a nice design and this is pretty because i think it's a nice one if this year maybe you've done a lot of machine sewing maybe you've done a lot of quilting dressmaking um and you fancy something a little bit different well there's something very mindful about a little bit of paper piecing but maybe you don't necessarily want to be doing your hexagons and your construction you want to be doing more of an applique style well this is a very very clever design using little teardrops and the lovely sue that we were just chatting to has come up with this wonderful shape where you are going to be getting lots of these paper pieces that you will wrap around um, and create your fabulous little petals but then your petals can come together in a variety of kind of combinations if you're using them all together then you can be creating lovely daisy star features as you can see here so uh, again you're adding in your own fabrics multi-layering these up how effective do they look or maybe you're just going to use half of them 
and create kind of like a, a half-shaped daisy. I like these. I like the way they're kind of all kind of going to one side or the other. It's almost like an inquisitive look on a daisy. Love it. A little bit of a paper piece in there, a little piece in at the bottom, should I say, there as well, with a few little quilt pieces as well. So a really nice project, nice way of perhaps just dipping your toe into those um, waters of a paper piecing. $9.99, you're going to get both of those patterns and suggestions in there. And, of course, all your fabulous little pieces, which, of course, you will be able to reuse for probably three or four times at least with regards to those. So 304373. Now, Peggy Sue, don't worry, I'm not going to burst into song, but Peggy Sue has got a purpose. Her name is Sue. Obviously, it's a bit of a running theme, isn't it, with Daisy Chain Designs, Sue? Um, but this one is Peggy, um, and Peggy Sue uh, is going to be perfect for you to actually use to put your pegs in. Um, I wouldn't leave her out on the washing line. We don't want to leave her out in all weathers, do we? But um, she is a very, very happy little character, as you can see. Three-dimensional project that you're going to be able to create, as you can see here. So a really nice thing to, to create. I love the little shoes with the little bows on there. Absolutely beautiful. But, of course, you don't have to use her for pegs. Um, you could use a, a storage for anything. I'm just going to turn around just so as you can see because on the other side you've got that pocket there so of course you could adapt her so as we heard from Sue scrunches socks anything that you want to pop in there you can do so perfect maybe for a little person's room perhaps if you're trying to encourage them to be a little tidier doesn't come with a guarantee but it's worth a try isn't it um 409 910 just nine pounds and 99 pence and it does come with your wooden coat hanger so all you need to do is find your fabulous fabrics to work with that one so there you go if you fancy peggy sue details are on your screen just swapping those details around to share with this next one um, and this one again is a lovely kit not only are you going to get your pattern but you're going to get a starter kit with this one which is made up of all the gorgeous colors of the felt there to get you started and the plique and felt work so so well together because of course you're a fabric you don't have to worry about neatening the edges felt it's not going to fray you can very quickly and easily create these lovely kind of contemporary style flowers do like the idea of this one now you are going to get felt in there that's going to cover things like your petals your flower heads your foliage but you're also going to get your acrylic little um, kind of pieces here these are your templates and of course the beauty of these are that you're going to be able to reuse them over and over again just keep them safe maybe make a little bag to pop them in perhaps alongside your instructions if you fancy this set 14.99 again some brilliant prices with regards to these so 218345 if you fancy getting hold of that now the next one that we're sharing with you is a nice duo of patterns and a plique galore with this one because you've got all sorts of different um, animals featuring in this one the wild animals that we've seen on the fabulous quilt behind and also the farmyard animals which we've got on another quilt which I can share with you it's using um, fleece and it's another fabulous fabric to use when you are doing a plique obviously on this design you can see there's a little bit of a, a satin stitch that's been used on his um, certain areas within this one but because it doesn't fray you don't have to worry about doing a satin stitch with it which makes it very forgiving if it is the first time that you've had to go at a plique two patterns with this one so you've got your fabulous little um, jungle animals on that particular one and then the other quilt that comes a, a lot or quilt pattern should I say that comes alongside it is this fabulous one that you've got here with all your different little farmyard animals on there and as Sue said nothing stopping you taking those designs in those patterns patterns transferring them onto other projects you could be making like little soft books couldn't you with these ones little finger puppets as I mentioned transferring those designs onto cushions whole host of different ideas but it's having the layout of the pattern and the applique that is key with these 13.99 for two patterns very very affordable I'd certainly be considering this one going in my basket so uh, 461738 there we go so we were chatting with the lovely Sue earlier on with those wonderful hexagons but this time I'm going to turn our attention to a little bit of red work and a lovely design that we've got coming up um, and uh, Sue you're going to introduce us to this for perhaps new um, craft for some people yes it's a lovely uh, embroidery it's a, a hand-based craft um, and traditionally as you said it, it is done in red um, we uh, have the designs I've drawn this design onto here to, to demos, dem to demonstrate but I, I think you've shown the lovely um, way that Haley from Craft Yourself Silly has printed it onto some lovely white fabric for us so uh, very clear lines and a quite nice fine lines so that you can see um, beautifully to be able to sew all it needs uh, once you've got it we can see there's a, 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 a dotted line around the outside just cut it out near the dotted line but not on the dotted line and then it needs to be backed with a nice uh, fine 
iron on violin. Now, I used violin earlier on for the hexagon bag, and that was quite a thick violin. This is a much finer violin, and it just stabilizes the stitches and stops it from puckering. Um, if you prefer, you can use an embroidery hoop but uh, I like the violin method myself. And the stitch that I use generally for um, red work is a back stitch, which I'm just going to quickly demonstrate here. It's a very simple stitch. Start with a knot. I'm using um, an embroidery thread, which uh, has got six strands in it in total, but I've just taken two strands off um, to embroider. You don't need all six strands. That would make it too thick. Um, and you just simply start to stitch, but rather than doing a running stitch, you go, you don't go forward, you go backwards into the, into the front of the stitch behind it, and then take it underneath, and then I'll just do a couple more, and then back and underneath. Because the red work, you need a continuous line just to finish it. And there are a few work? French knots as well. Now, Sue, I'm going to ask yes, you a question. You may or may not know the answer. It's okay either way. But red work, I mean, it's a very traditional style. Is there a reason why it's in red and not any other colour? Um, I think because uh, it, it, it seems to come about at the end of the 19th century. It's a British, it was a British invention, but it became extremely popular in America. The, uh, one of the, I think it was the Kensington School of Needlework took it, took it over to celebrate the first centenary of the um, inauguration of the President of the United States. And they've had this big exhibition and uh, the Americans really loved it. Um, and I think the reason that they like the red is um, because uh, it was in such a new thing to be able to get a colour fast red. Ah. Um, it, the uh, colour fast red thread didn't appear for a long, long time. And in fact, in a lot of old quilts, when you look at the red um, fabric, it's it's not colour fast and it goes a sort of a brownie colour. Yes, but, yeah. But um, at the end of the 19th century, they developed um, a colour fast red. And so it became very, very popular. Um, and in fact, Americans had whole magazines devoted to it. Um, where they would have the designs in there, and they used it for so many different things. They didn't. They used it for splashbacks and all sorts of household items, um, as well as quilts. And traditionally, the quilts didn't have um, wadding behind them, so they were coverlets. But it, what I like about it is, Haley, it's so relaxing because you're not looking at a key all the time, yes. uh, as you do in lots of embroideries, swapping your uh, thread and. Uh, you know things like that you're just simply stitching along the line so it's a great lockdown project uh project if you if you're binging on netflix like i seem to be at the moment <laughs> because you can even you can even watch the foreign things with subtitles because you can keep glancing up whereas I can't watch those if I'm knitting because I'll, I'll lose, I'll lose, lose I'll lose where I am. <laughs> but it's a very easy, um, it's a very easy project uh, very and great effective. fun. And now I've got a, a, a mock-up of it here. So once this is completed, mm -hmm. and obviously that's just a little sample of it. Once it's completed, it goes on to a piece of red um, felt and is uh, stitched into place. Now, one, you can then, once you've completed the red works, you can then cut away uh, around the dotted line that's, that's signified on the, on the pattern. And um, it, it's simply blanket stitch. Can you see there's a machine yes. blanket stitch there? It's one it's of my favorite stitches, stitch on... that one. Yes, me too. I love a bit of blanket stitch. It's just blanket stitched onto um, a piece of red felt, a long piece of red felt, um, and uh, then the edge is trimmed away to a quarter of an inch. You can see the, there's just a quarter of an inch there. I'm just going to show how I did the end because obviously the end is curved. Yes. It's easy to do the sides because you can use your ruler, but the end you do want to get that nice uh, curve on the felt as well. So I just simply use my uh, ruler and you can see there's my quarter inch yeah. I'm just going to make a little mark on mm -hmm. the felt oops my pencil's gone a bit wonky I just make a little mark on the felt like that can okay. you see yes yeah yeah and then I do this quite a lot actually using my quarter inch and then simply get my scissors and carefully try That's not to get my hand tip. in the way yeah and I think this is nice because 
you haven't kind of got the um, the turning in, um, inside out that uh, you might have if you're lining a project. I love that idea of using no. the felt. No, this is, I do a lot of, I seem to be, I've gone on to this with my red work. Um, it was something I actually thought of when I was sitting at the Chanda. Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to try and turn it in and everything? So to put it onto felt, it finishes it off really nicely. Because you've backed it with violin, it's not going to fray. Yes. And as long as you put your... Um, and you're not going to wash it. This is a, probably yeah. isn't something that you're going to wash. I do my Christmas decorations like this, and obviously I don't wash my Christmas decorations. I don't know about you. I oh. might dust them, but I certainly don't wash them. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely and, not. Uh, no. And uh, if, as long as you put the blanket stitch quite close together, it, 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 I mean, if you get the odd little fluffy bit like that, then you can just cut it off, but it's not going to fray. So to actually make it into... Um, the scissor, the, sorry, it's not a scissor, um, the sewing pouch, then all you have to do is fold it up. You see, I've already folded it here. So there's that side. Fabulous. There's that side. And it's folded up, and I've, I'm starting to make the little pouch there. So um, if I had my sewing machine, I, would, I can't manage my sewing machine as well at the moment. That's fine. Um, we don't I need would, you to. That's okay. No. <laughs> um, I would simply stitch down either side to make a pocket. Now, uh, the one thing I would say is there is, in the flap, there is a little pocket here oh, yes. for your needles mm -hmm. in, in their packet. So that does need to go on before you put your oh, embroidery yes. on there because otherwise you get the stitching through your embroidery. But it's quite clear in the pattern, and it's a lovely little little project to make. And as I say, it's a nice lockdown project because it's they're simple lines to sew. And the way that's ha that Haley has printed them is uh, that it's quite a relaxing project to do. You can see um, it's nice, fine, it's fine white um, uh, fabric, and uh, the lines are nice and fine and clearly marked. So once you've backed it with the violin, really, you're good to go, and uh, you just need some uh, red thread. Now, it does have um, some little uh, Suffolk puffs on it to finish Ooh, okay, it off as well, yes. and some little um, ties. So the way that I make my ties is, uh, I'll tell you the measurements, I think it's an inch by 10 inches. Okay. I um, fold in one short raw edge here and then I'm using my iron, and be careful when you're doing this, because I burnt my fingers when I was making this oh, no. uh, sample. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got to be careful. I fold it in half, and then I fold two sides into that centre fold, and okay. then I fold it in half again. So effectively, I'm making almost a piece of bias. Yes. Like that. Uh, and then I use a zigzag on my sewing machine to stitch it down. So you've got a nice tie. The ties attach onto the front of the sewing piece, mm -hmm. but you don't want that ugly um, little thing there. So I cover them with a, um, I've forgotten the name of it now, uh, the Suffolk, Suffolk Puff. puff. A yes, punch. Suffolk Puff. I, I, I always call uh, it a Suffolk Punch, which I think is a type of lawnmower. I mean, Puff. <laughs> yeah, you. I think you're right there, Helly. That is a lawnmower. And you don't want to touch a lawnmower. No, it's, it's, a, it's a Suffolk Puff. That's now, it. I'm just trying to think. The Americans call it something else. But okay. in the pattern, that I think they call it, oh, a yo-yo. That's it. They're oh, yo-yos, of course, yeah. So if you see a yo-yo, yeah, if you see a yo -yo, that's what they mean. Um, so onto the fabric, uh, using the template in the pattern, you simply draw a circle, cut it out on the line. There we are. So now you've got, and then you need to just stitch around it, turning in a little hem. You don't measure the hem at all. You just turn it in and I've stitched, oh, it come? Yeah, I've stitched around using uh, a little running stitch. Okay, yeah. And then actually my tip for this is um, when you pull it up, I usually put it on the table and I put my pencil in the middle oh. to try and get it even. And that's, that's a good how tip. I would, I would pull it up like that. So it looks a little bit like a sort of a mop cap on the end of your pencil. Like Clever. <laughs> Take the pencil out, and then you can see it's quite evenly spaced. And then just fiddle about with it. It's a bit small. Fiddle about, That's and then it. it's ready. Love so it. one, you just you just need to to rearrange the the um, the gathers a little bit, and then Perfect. that goes onto Cover the front of here. Thing. 
a little the cover bit. at the end of the thing. So that's that's so, and that's sewn into place by hand. It's quite an, a, an easy little thing to do, and it's a good trick to have a Suffolk puff up your sleeve to cover something. Sometimes <laughs> you could, of course, have used a button. But, oh yes, um, yeah. You could use a button either, but I I really like Suffolk puffs. It's funny, my old uh, sitting girls tutor hated them ah. for some reason, but I've I've always I've always really liked them. Oh, well. So uh, and they're a traditional thing that you know that's been around a long time in this Is country. It? Well, our viewers love the idea of these projects too. So thank you very much for sharing that with us. I'll just get a little bit of an update to give everybody um, with regard to this one because I did I was supposed to tell you on limited stock, so apologies that I didn't. But Sue was in full flow there, and I didn't want to. It was fascinating with the demonstration. So we have got to the situation where the stock has sold out, but we have got them on extended delivery, which is why I kind of hesitated because I knew you'd still be able to get hold of it. Just looking at the extra 10 days with regards to dispatch on this one. So please do not worry. Please don't be too cross with me. You can still get hold of it. It's just to bear in mind that you have got the extended delivery. But 14.99 is going to give you everything that you need to create your fabulous project. So of course, ultimately you're making that wonderful little organizer that we saw with that beautiful stick work on there and of course we'll show you how you've got the panel that will help you with that beautiful design created by Sue there and I love the kind of story behind it and then of course you've got your uh, kind of sewing paraphernalia featuring on the inside pocket we've also got your little scissor keeper there and there's a little kind of tie that you can attach to your scissors and of course a fabulous idea a little pocket there where you can be putting your um, your pins your needles and of course because of it being felt you can actually use that almost as a kind of little pin cushion as well or, or needle keeper um, the little obviously puff that have been created on either side and those ties bringing it all together beautifully but the panel has got the design printed on it which means that you can just simply stitch over the top of that and your threads will cover up that design as you go and please don't worry you have actually got the template for these and the little applique and not the applique the embroidery designs within your pattern as well so you can trace that onto your own white fabric as time goes on and make even more of them £14.99 pence if you fancy that one um, 851582 if you fancy getting hold of those now so we're going to come straight back to you because we've probably got about eight minutes left Left. And they're going to be working with those fabulous little paper pieced petals. Looking forward to this demonstration. Yes, yes. I um, so yes, the uh, teardrop cushions. I made those during summer, during lockdown, during summer. So um, you can see they're quite summery pieces. And again, this is a nice project. Um, I sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Here are the teardrop pieces. They're easy to deal with, really, but there is a curved edge. So I'm going to talk about the curved edge. But firstly, I just want to tell you how I cut them out. I've got a piece of fabric here. I don't go to, I'm a bit lazy, I'm afraid. I don't really go to the trouble of uh, drawing around this. I would simply put it onto my fabric and chop it off using my scissors like this. So, and it's a generous quarter of an inch. I am quite generous with my seam allowances when I'm doing this. I do give lots of advice in the pattern about English paper piecing, if you're new to English paper piecing, um, but don't stress about it. They okay. don't need to be exact because the exact piece is the piece that you're pulling it over. So actually what it looks on the wrong side, I know it's probably a bit naughty, but what it looks like on the wrong side really doesn't matter that, that much. Okay. Um, and so, I um, I'm, there are various schools of thought on English paper piecing. Um, I was taught by my grandmother to um, use uh, the tacking method, but you can use glue if you want to. I personally am not a massive fan of glue because I find it just goes everywhere. I'm a bit messy with it, um, and I end up with sticky fingers and a sticky needle, and I don't I don't like that. So I like the feel of of it being nice and, and clean. Um, so these are great English paper pieces. I think they're 140 or 160 gram weight, so they're they're quite substantial. You can pull against them. Um, you can't really use um, a thin paper in this because uh, you do need a bit of weight behind you because you need to pull and stretch the fabric over the top to get the curved edge of the teardrop shape. And you can see I'm pulling and stretching a little bit as I, as I work my way round. Don't uh, worry about the size or, uh, of your tacking stitches because they're coming out they're not going to matter though but i would make quite small tacking <clears throat> stitches you don't want huge ones because you want to hold those tucks down as best you can now so we have been um very very busy for this one you demonstrated it beautifully there so and half the stock of the pattern has gone and don't forget it's not just the pattern oh, there's the paper pieces as well for just nine pounds and 99 pence so if you want to get involved yeah, the details are there on the screen 
yeah, that is a great price because also within the pattern are, are instructions for three different blocks as well. And they are lovely blocks and I'll come to those in a minute. But I just oh, want to concentrate on them. Oh, are those the ones that feature at the bottom of the cushion? Oh, I didn't realise yes. they were in the pattern as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get all the instructions for there's a, an Amish pineapple, a pinwheel. That's a pinwheel the yellow one you were just pointing to and an evening star with a particular method of making the evening star. The Amish pineapple on the other cushion is one of my favourite blocks, I think. It's a really pretty, uh, a really pretty pattern. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's the Amish pineapple. It's a different way of making it. It's not it's not foundation piece. It's it's piece. So um, I'll just whip those through those in a moment. Um, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about actually sewing the pieces together. So once you've made your um, teardrop, you can see it, it does have this raw edge at the bottom. Don't cut it off and don't worry about it because it's going to be hidden because they slide underneath the next oh, piece. All right. And when you've got a complete one, a round one, then they're all hidden underneath. I've got one somewhere. Uh, there it is. Um, so they're all hidden underneath. You can't, there's the raw edges as you see them. Perfect. So you don't need to worry about the ears. And on the white one, you don't need to worry about the ears either because they get covered by a big uh, yellow center. So again, you don't need to cut them off. You don't need to worry about them. I think that Perfect. throws people sometimes. Yes. What am I supposed to do with this then? Um, to stitch them together, you simply put them right sides together and using, um, I'm not going to use a yellow thread, but I'm using quite a fine thread. You do what's called a whip stitch. And again, there is a diagram of this on the um, on the pattern. Can you see what I'm doing? I can okay? indeed. And but I'm noticing I'm you're, you're working from the petal and going to the centre. Does it matter which way around you do it? No, it doesn't matter. Um, I just tend to work it this way. You do have to try and match the... Well, you, I, I do match the centre of the petals because it, it looks better. I don't yes. want it halfway down there. But the centre, this centre doesn't matter because it's always going to be covered by something. So you, the, the, this end doesn't matter. So if it stretches slightly, the bit that you are worried about, the top bit, is is better, really. It's better okay. if you start there, I suppose. But um, it's, it's a very <coughs> forgiving. It's a very forgiving sort of thing. And again, it's a nice thing to do during lockdown. It now, um, just quickly, I wanted to show you the Amish pineapple. Okay. So there's the Amish pineapple block. It's a really pretty block. Sue, so could very, you bring very... that block just a, a little bit closer to you and into the centre? Just a little bit. There you yeah. go. Perfect. Thank I'm, you. Unfortunately, in my excitement, I've moved my board slightly. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that better? That's lovely. You Thank it. you. We can see it there. Yeah. So this starts, this is simply built up um, using um, bits and pieces uh, and this is the first piece here that's the center okay and there's no there's no triangles involved I know there's lots of triangles in the finished piece but there's no triangle triangles involved no triangles were harmed in the making of this block <laughs> at all um, it's it's a square so you put a square onto the square stitch across the center of the square and then simply flipping it flip it over so you are replacing uh, a corner with a coloured corner and that's so uh, once you've done that one it's called stitch and flip and it really does mean stitch and flip so you iron it into place and then you put the next one on which you can see a bit better here so there's the next one and that goes into place stitch across the centre again where I've marked that line and eventually you end up with something that looks that's the centre there fabulous oh, hang on. yeah oh there it is there's a centre there. Okay. And then you add a border. Love so it. there goes a border onto nice. there. Just to give you a little bit and of a time check, Sue, because we are rapidly getting to the yep. end of the hour. We've only got a couple of minutes left. Are you okay to carry on okay. for a moment? Yes, I'll carry on for a moment. So you just make another border and then you replace the corner again, just like you did before. There's another replaced corner. So it's all squares and rectangles to make this, this block, which comes out at four and a half inches. It's a jolly useful little block to have, I think, because um, if you just carried on making them, you could make lovely little bags and things with them. It's a very sweet little block and very easy to do. So um, that's the Amish pineapple. And then there is a pinwheel as well, which is, is very nice. And an evening star. There's my evening star. Fabulous. And although it's small, again, it's made very simply. And again, no triangles. It's all squares. 
um, and using the fast flying geese method. I don't think I'm going to have time to, to demonstrate not, that Sadly not, no, no. But it's no. Really, the thing is, though, it's all included in the instructions. That's the key thing, because those instructions are so comprehensive. Now, Sue, I'm going to say goodbye to you for the time being, if that's okay. Um, yes. Reason being, I've got some updates that I need to give to people. You can see that gorgeous pinwheel there just to the side as well. So, of course, three different little kind of mini blocks that you're going to be able to create, because, yes. of course, the knowledge, you can go on and create them in whatever size you like. So, Sue, thank you so much. We're going to see more from you at You're 11 o'clock as well. Yes, yes, super. Lovely, Take look forward to it. Grab a cuppa, put your feet up for an hour or so, and we'll be back and see you yeah. a little bit later on. Um, but you guys at home, I need to give you some updates. Over over, over half the stock has gone of this particular um, pattern set, and I love this because it's not just the pattern that you're learning to create, the fabulous paper piecing, but as we've learned there, you are going to learn how to create these fabulous little blocks at the bottom there, as well as that gorgeous Amish pineapple there as well. If you like the look of that style, do have a little look because we've got a scrappy pineapple quilt pattern that we will be showing you more of um, at 11 o'clock but of course you can jump online and get hold of that if you want so it's been fabulous having your company do make sure you come back and join us at 11 o'clock because of course we will have more from the two Sus during that hour but stay tuned more coming up indeed and the actual perfect fabric that you'll be able to use with those lovely pieces as your one day special so stay tuned for that one i'll be bringing you some sewing essentials after that before we're over for a paper craft hour with pink frog hi i'm ali from ali stitchy fingers um, i've been sewing most of my life i absolutely love sewing i've been with the chanda now from the very beginning really that's when i started to go there the chanda family are lovely people to work with and i'm really enjoying my time with them Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. 
I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head, so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachango. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. It's cold outside, isn't it? It was minus two when I got up this morning. But you know what? If you can keep warm and keep safe, then stay with us all day here at Hochanda because we have got some fabulous shows for you, including the one-day special and our lovely guest, it's our Hayley. Where's the lovely guest gone? It's only well, me. I don't know. Where have they gone? <laughs> I don't know where the lovely guest gone. Just stuck with me. Yes. <laughs> no, it's always it's lovely to do shows with you, Hayley, because you're very knowledgeable. We have a lovely time. Don't we, we do. But you're also we just amuse ourselves. And uh, we uh, do. If anybody else wants to join in, bonus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, but you've got a, a wide knowledge when it comes to fabrics. That's why it's lovely to do a show. We know some it? stuff. Yeah. We know some stuff. Well, I think you know quite a lot. I think you know quite a lot. Um, and we've got a fantastic deal for you. We've got great demonstrations coming up. And if you do have any questions, now's the time to email in. It is studio at hochanda.com or leave a message on Facebook and we'll get back to you as well. Or maybe you've made and created some wonderful creations with Fabric Freedom Fabrics and you'd like to share them with us. We would love to see them. So, the one day special, the details at the top of your screen, 444, four, all our fours, 444, four, 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 four. You were doing a little bit of a French uh, kind of accent before we came to the studio, so you're just continuing that on now. Well, it, I was more four than four. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, 444 495, that's your item number that you'll need if you give us a call or head to the website. £25.93, you're saving £15 on this deal. And it is a marvellous deal because you're getting top quality uh, cotton fabrics here in some beautiful tones. And when we say tones, they're actually toned for you. And that's the good thing about the one day special. So let's take you through the different options. These are your candy pinks, some lovely tones here. Um, and beautiful fabrics as well. Now, Hayley, can we talk about the quality of the fabrics yes, that we're getting here? Yes, this is all quilting cotton. So this is um, all exactly the same weight. It's made from exactly the same base fabric. It's just dyed different colors. So um, this is a, a proper quilting cotton weight. And it's beautiful to work with, really, really easy to work with. Lovely and soft as well. So when we talk about the weight, we're talking about the weave of the fabric as yes, well. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, a quilting cotton is, I, you, different companies have different uh, particular weaves for it. It's usually either a 60-60 or a 75-75. And yep. when you're looking at those numbers, that means the number of threads uh, going left to right yep. in your warp. No, your weft going left to right and your number of threads going um, up and down in your warp. So 60 across, 60 down. Yeah, so that's important, isn't yes, it? Especially it when is. you're working uh, with your quilting um, fabrics. It doesn't have to be for quilting, though. We can use it for lots no, of different projects. No, you can use projects. it for anything you like. Uh, you've just got lots of beautiful options here. And these are all toned together. So um, what we're doing in terms of demonstration is we're using it for Bargello, which is perfect, absolutely perfect for that. Um, but you've got Can we tell everyone at home options. what Bargello is, in case they don't know? Right, OK. Bargello is a type of quilting. And <laughs> we did get a picture sent in last night because I can't show you anything because of copyright. Oh, right. I can't show you other people's things and say, oh, isn't it lovely? So um, we did have a lady send one in last night. Uh, I think it was she. I want to say Sheila. Yeah, we'll try and find that picture to show you. And it was absolutely stunning. 
the one that we're making will not be as fancy as this. Wow. I'll tell you that now. So, but, Barge Yellow, is, it, is that all about using the tones together? Yes. Like an to ombre get that effect? Kind of, um, yeah, wow. get that kind of graduation in colour. And this was done for her son, and she's absolutely knocked it out of the park with wow. this one. Wow. That is oh, incredible. I was just not going to be as fancy as that. Okay. But that's why it's a good <laughs> idea to buy the One Day Special, because you've got it in those tone sets. And you might want to buy one or two. It's entirely up to you. Uh, £25.93. pence. So that is your fabulous pink. Next up... Now, these are neutrals, nice neutrals as well. Uh, so you've got some lovely browns in there, crossing over to the creams. As opposed um, to almost every horrible shade of, neutrals. Well, well, yeah, you don't want horrible neutrals, do you? Well, sometimes people are, are put off neutrals, but they're very, very handy when it comes to crossing over your different tones. And you might want to use these for quilting, but you might want to use these for a project around your home. Maybe the tones in your home are very, very similar to these. Maybe uh, your bedroom room furniture for example that look absolutely gorgeous it doesn't have to be for quilting like we say you could make cushions out of these you can also make bags great for lining as well uh, with any clothing uh, next up let's have a look at these these are your spring hues and you know something spring isn't that far away we've got some beautiful weather at the moment icy cold outside um, so this could remind you of the nice frost that's going on on the outside or maybe you've got a project where you're putting together pictures uh, with fabric these would be excellent for doing that especially if you're doing any of your sea scenes um, absolutely marvelous right more options for you we'll do the oh um, the twist is this the my better side or is this my better side because it's not all about me is it, is it? <laughs> i'm only kidding sorry it is not all about me isn't it no it's not sure okay uh, not today anyway <laughs> I'm on, I'm on overtime today so it's certainly not about me today uh, right more tones for you uh, these are your sunsets here you've got some really nice spiced pumpkin colors in here um, so if you do want to save this for maybe projects later on in the year absolutely fine daffodils yes now daffodils I would say those two colors there yeah, so if you're putting together anything for Mother's Day, for example, beautiful colours for that. And they do say, I don't know who they are, but they say, the <laughs> almighty they that we listen to all the time, um, they say that mustard and grey are the colours for this year. Mm. It's usually Adam that tells you that, doesn't it? He tells you what the Pantone colour of the air is. That's his thing. He, likes to, he likes to know that. Oh, yes. Well, th that's Enjoy. what the colours are this year. They are grey, maybe going over to the blue. And yellow or mustard. Yeah, I already have it in my home, so I'm way ahead. Uh, next <laughs> up. It's not all about you, though, is it, Janice? No, it's not all about me. <laughs> Can we just get that clarified in writing? <laughs> uh, right, this is your Lush Lagoon. Again, uh, nice colours to go with the other blues that we've got for you on the show. Uh, some really nice, it's an emerald green there, isn't it? And then you've got that lovely forest green moving over into your sky blues and your aquatic um, blues as well. I suppose we've all got different names for colours. And it's very interesting, the amount of names that come out for colours. Like salmon is pink or salmon or pink or salmon, really. You didn't pick a good, good one there, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't really pick a very good one Moving at all. On. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Um, I think these are my favourite. These are your wild berries. So you've got some uh, beautiful aubergine colours in here. Uh, and more purples. Berries. Berries. Blackberries. Aubergines. Eggplant. That's purple. an aubergine though, isn't it? You've got aubergine on today. Uh, yeah, I just, I was cold, so I wanted a jumper. Does aubergine make it warmer, the colour? <sighs> no, this is just a jumper. Actually, the first jumper I could find. That's a good point. <laughs> Do colours make your home feel warmer? So if you oh, are definitely. making a quilt, for example, what kind of colours would you go for in the winter? Psychologically, it mm. will make it feel warmer. Yeah. But and then what kind of colours are you going to go for? Maybe for a spring quilt or something like that. Uh, now, we are a third of the stock gone on the wild berry option. This is your one-day special. Discounted price until 6 o'clock tonight. 444495 is your item number. So we've got different tones, different colours for you. Excellent value for money. And you also get your one metre of fusible web interfacing as well. There it is. So that's very, very handy. Uh, and we will chat to our Hayley about that throughout the demonstrations. It's always handy to have. So that's, a, that's like a bonus, isn't it, with your one day special. Um, so go online and you can select your different tones. Now, uh, we've got some more for you. Uh, we have got 
are fabulous fabrics and we have four in these options. You might want to add these to your basket to go alongside your one day special or alongside some of the other fabrics we've got coming up as well. So you get four and they're half meter, that's 44 inches by 112 centimeters. Now Hayley, different Janice. measurements. Why, is, why do you measure in inches and centimetres? Okay, so... Or um, metres and inches? Right, so um, a lot of quilting patterns will be in inches. Okay. So that's where your inch measurement comes from because of lots of... Um, because it was a, an older art form and because of the Americans not move, ever moving over to metric, that is why um, a lot of it's measured in inches. You can get European patterns, which will measure everything in centimetres, but generally it's all measured in inches. It's interesting to but know. But we have to legally put it as centimetres. Do you? Because that's the rules now that we've got to put, like weight and things. The Everything's rules, got to be ruler. in ounces. Everything has got to be in grams, but we can put ounces on labels as well. Even though we've moved away from Europe, we still have to do that. Well, it might change again. Who knows? Who knows? Who but knows? It's interesting to know. <laughs> Lots of people are starting to get into soft uh, fabric crafts. So it's really interesting to know all of these facts, isn't it? Uh, right, so let's go through your options. That's your fabulous fuchsia. Beautiful fuchsia tones in there. Uh, next, ooh, you've got your lime cooler. Uh, these are really nice heading into the spring, of course. Um, also great, again, putting together and using it on your quilts and other projects. Next up, ooh, now these are your red maple, red maple sunset. Ooh, mm -hmm. red maple sunset. Almost like the autumn, yeah, like the maple trees. Maybe, maybe yeah, that's what they've maybe gone Maybe with the red, red leaves in, in New England. Beautiful colours there. And then, this is my favourite, these are the earthy greens. I really like these, Hayley. Well, I think these ones are really useful because green will go with anything. So if you've ever got a fabric that you can't quite match, then it's a good option to have a look at a green to go with it. And um, especially if you're doing things like your art quilting and you're doing, you know, pictures and things yeah. like that, nice tones in there to be able yeah. to use. Fabulous. And a great price as well, saving £5, just £14 and 96 pence. Let's head over to Hayley because we've got some more fabrics available for you that our Hayley's going to run through for you, <laughs> aren't you, Hayley? attention, was I? And I was like, ooh. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so, we, uh, these are the Melodies and they've got lots of different options within here. There's actually 31 now. There was started with 32, there's now 31. Um, and you've got four different patterns. So, you've got your Ditsy Sprigs, which is everything kind of on this side here and um, what you'll find is the colours match between the different variations of pattern that I'm going to go show you so I'll go through these ones first because it's got the most options in so this one is your brown then you've got blue you've got your olive green now you didn't have your olive green uh, pink oh I kept getting this one wrong last night beige Beige. Say, I said, yes, beige. Beige. I kept saying cream. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> well, I've, I've remembered from last time, so I couldn't pronounce beige <laughs> last time. Uh, teal. Uh, mm. We're all right. We're fine. Purple. Uh, green. Oh, the lime has gone. 30, 30 options. 30 options. Let's get rid of that big pin before I stab somebody with it. Um, okay, then we've got the yellow. Again, so bright and punchy on these. They're absolutely fantastic. And they've got that kind of mottled batik type background. And then on top of that, there's a darker print, which I think is really useful for just breaking it up. And that mottled background really helps you when you can't get an exact match with the fabric because it's got um, so many variations in there. It just gives you that little bit of leeway when you're matching. And then sand is the last colour option in that one. And then... I hate the name of this. I don't know who named it, but it's a terrible name. Oh, hate's a very <coughs> well, it's strong floral, word, isn't it? Floral blotch. It's a Sunday. Well, I, I don't like it then. Okay. A lot. Okay. I like the pattern. I just don't what's like the name. Floral what's the blotch? Floral blotch. Yeah, I don't like it. No, blotch uh, is quite a nice <laughs> I word. like the pattern. I like the fabric. I just don't like the name. We'll call it floral bee. <laughs> Okay, floral bee. Uh, <laughs> so that's your olive green again. That's exactly the same as this one that was in the Ditsy Sprigs. So you can kind of, this is a pick and mix, so you can go for kind of two of the same colour in different patterns. That's your sand and your brown again. Again, they go really well together. It's just that kind of next step up in tone. You've got more of the teal and more of the pink. 
And then on the other side, we have the filigree, and that one goes from there to there. Lots of different colours in this one as well. So that's your, your beige, pink, the sands and the brown. See, that just goes so well together. The, those kind of lighter browny tones, the neutral tones, go so well together. Blue, your... Ah, this is a slightly different green, I think. Yes, it is. It's a slightly different green to the previous one. The previous one was olive. I don't know what this one's called. Sorry. Somebody will help me in a minute. Sage. Sage green. Yeah. yeah. So close. Um, then you've got your... Well, they're calling it black, but if there's quite a lot of grey in there... I like that one. And it works kind of between all sorts of shades of grey. So this one's a really useful one to go for. It does look more grey here in the studio. I'm just looking at the... Um, it's called grey. Oh, it's called grey. Yeah. Oh, so it fine. is grey. We're fine. And then the last option we've got are the spots here. And I think these ones are absolutely beautiful because spots can sometimes be a little bit difficult to work with because you, um, when you cut them out, you've got to line them up right because yeah. otherwise everything looks a bit squiffy. Now, because these spots are offset and different sizes and not in a particular pattern in the first instance, these work really, really well as a, as a kind of a first time out. I've got a question for you. Go on then. Um, they're dyed with yes. colour. Um, so they've been pre-washed. Yes. Now, the other cotton with the One Day Special, that's also yes. coloured. So, would that have been pre-washed if uh, you're using yes, them together? It, no it, shrinkage. No shrinkage. It, well, I would always recommend, though, whichever fabric you go for, you um, give it a wash first. Ah, OK. Just to make sure. Before you've made Before your you act. make anything. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's so tempting just to smash yes. it. You're like, yay! Yeah. And then smash it. But it is definitely worth, with any fabric, just giving it a quick wash. Good advice. Uh, a press and a dry. Exactly the same way that you would handle your finished garment or your finished quilt or whatever your finished project's going to be. Wash it, dry it, iron it exactly the same way yeah. as you would usually do it. So if that's for you, is you know we always recommend 30 degrees. Perfect. Um, and if you're going to tumble dry it, then that is the time to do it. Yeah. So if, if it is going to be a quilt and it's going to be regularly washed and tumble dried, yeah. then do it at that point. It's good to know because some people like to make, create and sell. And some people think, well, if I wash it before I make it, would that sit, deem it sort of used? No, wash it. Do follow Haley's advice. Uh, right, we've got some happy hour deals for you. Uh, we've got some charm. Oh, these charm packs are no, the happy hour deals. These are just deal. on the show. These are just on the show, but we do have they're some happy hour happy. deals. They're still quite happy. Yeah, they are very happy. The, the Imagine a big smile on each of them. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. They're five inches by five inches, and you get forty-two squares. You get both of these. No, they're the options. options. You get either either or. So you've got the powder shades, which yes. is the one that you're looking at now. Which got some really nice. Is, so it's down as strawberries and cream, but it's it on the sticker is strawberries and charm. charm. Yes, yes, it's confusing. It's the red one. I think it's the play on words, like strawberries okay. and cream I, are the I know colours, that, but, but because the, these are the like theme. a charm pack, strawberries and charm. Play okay. on words. It's very I, clever, I, I actually. I get where it's coming from, it's just I don't know why it's not right on the telly. What's not right on the it's telly? It's not right on there, look, it says strawberries and cream. Oh, right, you see. Yeah, you see, that's where the confusion is. Oh, well. It's fine, but what you're getting in there is you're getting um, 21 different colours mm -hmm. and you're getting two of each. Yeah. Beautiful. You choose, you decide. If you want to go for both of them, you can do. Uh, saving £3, eleven ninety nine. Are we still in the Flex Extravaganza event? Flex we are indeed, which means you can divide the cost of anything over £5 into two interest-free monthly payments. Right, Ooh. now we're into the happy hour deals. Yes. Uh, so, we have got some rainbow stripes for you. Can I open these out so you can see what size they are? Of course you can. They're a pick and mix and you choose any two so some fabulously uh, striped fabrics great colors again would go perfectly with the one day special yes, because, because you've you got the plain tones so many colors within here uh, right so pick a mix so color wise well what are we going to call these um this is the turquoise turquoise multi because you've got the turquoise being the predominant color in there then the next one Let's open this one up. This has got to be pink multi. And on the salvage, by the way, you'll see the colours so you can match these up with your cottons and other fabrics. So that's your pink multi. So just to show you that, lots of stripes. Don't adjust your set. Nothing's gone wrong. It's just that's the fabric. Not helping. <laughs> You know the word the um, the, is forbidden with a striped fabric. Well, yeah, no, normally it is. And then you've got your sky. Yeah, so um, you've got the lighter I like blue tones within it yeah i like that i like the sky 
That's lovely. Noah's Ark collection. How interesting. Right, so that's your happy hour deal. £9.99. That's just one of your happy hour deals. I'll sort this out in a moment's time. Um, but if you wanted to get hold of your happy hour, then £5.50 or £5 in your basket today. And you can then spread the cost over two months, two months and spend another £5 or pay. Oh, do you know what, Chad is? <laughs> Sometimes, if you made sense, it would be a whole lot better because this is proper TV now. Right, another happy hour deal for you. Always busy when we have the silk scarves available for you. You do have two options. I'm just going to show you um, what those options could look like. Uh, the 85, well, it's a minimum size of 85 centimetres by 85 yeah, these centimetres. These are all handmade, so sometimes they do vary a little bit. So that's why I would say minimum size of 85 by 85. But a lot of them have got like a little bit of embroidery on. And um, there's two options. There's the plain option, which is the one that you're looking at there. And then there is a second option, which has more of your kind of batik style uh, looks to it. OK, let me just go like that. Um, so you can see, I think this one is more of your batik style. Um, you can possibly see that when we show the images online. No, I think, actually, Janice, I think that one may still be classed as a plane. It, it might, it might. We've got a whole mixture here just to show you. And there's some um, of the shot colours where you can see that one there. You can see greens in it. You can see pinks and reds in it as you move petite. it. No, that's a plane. Ah, well, do you know that's what? Should we have a, a look at the pictures? <laughs> Because I think the images will give you a lot better. There you go. I don't think I've got one of those. Oh, I've got one here. Yes, I've got one here to show you live. Um, <laughs> but those are your boutiques, twenty nine ninety nine. The most important thing is these are silk. Yes, and the, the problem is, is we start off with full collections of um, of scarves, but then they are so beautiful that people are, oh, can I just have this one? Can I just have this one? And then they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are absolutely fantastic. Uh, but the boutiques, you see, you get that lovely boutique style on there, almost like a tie-dye, isn't it? £29.99, you get 10 of the plain or 10 of the print. You choose, you decide. Uh, but remember, 100% silk. Right then, Hayley, what are we going to take OK, away? so last night what we did was we took um, some of the one-day special and some of the sets of four of the plain fabrics as well. So if I just flip this over... So one to six on here that's all one day special and then these next two these two kind of come around the corner they are from the pink option the fuchsia option on the back and then coming back up this way we've got three from the reds and then three from the neutrals is it neutrals neutrals nice yes. neutrals yes. that's what it is nice and neutrals. then we've sewn them all together as long strips then sewn those strips together to create a, a tube. So it's joined all the way around. There are no gaps in here at all. And then we're going to work in a, a Bargello style because um, these graduated, kind of really kind of soft jumps between colour is what's going to really work well for the Bargello technique. So um, I have no fixed pattern for this because we are freestyling. So what I've done is I've started off by straightening off the edge and then I've done a one inch strip. And then the next one I've done is one and a quarter, and I've done two of them because what's going to happen is that's going to go either side of my one inch strip. So it's gradually going to get wider as we go along. So what we now need to do is undo it from it being its circle because we want to have the long strips to be able to work with. So the first one, I've got to decide now where, what I want my top to be, what I want my bottom to be, what I want in the middle. So I think, do I want the dark in the middle of the quilt or do I want the light in the middle of the quilt? It's uh, a big decision. I think I want the light in the middle. I'd yes, go for the so, dark in the middle. Tough. OK. <laughs> so what I need to now do is open this back out. So I need to pick where's going to be my top and my bottom and literally just unpick that seam. They do look fabulous together, don't they, in that tone? Because this, this is my middle one. So then, I'm do you know what? Let me just see if I can slide this big board out of the way carefully so I don't move what I'm up to. It looks the same. And you then, know you don't choose paint? Yes. A little bit. It's a little bit like that, isn't yeah, it? Like a colour chart. Now, wherever I've started that first one, I want to unpick it at the next one along for my second one. So... Because these are, um, are quite short stitches, it's quite short stitches, and um, you can usually just literally pull them apart if they're the smaller pieces. And that's going to go 
next to this one. So it's going to step down by one colour each time we line them back up. And then my other um, one that is, because this one was a, an inch, this one and this one are an inch and a quarter. So we're going to do the same cut on that one. So between the pink and, oh, um, maybe you can see here. So between these two, that's where I'm going to pull it apart. A very clever system. It is. It's, it's such a clever system. It's very system. simple and, to do. Or easy, that one say. is going to go there. And then my next one along is going to be bigger still. And I'm going to move down one more again. So I went between the pink and the kind of wine colour last time. So this time I'm going to come one more down and split it between these two. I need to just, because as it's getting longer, you can see I can't just pull them apart and I do actually need to get my seam ripper in there. There we go. And then that one's going to go here. And the next one is going to go on the other side. So I want to do them from the same point again. So between those two, and from the other side, there we go. And then I'm going to start sewing these together. So when I start sewing these together, I'm going to start with my smallest one in the centre because that's going to be the most awkward of them. And I'm going to fold them and just make sure that I get all of these seams lined up. So I'm going to go and find a whole heap of pins. Yes, would you pin them? How yeah, about tacking I, them? You know, I, some people don't like to use uh, pins, they use tacks or, or clips. Uh, clips, you could clip them, but because this, uh, when you're starting off with this middle bit, it's so fine, I yeah. would be tempted to yeah. have the extra security of pins because what you're trying to do is make sure you get all of these joins lined up exactly. And I've got 14 strips on here, so I've got 14 okay. joins. And would you give them a, um, a hem? How? Seam allowance. Seam allowance, yes. yes. Quarter inch. Whatever okay. you do, you stick with the same one throughout. So I've actually got a quarter inch foot on my machine at the minute. And that has a li that little foot, that little arm on the side. And what happens is when you've put your, your fabric in, it butts. Let me see if I can just grab a, this little piece here. When you put your fabric in, it kind of butts up and rests got against you. That little arm. Um, so each so strip is going overshot. to be, re be reduced by. So what happens is um, uh, each strip that is going to be reduced by uh, half an inch in total because you'll have a quarter inch on one side and a quarter inch on the other. So that first strip that I've cut at an inch will actually end up being half an inch. Right. So just bear that in mind when you're, you're cutting. And the more cuts you put in, obviously, the, the more it's going to shrink in. Yeah. So I'm going to go and find a million pins okay. and start uh, putting them together. And I'll go together. through the one-day special again. Yeah, because now, now we've got some great ideas of how we can use the fabric. This is such an easy way of putting those colours together, but then making something very effective. And what would normally look very, very complicated to make. So let's start with the colour tones in the fabrics that we've got. Your one-day special, great price for 24 hours, saving 15 so if you try to get any of these after six o'clock today, then it's going to go up by £15. You see, such a great deal. £25.93 today, or we're looking at £13 today and £13 in a month's time if you're dividing the costs with Flex Stravaganza, £12.97 today. Uh, right, so your first option are your pink hues. You've got some lovely, uh, like, strawberries and cream, whipped raspberry colours in here. Yeah, I'm starting to wake up a little bit this morning. Um, so some beautiful hues there with your pinks. Next up, um, these are your neutrals. So these are your nice neutrals, um, which are lovely. Uh, so you've got some tones in there, some nice earthy tones, actually. Um, and I think when you see all of these lined up, if you were to just have a look at those fabrics, but when you see them all lined up, you can see how they all tone very, very well together. They are quilting quality which means they are an excellent weave, but it's not just for quilting. Um, you can use these for many, many other projects as well around your home. Now, you've got your spring hues. So you've got your lovely tones of blue, your sea and your sky blues, uh, cornflower blue in there. Um, quarter of the stock has gone already. I really like the fact that you've got the tones of blues in here and then it gives you the two greens as well. Um, and they work really, really well together toning up there. Fabulous, great colours. Uh, right, also with your, oh, excuse, oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> wow, live TV. 
it was that by the way and I'll move it again just to prove it uh, you also get your fusible uh, web as well what is the fusible web for Hayley okay so um, you can use this just for your kind of normal applique you'll see that this particular one hasn't got a paper backing on it it's just got um, it's kind of open on both sides yes so um, what you'll need to do is if you're using it for your applique you'll need to use um, like a, a greaseproof paper or a baking parchment or something like that with it to protect your iron so it yes, doesn't so stick it doesn't to your stick. iron um, but you can either use it for your applique or because it's such a large flat piece because obviously the pieces we get for applique are usually quite small mm. and this is quite a big piece that you're getting so one of the other things that you can use this for is um, sandwiching two whole pieces of fabric together that's a good idea so something like uh, if you want to make a blind or um, you want to kind of uplift the weight of a fabric so something yeah. like a poplin which would be quite a lightweight fabric maybe you want to put the fusible webbing in between and add something like a calico to the back of it just to lift up the weight of that fabric and good then idea. you can use it for a heavier weight application like uh, upholstery and things like that Excellent. And you can also turn your trousers up with it as well. Uh, right, let's move on There's with some more. There's always one, isn't there? Pardon? There's always one. Well, I, it's, I, I just sew them. It's how I have to do it, I'm afraid. I don't have a sewing machine yet. Thinking about getting one, though. Oh, good. Right, let's move on with the colours. Yeah. Do it, and we'll have some Zoom lessons. Well, what? I'll have some Zoom lessons. I'll teach you over Zoom. Oh, really? Yeah. Promise is a promise. <laughs> Yeah, I've said it on live telly. Sorry, I've got to do it now. Oh. Oops. Right. What? What's up? What's going on over there? Well, there's lots of noises that aren't me going on. <laughs> I do apologise. It really isn't me. Uh, right, moving on, moving on. Uh, we've got these beautiful mustard and sunset tones for you. Hopefully these are, are coming out on your TV set as beautiful as they are here in the studio because yellow can be quite a difficult colour to get across on TV. But we've got some beautiful sunset uh, tones here, which are beautiful. Next up we have your lush lagoon some really um deep colors here with your blue especially the middle one there but i like the fact that you're also getting your greens in there like your forest green your racing green it really is like a, a gorgeous lagoon as you dive in and the colors change as you get closer to the bottom and then there's a little bit of algae so then you start <laughs> swimming back up again to the top of the water where the sunlight is dappling beautiful uh, and then finally Finally, you've got your wild berries, proven to be very, very popular. Uh, every shade of purple you could wish for there. Fantastic. £25.93. Uh, that is your one-day special. So you get to choose. And with every option, you do get that fusible web as well. Now, there is a lot more on the website, as we always have uh, great deals with your Fabric Freedom shows. We've got the basic colours in your quilting cotton in the Swiss rolls. So £17.99. 20 strips by two and a half inches. Now, quite a few of the options have sold out. We've lost the black. Can we just click on that and see the options now? We've got white, ivory, pewter, navy, Christmas red. We'll go through the colours for you. There you go. And did we sell out of the black? So the black has now gone. So those are your, all oh, the red's nice. Those are your options. You can head to the website. $17.99 or just £9 today in your basket. Right, we've got some more fabrics for you. Now you're getting 10 cotton poplins and you've got a variety of colours here. Uh, they're all half metres in size. And these are your light options. So you've got some nice pastel colours in here. Um, it's almost like having a little taster of the one day special all in one go. Uh, so you've got your lovely um, pastel um, strawberry pinks in there you've got some lovely yellows in there some nice three tones of the yellow you've got your blues some greys in there greens as well uh, so that's your lights and then the darks some quite striking colors in here with your red and your pinks hochanda pink in there there you go you've also got a purple as well as the black and the green and the orange so a really good variety of colors there we say dark colors but you still got some brights in there 27 pounds and 48 pence saving five pounds on that particular deal 517815 is your item number and they're all half meters as well so just give you an idea um sometimes it's good to have that visual representation um you just get five, just get, you get ten, a half a metre. Yeah. So I don't know why there's the extra, because five times ten 
is five, not five point five. No. So we'll I change. We'll change. Those. We'll change those details for you. Somebody needs to do some more maths. Probably so. Probably so. Um, but that's that's half a metre anyway, just in case you want to see. So, oh, red's quite a nice colour on me. Uh, there you go. Bring the details back up. So it is five metres in total. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Good quality as well. I am now well. fully pinned. It, it does take a while, not going to lie, especially because I've got kind of 14 different uh, strips on here. But what I've done is spent the time to do each of the joins along here because you're going to get a better finished result if, by doing that. So I've taken the skinniest um, of my strips and added it to the next one along. And it's nice to be able to kind of plan them out and always kind of take them back to where you've started so you can know where you're going with this. And sometimes if you are doing it off a pattern, a pattern will really help you. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to go right the way, top to bottom, and stitch them all together. Now when I've pinned them, you'll see I've pinned the top of the, because um, I've pressed all of my seams open, and I've pinned at the top of the seam, of the kind of direction as it's going to go through the machine, I've pinned at the top because um, the bits at the bottom will naturally kind of fall flat the direction it's going through the sewing machine. The ones at the top will flip down the other way and what that will do is give me a really bulky seam at the top. So that's the reason that I've pressed them open is because it's going to give me a lot less bulk in my seams. So I'm going to quickly try and whiz this through and then we'll keep adding these on and hopefully by the end of, we're kind of real time quilting today is what we're real doing. Real time quilting, I like that. Do you know these will make a really nice bag handles as well the way that you've done them by splitting up the colours and then just stitching along. So lots of different um, projects that you can use this particular method for but I find it fascinating that all the colours just tone into one another. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful um, technique and the bundles that the, are within the one day special really lend themselves to it because you've got that little kind of tonal shift all the way down. You just get, I put very tiny pins in. It's all right though, I'm fine. Mm, just like that. So we've got these um, feet on Monday, in fact. Probably with you again, Janice. Tomorrow. Oh, these feet are yeah. made for walking. Is it tomorrow or Monday? Tomorrow is Monday. Today is I'm also Sunday. now struggling with days of the week, apparently, as well as Sunday left and right. is my fun day. Oh, you so should the have seen. Once said. You should have seen last night. Oh, it was terrible. What last night? Oh, Ma uh, Marcus, the director, asked me to go right, and I was just like. Oh, oh, oh. Mark, the director. Marcus. Oh, Marcus. I, was, Marcus. I thought, who is this new person working for? Oh, new. <coughs> Somebody new at the zoo. Something new at the zoo. No. No, just Marcus. So I had a little panic, and then he had to give me directions of towards Paula or away from Paula. Well, I'm, Paula. I'm the same. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know my right from my left. I'm terrible. Uh, it, I don't know my up from my down, my right from my left. Oh, I think I've got a handle on up and down. Have you? It's right well, and left. <coughs> <coughs> lucky you. <laughs> So this does take time and it is worth spending your time going over these really carefully and making sure that they don't shift as you stitch them. And definitely, definitely press as you go because that will help you out massively um, when it comes to the finished piece because when you've got really tiny strips like this, if you try and press them all at the end, because you've got some going one way, some going the other way, you're going to really struggle. So if you press as you go, even if it's just finger press as you go, then you'll find um, that you'll have a much easier time of it when you get towards the end. We're getting there. We've only got about three or four left to do on this strip. Now, if any of you have got any projects at home, <coughs> we'd love to see them. We really oh, would. Yeah, because it, it inspires other, other, other people. Um, so if you do have any quilting projects or anything else that you've been using fabric, especially from Fabric Freedom, we would love to see. It's all about giving other people inspiration. So send your pictures in to studio at hochanda.com. And I think, you know, the, having the planes, it's not maybe, you know, the most exciting fabric because it's, um, it is a plane. There's no kind of fancy print on it or anything, but these are so essential. And well, I, think you've, met, I think you've made it look exciting though by putting them all together and okay. doing this project. So you can see there, that's my um, uh, one inch strip because that's the smaller one. You can just see the kind of quarter inch of the other colours peeping through on the bottom. 
So that's when we're going to open that up and then press all of these seams flat, ready to add the next one on. Okay, now, I've got another I, question. Yep. For anyone that's new to soft crafts, for example, taking that line of stitching all the way along, you didn't draw a line on, so you weren't no, following anything. No, because I was using that foot. Right. Um, if you haven't got a foot like this, so obviously that's mm. the one that's got the little guide on the sides, so all I'm doing is um, layering my fabrics together and then butting up the edge of the fabric against that little kind of arm there, and that's what's allowing it to travel through. So they're really a really um, nice, even kind of pace. If you haven't got that, there are um, lines on you usually on your machine. So if I take the, my bobbin hatch out, you can see on my bobbin hatch it's marked as a, a quarter inch there. Yeah. So you can use that as a guide. But what you might find is sometimes it's hard to follow that if you've got bigger pieces of fabric and it's moving about. So it kind of overlaps that and you can't really see where you're going. So something like one of these little feet with the, really the guide on the you. side just. Uh, for me it just makes me allows me to go faster if you're starting out yeah it's a great guide and it'll help you keep that constant and seat. do you have them available in half an inch an inch and no these this the um these ones are from the set you know the big set yeah. of 32 i want to okay. say i think it's from the big set of 32 <coughs> this one but they'll be on on monday so uh, we'll we'll have a look Fantastic. at the it's always handy to know these things more and more people are getting into soft crafts and no. that's why we have Did lots you of shows more, more people more no more and more people <laughs> Normal people. What did you think I said? Normal people. Normal people are getting into <laughs> soft crafts around the nation. In Portsmouth, normal people are taking up sewing. We can't <laughs> believe it. Sorry. All the way through up until Scotland, normal people. Normal people. More and more people. Okay. That makes more sense. You need to I'm move your hair to hear that, me. That does make more sense. Sorry. It carry on. Does. It kind of does. Oh dear, right, shall we talk Normal about... Normal people. <laughs> Normal people. Oh. Now, we have actually just had a question in from Anne. Thank you for emailing in and bearing with us. Um, Anne would like to know whether you can buy the Fusible Web separately. Yes, you can. Um, it is available, and it's available, is it, in a metre by 150 centimetres? Those are the details for you, Anne, and anyone else that wants to get hold of that. £10.99 for your Fusible uh, Web. So, yes, 150 centimetres by one metre. Uh, 590454, there's some more fours for you. Um, right, can we have a look at the charm packs now? Yes, let's have a look. You've got uh, two options here in your charm packs. You've got your powder shades, beautiful pastel shades in blue, some greens in there as well. And then you've got your choice of your strawberry and charm. I like the play on words in there. And did you say there's 22 colours? 21. Or 20, 21, 21 and colours. two of each, making year 42 in total. Love these. And these would actually work with your one-day special colours, uh, with the lovely soft Yeah, a lot of the um, similar colours are within there. Now, with the one-day special, you've got six options, mm. six in each, so that's 36. And then the smaller bundles, the ones with four in, you've got four of those, so four times four, 16. So you've got 52 different plain shades of fabric in total here today. Wow. Maths. You're good at your maths this early in the morning. Thanks. I just heard one, four, eight, five, four. I was like, wow. That is, yeah, that is a <laughs> very good point. Very good point. Very good maths. Well done, me. <laughs> Well done, Sorry. For, well done for listening at school. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence. You get to choose. You get 42 squares wow. in each. Uh, it's just five pounds. Uh, no, just six pounds today, actually. And six pounds in a month's time. If you want to go for one of the charm packs, if you want to go for both of them at the same time, 11.99 today and another 11 pounds and 99 pence in a month's time because we are in the middle of our Flex Stravaganza event. Uh, let's have a look at the new Sunday Savers uh, because they did launch today. The seven day savers, not Sunday Savers. Uh, there you go. We launch them every Sunday at 8 a.m. and they're supposed to last seven days, stock depending, of course. Now, this is a huge. Oh! 125 pounds normally. Oh my word. Joshua Thomas Fabric Swatch Collection. They're gorgeous. 11.99. My word. That's an incredible saving. That's a lot. Wow. There is some. 
good stuff on the website for our seven day savers. Um, we've also got your vellum collection. We've got cardstock for you. Uh, if you're taking up knitting, for example, look at the saving you've got there. That's better than half price. Uh, you will inspire me crafting kit, $12.99. Your polyester thread, that's $11.99 down from $21.99. And you've also got your Paper Craft Essentials Trio down from 2097 to £13.97. Wow! Oh my goodness, take advantage of those prices and pop them into your basket today. And take advantage actually of Flex Extravaganza, which runs, is it until January the 15th? It is until Friday. So get all your seven-day savers and get them all in your basket and divide the cost over two months. Wow, you lucky, lucky people. Uh, right, let's head back to Hayley. Okay, so that, you've got eleven minutes, Haley. That's loads of minutes. That. Uh, so these first two have been sewn together, and I've just given them a quick press. They are looking a bit wobbly. Yes, here, they are a bit. But that's because my cutting was not very excellent, and also the angle of the camera, with things not being quite flat. Is it's not it's not that the camera is wrong or that anything is wrong. It's Don't fine. You just it's need just, a good iron and, and a it, good stretch. It could do with a bit more of a, a press, yes, and that will kind of pull that straight. So. They're my first two. Now the one, let me just pull these down a bit so you can see the top, because that's what I'm using as kind of my reference point. Um, uh, there we go. So this is what I'm using as my reference point here. So those are my first two. And then I'm going to put this one on next, because personally, with Bargello, I find it easier to start from the middle and work my way out, because then it's kind of growing at an even rate either side, and you're dealing with, you know, a big piece it's growing at the same rate. How does it come together? We, we, we've got them in strips here, but okay. how does it all come together so as then a bargello? They kind of get sewn onto each other, and then what gradually happens is that movement within the squares, as soon as I get another three or four of these on, yeah. you'll start to see that movement coming in where you get the kind of, you can get the swirls and the, the curves. So we don't need to cut in into it. this and then do any patchworking? No, nope, that's it. We just One, keep sewing you, together you in strips. You cut your strips and then you sew your strips together. And wow. that's exactly where we're going next. So, uh, because I want to work from the inside out on this one, um, these two are already together. I'm now going to attach these two onto this one. Okay. So I'm Could going to do the same again where again? I run, round, run down and pin all of these. Now what I would advise as well, same way as we put those strips together, work in opposite directions. Yes. So the first one I sewed from um, this kind of pinky purple end right the way down to the red end here. This time once I've pinned it all together, I'm going to sew from the red end up to the pinky purple end. Okay. Because what you will do naturally is sew by off by maybe a millimetre or two every time you sew a full straight line. Now, if you always sew in the same direction, what you then end up with is start, it's starting to kind of fan out at the bottom. Okay. Because you've always started at the top and you've been spot on. By the time you get to the bottom, you've run out by a couple of millimetres. Uh, and those couple of millimetres over 20, 30 strips yeah. all add up to two or three centimetres out at the bottom. So if you run one way going top to bottom and then you turn it around, the next strip you run bottom to top, that offsets each other each time, and then you don't have that um, spreading out at the bottom. See, another good tip. I told you she was good. Uh, we've got a picture, <laughs> actually, of a Borgello quilt. Um, this is fa Now, with this one, Hayley, the reason why I asked about patchworking... Right, with this one, she's, she's actually cut them all the same size. Okay. So um, when she's put the strips together like we had originally, ah, and then she's okay. cut into them, she's cut into them at exactly the same width. So you see there's no variation in the width on those. They're all exactly the same because width. Because my eye so, is following the pattern around. But if you, look, if you look from the top of the quilt all the way down, those are the blocks that she's sewed yeah. together. I get it now. Wow. Yeah, and you can do some really, really clever stuff with this. Um, just by making those strips first. So um, I think it's Sheila. Was that Sheila? Sheila. Yes. Sheila. That was Sheila that sent just that amazing. one in, and she's done such a beautiful job on that. It's absolutely amazing. And if, that has to have been a labour of love because that's yeah. a lot of it. I mean, but it, imagine how much longer it would take you if you didn't put them all into strips and you were sewing each of those individual oh, wow, pieces together. Yeah. No. And it also allows you to increase your accuracy as yes. well because they're already kind of set yeah and then you're just moving them so i guess you can be time. as wide as you like with yes, with your absolutely with your um you can go patches, as big you as you them? want yes blocks. yeah you can go yeah. as big as you want obviously if you're working with um this width of fabric so that's the 44 inch fabric that we've got here what you may need to do is if it's a quite a large design you may need to do two 
tubes of it to get it further because you can you can join on as many as you like going down mm. but going across you, you've kind of on a fixed width because of the fabric that you're using so it's definitely worth um, if you're looking to do something bigger maybe making two or three of your tubes to start off with wow um we've got another picture uh, thank you yes, very much pictures. for sending in uh, this is from elaine and this is uh, it's christmas tree skirt but it uses the same principle of the bargella rather than straight lines she's cut hers into triangles and then attached all those together so you can see the colors kind of stepping in each time if you look at the blue is it a skirt or a quilt i'm looking at it's a christmas oh, it's tree a tr skirt oh to put around your christmas tree put around the bottom sorry, of the christmas tree I sorry i thought it was a skirt in the shape of a christmas tree to wear they are fabulous look at the rainbow one. Oh, janice oh janice Thank you, Elaine. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sending that. Look, it's and early. We'd love to see it's more early. people's I'm sorry. bargellos because, yes. um, and, and that one obviously uses all the plain colours as well, which is brilliant because that's what bargello does so well. Uh, it really makes that pattern stand out yeah. in the plain fabric. So bargello is the style it's the technique, of toning it's the technique and technique. Of, um, of kind of creating the patterns and the waves just with those um, straight square, or it can be squares, it can be rectangles. Um, it be triangles. Could it? No, not really. It'd be more difficult, yes. but technically, probably yes, but um, it would be more Imagine difficult. Imagine all the different techniques you could do when you've got the right fabrics and the right tones. Keep sending your pictures in. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I've, it's going to take me a while now because I'm pinning again. But what I'm going to try and do for the next hour is get these five put together so we can start to see that design coming through. Because what we're going to do is just keep adding these on, going one side at a time, adding these on and starting to create that wavy effect so the ones that i've cut so far i've cut one inch for the center i cut two one and a quarters these are one and a half the next ones i'll cut as one and three quarters and gradually make them wider as i move out and that will create like a, a curved effect Ooh. as we come out how far in the project do you think we'll get by the final show tonight well i'm hoping to get quite far okay so we'll see some of that effect yeah, starting yeah, yeah. to come I'm together. I'm going to hopefully get at least these five put together for the next hour yes. and then start cutting some more oh, so exciting. we can keep it going. Uh, right, let's run through your options of your one day special. It's a great price. You're making that saving as well for today all the way up until six o'clock. Uh, top quality fabrics here. Great weave for you. Uh, wonderful for quilting, but also many, many other projects as well when you want that strong cotton fabric to work with. £25.93. You also get your fusible web interfacing as well alongside your fabrics and they're all beautifully toned together. So your first one is your candy pink love these all those lovely strawberry and raspberry tones running through there the next one are your nice neutrals as opposed to your horrible neutrals <laughs> uh, but neutrals well some people think neutrals oh they're a bit boring but you need neutral fabrics don't they're you, kind Hayley? of one of your essentials really your, your neutrals yeah they are essential neutrals although they're nice uh, right next up we've got your beautiful spring colors love these i love the fact you get the lovely sky blues in there the different tones and you also get some greens as well so that's a really nice mixture for you nice sage style green in there which tones beautifully with this uh, tone of blue which is gorgeous love that uh, next up we have got your sunsets now they do say I don't know who they are, but they, the almighty they, uh, that yellow or oh, mustard and greys are going to be the colours for the season. So you might want to pop these into your basket. Beautiful sunset colours right there. Nice spice pumpkin. Uh, then your next option is your lush lagoon. Love these. Beautiful deep blue colours moving over into your uh, greens as well. So you could actually split those up and you've got the lovely sky and water blue colours, Mediterranean style. And then you've got the three greens in there if you want to do any kind of forest style colours with your projects. And then finally, the most popular, I believe, still on the show are the wild berries. £25.93, half the stock of the wild berry has gone. 444-495 is your item number for your one day special. But it's only £12.97 today 
And then another payment in a month's time is part of Flex Travaganza if you want to go for your one-day special. So you, you could double up if you want to. And if you were buying two of the same one, they would come in that um, singular cut for each. Continuous piece. So it's not a, it wouldn't be a continuous piece, or would it? I don't think it is going to be a continuous piece if you buy two of the same colour. Uh, so do bear that in mind. So that's your one-day oh, special. Fine, no. And your one-day special available at that discounted price all the way through until 6 o'clock tonight. We've got a minute and a half left of the show. Within that minute and a half left of the show, um, Hayley, just yes. tell us again why <laughs> we would go for these um, cottons and the quality that we're getting. Okay, so they're a lovely quality. They're a quilting weight cotton, which is really, really easy to work with and uh, will kind of match the weight of a lot of your quilting cottons that you will get. You've got beautiful colourways which all tone so nicely together um, that you can use them together in a project or you could use them separately and kind of pick and choose them out like we've done and picked a few out of each collection to go in our bar yellow. It's fabulous that Freedom Fabric have done the hard work for you by placing those tones together and it's amazing that we're looking at this what could be a brand new technique to you guys at home some of you have been doing the Borgello technique and we've seen those photographs do keep sending them in and we'll see how that project develops over the days so that means you've got a lot of work in between shows I have you? yes I've got a lot of work in between shows today but that's okay we, we're gonna do it we're going to do it. We like, we like to keep her busy. Uh, do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want. Do go and check out the happy hours. They will stop or they'll go at the top of the hour. We've got your seven-day savers as well. So we've got some great deals in there that you might want to add to your basket. Because with Flex Travaganza, you can divide the cost into two interest-free payments for anything over £5. So it's a great way to stock up with your softing crafts. We've got more coming up for you here on her Chanda throughout the morning and into the afternoon. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea, have some breakfast and pop back in a few moments' time. Right, Sewing Essentials Happy Hour is coming up next with our other beautiful Hayley. Pink Frog Crafts Happy Hour after that. And then we're back with Daisy Chain Designs. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. 
Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hello there, good morning. Oh, I'm looking forward to this ad because I do like a bargain and I know how you guys do as well. So never has there been the opportunity to jump onto the website and check out. That is so important. In this hour, in this hour only, some of the prices that we're bringing to you are only going to last that hour. We are also going to introduce you to some of our seven-day savers because, of course, nine o'clock in the morning, our seven-day savers an hour ago were launched. And some of them are incredibly vulnerable already. They've only been live for an hour. So if you do want to jump ahead and have a little look I do mention here we've got some kind of like charm pack size pieces of fabric 11.99 you're getting a hundred of those so if you like the look of those don't wait till we get to them to show you because we don't think that they will last that length of time details at the bottom of the screen if you're wanting to have a look now I'm on my own yo but I know I've got you guys out there and I know how you love a bargain so if you've got any ideas any suggestions or experience of the products that we're bringing to you I would love to hear from you during this hour so studio at Chanda if you'd like to get in dot com if you'd like to get in touch, yeah. It might still get to us, I don't know. Yeah, but do you still need the dot com at the end? You do, don't you? Studio at Hachanda dot com for an email. Yes, you need the dot bit, don't you? Talk about brain fog. Anyway, we digress. So, overcomplicating things. Now, the first item that we've got on your screen there, we are talking elastic. Now, we've got a couple of different options with regards to this one, because you can see we've got four reels here, but you are going to get two. Now, you're going to get either your white or your black. So, uh, you're going to get two reels of the white or two reels of the black. Now, with this one, have you just... I thought it said two on the screen. Did it not say two? Oh, I'm well, just... Can, I, can we start again? Good morning and welcome. Yeah, oh dear. It's one of those my hours, isn't it? It's going to be. We've got two options. Okay. So, you've got your reel of white or your reel of black. I don't know why I saw times two on the screen, but there you go. Anyway. Oh, times 20. And that's what it was. 
times 25 meters. So it's 19 mil wide, and just shy of two centimeters wide. But then you have got your 25 meters on there, and you've got your choice of either white or black. I do apologize, a bit of a slow starter this morning. Now you've got 23 pounds saving for this hour and this hour only. And of course, we are looking at a lovely wide elastic. Now, where are you going to be using this one? This one is absolutely perfect for making elasticated waistbands. So you've got that nice width as you've got to it there. You can also use it for wraparounds if you're making um, covers for books and things like that. Nice, kind of secure elastic. Um, I know a lot of people are making masks at the moment. Technically, it tends to be a thinner um, elastic because it's going to go around your ear. But you could actually use this if you're kind of adapting your style of mask for your own personal preference and you'd rather have one kind of coming around the back of your head, then you could do that quite easily if you wanted to. So choices of, or of course you can go for both of them. Um, if you are going for both of them, they're on the same item number, so no additional post and packing. But you're looking at £11.99, brilliant value for money. And one of those ones that's definitely worth having in your crafty pantry because it's a useful one to have for when you need it. Then you don't have to kind of think, right, okay, I need elastic for this project. I need to go and shop for it. It's going to take a week to get to me. Yada, yada, yada. We have all been there. So get some of these for your crafty pantry, one of each, and then you are not, and then covered for all eventualities, aren't you? But I mentioned about that we've got a couple of different options because we have got another set down at the front where you've got your wider elastic. Now, with this one, it's exactly the same scenario, but in 25 metres. This time you're looking at two and a half inches. It's ever so tricky to show because, of course, it just kind of spirals off the roll. This one is two and a half millimetres. Um, two and a half inches wide, should I say, 25 millimetres, as you can see there. So nice one to go for. Again, if you're looking at a waistband and you want it slightly sturdier, it's just got that extra little six mil width with regards to that one. 14.99. Again, white or black being your options. And again, they're on the same item number. So if you do want to double up, you can do. 2.94.456. Now, when I was making kind of little skirts and things for my daughter, it's one of the easiest ways of actually putting an elasticated waistband on something. And fabrics like this these would be brilliant for little kind of elasticated waist shorts or skirts really quick and easy projects and we have got so many gorgeous fabrics for you to choose from with here and really cute fabrics as well You've got all sorts. You've got your little sheep down here. You've kind of got your retro style. You've got elephants. You've kind of got seaside themes. So something for every opportunity. And you're looking at a half meter piece with regards to these. Choosing any two of them, um, and you're paying just fifteen pounds and forty nine p. And they are fabulous. I don't know which one to open first. I kind of like this grayscale one at the top here. Love this kind of uh, print that you're getting with it. Well, any of these, to be honest. You've just got some really, really nice designs. And I love kind of weight of fabric as well cotton fabric so if you are wanting to use it in your, in your quilting then you could do that quite easy but talking about the elastic a few moments ago this is what, how I would make one of those little tiny skirts I just take the salvages are you listening uh, Mr Webster who's our director taking notes because uh, of course he's, he's kind of getting introduced at sewing um, you don't even really need to trim off the salvage if you don't want to you just need to make sure that when you are stitching that your seam allowance is wider than the, um, the kind of uh, salvage that you've got there but if you did want to trim it down you could do so you're going to put those right sides together like so in fact what you could do is even run your elastic along it before you even do that seam and then all you're doing is you're getting a piece of elastic to fit the waist of whoever you're making it for and then you just stretch it so as it goes the full length now it might be easier if you are a complete novice to keep your fabric flat actually because your elastic would be flat as well and then just get your elastic and then the waist measurement that you've got you pin it at one half sorry one end at one side one end at the other and then you find the halfway point which would sit at your halfway point of your fabric and then divide it up again so you've got your quarters and then you should find that it's nice and evenly spaced you will need to stretch the elastic and use a little kind of um, a stretch stitch which is kind of like a, a narrow zigzag Pretty much every machine will have those and then you are stitching your elastic to that and that will make your waistband so that will mean that that will gather up beautifully and I think would make a cute very cute little skirt there maybe for the summer as you can see but of course beautiful fabrics throughout loads of ways you can work with these so if you're not into your dressmaking and you're wanting to do something like a, I don't know a book cover or a quilt or what, any project to be honest little bags I mean we had the lovely um, daisy uh, chain designs ladies um, on earlier on 
along with some amazing patterns. They're going to be back again at 11 o'clock with some lovely patterns, and these would work beautifully. They've got some fabulous bag patterns that would be amazing with these, especially the hexagon pattern. So if you fancy getting hold of these, £15.49, and pence, you can choose any two. Could be two repeats of the same if you're wanting to, or you might want to go for some that complement each other. These two together, I think, would be brilliant, because you're kind of the reversible um, hexagon bag that we had up at um, 7 o'clock this morning. Those would work well together. Or maybe you're going to go for two seaside themes. So down at the side here, you kind of got your beach houses, or it could be that you're going uh, for a couple of your options of your little sheep, because you've got those coming together there as well. So, of course, it's entirely up to you, but they all work beautifully well together. So, if you fancy getting hold of any of them, the details are there. 581367. Now, we've got some fabulous books that would be perfect to go alongside these because you've got loads of different projects. Now, the first project um, book kind of duo that we've got, you've got obviously one that's going to help you create your own masks. Of course, many of us are doing that. Variety of different stars because comfort is the key thing, isn't it, with your masks? So, you've got different stars there for adults as well as children. And the second one that you've got is your Half Yard Heaven book by Debbie Shaw and this is a nice one potentially to use with those half metre fabrics that you've got down at the bottom so uh, yeah nice combo those that you've got on the screen are your fabric alongside your books many of you will know the old story that when I was at school learning to sew I was absolutely rubbish and I learnt from books and magazines so I can't emphasize how amazing books can be for teaching yourself to sew and at your own pace as well. And of course, at the moment, classes and workshops, something a little bit tricky. So here you go, showing you how you could create your little masks if you wanted to, a variety of different styles. As I say, if you wanted to make them comfortable. Love this little idea as well. If you are encouraging children um, to wear uh, their face coverings as well. There you go, look at that. Who wouldn't want to walk around looking like a little panda, eh? And I love this one, little Easter theme one, as you can see potentially as well. Lovely ideas. And don't forget, these ideas and these templates will transfer over onto little purses and things like that. You don't necessarily have to use them in the mask scenario. But of course, if you're wanting your contour mask on your larger scale, scale there, and of course, all your designs within there. Half Yard Heaven, this is one that I do actually own myself, and it's a brilliant book because it does exactly what it says on the label there. It gives you loads of projects that you're going to be able to create using half a yard of fabric. Um, so in here you've got all sorts of bags and little pockets, little aprons, all sorts of different gadgets and gizmo holders and um, placemats as you can see there. Lots and lots of different ideas. So as I say, that's a nice one to work with alongside your half yards of fabrics that we're bringing to you during this hour as well. So again, brilliant idea. And again, with this hour, you might be adding more than one item into your basket. In fact, even if you're only going for one item, you can spread the cost because we are looking at flex extravaganza. So it means as long as you're spending a fiver or more, then you can spread your payment over two payments. Post and packing just goes onto your first payment. You just need to bear that in mind. Now, what's better than a book duo? A book trio, and that's what we've got here. Three books, very, very useful books these are. Now, these are ones that you're going to be able to refer to time and time again. And again, one of the books that um, I invested in when I started sewing, I used to call it my sewing um, Bible because it literally had everything that I needed to know, whether it was a straight seam that I needed to do, whether it was a blind hem, whether it was a French seam, it had loads of information in, and that's what you've got here. Now, you've got a variety of different kind of scenarios. So your sewing machine at library, in fact, it says there, accessory Bible. Let's bring this one up and have a little look at this one. Wendy Gardner, a name that many of us know within the, the sewing industry, very knowledgeable with regards to sewing, um, helping with the, the kind of construction of this book. But you can see here you've got loads of information. So you might have a sewing machine that you've inherited or you might not even have um, a manual with it. It will help you identify and also show you how can you, you can use your different feet, as well as speciality feet, things like your walking feet, stitch in the ditch, ones that we regularly mention here at Achanda, but maybe kind of a little bit gobbledygook, which let's face it, until you know the information, everything's gobbledygook, isn't it? Um, so working your way through, some of the essentials to look out for when you are considering a sewing machine as well, very uh, useful, how to get yourself organised with all your sewing tools, different types of fabrics that you're going to be working with, there and then you're looking at different feet now i would suggest if you do invest in this one just treat yourself maybe if you've gone for those um fabrics that we were talking about at the top of the hour the, the, the seven day savers they would be perfect opportunities for you to just use small pieces of fabric to practice and almost build yourself up your own 
actual library of blind hem stitch and how that looks and how a straight stitch goes and how you're using all these different feet so you can kind of go back and refer to it over time there are loads and loads of feet there um, how to do your own bias tape all sorts of wonderful things featuring that that is a really useful book I like the look of that one certainly recommend it if you are thinking about getting a sewing machine that's just one third of those books the other ones we might have a little look at a little bit later on over lockers can be a bit of a nemesis for a lot of people myself included but um, this is one that is a really nice one there so it helps you when you see the complete guide to surging that is kind of the American phrase with regards to overlocking. So they both need the same. But um, again, they're showing you that overlockers aren't just for neatening the edges of your fabric. Sometimes they are very underused, a very useful book to have. And then, of course, you've got your middle one in there, which is your sewing machine guide there. And I think with that one, you've got some projects that may be utilising those feet that you've learnt about, your overlocker, how you've learnt about it as well, and bringing them all together with some wonderful little projects, like the free mo uh, motion work in there. 25 projects in there. Brilliant value especially when you're getting all three of them for less than 30 pounds 29 pounds and 97 pence four five zero one one nine that is a really nice book that set of three as well so uh, yeah if you fancy getting hold of those now talking about overlockers of course when you're looking at your thread it tends to come on a cone so that's what we've got here perfect opportunity for you to stock up on these you can use them on a traditional sewing machine as well, but they are kind of a, a thread that um, is, is kind of put together with overlockers in mind. So sometimes they can be a little bit fluffy um, to go through your needle if you are looking at a traditional sewing machine. Now you are going to get um, your cones, so you're going to get four cones. Now I know... I know it's early, but even I know that is only three on the top there. You are actually going to get an additional black cone, so don't worry, you will end up with four of those. So there you go. You're going to get all three of those. On each one of those, you've got 5,000 yards, and they're good threads to have because, of course, these are the threads that are going to sit on the inside of your seams. So you don't always have to have them in the same colour as the fabric that you're working with because you're not necessarily going to see them. Um, quite often, the, the kind of the first two needles, or your two needles, should I say, those first two threads, you might have in the same colour thread as your garment. But to be honest, you can get away with just your black and white. Now, with these, £12.99 for all four of those cones, you're saving £20, and they are brilliant value for money there as well. So 287203. Now, if you find yourself sewing with a lot of lighter fabrics, then uh, maybe the um, bundle's better for you because you're getting four of the white in this one. And you can see they're £14.99 being your price. So it's a similar sort of idea with this one, but all of them being your white thread there. For your overlocker, as I say, those cones are going to last and last and last. And that's one of the things you don't necessarily want to have to keep re-threading your overlocker, so it's good to have a large spool like that sitting on it. Next one that we've got is a similar sort of situation, different item number, but this time we're looking at black thread on this one. So again, perfect if you're working with your darker um, fabrics, your darker um, kind of effects, your denims, things like that absolutely perfect um, but of course nothing stopping you going for this set of black alongside the white as well if you do find that you're going to be working with a lot of those and you think that that set of four isn't going to be enough then do double up on those you know how to do that there so if you do want to go for that please don't details on your screen for your black there 842407 but of course your foundation stitching is key as well and here we've got a lovely combination of a lovely kind of spring selection of threads here we're looking at Coates Moon so always a popular brand Coates I think is probably one of the first names that I, I knew when it came to sewing I remember um, inheriting some um, threads that were on little wooden spools with coats little kind of paper labels on the end They're fabulous to look at thread isn't much good now because as time goes on your threads will deteriorate so if you have got old threads by all means use them in your paper crafting and your, your mixed media but do be careful when it comes to sewing because it can be a case that it's not good for you, your seams this one though you're getting 10 brand new spools lovely colour as you can see they're nice sherbetty tones and 11.99 brilliant value for money lovely for your top thread lovely for your base thread and of course it says polyester and sometimes we think oh polyester it's going to make my hair stand on end and all the static and everything polyester has come on a long way since the early days of polyester and you could almost look at this and think well it looks like cotton thread but it's got a bit of a sheen to it that is the technology within polyester thread now and i re regularly use polyester thread rather than cotton thread because of course when you come to washing your projects then it's going to be perfect for keeping everything in shape Different choices for you. Vibrant now. Um, with regards to your vibrant collection, you've got those gorgeous kind of sugary tones with these ones. These ones remind me of sugar, sugared almonds. Ooh. 
Aren't they gorgeous? And they're just so vibrant, baby. Well, yeah, that is the name. That is what they're called. So if you're wanting these ones, 10 spools, you're getting two spools of each of those, 11 99 Again, you could use these on an overlocker if you're wanting to. So if you did want to double up on them, you can. But as I say, sometimes those seams on the inside of your garment, it would be a shame to actually use these threads because you're kind of spoiling um, and using more thread and more pretty thread than you really need to. But if you want to, you can. Um, 8 9 7 1 7 7. Now, if you want some bold tones, oh my goodness, look at these. These are gorgeous. This is your autumn collection. Um, and I love this one. You've got your chocolate brown there, your kind of pumpkin um, colours in there, that gorgeous green. They do look a little bit like drain pipes when you look at them like that, though, don't they? They look like they're lagged pipes or something like that, but they are actually spools of thread. Very decoratively put together, so thank you for that, Katie. I like that display. Um, if it was Katie, I don't know. I'm guessing it was, but 052823, if not, thank you, whoever you were. Oh, it was Ben. Thank you, Ben. Displayed beautifully. Um, 11 99 brilliant value for money, as you can see there. So, uh, yeah, do get hold of those. Next collection that we've got for you is a lovely set of neutrals. And these are brilliant, kind of, as I say, bread and butter um, kind of threads for any household. Because these are the sort of threads that are perfect if you're wanting to turn any project up. So if you've got a hem that's come down or you're wanting to alter a garment. Some really lovely um, autumnal tones there. Or, well, autumnal earthy tones, that's what we're calling them, aren't we? So there you go. Different shades as you go you can see there from your brilliant white going right the way through to that gorgeous chocolate, um, chocolate brown 11.99 but white thread can be a staple thread and it's one that we do regularly use especially if you are quilting you tend to find this one you'll be using it and you, you're uh, putting your backings in place as well um, and it is it just it's a standard isn't it white so 11.99 if you're wanting this one 732.254 whichever of those sets you're going for though brilliant value for money and by all means do double up on any of them so Bear in mind, they are different item numbers, though, so it might be a good idea to become a Freedom member and then you're not paying any additional postage with regards to those. But, um, yeah, do have a little look. Now, other things that we use regularly, and we regularly run out of, things like your interfacing. Now, interfacing is something that you tend to use when you are dressmaking. A little bit different to your stabiliser because interfacing is designed to actually stay within your garment. So this one is a lovely lightweight one. It's fusible, so you're going to be able to iron it to your fabric. So if you've got a lighter weight cotton-style fabric, then this is going to be lovely for you to work with. And uh, yeah, do pop it into your basket, $9.99. So you can see it's a metre and a half by three metres, so a really good size piece and a good length as well. So if you are using them in kind of facings on dresses and things like that, wonderful one to go for. We have got a slightly smaller pack. This one's slightly shy of a metre um, in, in kind of width. Three metres again though, so maybe if you are using this one, again, lightweight, so again, using it with those lighter weight fabrics. And you can see the details on your screen there again, $9.99. Now, if you're working on darker fabrics, you can get away with your white, but sometimes it's nice to have that darker um, kind of content so the white doesn't show through the weave of the fabric. And here you go, $9.99. Again, a metre and a half, three metres in length, so it really good size and again it is fusible so you can iron that one in place now we've got a charcoal version so it's not quite as dark as the one that we've just been looking at and this particular one if you're wanting it you can see there again it's 90 centimeters so slightly sh uh, narrower just shy of a meter on this one but three meters again and at 9.99 a brilliant value for money so we're at 361.928 now how do you fancy about well stuffing stuffing on a sunday sunday roast but what about toy stuffing well we can help you with that here you go two bags recycled as well which is something that we always love to hear of and this is recycled from plastic bottles so very very good way of um, kind of getting those back into circulation to something very useful 11.99 if you're wanting these as well so if you fancy getting hold of any of those goodies that i've been sharing with you they are our happy hour items so make sure you're taking advantage of them in the next 39 minutes because at the top of the hour, they will go up in price. Now, of course, on a Sunday, we do launch our brand new seven-day savers. And these are slightly different because you have a full week to take advantage of these. Well, I say a full week. Sometimes things can sell out sooner. Some things um, can sell out almost as soon as they are launched because of the popularity of them. So I'm going to run through those because you might not have had a chance to have a look at them yet. Kicking things off. 
with these and I love these. My daughter is very much getting into a crochet. She did try and do a little bit of knitting um, a few days ago but sometimes knitting you have to concentrate a little bit more. Sue earlier on in the Daisy Chain um, design show she was saying that with crochet you can kind of just kind of get on with it whereas with knitting you have to really really concentrate. So with this one lovely little kind of set you're getting two books with these loads of fun and again you've got a mixture of projects in these so it's a case of if you want to try knitting and you already know that you love crochet then you've got nothing to lose with these really. 9.99 means you are going to get um, not only the two magazines but some fabulous yarns you're also going to get your pom-pom maker knitting needles crochet hooks you might already have those so please do take the opportunity perhaps to pass on those skills and that knowledge to other people but I just have to say I've fallen in love with um, this magazine that we've got here good who doesn't love Sooty and sweep and the little Sue there making your own little bed. <laughs> Adorable. I love it. And he's official, the real McCoy. There you go. Um, all sorts of projects in there. So whether you're looking at project just to make in the evening or whether it's something that you're wanting to make over several nights, um, garments that you can be making as um, gifts for people, um, nice little projects as well, maybe to get the youngsters involved as well and learn a lot about different yarns. And oh, that's pretty, isn't it? My goodness, Aunt Catherine would love that because she's got into a crochet, hasn't she? Um, gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> and a little moon baby there as well. Lovely. Um, so yes, both of those, 9.98 and you're getting all of that yarn as well. That is brilliant value for me. And as I say, you're getting your crochet hook, your needles, everything that you need to get started. So uh, yeah, do pop one into your basket there. I'm not surprised we're busy with regards to this one because you've got all sorts of projects. Oh, I just love little dogs and this one. These are so cute, these projects. He's kind of cute as well, but there we go, we'll gloss over that. Um, so the details are on your screen there, 380 pounds pence. You're going to get both of those, as I say, with all those fabulous elements in there. Now, Quilting Cowboy. Oh, this guy is amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen him. Such a talented um, quilter, and he makes the most amazing quilts. Fabulous techniques as well. So do check him out. Um, he's got a YouTube channel and just some wonderful things. And you can see here we've got some panels. I think he teamed up with um, Hayley Smith with regards to these panels. And you can see here you've got some lovely designs. We have actually got um, one of the quilts hanging up um, behind us here. And it's got um, all the different elements that you're seeing featuring in there. So I'll just drop these down just so you can have a proper good look at it. Absolutely beautiful. You've got all your fabrics included to allow you to create your quilt top. Very clever design, and then obviously you're going to find your own fabric to sit on the back. Might be that you're using some of your fabrics from your one day special, because of course those um, those planes, those solids that we've got on the show would be absolutely perfect for that. But a really nice um, design. Now you're going to get your two pattern um, pattern booklets with this one. Now can I check because we have got a fabric panel at the front. Is that different to the actual booklets? Because I, I thought I've got a bit. Mis We're going to check on that one. So, your patterns, you've got your two booklets with these. So, you're going to create your California spring that we just looked at just a few moments ago. So, that's pattern book number one. You're also going to learn how to create a fabulous little kind of bottle bag with these. And, of course, that is all explained within here. Now, I was just, just asking a question, Kath uh, Catherine. Who's Catherine? I mean, Charlotte. I was talking about Catherine earlier on. Um, we've got some fabric at the front. Do we know if this is separate or does this come alongside the patterns? Because there's no mention of it at the moment. So... Um, so it looks like it's just the patterns with this one. Um, so uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get them, I mean 9.98 for both of those. So let's have a little look, because this is looking like I don't know where it's come from actually. Is it the bears? I don't know actually. It's just like a random piece of fabric. That's does that work with our bears? It works with the bears, doesn't it? So perhaps it's part to do with that. I don't know. I thought it was part of this. So let's have a look. Does it feature as a project? So the bears. So the fabric. Does the fabric come with it then? Just I don't know. It's a bit of a bonus if it does turn up with your pattern. But uh, as far as we were aware, it's just your pattern booklets. Um, and as you can see, yeah, you've got your bears featuring on there. Um, and uh, yeah, look at these. Absolutely brilliant projects, as you can see there. There you go, there is the quilting cowboy. 
not doing a lot of quilting there, but it's enjoying the quilt that he's lying on. Um, then, of course, you've got your little bear there, as you can see, your quilting cowboy bear. Um, and I would suggest that if you do jump across to his YouTube channel, you may well find some tuition on how these projects come together. So there you go, loads and loads of different ideas. And as I say, he makes the most incredible quilts, so do check him out. Brilliant, uh, worth having a little look at that one. So, uh, if you want any of your patterns, details are there, 628536. Um, and of course, once you've got the pattern and your fabric, you can create your bear in whatever style that you're liking. So, uh, yeah, do take advantage while you've got the chance. 628536. Now, of course, you could be using fabrics like the fabrics that we've been talking about with your pick and mixes. You might be quilting your fabrics together to create your own as well. And that's what we've got with this next seven day saver. <laughs> Kind of, I've got a feeling I can tell from Charlotte's voice what she's going to tell me. This, I, I am really, really sad because it has technically sold out. We have got, um, I've heard Charlotte trying to get some, um, get a phone call through to see if we can get any more of these. But Sunday, who'd come to work on a Sunday? I mean, let's face it. Um, so we're struggling to actually get hold of any more of these. Um, so at the moment, for the time being, we are going to have to put sold out situation with regards to these. So, um, yeah. Well done if you've got them. If they're in your basket, please check them out because I have a little bit of envy because they are beautiful fabrics. So other seven day savers. We've only touched on a few of these because if you're a card maker, then you'll want to know what we've got for you. Well, we've got all sorts. These are the seven day savers that have been launched. As you can see there, you've got just shy of a week to take advantage of these. So we have got threads as well. So if you want your black and your white threads, I know we touched on lots of beautiful colour threads during this hour. Um, you've got all sorts of little ideas. What's this one? Oh, this is nice. Little little projects oh little cards that you can be coloring it oh that's nice that is a nice little set isn't it come with the envelopes as well so uh, we're looking to and say oh that's cute love it so a um, nice little gift that one as well loads on there absolutely loads if you need your premium cardstock your watercolor cardstock your dots as you can see they're your removable dots they're always useful for actually when you're putting your cards into your plastic um, your cellophane bags if it's a removable um, a t a dot then uh, obviously they can be opened up and then closed up again and also for um, positioning things like your stencils they can be quite useful as well so there you go check out our seven day savers they're there all week potentially but some, some of them do sell out sooner rather than later so be quick with regards to those and they are included within our flex extravaganza which means you can spread the cost of those as well now what is flex extravaganza well it's running through to the 15th of uh, january so uh, here you will learn more see you in a moment it's Flick Stravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flick Stravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. So there you go. Take advantage of it as much as you like, but make sure that you do do it before the 15th of January. And as I say there, it's a perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of bargains while you've got the chance. Now we're about half, well, a little over halfway through our show. You can see you've only got 30 minutes left to take advantage of these happy hour deals. They are going to go up in price, so do get them into your basket, but more importantly, get your baskets checked out. We're very busy for some of these. Lots of you loving the magazines that we've been sharing with you as well, which are the seven day savers and the books as well are proving to be popular so anything's in your basket just keep checking those baskets out the elastic this is a brilliant deal as well it's something i was thinking about earlier on as well i i pulled out some elastic to actually work on a project i didn't realize how long i'd got the, how how old this elastic should was should i say it was only when i actually stretched it and when i stretched it it didn't bounce back because the elastic can deteriorate over time so if you've got elastic in your stash that maybe a bit like mine might be kind of 
20-ish years old, which when I actually thought about it, that's going to be how old it is, then it will lose its elasticity. So do make sure that you kind of check it out and then start again. And when you're looking at 11 .99, a very affordable way of doing it. We've got two different thermal colours obviously featuring here. You're going to choose either your white or your black. We're looking at 19 millimetres wide with regards to this one. So just shy of um, a, t um, a kind of a, where am I, just shy of two and a half centimetres? No, two centimetres, should I say, with these. Um, and you've got 25 metres on them. Now, your elastic, obviously, is perfect for loads of different situations. Closures, um, even depth. I know I talk about sewing projects, but do you know things like your sheets? You know your bottom sheets? You, that's got the elastic on, your fitted sheet on your bed. Well, it only comes with very, very skinny elastic quite often. I don't know about you, but I'll probably give you more information that you need to know about the personal life here, but sometimes you find that that bottom sheet lifts away from the mattress, doesn't it? And halfway through the night, you find yourself that you're just lying on the mattress. Well, this is a brilliant way of using elastic like this across the corner of your fitted sheet, and it keeps it in place. You can even put like little clips on this if you're wanting to, so they just clip in place and you remove them. But if you stitch them about 45 degrees across the corner of your fitted sheet, and stretch it out, uh, well, in fact, don't stretch it out because it will stretch when you actually put it on to your, your, your mattress and then you will find that that will keep those corners from popping off your mattresses any other useful tips for elastic then do share it with us obviously it's, yeah there's all sorts you can use it for isn't it you can use it make kind of little cuffs so if you've got long daft um, sleeves like i often have here at a chand a bit of elastic can mean that they, you're kind of using them um, as a kind of little sleeve sleeve bands i suppose you'd call them to keep your, your long sleeves out of the way but you can use it in loads of different ways. So if you fancy getting hold of this, which is, uh, as I say there, 19 millimetres, just shy of uh, two centimetres wide, then you've got 11.99. Decide on whether you want your white or your black, but of course, same item, but you can come in and get both of them if you want to. A little bit wider with the next elastic. This one's two and a half centimetres um, wide, so um, 25 mil. Um, you're looking at more of an inch width with regards to this one. So this one might be a nice one if you are looking at um, waistbands for adults because it's that little bit sturdy. Sometimes you might have a traditional waistband at the front and a kind of like a little bit of elastic at the back there. A little bit of elastic in a waistband is your friend, especially around this time of year when those waistbands are a little tighter than usual. Um, 1499, uh, 2974556. Um, and again, pajamas, all those kind of things, perfect. Little tip for you when you are running it through your waistband, sometimes you can find that it twists as time goes on when you're washing your garment. Run a row of stitches about halfway down, stretch the elastic out, and you'll find that it doesn't turn around, but you've still got the elasticity. That's another little elastic tip. There you go. Any more? Get them in studio at chandit.com. Now I've got a pick and mix of fabrics for you with this one. Absolutely amazing, brilliant value for money, and some beautiful fabrics. I don't think I could narrow it down to two with these. They're really, really cute. So if I was going for two, I do like I do like that kind of soft grey that we've got at the top. I'm very much into my greys at the moment. But you see, can I do a, can I do some rearranging? Because I'm going to do my personal shop a bit. Because I'm going to bring that one up there because those two are the same print, so they're going to work. Especially if you're wanting to do a quilting project together. Um, this one, we I don't think we've got a double up of this particular one, but I think those two together, those would work, wouldn't they? kind of like those around like those two together so I might kind of yeah you've got your two London ones there. I mean there you go that's by accident <laughs> and the top and bottom there as you can see there as well um where are we going Katie you going this one with that one or that one looks for both actually isn't it yeah that one oh those two oh we see yes those two together like those we're gonna put the sheets together there aren't we put those there like that should we stop there? Yeah, I think we might do. We've got some... Oh, oh, no. Hold on. That one, that one. That one there. Is that better? I think I've done it now. You can stop the clock. We've just got... We've got random elephants. But there's nothing wrong with a random elephant. And they're in little pairs, so they're kind of happy, aren't they? They do work with the numbers, actually, because you've got kind of those gorgeous kind of oranges and greys and things. So those two do work together. You could be counting elephants rather than counting sheep, couldn't you? Um, so there you go. You've got your fabulous array here. As I say, we've just had a bit of fun pa there pairing them up, but you don't have to have them in the pairs that we've been putting them in. You can entirely choose your own. And some really nice prints in there. 
nice fun prints, perfect for bags, perfect for little clothes as well. Um, they're half meter pieces, so do just bear that in mind when you are looking at garments, but you can kind of double up on those if you're wanting to and go for larger pieces. So uh, £15.49p if you fancy those. Now, books, now look at this little character. Oh, all set and all ready um, with uh, your masks. And of course, with this one, you're going to actually get the elastic included within the back cover of this particular one to create three masks straight away. Also got your half yard heaven, which is perfect if you are looking at using some of those fabrics that we've been sharing with you, or indeed if you've got leftover fabrics there. So lots of different projects featuring within that one, step by step. And of course, you've got your templates there included. So uh, yeah, use that one at your pleasure. Do like the trio that we've got down here. Now, can we have a look at, let's have a look at the overlocker um, book, because if you've got an overlocker um, or you've been thinking about getting a, an overlocker, they have got a little bit of a reputation. People do think of them being a little bit tricky to work with but they are absolutely incredible to work with once you've got used to them I think that's the key thing have a little bit of patience with yourself and you will be able to create some wonderful projects you can use them in loads of different ways so you do tend to find a lot of people who, who do dressmaking they will have um, an overlocker because it's finishing your seams instantly and if you look at any garment that you you've got you will find that on the inside of the seams they are overlocked because it stops your fabric from fraying lots of hints and tips on there all about adjusting and how to get the perfect tension on your machine and different ways that you can be working with these and changing the threads around. This is a really good tip actually to put a different spool of thread on for each of those different kind of um, uh, roots of thread going through your machine because that's a nice easy way for you to find out which one is misbehaving a little bit. Um, so yeah, loads of different ideas, how to do your simple seams there, how to actually stabilise your seams and how to actually create things that you might not realise you can do, things like your French... Um, French seams and they go flat locking as well which is nice if you're wanting to actually um, create a, a kind of a stitch that's going to sit on the surface so uh, yeah nice book that one like that one if you're thinking about getting an overlocker or maybe you've bought an overlocker as a gift that is definitely um, a little trio set and of course you've got projects there as well as your sewing machine accessory library there as well 29 pounds and 97 pence 450119 really good books all from search press incidentally who of course this is their speciality craft book so uh, yeah nice set that one so your threads your overlocker threads well we're calling them overlocker threads but of course if you don't use them for an overlocker we're not going to come around and take them back off you you can use them for whatever way you like. Now the first set is actually a set of four where you're getting two um, cones of your black and two cones of your white. So it's a nice combination. It might be that you're not using them on an overlocker, you might be using them on a traditional sewing machine. So you don't necessarily need all four of them being the same. So nice little combination set there, 12 pounds and 99 pence. And you've got 5,000 yards on each of those cones. So there's a lot of thread there. If you are wanting them for an overlocker, then you tend to have the same threads, at least on the, the first two, you upper and your lower um, looper and you've got your white here so perfect for your lighter fabrics um, and as I say you can just change out the ones that are going to go through your needles if um, you need into so uh, there you go all those fabulous different uh, threads as you can see there then you've got your black version of these so if you're wanting your back version then these ones are 14.99 again different item number as each of those set of uh, oh these ones are 12.9 see that's unusual because usually your darker threads are more expensive because there's more dye being involved with them but there you go get more you can um 842407 since when did logic come into the situation eh <laughs> so yeah whichever you're going for you've got the details there as you can see now if you want your smaller spools of thread um, if you're looking at kind of your piecing your garments you are loving this light collection I'm not surprised to be honest because you have got 10 beautiful lovely light tones perfect for the season we're getting into springtime aren't we as soon as we can get these horrible winter months out of the way um, and they're just really pretty colors to work with you may well already be starting on those projects and they've got a lovely sheen to them because they're polyester threads now don't shy away from polyester threads very durable brilliant when you're working with garments um, brilliant as I say I use them in my quilting all the time I don't pay a lot of attention to actually working with cotton threads anymore because the quality of polyester has come on so much so if you want in your coats moon threads then here you go two two three three six six but of course we've got other options for you so if you want to go a little bit more vibrant and we've got this set down here. Now this set, um, they haven't got as much sheen to them, to be honest. They've got a little kind of more matte look to them. They are still polyester and you still are getting good size spools with regards to these ones. So you've got a thousand yards on each one of these. Ten spools again, 11 dollars 
Again, brilliant value for money. 897177 if you're fancying those. But your autumnal tones, these are lovely. They're kind of warm and cosy to look at straight away. Beautiful. The chocolate brown there, absolutely gorgeous. Love these alongside each other. And of course, you've got your green, you've got your beige there, and that lovely yellow as well. 11.99, half price saving with this one as well. Good price. Well, it's good as, isn't it? Give or take a pound. And then 052823 if you want in those. Now, your earth collection. You can see more of that brown. Again, <coughs> excuse me, my little throat's gone a bit um, tricky, um, tricky yeah. Um, you've got your brown, you've got your um, more beige tones, your cream, your um, uh, ivory, I suppose you call that one, and you've got your white as well. So if you're wanting to get hold of those um, at 918174, £10.99 £10 for all 10 of those. Now, the white, while I just clear my throat, shall we just have a little bit of kind of, uh, yes, let's, let's have a little bit of ambient music while we look at these. They look so much better with music, don't they? Love it. Um, so if you fancy getting hold of these 10 spools there for just 11 99 again, a thousand yards on each one of those. So uh, 732 254. Now, these are proven to be popular, very useful items to uh, have in your stash. Um, so we were talking about dressmaking earlier on. So your fusible interfacing. Interfacing is something that you use to reinforce your fabrics. So um, they are lovely um, kind of kind of supporting your fabrics, but they're designed to stay within your fabrics. They're not going to go anywhere. Not like stabilizers with quilting or applique that you actually tear it away. So this is going to stay in your project. So you need a really good quality. This one is um, 90 centimetres by 3 metres. Looking at 9.99, very affordable. Pop those into your basket. But if you're thinking, oh, I want to go large, well, we can help you. We're going to go large with this particular piece, which is a metre and a half. Um, again, you've got your white, you've got your fusible there. Um, and again, a brilliant value of price there, as you can see. It's a metre and a half wide. Now, you've got some um, darker tones. So if you're working with darker fabrics, you might want your black. This one is um, a metre and a half wide. Again, looking at 9.99. Again, brilliant value for money. 421056. And finally, somewhere in between. This one's the Goldilocks one. It's not too dark. It's not too light. And it's, um, there you go. You can see it's charcoal. 90 centimetres wide. Um, so, uh, yeah, just shy of a metre. Oh, 99 if you fancy that one. Um, at 361928. Guess what? I'm stood back by the fabrics. And Charlotte sounds ever so happy, so I think it's good news. Now, we don't want to get overexcited because we don't have huge quantities of these. But we have got them back on extended delivery. So um, we're just looking at the 12th of um, January, which, to be honest, it's next week, isn't it, the 12th? Not too long to wait, is it? Now, these are lovely. Is it the 10th today? Is it really? So it'll be a couple of days' time then. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these are lovely. Now, I'm guessing with these... Is it going to be a case of contents will vary with these? I'm potentially guessing. We're going to say contents will vary... So, yeah, it says assorted, so we're going to assume that it may vary slightly. We'll try and keep it as close as we can to the bundle that we're looking at. But what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at fabulous fabrics. A hundred pieces. Now, these are um, kind of like five-inch squares, so really good size squares. Um, they're really good weight fabrics as well. Now, plush fabrics, this one's got a lovely kind of velvet feel to it. Um, fabrics that um, you can use in a variety of different ways because... Even though they are weightier fabrics, you can still stitch them together if you want to. So um, the technique of quilting can be used for any fabric, to be fair. Um, the quilting technique um, is when you're actually stitching the layers together and you're going through all layers. But when you're piecing, that's when you're taking your fabrics and you're stitching them together. So you could piece these quite easily, whole host of different designs. And of course, once they're pieced together, then you can use them as a larger um, piece of fabric. That's a nice one there. I love that one. Gorgeous. Ooh. Very, very nice. Also nice as well, things like this one where you've got that velvet touch to go on the back of um, things like MDF and they act as like little feet. I've got to come in at this one. This one's a bright, happy one, isn't it? That one's Katie's favourite. I'm not, I could, yeah, I can see that. Because she's kind of like that. If she was a fabric, she would be like that. Yeah, all colourful and bobbly. She would, yeah. Oh, lots of little happiness bubbles. That's our Katie. Full of them, she is. Um, and again, beautiful, gorgeous colours right the way through. So, a hundred of these swatches, different weights. Some of them are kind of, um, should I say, upholstery style weight. Some of them are, are lighter weight. That's a nice one, that pink that you've got there. 
Oh, actually, that's the underside. Look at that. Oh, a bit of plush. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting excited over a bit of plush. So, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Got the standby music, I love this. Should we have a little bit of standby music again? Just, I'm doing a lot of talking. This is, what, this is what happens when you're on your own. I get that at home as well. There you go, have a little look at these and listen to some music. I was just having a cheeky little lie down, to be honest. But uh, but there you go. Um, these, as you'd imagine, they've been very popular. Lots of you taking advantage of these. They are now limited in stock. So yes, please, 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 if they're in your basket, check your basket out. We don't have long um, for us to share these. I would say they're going to go up in price at the top of the hour because this is a happy hour price. This is actually one of our seven day savers. They've only been live on our system well, it's less than two hours, and they sold out. Managed to get some of them back, not huge quantities. So please, if you want them, be quick. Do not miss out on these. So um, I'll keep you updated with regards to those, but we have got a feeling they are going to sell out during this hour. So, um, oh, 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 they have, yeah. Technically sold out. You know what that means, folks. If they're in your basket, please do check your baskets out. Um, don't miss out on them. Nice bundle that. You'll be pleased with those. You'd also be pleased with these, actually, because these are fabulous patterns. Now, Quilting Cowboy, um, as I say, is it Dale? It is Dale. Dale Allen Rose. Rose? Rose? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so apologies. Um, but he's a brilliant designer with regards to um, quilt uh, or quilts, applique, all sorts of different things. He has got some amazing tips as well. So do check out his YouTube channel. So if you are into your sewing, he's got some really brilliant ideas of making um, life easier with your sewing and a very good way of explaining things to you as well. Now, what we've got here is a series of patterns, two patterns where you have got so well, booklets, actually. So there's more than one element within these. So we've got a few examples of how you can actually um, work with the designs that you've got in here. So you've got this lovely kind of little honeycomb quilt, a lovely little bumblebee feature on this. How sweet is that? Nice way, maybe if you're looking at using hexagons, maybe you've not stitched with hexagons and you fancy having a go, well, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to do so. Uh, and I'm looking at the back of the quilt and I'm looking at it thinking it's a, it looks a little bit like a quilt as you go kind of project. So that'd be an interesting one to look at. I like the look of that one. What else have we got in this particular bundle? Um, I'm going to learn how to create a little bottle bag, which I think is brilliant, especially if you do as a gift for somebody. If you're presenting them with a bottle of, uh, well, anything, it could be alcohol, it could be um, infused oils, it could be a uh, bubble bath, whatever you want to put in there, really. So you're going to learn how to create those. Um, and then, of course, you've got inspiration with that fabulous quilt with all the bears featuring on it. Probably spotted it in our set here as well. Um, and it's a lovely quilt where you've got, obviously, all the applique bears on there. And of course, um, you're connecting um, elements there with your sashing and your little cornerstones as well. Really, really pretty designs. And as I say, just a nice different look of how to put your quilts together. As I say here, I'll show you all sorts of different techniques. What we've got here. So this one, I was creating a little basket by the look of it. And there are loads and loads of video tutorials, so do check those out. There you go, that's a little basket that you could be creating with this one. So uh, yeah, all sorts in there and all your patterns include, including your pattern for your fabulous little teddy bear as well. It's always, a, always nice to have a teddy bear, isn't it? So £9.98 and um, 628536. Now, the magazines. We are very, very busy for the magazines. The magazines are seven days over. They are, yeah. See, I mean, t potentially, they could sell out in a similar way to how we saw the fabrics because half the stock has gone already. Should we have a delve? Should we delve into the covers? So, this particular one here... So, and the nice thing about this is they cover crochet and knitting. So you're kind of going to learn two different um, styles of um, crafting with your yarns. And the yarns are included. You've got those coming with this one. So what we're going to learn in here. Well, um, you've got all sorts. You've got, obviously, I mean, these. These are just a picture of my childhood. Sooty and sweep and little Sue there. Love the little giraffe that you've got here as well. And again, these are all projects that you're going to be able to create. You've got tuition and ideas from kind of other readers. Um, obviously, you've got your index there and you've also got your patterns now looking at some of these i think they are in english yes they are your double crochets and elements there so um nice easy for you to follow i love this ella the giraffe oh isn't she cute 
Love that. Um, maybe you're wanting to learn how to crochet, but do colour changes within your projects. I mean, that's um, kind of more advanced. And also, when you look at this particular um, kind of blanket that you've got, you've got different styles of stitching in there. So it's almost like a sampler where you are learning different stitches and different ways of forming those together. So maybe you've progressed from your granny squares and you want something that's got a little bit more challenge to it. Maybe you like your granny squares, but you fancy the idea of doing hexagons, or Jenny's going to show you how to do that with that particular project and then maybe you really do want to take up your crochet up a notch and create beautiful mandalas like that I mean that looks beautiful doesn't it again loads and loads of ideas in there and if you are concerned and this is the thing that I love because with a magazine they don't presume anything so you've got your tuition so if you are learning your basics with your crochet you can see you're going to learn that Every single issue you get, you get that in there. And also you're going to learn how to do things like your magic ring. So if you're doing things like you um, crocheting in around and creating things like your mandalas, you're going to learn how to do that. And also knitting as well. You've got your tuition with regards to your knitting there, your knit stitch, your purl stitch, casting on and off, and also how to create decorative stitches in there and your abbreviation. So that really is a comprehensive guide in just one magazine. Um, so yeah, I'm not surprised we're busy with these ones. The other one, should we have a quick look at the other magazine as well because this one we've got now we have sooty and sweep and there we've got dennis and nash they've written all, they're the wild ones weren't they sooty and sweep were very very good well not always um but i love this little one here lester the lion oh see that's a different spelling of lester but i uh, uh, <laughs> yeah uh, not janice janice would love this one wouldn't it because it's lester um anyway we digress so again, you're going to have your, um, your yarns in here. You're going to have all the different elements. Oh, look, a little doggy jumper. Oh, look. Oh, he or she certainly likes having a photo taken. Mind you, I wonder how much kind of uh, bribery has been used there. Maybe a little bit of sausage or pate or something like that. Here you go. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like a police line-up with those two there, doesn't it? <laughs> and then, of course, oh, there you go, bobble hats. You're going to get your pom-pom maker in this one as well. So, of course, you can go on and create more pom-poms as time goes on. Oh, I love these. Pip and patch. Crochet. See, again, this might be you're learning different styles of crochet, three-dimensional crochet. Oh, I like that. Oh, that looks interesting. What's this project? Candy popcorn for a different look. Oh, wow. Love it. Absolutely amazing. I like the look of that one. A bit of macrame in there as well. Sorry, I got carried away there. Selfish moment. Um, 380978, um, £9.98. They are seven-day savers. So they were launched at 8 o'clock this morning, along with our other seven-day savers. Lots of you taking advantage of those. So um, if you do want to take advantage of them, then, uh, yeah, please do so. You have technically got up until Sunday next week at 8 o'clock in the morning. But as we have learned, that isn't any guarantee. Half the stock has gone of the set there with the crochet and the knitting magazine duo and of course we have had sellouts with those swatches so uh, yeah you can understand you need to get in nice and early but of course we have been talking about some um, happy hours um, and we've been bringing you some sewing essentials our threads have been popular especially these ones here which are the gorgeous lighter tones so you have still got the opportunity to take advantage of these not got long though a little over six minutes to be precise and you can see here you've got some beautiful color tones you've got your neutral tones with your kind of your beige you've got your white in there lovely soft pink and peach lovely lilacs coming right the way through those gorgeous cooler tones over your greys and your blues there that's a lovely green now they are polyester threads but please don't be afraid of polyester threads the technology with polyester threads has come on so much so you can use these for all of your sewing requirements whether you are dressmaking whether you are quilting whether you're bag making don't worry i certainly don't and of course that polyester um, aspect in there does mean that they are a little more durable sometimes so uh, if you are washing a garment then you don't have to worry about it now I'm back with you a little bit later on for another sewing hour. I'm going to be back at 11 o'clock with Daisy Chain, with the, the, with the sewing SAS I call them, because you've got Sue and Sue, and they're both going to be back joining me with more from their fabulous designs. We had a very busy hour earlier on, so looking forward to that one. Janice is up next, so if you are a paper crafter and you're thinking, hang on a minute, we've had a lot of sewing, well next hour is the one to have. She's doing her, her lunges, her crafty lunges. She is ready and raring to go, so make sure that you stay tuned. She's here with Pink Frog crafts and some amazing savings for you so make sure you stay tuned and she might even be doing a bit of crafting herself who knows i'll see you at 11 see you later bye
she was. She was dancing around like a pink frog. She was. It's amazing. Um, Daisy Chain Designs coming up after the next hour, and then we are back with a one-day special with Hayley Smith and the Fabric Freedom Bowl Basics. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. It's Flixtravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flixtravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda.
everyone. Yes, we've got a happy hour. What does that mean? Well, of course, we're all going to be happy for an hour, aren't we? Um, but we've got some great deals for an hour, which means prices will be reduced. And then at the top of the hour, oh my word, they're going back from whence they came. So it's a good idea to start putting items into your basket right now. Have a look on the website. Go and have a look at all the items that are yet to come on the counter so you can get there before me. I know, it's great, isn't it? And because we're in the Flex Extravaganza event, you can divide the cost of anything you buy over two months' interest-free payment. So it's a good way to stock up on your crafty essentials. And the theme for the show today, the majority of the theme, is Pink Frog Crafts. Yeah, which means, of course, we're going to have Andy watching at home. So good morning to you, Andy. Hope you're well. If you've made or created anything with Pink Frog Crafts cards, we would like to see your inspirations because you can help the other guys out there with your inspirations uh, so that they can decide on whether to go for the watercolour card we've got available for you, maybe some of the pearlescent card. Why do they need red liner tape? Uh, why do we need a quickie in our lives? We've got three of those. Uh, I know. I told you it was a happy hour. Um, so, uh, where are we? Yes, sending your inspirations to help everyone out. Right, uh, shall we start here? Let's do. Super Smooth. Oh, my goodness. Now, Super Smooth card is fabulous for pretty much anything. It's it's incredible for stamping on because you get those crisp images you can also emboss on here you can use your watercolors if you want to and you can also use these with your alcohol markers now i do have um, a board or several actually uh, there is three boards actually of what you can do with your super smooth card so let me put one down i'll pick them up one at a time i know uh, right so let's take a look at all the different mediums that you can use with your super smooth card by the way this is a great deal saving eight pounds it's 13.98 brilliant deal fantastic deal because it's only seven pounds 50 today and seven pounds 50 in a month's time if you choose to spread the cost so uh you've got your embossing techniques your heat embossing which is brilliant well it's 13.98 isn't it which is 14 pounds it's not seven pound 50 at all it's seven pounds thanks for raiding me in sorry i drove all the way to work today with a warning light on my car well they do say i come with a warning Anyway, no, it's, it's true. I did have a warning light. Uh, right, so we have got die cutting. So brilliant for die cutting because you get crisp lines again. Uh, embossing, beautiful smooth embossing. And then you can use your uh, gilding wax over there and get some really cool effects. You've got your letter press. So nice letter press effect. Oh, we're going down here. Yeah, look at that. Construction. Uh, so great for making those frames, which is always handy when you put together and make and create any piece of artwork. And talking of artworks, we do have some watercolour card coming up, um, this size, which would fit perfectly into a frame like that. Uh, also doodling, beautiful for your fine micro pens, brilliant for doodling. Um, how about doing some really cool distress paper techniques, scrumpling it up and then just going over with your um, beautiful inks in there and doing kind of ombre effects or using some natural dyes like tea, for example. Uh, then you've got your embossing with a plastic stencil and ink. Mm, you could, I know. Uh, right, let's pop that down. These are very professional, these boards, by the way, aren't they? Uh, right, thank you, Hazel, for putting these together. Uh, here comes another one. I told you you could do so much. Um, if you've got distress ink and water, you can do that effectively. You wouldn't think you could because it's super smooth, but yes, you can. Uh, your distress oxides blended look fabulous. Your oxides with water as well, some really nice effects and backgrounds that you can create. Uh, using the galaxy technique. So if you get some water and you spray this on here and then you can do some faux bleaching. So if you've got some bleach water, for example, or maybe just spritzing some water on there, that will just disperse the colour to give you this galaxy effect. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, down the bottom, you can paint on it. Of course you can. Use your sprays on there as well. So you get some really nice displayed spray. Uh, you've got your brush shows, which are great. And you've also got your Distress Oxide Faux Bleaching on there. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. Let's pick this one up and have a look at what we can do. Really like the gesso effect on there. Uh, you've also got texture paste, gilding wax, stencils are a joy to use on your super smooth card. Um, stamping on there as well. Watercolour pencils look fabulous. Watercolour pens, alcohol markers and also stamping as well. 
Isn't that remarkable? All the things that you can do. And then you can do more. Because I made, I, I, made, I made that in between shows. Well, the reason why I did, I, I did a bit of, I did a bit of stamping, but I only had this colour ink to do it with. But I, I got a piece of watercolour card to show you the difference, you see. Because a lot of people think, super smooth, can I just use it for the one thing? We've shown you that you can use it for so many different techniques. And uh, using the same on your watercolour card, you can see there's a slight difference maybe just in the pen, a little bit of a tooth going on there, but really not a lot of difference. So your super smooth will run through lots and lots of different mediums for you. Um, I know, did that all by myself. Uh, 617168 is your item number. You are getting 160 sheets. My word, that's a lot of different techniques you can do there. Um, and it's 300 GSM as well. Fantastic. And it's also inkjet and laser printable as well. Perfect depending on the weight of your printer, but most of them, most of them uh, will be fine. But do go and have a look at your instructions. And if you've lost the instructions, have a look online. If you don't have access to look online, ask your neighbour. If anything, it'll be fun. Uh, right, but of course you need to be safe to go around your neighbours. So you probably can't do that at the moment. Give them a call over the fence. Yoo-hoo! Right, we've got some glue for you. So here's a question for the hour. If you could have anything stuck to you, <laughs> what would it be? Well, you know, it's something that you're very fond, something that you're very fond of. What would you have stuck to you because you couldn't do without it? Uh, to give you an idea, uh, Katie, floor manager, said, was it crisps? A bag of crisps she would have stuck to her at all times. Uh, and a never-ending bag of crisps, a, never a bottomless bag of crisps. How lovely. I used to put crisps in the freezer. I know. I did say I came with a warning. Uh, glue. But let us know. Email in. Studio at hochanda.com. 227990-ish. I know it's a strange question, but it's a Sunday. Uh, £15.99 for your Carlisle glue. Now, this is um, multi-purpose glue. All-purpose glue. Uh, so if you want to stick together two pieces of watercolour cards, you can. If you want to stick it to maybe some MDF, then you can. Uh, it works on fabric as well. And it works on glass, on ceramics, plastic. The great thing is, have one glue that does all. Don't have all these different pots of glue, because you might get your glues mixed up, you don't want to do that. Now, how this works, you can decant this if you want to, because uh, you've got a, a thousand mil in here. It can be quite heavy. Um, and if you have any dexterity issues uh, or weak wrist, for example, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually get this on to the place where you want it to put. So you could decant this into smaller bottles. You might have some of the smaller Kalau glue bottles. If not, you might have your own little bottles to decant in. Just to show you how this works. Now, if I put that there, you've got that white little nib at the top. Give it a twist and that just falls back. And that means the glue can now start to pour out. And then you give it a twist and it locks it in place. And if we take this and turn it upside down, dare we do it? Yeah, it's not going to come out. So there you go. That's how that works. You can, of course, take the top off completely and pour it that way. It's your choice. You decide. But for £15.99, that is an exceptional deal because you're saving £14. Don't stick things to yourself with this glue. It's a hypothetical question. If you could have something stuck to you, what would it be? <laughs> what would I have? What would I have? Oh, do you know what? It's a million dollar question, isn't it? It's, it is quite a difficult one. I'd have to think about that. I would probably have salad stuck to me. Yes, because I love salad. Oh, yeah, I know, I like salad, I can't help it. Uh, but if you could have something, a bit of feta cheese, says Emily, producer. A bit of feta cheese. Holly, what would you have stuck to you? Because it's, it's that saying, I stuck to it like glue, isn't it? I stuck to them like glue. Uh, a bottle of wine, says Holly. Emily wants to change hers now. You see what this is doing? Uh, your dog. I was going to say Millie as well. So maybe, maybe your dog. Stick, stick to it like glue. It's a saying, isn't it? Um, yeah, dogs do. My dog's sticking to me at the moment. Bless her. Bless her. <sighs> right, shall we move on? Let's do it. Oh, these are, this next item, oh my word, studio light. 
Um, these are lovely. These are your 12 by 12s. Uh, it's a fabulous deal because you are getting a whole variety of papers. 9 99 Can you believe you're saving £40 on this deal? There you go. Scrapbooking a breeze and a joy but not just for scrapbooking you could cut into these you could tear into these you could mix them up and you could make and oh my goodness we're half the stock gone let's have a look it'd be best to have a look at what you can get so let's have a look at some of these images uh images and some of them come imagery images there's another word for the dictionary i know we've delayed the the outing of the dictionary uh right this should come with a warning by the beach isn't that lovely look at that you could pretend, you could cut out a picture of yourself, you could draw your picture of yourself, and you could place yourself underneath that umbrella. Ah, oh, and then you could just sit there on the beach, looking out into the sea, thinking about all the things that could be stuck to you right now. Maybe sand, sun cream, ice cream. Your room key. Oh no, you always you always lose your room key. Uh, right, how about this? A map. 80% uh, of the stock has now gone. This is fabulous, isn't it? So we have got the Pacific Ocean. Oh no, the Adrian Sea is in there. Uh, oh, we're limited stock, everyone. Uh, you've got Istanbul, not Constantinople, in there. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> At this particular one, so you've got a little bit of extra going on on the side there. So much that you can do with these. Oh, we've sold out before. We, oh, and I didn't get a chance to show you all of them. Never mind, never mind. Technically gone, so we might have to remove that. You do get a lot. Well done. £9.99. pence. Um, let's move on because they've now gone. Let's move on to some watercolour card for you. Uh, these are A6. Now, I really like this size, and I've got some of this size, and I'll tell you for why I like it. If you are introducing yourself to watercolours, for example, sometimes having an A4 piece of card can be a little bit overwhelming because it's a space that you have to fill. This is a great way of learning about watercolours and learning different techniques. And then, with the techniques that you learn, if you put them to one side, come back to them, go and have a look again at them, and then all of a sudden they'll become works of art to you. Talking of works of art, these will also be fantastic for creating works of art, like little postcards. Uh, let me just grab one of these. Landscape or portrait? Yeah, multifunctional card. Landscape or portrait? 305 695 is the item number. It's 280 GSM, so that's a really good weight. Um, great for matting and layering. So you can put a frame around here and it would create some lovely pieces of uh, stamped artwork. Stamp on here, colour that in as well. Uh, 9.99, you're saving £10. That is a fantastic deal. And you're getting 200 sheets worked out to be per sheet it's about 4p about 4.5 pence something like that 4.9 pence 4.9.99 recurring something like that um so you could split that in half but we're not going to divide the actual paper the paper will come all at the same time but you can divide the cost into two payments of five pounds it's an absolute bargain um you can make little notebooks or uh, journals with these as well because if you put a hole there and well holes all the way going through all the way going through that's not very good English anyway um, you could create a little journal book which is really nice and it's a good size as well isn't it to make and create a journal just get a little bit of piece of string or maybe if you've got little ringlets on there as well and then you can do all your different techniques and you're now creating that little journal book you've got 200 sheets to do so fabulous deal that is uh, and it's acid and lignin free as well which is great for scrapbooking uh, so it's not going to make anything fade. 305695 is your item number. We're getting busy for that now. We are indeed. Now, we've also got some more watercolour card for you. And this is your A5 in size. So maybe you're confident with your watercolouring. Maybe you want to put together some scenes. Your A5 is a really nice size to work with. In fact, sometimes Matthew Palmer, when he comes to us here at Hochanda, he will take an A4 piece of paper, but he'll mask it off halfway. And then he'll create a wonderful image on there. Well, these are already cut for you into A5 size. You get 100 sheets, 280 GSM, 9.99. And guess what? You get 100 of these, but if you cut them in half, there would become another 200 of your A6 size if you wanted them to. A great deal. 747 
203 is your item number. If you've done anything on watercolour card, maybe you uh, are in the middle of doing a painting, something like that, send us a picture. Let's have a look. Give us some inspiration. It is studio at hochanda.com. We've got a whole hour or 45 minutes to have a look at what you're up to this morning. <laughs> have a look at your inspirations, not what you're up to. If you want to show us what you're up to, just send a picture of yourself. Might not show it because we have to get permission. And so don't do that. Don't do that. You've not signed a form. Just send a picture in of your cats or dogs. It always works. Always works. Or your artwork. Maybe your artwork, your artwork, I can't speak. Your artwork is your, is your dog or cat. Maybe it is. In fact, here's a challenge right now. We've got 45 minutes thereabouts of the show. Here's a challenge to you guys at home because we're all into crafts. It's what we love. So here's a challenge. Go and grab a piece of watercolour card. If you haven't got watercolour card, it doesn't matter. Go and grab yourself a piece of watercolour card. It doesn't matter. Um, and draw your cat or dog. Please go and do it. It doesn't matter if it's sketchy, detailed. It doesn't matter if you can draw or you can't draw. Just draw your pet. Take a picture of your pet beside your drawing and send it in. It doesn't have to be detailed or get your pet to draw you. It doesn't matter. Uh, it could just be the paw that you draw. Uh, but do it, because we'd love to see that. It'd be a, it'd be a bit of a giggle. Uh, so a picture of your pet and your pet side by side. You're crafting with us, and we get to see the results. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, right, let's move on now to your A4 watercolour card. Excellent for doing your landscape, portrait pictures. Uh, beautiful, beautiful watercolour card as well. You get 50 sheets, 280 GSM. Uh, you can also put this through your inkjet and your laser um, as well, depending, of course, on your brand. Do go and have a look, but it's 280 GSM if you need to know the weight. Um, you've also got the fat with 280. It's not too heavy. It's not too weighty, but you've still got um, the watercolour card for the water to sink into, but it's not going to go all the way through. Sometimes if you're using too much water on your watercolour card, it can bend a little bit. Don't let that worry you, because it will eventually bend back. Uh, right, 669780 is your item number, just 999, saving £10 on that particular deal. Now, I did promise you some quickies this morning. Uh, we've got three quickies, and we have got your red liner tape for you. Now, here's a tip with your red liner tape. These come in your little bags here. Keep them in the bags. Because if you take them all out, they might stick to each other because this is strong tape. And it's 9 mil in each of the packages because we know some people like to use 9 mil and that's it. They have no call for the smaller mil. So this is a great deal to get three of the 9 mil, 30 metres on each, that's 90 metres in total, and three of the quickie glue pens. Now, why do we like these? Let's pick this up. First of all, I like the design of it. Nice twist top so it's easy to get off. Now... Let me just pop that. Can I pop that back? I don't know whether I can, I've not got my glasses on. I don't need to get it back on, but let me just pop that there. And that will be on the end of your quickie glue pen. You need to take that off. That's just protecting it. And then you can discard that. We don't need that or use it in a crafty project. Then you'll see that it's clear. It's see-through. So not only can you see when you're running out and then get your other one out, but it's blue. It goes on blue so you can see where it's going. It is a roller point pen as well so it's easy to put onto your super smooth or your watercolor card and then it dries clear so great for your precision die cuts great for adding glitter great for adding um your foil <coughs> excuse me so it's fantastic all round glue three quickies and your red liner tape 669 528 your item number saving five pounds on that deal it's essential your red liner can be used for your construction remember the frames hold hold there hold your horses there you go and if you don't have any horses then just i don't know hold um great for doing construction like this red liner tape also good if you have to wrap presents remember at christmas time when all that tape was getting everywhere if you use your double lining red liner tape it will remain hidden i know it's a great idea it's a great idea so red liner tape fantastic for construction fantastic for matting and layering great deal wonderful price but only for this hour and this hour only. Right, let's talk pearlescent now. Let's talk about insert paper. What's insert paper? Well, if I take a peek to this, I think I might have a couple there. Yes, I have. 
Um, it's 120 GSM, so it's lightweight, but it's also malleable as well, as you'll see. You've got that lovely shimmer on here, ice gold, ice, ice baby. Uh, and you've got that on both sides as well. So when you do fold this and pop that on the inside of your cars, what a beautiful, beautiful inlay that will be. Um, it's gorgeous, it really is. Hopefully, with the bright lights in the studio, you can see the shimmer. I don't know whether it's best to pull it back. If I bend it in half, you would get the shimmer that way. There you go. Shimmer, shimmer. Shimmer me timbers. 446374 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 pence. 300 sheets. Oh, my word. That is absolutely gorgeous. The light reflecting on this is beautiful. Now, 1499 divided by 300. Well, divide by 100 is what? 14 pence. Divide that then by three. So it's going to be 6p. 6p, 5p a sheet doing a bit of math this morning from my head from my proper head i'm doing proper mathematics proper proper mathematics in it proper math math they call it math isn't it math it's not maths it's math math class rather than maths class it's very american is it math i'm going to take math remember do you remember double math at school Oh, and then we had check, and then to add insult, we had to do it on check paper, like put a number in a box, like one plus one. One goes in one box, then the plus in the next box. Why did we have to have boxes? Why couldn't we just write it down? Oh yeah, graphs. I like that, I like, I like colouring in, doing the graphs, that was cool. But I nearly said, I nearly said <laughs> something to do with, Aquatics, but it wasn't. It was not mathematics. Algebra. It's nothing to do with aquatics, is it? Oh, I was really bad at aquatics at school. Algebra. What was that all about? If Well, listen, if somebody explained algebra to me properly, I would have understood it. But no one ever did. They just put a load of things on the wall, like Y and X equals B over Y over, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't make, they didn't, tell me about it properly anyway this isn't about me is it and it's not about math the one day special is about me but not this show but not this show it's about pink frog crafts i can never say that together pink frog craft that's what it's about but it says pink frog crafts on the screen and that's what the show entails today because we have got more card for you let's move on let's move on uh right a big shout out to Andrew this morning. Nice Sunday morning. What are you up to this morning, Andrew? What are you up to? Uh, right, have we had any pictures in yet of people's sketches of their pets? Oh, do play along. Do play along. Um, now, we are getting an awful lot in this bundle. We really are. We are saving a huge amount, saving £21. And we get a huge amount of card. We've got rainbow, mirror, white, black and watercolour card for you. This is astonishing. I think this is... Fabulous. You get approximately 125 sheets of the rainbow. Now, what I love about the rainbow is you can see all the colours of the rainbow in there. But look at that when you bend it. It's amazing. How does it do that? How does it know to do that, to split itself into all of those colours? I find that fascinating. So if you're making anything um, cylindrical, 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 shape. Cylindrical, 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 cilantro, cilantro, no. Anyway, um, there you go. It's not very good. <laughs> that is not, that is so, not. do you know what? It would be better, actually, actually, it would be better if you, no, if you folded it like a board courty, no, no, sorry, constant, constant. <laughs> Const not, not Ford Cortina or Constantina. Oh, it's, I'll make myself laugh, sorry. Uh, look, see, if you fold it, you can start to make your construction, you can start to make your frames, and when it's in a frame, you see that? If I turn that that way, you can see that great reflection. Anyway, that's your mirror card. That's your mirror card. I'm going to have to put another one on the top now. I just wanted to show you the reflection of the colour when you fold it. Next one is super smooth, and we saw... 
all the different mediums you can put on there and you get approximately 160 different sheets my word that is marvelous value for money and then we've got your black card it's true black because andrew forgive me it's black to the core and that's really important because if you're die cutting with this you don't have to get any black ink onto the car to finish off your projects you get 180 well 179 now no you don't you get 180 sheets approximately in that particular package and then you've got your watercolor card approximately 140 so 605 sheets all together approximately 29 pounds and 97 pence and that is an amazing value for money uh that works out to be well it's 29 pence if it is 100 then divide 29 into six 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 to 36 five six five pence a sheet is it what is cracking off with me this morning what is cracking off with me this morning good old lester terminology there i, can't, I just can't believe i've done all that mathematics let's see a picture has been making uh, cancer stitches. What? Oh, cancer stitches. I do beg your pardon. I thought it was something to do with a star sign. I thought it was star signs. Oh, cancer stitches. Uh, she's doing a stitch a day and she's practicing every day. Um, but I think that is fabulous, a cancer stitch. Is that like a running stitch or is it a stitch that goes up and then under and then up and then under? Oh, I think Daisy Chain are going to be doing it in the next hour. A canther stitch. A canther stitch. Amazing. Thank you, Kim. Thanks for sending in that picture. Oh, isn't that lovely? Um, and Kim likes to watch while she's stitching. Um, Ho Chanda, that is. <laughs> right, let's move on. Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's, uh, do you know what it is? It's the breakfast. It's just hit me. I had some, uh, I can't say that, I had some muesli with coconut milk. Yes. We've got some silver mirror card next. Yes, we have. Oh, this is fabulous, isn't it? Look at the shine on this. Now, I, it, it's so shiny, uh, just like a mirror. And I don't know whether, could I see, if I see if I can find Katie Floor Manager? Sometimes it's all upside down, isn't it? Because of the concave and the cave in <laughs> conk with it. Uh, if I turn it. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. Uh, probably not. That looks like me because I'm wearing blue. How bizarre. Um, it's probably the wall. I, Katie's waving. I'm re I'm re what's that looks that looks like a mouth, a smile. Oh, what's coming in now? The floor. Oh, but can you see? Look at But I tell you what I am doing. I'm showing you the how this is so reflective. Look at the different effects you can make with this. So imagine doing a collage maybe on string and having it floating around in your room and all the different lights that it's going to reflect upon as it moves gently in the wind. Imagine that. Yeah, because, you know, card isn't just for making cards out of. You could make, uh, like, collages and things and home decor. That's amazing, isn't it? Look, look at the reflection on that. Wow. I, know, I find that fascinating. Look at that. I'm cupping myself. <laughs> well, I'm, look at that. Look at, well, I am, look, I'm, there you go, cupping the card. Look at that. Is it just me that finds that fascinating? <laughs> but that shows you just how reflective that is. Amazing. And I wonder if it does it on my face as well. Probably not. Probably, oh no, don't zoom in on it. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you have to show all sides of the coin when you're paying the organ grinder. I don't know, it's a saying I've just made up. Um, any, any who's, it is 9.99 and you are getting 80 sheets. That is marvellous. I've seen mirror card. That is proper mirror card. Love that. I'm just thinking of all the different effects you could use with that. Going through your embossing folders, that would look amazing. I wonder if I've got any embossing folders anywhere and something I could cut the card in half in. 
maybe if I can find an embossing folder I might do some embossing later next up this is your rainbow mirror card now remember where we were talking about doing anything that uh, wraps around let's say if you've got if you've got an old uh, tin do bear with maybe the tin is half the size of this a4 card but all you have to do is get some of your red liner tape stick it along the back like so with your red liner tape and then if that goes round a jar, you could put all your paintbrushes in there, but look how cool that looks. It looks like you've put all different stripes going on around there, but you haven't. You've just taken, quite easily, quite simply, a piece of the mirror card, the rainbow mirror card, placed it round a jar, used the red liner tape to seal it at the back, and you've got something rather groovy to stick your paintbrushes in. I think that's a great idea. I really do. Or you could put this around a wine cooler. That would be good. Uh, 8273... Uh, 732 is your item number, 999, 300 GSM, but I'm sure you'll agree this is excellent quality. 50 sheets in total, total. Um, absolutely amazing. I love all the colours that are in there. Those rainbow colours, amazing card. And that's the quality that you're getting time and time again with your pink frog crafts. Right, moving swiftly on, the last but not least... Uh, you've got your Wedding Ivory. This is smooth card. Uh, it's beautiful. And can you see the way we've got that lovely effect? That's amazing. I bet you'd like to have it like this in your craft room, wouldn't you? Look at that. It's like a, it's like a staircase. Little, 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 little. Or uh, a wave, yeah. Crest of a wave. Little, 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 little. Or a pleated dress. Could also be a little ramp going up to the stage. Or it could be ivory flower making paper. It's 180 GSM. You get 80 sheets. That looks like more than 80 sheets to me. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to mislead anybody. Let's just... You get 80 sheets. However, if you were to multi-buy, if you were to multi-buy, you can have as many as you like and you're saving £10 on each of those items. So 9 99 getting you 80 sheets. 469106 is your item number. And uh, that price is only for this hour. At the top of the hour, the prices are going back up from whence they came. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you're paying no P and P on anything that you buy um, ever. It's a rolling monthly contract. And here's our lovely Leone to tell us some more. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Make sure you wipe the dog's feet before you come in. It's wet. I don't want it running through the house. And while you're at it, wipe your own. Sorry about that. You know what it's like when they're out there in the snow. Um, would you like to see a picture from Helen? Now, we did ask earlier on if anyone could just go and sketch their pet. Doesn't matter what standard or level at drawing you are. Doesn't matter. Um, and then go and take a picture of it next to your pet. And this is from... Helen, that's Tigger. My word, Helen, have you just done that? That is incredible. Wow, and look at Tigger's face. Look at his eyes. He is a mate. What a fabulous cat. Oh, I love that. Oh, thank you very much. That is lovely. Have we got another one? Let's have a look at another one. Oh, this is from Alison. Look at the doggy. This is Jasper. Look how proud he looks. He looks so proud. What a lovely picture. 
and Alison's daughter drew this a couple of years ago. That is absolutely marvellous. Thanks for sending that in. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, he's so lovely. His ears are all back and down. I'll give him a big kiss and a cuddle. Uh, if you've got a picture of your pet, maybe you haven't just sketched it, take a picture of it with your pet and send it in. Why are we doing this? Well, one, it's a happy hour and it's Sunday, and two, because we can, and three, because we've got lots of card for sale and paper on the show. So you might want to make your choice between watercolour cards, super smooth card, using pencils, alcohol markers, um, paints. So that's what we're asking today. So can you send in pictures of your pets, and if you don't have one, go and doodle one. It'll be fun. Doesn't matter what your standard is. It'll be fun. And send it into studio at hochanda.com. Uh, right, we've had a request. Sean wants to see the difference between the white and the ivory. The ivory is at the end of the counter. So I'll stretch my long arm out and grab that. Okay, so let me just get these together for you. I wonder if... I don't think that was the ivory card that I showed at the end. So what we will do is, uh, it's a very good point, uh, we are going to go and have a look. For, I thought it didn't look too ivory, but I didn't like to say. I didn't like to say, uh, because that is, is exactly the same. So we'll go and find that ivory card. Thank you so much for emailing in. I'm glad somebody is watching this morning, because I certainly aren't. Uh, no, I am, I am. I didn't think it looked ivory, but you know, sometimes you can, have, you can have a real pure ivory. So we'll double check that, and we'll get that sorted for you. So thank you for emailing in. But let's talk about the Super Smooth card that we've got here for you. Uh, 300 GSM, you get 160 sheets of this. And I've got some boards to show you what you can do with your super smooth uh, card. Let me just grab one of them here for you. Shall I, shall I rest it on the counter like that? Yeah, if we can get that. And it saves my arm. Okay, so uh, super smooth. One would think it would only be for stamping. It's not. This is amazing. And it's top quality. You'll see a lot of our demonstrators here at Hochanda with the paper crafts demonstrating on super smooth card. Why? Because it can do all of this. You can use your heat embossing on here. Die cutting is perfect. You've got embossing. Look at the deep. What I love about super smooth is because the fibres are so tense, not so tense, so condensed. If you have a look at the way that this is embossed, it's not, it's not moved any of the fibres. Do you know what I mean by that? So you've got those smooth, crisp lines, which then allows you to put some glossy accents in there because you've got that deep, uh, maybe putting some um, embossing uh, ink on there as well, or gilding wax will just look amazing, look amazing. So super smooth for embossing, oh my word, an absolute must. Your letterpress as well, that's using your ink and your embossing folders, and then putting that through your die cutting machines. You've also got your construction. So if you want to make frames, if you want to make boxes, it's perfect for it. Then you've got your doodling, oodles of doodles. And you know what, when you've got your micro pens, they just, they glide on here beautifully. Also your jelly roll pens. Now your distressed paper technique, you can also do that with your super smooth and we've got your embossing with a plastic stencil and ink. Um, that's just some. That's, do you want to have a look at the others? Oh my word, there's so many. There's so many. We've got the time. Remember, get those sketches of your pets in next to the pictures of your pets. And if you don't have a pet, you're thinking, well, what can I draw? Draw your husband instead and send that in. Or your wife. Now, we've got gesso. You can put that on your super smooth car, get a really good texture effect to that. Uh, you just sponge effects on here as well. You've got texture paste. Gilding wax, we mentioned that earlier. That looks brilliant on your super smooth. And this is a pure white as well. It's beautiful. Uh, moving along from there, using your stencils. I'm sure you've got many stencils at home. It's perfect. And uh, especially if you mask off the area, a bit of masking tape like that, stencil through. How effective is that? And it leaves that crisp, beautiful white box going around the edge of it. Uh, your watercolour pencils. If you like this stamp, you're thinking, oh my god, I like that. That is also from Pink Frog Crafts. And have a look on the website for that. Um, then you have your watercolour pens. That's also a Pink Frog Crafts stamp. That's of a cornflower. Interesting fact about these two, actually. That's your poppy, and the effect used on that is alcohol markers, and that's watercolour pens. Poppy, used in this country as the remembrance flower, as we all know. In France, it's the cornflower, the blue cornflower. I didn't, I didn't know that. 
I didn't know that. And we were chatting the other day, um, Hazel and myself, and yeah, it's used in, in predominantly in France for the remembrance flower. So there you go. Didn't know that. But both are found in beautiful fields, aren't they? Cornfields. So they, they depict something. Uh, stamping. Excellent for stamping. Very, very good for stamping. And... We have got a whole host of other techniques from your distress oxides, from your brushos on here. But I think what this board in particular demonstrates to you that if you're using water on your super smooth, it's absolutely fine. And you can still get those great effects. One would think super smooth, won't the water just wash off? No, you've got those effects. So super smooth is your all rounder, good egg of a card. And £13.98 gets you 160 sheets. Now, let's have a look at the reviews on the website uh, because there are a lot. Now, look at that five star after five star. It's the only super smooth card I use. You can chuck most things at it. Great quality at a saver price. Win-win. There you go. Another five star review. A lovely good quality card at a great price. Worked well with both watercolours and pro markers. Very good quality card stock. Something crafters use a lot and this is very fit for the purpose. Very fit for the purpose. I like that. Another five star reviews. Uh, smooth card, good quality. That's exactly what it does on the tin. Um, but my goodness, they are... And there's another page. Another page. Uh, this card really is great. Uh, it really is a great buy at the discounted price. It's the smoothest card I've ever used. And it's great for stamping construction. Lovely quality and would definitely buy again. Janice is a great presenter. Oh, we didn't see that bit. Can we bring it back? Oh, we can't bring it back up again. Oh, yeah, it must be somewhere else on the website. They're calling me Yanis now. Don't get confused. Yanis and I are actually the same person. We are. We truly are. You, ne you tell me when you see Yanis and myself in the same room together. Do you? No. Hayley Smith is saying no. Casey Larkham. Do you ever see me and Yanis in the same room? No, no that's Hayley Smith. There's, there's Hayley Larkham in the background. That's a really good shot of our Hayley. That's a good camera. There's our, there's our Katie in the background. There you go. There you go. Yeah, never do. Uh, right, what would you like to have glued to you? That was a question. Uh, stuck to me like glue. That's what we say. Uh, right, your Kalal glue will stick pretty much anything for you. Um, oh, was that Emily or Holly? Uh, Emily would like cash stuck to her. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. Do you know what, Emily? You look a million dollars. It looks like you've already got cash stuck all over you. You're all green and wrinkly. <laughs> You're not all green and wrinkly, I don't mean. Th those, those are the things we used to say at school. You look like a million dollars, all green and wrinkly. Your teeth are like a row of shiny dustbins. They come out at night. Right. I know. Uh, so your, oh, we were cruel as kids. Uh, your Colal glue, £15.99. Uh, you get a litre of this. So it gives you a chance to decant it if you want to. And it's easy to decant. I'll show you how. All you have to do is give it a twist and that pulls that back into the nozzle. And then that will uh, get the glue out for you. I'm not going to turn this upside down at the moment because the glue will come out. But if I twist that back, Always make sure that's twisted back, everyone. It's not going to come out, so that's going to stay nice and safe in there. That's a lot of glue, and it's going to go a long, long way for you. So take advantage of that saving of £14 and pop it into your basket, £15.99, 227990. We've got queues on the phone, so do bear with us. We will get through your calls. We've got lots of items to go through, lots of people going onto the website, actually, um, and popping items into their basket. We've got a flex extravaganza event at the moment, which means anything you buy over £5, you can divide into two interest-free monthly payments. It's really easy to set up. No credit checks. If you're on the website, in fact, just add things to your basket. And when you've got the opportunity, click on the box. You've turned it into a flexi buy and it will split the cost into two. Freedom members don't have to pay any PMP. And if you're not a freedom member, your PMP will go on your first payment. And if you want to become a freedom member, as Leonie told you earlier on, triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Right. Watercolour card. This is your A6 size. I really like this. I use this a lot for practicing. So if I've got a technique I want to practice or maybe I've got, 
I want to do a C scene and I'm not quite sure how to mix my blues and my greens to get that perfect aquatic uh, look then this is your practice card. But it's more than your practice card because I think this is a beautiful size for doing your watercolour designs on and then popping that onto the front of a card. I think that would look excellent. Um, lots of people use watercolour card as a palette, so that's a good idea for you as well. Uh, 9.99 gets you 200 sheets. That's five pence per sheet. And you know what? It's multifunctional because it's landscape, it's portrait. It's actually, it's more than that. Landscape portrait front and back that oh it gets better <clears throat> landscape portrait front and back up and down you'll never look back 305 695 your item number nine pounds and 99 pence do you know what it must have been that breakfast i had this morning i'm doing maths i'm doing poetry whatever next whatever next uh, right, next up, we've got some A5 watercolour card for you. Uh, now, if you go back to the A6, remember I was saying if you paint on your A6, it would make a great front to a card. Well, these would make a great insert for a picture with a frame around it. Perfect size, isn't it? 747203 is your item number, £19.99, and saving £10 on that deal. They're all pre-cut for you, so you don't have to take an A4 piece and cut it in half. They're all pre-cut for you. Same as before, front and back, up and down, left and right, and all the rest. Round and, oh, rat, we didn't do the round and round. So you've got landscape, portrait, front, back, up down around and round there you go side to side oh there's another one seven four seven two oh three is your item number that's your watercolor card who would have thought it could be such fun seven four seven two zero three uh then we've got the a4 in size so think about your landscapes for these think about your portraits um again portrait or landscape i mean that in in all seriousness uh because when you're using your watercolor card you can also use as matthew palmer does some low tap masking tape so if we turn this into the portrait mode, for example, you could mask off in the middle. Just do your sky, concentrate on that, then take off the masking tape and then maybe you've got a lake appearing with some trees. So if you're new to watercolours um, and you're thinking, well, that's quite a big piece for me to fill with a picture, just break it down, break it up, section it off and do it that way. Concentrate on your sky first and then do the land and the lake afterwards. Um, and always a good tip really is to get that masking tape and take it around the edge so you're creating a border, creating a frame and then there's no need to go out and buy a border or a frame to go over your artwork and also it just reduces that space a little bit. 669780 is your item number £9.99. Um, it's also, uh, you can put these through your laser ink and your um, inkjet inject injectable it, it, your print, inject printers have a look at your instructions though before you do so right we've had a picture oh look at this this is christine's little dog do we know the name of christine's little dog we don't uh, so this is christine's little dog and christine's drawn a picture of her little girl or oh boy no way that is a photograph no way no way can, can it can you Right, show, show that drawing. I'm just coming round to the monitor. You just keep looking at home because this, I can't believe this. I'm coming round. That's the photo. I'm up close to the screen. No way. You really drew that, Christine? Oh my. Oh my. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually speechless. For the first time in three years here at Hochanda, uh, they're saying it's good that I'm speechless. Oh, no, sorry, the picture's good. That is absolutely, that is incredible, Christine. Uh, I think the whole of the Hochanda audience need to give you a little round of applause for that. Um, anyone that sends in pictures, a round of applause to you. If you have just joined us, you're thinking, why is Janice standing there like a battery advert for a certain toy? Um, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> forget, what <I've> just, <laughs> forget what I've just said. Get off! Just say I'm sorry. My producer is trying to tell me something, but she's deselected me, and I can't hear her. And she's screaming at me. I wasn't. I wasn't answering her. I'm sorry. Right, red liner tape and quickies for you. Uh, quickie glue. We love this. Remember, you get your precision with the glue. Um, there you go. Comes with that little uh, nobble 
on the I'm calling it a nobble there you go okay there you go take that off and then we can start to let the glue flow um, it's got like, like your jelly roll pens it's got the roller point this is really easy to do precision gluing you know when you've got your die cut pieces um, all you have to do is pop the glue on the back it goes on blue dries clear goes on blue so you know what to do and you know where it is uh, 699 528 your item number 18 pounds and 99 pence saving five pounds on that particular deal i still can't get over that picture that christine drew any other pictures if you can get them in before the end of the show do so we'll show them it doesn't matter even if it's just an, a round circle with two dots in uh, we need pictures of your drawings and your pets thank you for everyone sending their pictures in so far uh, right we have got some beautiful beautiful ice gold insert paper for you uh, right let me just grab a piece of this can you see there it's 120 gsm so you've got that lovely flow to it if you fold that over that goes inside your cards and then you open up and you could put a sentiment maybe stamp on there or use some embossing powder that would look gorgeous wouldn't it um so you've got that lovely ice ice baby gold you can see that can't you four four six three seven four is your item number saving 24 pounds on that deal my word only 14.99 absolutely gorgeous just seeing that gold shimmer away it's fascinating uh, we've also got uh, cues on the phones but we are getting through your calls so do bear with us and get what you want before the top of the hour now this is a great collection I love this because you've got a little bit of everything haven't you well you've got a lot of everything you've got a lot of everything so you've got your mirror card you've got your super smooth you've got your black your true black and then you've got your watercolor card um, love this rainbow mirror card I think I find it fascinating um, I've just done that fold, not very well, not, not as good as Hazel. Hazel is brilliant. If you're watching Hazel, good morning. Uh, Hazel would use the school board and she knows, she knows her folding and her math. But I wanted to do this because if you are folding, making any kind of um, construction to it, for example, I just want to show you that even when you fold this, it's going to get the light. Can you see that? I mean, you'd school this perfectly. But if you're making a frame with it, can you see how it catches the light? How fantastic that's going to look. Um, it, you, it's also great for matting and layering. So let's get some of your rainbow card and get some of your true black and pop that on there. Look, you see? You can make and create some wonderful matte and layering. And even if you put your white on there or even do it in between, You've got that great mirror style card or even that way. You can sandwich it in between. Great little deal for you. Something that you could just reach out and touch and grab and start to craft with. You are getting 605 sheets approximately of this collection. 045296 is your item number. Then we've got that sensational mirror card. My word. I've seen mirror card. I'm sure you guys have seen mirror card as well. But my word. This is like... Well, what is it like? It is like, it is like an actual mirror, but I was thinking more along the lines of space travel. Mm, you know the visors that the spacemen have? Just a little bit like that. Very, very shiny. But if you see, as we're bending this, it's getting all the different colours and just holding them in there for you. So all your different projects, if you're doing any kind of construction with this, I think it's going to look fabulous because it will mirror any colour that you put it up against. So you can have a lot of fun with that, but also it's fantastic uh, for cutting down and putting into your project. 680273. Three, sorry, 237 is your item number, saving £22 on that deal, 9.99. And um, we've just got enough time to show you the rainbow. This is my favourite. This is my favourite. Along with the watercolour card, this is my favourite. Oh, along with the smooth. Actually, all my favourites, but I do, I do like this. Look at the colours in there. How does that happen? It's like a flask. How does the flask know when to be hot or when to keep things cold? I still can't get over that. Uh, £9.99 pence. 82772, no, I'll get this right in a minute. I don't think I'm all right. Hang on. 827732 is your item number. Saving £20, but only for the next six minutes because the prices of everything is going back up at um, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, where's the morning gone? Where's the morning gone, I ask you? Uh, I've only got an hour left and then it's going to be the afternoon. Uh, £9.99, great prices across the board. You can still go to the website and check out what you need. You can still take advantage of Flex Travaganza as well, where you can divide the cost of everything into two. My word, 
What a fabulous show and what great deals for you. And we've got more shows coming up for you here on Hochanda. So we'll see you guys after you've checked out your baskets after the break. Right, Daisy Chain Designs is coming up next. More soft crafts for you at 12 with your Fabric Freedom One Day Special. And then we're heading over to Rope and Roll. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi I'm Bev. Hi I'm Sam and we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Free Spirit is the home of some of the biggest names in designer quilting fabrics, like Kay Fassett, Tula Pink and William Morris, and have been proud to supply Hochanda for the last 12 months. Join us on Thursday the 14th of January at 6pm for the Free Spirit First Anniversary One Day Special. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda.
Hello there and welcome back to our seven daisy chain, seven second daisy chain design show. I said seven, I did say seven. Oh, I don't know what it is. Is, it, is there a full moon or something? Because both myself and Janice are a, a little kind of a, away with it today. But apologies, we are back here with daisy chain designs. And of course, I mentioned the sewing SAS earlier on of Sue and Sue, and we have got them both back during this hour. Um, and now, of course, we are going to have demonstrations from lovely Sue, like we saw earlier on at seven o'clock this morning, bright and early. Um, and of course, um, the other Sue is going to be chatting along the counter with me, telling you about different products that we're focusing on during this now at seven o'clock this morning we were very very busy and of course seven o'clock on um, any day is early but it was good to have everybody's company and i know lots of you have rejoined us for this hour you'll notice that the counter that we're going to be going along is a little different though because we did touch on a couple of items in the last hour but we're going to put our emphasis on them during this hour including the details that are upon your screen for your fabulous scrappy pineapple quilt now we will have to do with us in a few moments but if i can just jump ahead and show you the details of this one we have got the pattern with your Violin. Now this is a lovely style pattern where you're going to be able to learn how to create an amazing um, a little pineapple um, kind of patch that come together to make this fabulous quilt. And I know we have got lovely Sue joining us now. So uh, good morning Sue, how are you doing for the second time today? Very well, thank you Hayley. I, I have now also had my breakfast and coffee so I'm good to go now. We're fabulous, I love it. Now we had a very busy hour earlier on and I know we're looking at other things during this hour um, but um, all sorts of different projects designed by, well, the whole team really. That's right. Um, the, we've sort of, the majority of the designs today are by our lovely Sue Rhodes as she's obviously guesting and doing the um, demonstrations but I have also included some of Gail's designs in there as well. So uh, yeah, we've got a mixture of, of both but most of them today are Sue's designs which are oh. always lovely. And it's fabulous and he's a brilliant team everybody works so well together um, and I love it because earlier on we had some demonstrations from Sue and she showed us the Amish pineapple as part of the project that we were looking at but this time we've got this fabulous project which is kind of made up of scraps but using a fabulous little block that you've got with these little pineapples it, do you know what I I'm a great lover of the scraps and using up all my scrap fabric and I think most people who sew have probably got quite a large selection of scrap, scraps and just, even though you use them up all the time they never seem to dwindle do they and this is absolutely the perfect project for using up your scraps and we thought with it being a new year people often sort of want to start with lots of new projects we've all got a lot more time on our well most of us have got a lot, lot more time on our hands at the moment so in this hour I have included some projects that would probably take longer than possibly you know our normal quick bit, bits and pieces but we thought it'd be really nice to for people to get some really good projects to get their teeth into Hayley and you're absolutely right that's a fantastic scrap buster or an excuse to go and buy maybe some of the lovely fabric freedom fabrics that we saw on earlier that's a really good point now you're also going to get your violin alongside your pattern now why are you including this within the pattern Okay, we had a, a dilemma or a decision to make when we were, uh, as you know, I, I don't really like it when you have to then take a pattern and photocopy it lots of times and things like that. But there's quite a few blocks within this quilt if you want to make it, and it is done with the foundation piecing technique. So in the end, Sue and I decided that actually rather than putting 36 sheets of, of foundation paper in with the uh, pattern, we, we would include this uh, it's a, a sewing violin. So it's not an iron-on, and you actually can build your foundations onto the violin. Now, two things with that is that stays in the quilt. You don't have to spend hours picking all the papers out after you've actually completed your blocks. Um, and it also adds an, an extra layer of softness to the quilt as well. But I thought it might be really nice because a lot of people don't always want to um, machine uh, quilt. They want to sort of machine piece, I should say. They want to hand piece as well. And this is the perfect project because with Sue's uh, clever technique of uh, doing this with the uh, violin, you can actually uh, use a, a hand technique as well as a machine. Love it, absolutely love it. And as you're seeing now, I mean, it's absolutely incredible when all those fabulous pieces t come together. It's almost like you're making something for nothing because as Sue said there, it's a perfect one for you to use your scraps. You don't have to worry about the fabrics all being from the same kind of colour grouping. As long as you've got your cotton fabrics all coming together, then you can see there you are making some absolutely amazing pieces. And of course, once you have the knowledge of how to create that block, then of course you can create a cushion from that if you're wanting to. Because of course the centrepiece being that fabulous little square that you're going to 
to build your design up from and you can just about see where you've got those blocks coming together to create your overall quilt but of course you can stop as few or as many of those have them just as a one center piece of a, uh, maybe a cushion cover if you're wanting to or of course make them into a table or a bed runner so if you fancy learning how to create you're going to need the pattern aren't you well the pattern itself has got some obviously all the tuition that you need oops the days I'm rearranging the counter there but you can see there you've got your pattern with all the tuition that you need included within there and of course you've got your violin which is going to help you do your piecing um, straight onto uh, the base so I love it there you go $13.99 very popular bundle and uh, lots of you taking advantage there 339333 now the next one that we've got for again you've got a pattern but you've got bonus elements with this um I love this camphor stitch. You may well have uh, experienced camphor stitch with regard to embroidery before. But this is a lovely bundle. And I love the fact that you're including the little template with this one, Sue, as well. Yes, we've never actually done a camphor project before. Um, and I know um, often uh, some of the embroiderers come on and do a camphor piece. And we thought, again, it's a bit more time consuming than a, a normal sort of, you know, quick project that we would do. But very satisfying very easy to, to do and what we did is we worked with Andy from Crafty UK who I know obviously appears on Hochanda regularly and Sue very nicely with him worked out this lovely little paisley pair uh, which is the, the name of the template uh, which you can actually see is the main template that you use to actually do your embroidery stitches. Now I will just Beautiful. say Say as well, there is some templates, um, paper templates in with the pattern as well for you to sort of draw out your uh, design. Um, but what a lovely project! So, the embroidery is done first, and Sue's going to do a lovely demonstration and describe this in much more detail than I am. Um, but we've included the template just to help you start get started. But I love that shape, Hayley, and I would actually go on and use it in applique in other projects as well because it's just a really lovely, pleasing shape. And yes, you're just showing there on the the television, I think, all the different um, embroidery ideas that you can use to fill your paisley pair with. But I've actually made this needle case with Sue, and I absolutely had the most nice time choosing my threads that I wanted. And then the camphor stitch is basically the outline stitch that goes all the way around the paisley pairs and, and actually then creates a secondary design. Isn't it clever? And so many different variations of camphor stitch and how you put them together, changing the colours out, using metallic threads. You will get loads and loads of different variations. But of course, the beauty is you learnt it using a fabulous project that's a very useful project as well. So it's kind of that you're taking that time and having something at the end of it. Uh, is that going to stay up there? It is indeed. Uh, details on your screen there, £11.49. and pence. Lots of you liking the look of this one. Over 40% of the stock has gone. Maybe it looks to count the stitch before and thought I love that idea but I don't really know how to get started well this could be the perfect project for you to start a brand new style of embroidery and of course you've got the little template there that you'll be able to use in so many different ways not just with your count for stitch project that you're going to start with so 450470 if you're wanting that now in the last hour we were looking at red work which was very very popular fabulous little um, uh, kind of a sewing um, kit type project this one is beautiful because this is on a larger scale, but of course the knowledge that you've gained by a smaller project can easily be transferred over because kind of red work is, is well, red work, isn't it? Once you know the knowledge of that, um, so then you can go on and create whatever projects you like. I love this. You're right, absolutely. And I love this uh, project. And it's a quilt we've had on before. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to put it on in January because I don't know about you, Hayley, but I started off with a lot of new resolutions in my you know, mind. I'm going to do more sewing, this, that, the other. And I thought, what a lovely way to start because it is based on the months of the year. And each of the flower wreaths are different. And Sue Rhodes, who designed it, went to an awful lot of trouble with her sister-in-law to work out what actual flowers and um plants you would find that would it be in bloom in a particular month so there's a lot of care and attention taken you've got i think in january uh snowdrops there um, and there's some other little plants that come out and then as you work your way through the year you've got all the different flowers that you would see in your garden in that year and i think that's a really lovely sentiment because you can make it obviously special and once you've got the designs um you do come with the it does, sorry it does come with a pre-printed panel for you to actually start stitching but in the pattern I do include all of the templates and what I have found um, is people have done with it it's really nice is maybe if someone's getting married 
or got a big anniversary, if it's a particular month of, you know, September, say, they can use the September wreath and maybe even work it out, out in the colours of the person, you know, the wedding colours or an anniversary. If it's a silver anniversary, you could work in lovely greys, couldn't you, and things like that. So it's just, it's a really, really practical uh, quilt. But of course, you know, she's holding up there, um, Hayley, we've had the, say, panel already pre-printed and we did it in red because 99% of people do obviously want to work it in, in the red. Um, but if you did want to work it in other um, colours, then the line is extremely fine. And it is a permanent line, so you haven't got to worry about it fading out if you can't get to it and work on it straight away. Um, but you can basically get started on, this, on your sewing and then the blocks are in there, the instructions to make and complete your quilt. I love it and it's a really good size project as you can see there. So you're going to get your panel that will allow you to create obviously all those different pieces that will become your blocks as time goes on but Sue quite rightly says there you don't have to use them in the formation of a quilt but what a fabulous project and a good size quilt as well. You're looking at 60 inches by 48 inches as I held it up there you can see it's a really good size for you to work on and at £34.99 incredible value for money. All you do need to do is to add in additional fabrics and your wadding and your backing to this one but of course those wonderful panels there you can get hold of it now if you're thinking to yourself well yeah I don't know if I actually want the panel well don't worry we have got the pattern available by itself and of course the pattern has got the template in there so as you saw there you can trace out those designs but of course that work has been done for you with the kit that we were chatting about but if you do want to go down this route just 11 pounds and 99 pence absolutely phenomenal value for money there 285 two eight three now sue it's been a pleasure working with you again thank you for popping by again during this hour to have a little chat with us thank you Heidi. it's lovely as always and we hope one day we'll be back at the studio again oh we will do it's just we don't at this stage we don't know whether it's going to be sooner rather than later but we know that it will be coming at some stage so thank you again for your time and uh, we'll catch up soon thank you Haley. bye bye now <laughs> bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. Go. so as sue goes we're going to get ourselves ready for sue's demonstration in a little while but before we do that i need to tell you about another red work project that we featured in the hour earlier um, at seven o'clock this morning just to give you a little bit of background information this one did sell out but we were fortunate to be able to secure some more stock so it is back again but on extended delivery just looking at the 20th of January with regards to this one now this is a lovely little organizer little kind of sewing kit organizer where you are going to get a panel again with the red work so we learned about those a few moments ago this one has got the gorgeous artwork so cute this one Sue herself has actually sketched this design out and you can see there mommy rabbit doing a little bit of quilting but before mommy rabbit can get any peace she has to get the baby rabbits off to sleep so there they are the little baby rabbit twins tucked up in bed there and here she comes in with a little teddy there again a little rabbit shape love it um, and again in here you've got an inside pocket so where you've got in here you've got the pocket there where you are able potentially to keep your scissors because you've got a little scissor keeper as you can see there you're going to be able to create that and you're also going to be able to create this kind of little tag that you can attach to your scissors as well if you're wanting to got a nice little pocket at the top here which is perfect for you to put your needles within their actual packets but of course if you do want to have your pre-threaded needles um, put through the felt then you can do now your fabric is going to include the panel that we've just looked at you're also going to get your additional fabric that will allow you to create your ties and your little Suffolk puffs there as you can see which is securing those in place and you've also got that gorgeous red felt which of course makes the main body of your case your organizer there now we did have a lovely demonstration at seven o'clock this morning so we're not going to see that again during this hour but you can go back on rewind so you can buy with confidence if you do fancy getting hold of this kit and you'll find this one on the website it's 14 pounds and 99 pence um 851 um 582 if you're wanting to get hold of those now of course on the website you'll be able to see all the gorgeous items that um, the daisy chain design team bring to us um and now this one it did sell out again this is another one that we saw demos at seven o'clock did sell out it is now back on extended delivery what you've got here oh it's the 20th the same date so what you've got here is you've got a series of two cushions that you can see now you're going to learn how to do your paper piecing with the lovely little kind of teardrop shapes that will make up the petals but you're also going to learn how to do a few little quilting blocks as well because those gorgeous little windmills and the stars at the bottom as well as the Amish pineapples on the top um, cushion you'll learn how to do those all with that one pattern that's amazing value of money learning all of that knowledge for just nine pounds and 99 pence 
brilliant for you to go for. Loads of reviews as well. So if you do want to check out some of those reviews before you make your purchases, by all means, please do. But with some of those items, you need to be very, very quick. I need to give you an update before we get into the demonstration as well, um, because that fabulous pineapple, the scrappy pineapple, three quarters of the stock has gone my goodness i think we're going to need to be making some phone calls in a few moments and of course this is giving you the pattern the tuition to use up your scraps and i think this is why and um, so many of you are taking advantage of this you are going to get your violin as you can see there included that will act as your base for you to stitch all your little scrappy pieces to and then you'll end up with the most incredible quilt layout absolutely beautiful so 339 333 if you fancy getting hold of that pattern um, and it's proved to be a very popular one as has the canthus stitch now i think we're going to see a demonstration with the canthus stitch when we go to sue in a few moments but please be aware as we go into the demonstration that two thirds of the stock has gone Wow. Now, within this one, you're going to get, obviously, your pattern, your instructions, your layout, and you're going to be able to create the most incredible little needle case here. And you will have your acrylic piece here that you're going to use for tracing out that design over and over again, which, of course, you can keep doing to as many times as you want to. £11.49. pence. What a bargain. 450-470 if you're wanting to get hold of that. So, we've got the instructions. We've got the template. We've kind of got the knowledge. I think we need the demonstration. Sue, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you, Hayley? I'm very well. I'm looking forward to this because I do love to learn about canvas stitch, a very traditional stitch with a lot of history. It's got a huge amount of history. I've got a fascinating book on it. And um, there are reports of canvas from the 12th century, would you believe? Wow. Um, originated in India, in East Bengal, um, of course, India was partitioned and has been divided up. So um, now that part of India um, is Bangladesh. And the Kantha, according to the author of the book I read, may have had a part to play in the establishment of uh, Bangladesh because um, folk, uh, folk art and the uh, Bengal language really uh, played part in, in the establishment of the country. So from wow. a, quite a humble quite a humble little piece of work. It's really very important. Mostly made by women, not very prized until the 20th century when it became extremely prized. So um, a lovely, lovely thing um, to, to look for. And they've got some fantastic examples uh, in the um, V&A Museum. So when you can go to museums again, you might be able to actually go and see them. So canthers, they're two layers. I'll just go through the materials that I've used. I'll just move this one out of the way a little bit. Um, I've used some uh, lovely soft denim. Um, canthers, the ultimate recycling, because uh, the people who made them in, in uh, Bangladesh make them with recycled saris. They even recycle the thread from the wow. saris to make them. Um, they're two layers, so unlike the, unlike the Western ethic of quilting, which is three layers, um, it's much warmer out there, so um, they tend to go for two layers. So I've got a, a nice cotton chambray on the top and just a layer of something underneath. It could actually have been um, a piece of old um, pillowcase oh, or okay. I've used some... Yeah, something, you can use something that you've used before, just something nice and soft. You tack them together to prepare the piece of work. And then using this lovely paisley pair, which Andy has made for us, um, you, can use, you can use that to draw out the design. The pattern Do you want gives to bring you... that just slightly yeah, lower? Yeah, I'll bring it down. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, You're ahead of me. That. I'm ahead, sorry. Um, so you can use that um, to draw out the design. You can use it um, in that direction, or you can turn it over and use it in that direction. And you can see on this piece of um, fabric underneath me, I've got some paisley pairs drawn out. Um, but they're not that visible. So um, actually, just to show how versatile that little template can be, I have started to make a cushion, which also incorporates this. Ooh. And I do talk about this in the um, 
pattern. Lovely. So now, we'll, piece... have, we'll have a quick look at that. I just need to very, very quickly. Sorry, Sue, I didn't mean to jump in there like I did. No, it's no, kind no, of, sorry. It's kind Go of ahead. important because um, the kit that we're yeah. talking about has technically sold out. Um, because of the popularity right. of this one, um, even before we even came to it, we kind of preempted it. So good news, it is on extended delivery. So we are going to carry on with the demonstration. And again, that date of the 20th of January is going to seem very familiar because that's the extended date on this one as well. So if you did miss out, don't worry, you can still get hold of it just on that slightly extended date. Sue, please carry okay. on. Thank you. Okie dokie. Um, well, underneath it, you can see that I've got a now a lovely white board. I didn't want to cut this fabric up. It's so beautiful, this pattern fabric, for a cushion. So I thought I'd put a board around it with camphor pairs, these paisley pairs on. So you can see on this one, to, I've just outlined the shape with a very simple running stitch, slightly offset, two lines of running stitch. And at the other end, I'll move it slowly on, there's <laughs> another one also outlined in running stitch, but this time the running stitch aligned, aligned up more. And then I'm just going to do a quick cosmic whirl. I love Ooh, a quick say. cosmic whirl. Yeah, so um, just because it takes quite a while to do, you can see that in the middle of this paisley pair, I've drawn a circle. I've stitched around the circle, just a running stitch, and then I've done another running stitch and, and another running stitch. You see, all more or less lined up. Now, a cosmic whirl, can you see the cosmic? Oh, yeah, you can see the cosmic whirl here. Um, it starts to, what you start to do, once you've done your two lines of running stitch lined up, you start to then move the running stitch slightly forward, and it makes this lovely effect. Can you see the effect? Yeah, it's, sort of like, it's like it's spinning. Lines coming out. Yes, it's lovely. So all I've done, I'll do one stitch just to do show you. Want, you. Do you want to, draw, want to bring it a little one. closer to yourself, yeah, Sue, and then perfect. Yeah, you don't have to bring it. You don't have to lift it. It was just the position no, on the camera that was all. Whatever's comfortable. Yeah. Whatever's come, okay, lovely, thank you. Um, so you can see, there's. I'm starting to just move the stitch forward. It's just walking forward. So I'm going to put the next stitch into there, and then I'm going to come up halfway along, using the stitch above it as a guide. And that's how you do a cosmic whirl like that eventually the the distance between the stitches underneath gets a bit too long if i turn it over you can see they they're getting longer okay so um then you just start going in the other direction which i've drawn i've drawn it all out in the pattern for people so you can see how to do a cosmic world love they're that. lovely yeah they're really really lovely i really love them now just a quick word i'll mm -hmm. just make it quick about the background of a canther. Now I'm going to hold this up so that hopefully you can see. Okay. So I'm getting, can you see, I've got sort of ridges appearing. I've done lots and lots of little running stitches on oh, my the, the little blue stitches are, right? Yes. Yeah, the little blue stitches, and I can't quite get it, I don't think, to show you. But in certain angles, you can see the ridges are sort of appear as you do it. And that's the background of a canther. It makes a lovely, ridgy pattern. It's very relaxing. I think at the moment, we all need to... Um, relax and, and not be stressed about anything and this is about the least stressful uh, sewing i can think of it's really it. easy and very effective and you can i love doing it you know sitting in front of the fire watching tv it's you don't have to change thread very often and this you it's quite creative as well so it is. um you know it's it, it's just it's mindful sewing i think it certainly because it's, is. It's slow. and sometimes we need that don't we just something that you can pick up um and do a few stitches of them and pop that down again and it's nice because when you're actually stitching with this one you can see where you've been you can see where your pattern is yeah. developing and i love this all the different styles obviously of the infills there but you'll notice around the edge here we've kind of got that ripple oh, effect and that's the little yeah. infill stitches that you were just showing us yeah, you can really see it as you're holding it up much better than me. I think so, the light is is bouncing on it better. So you can really see the, the ripple effect that you get. Um, and it's easy to achieve. You, there's no pattern for it. You just follow the, the shapes and and go for it, really. It's like a little it, echo, isn't it? Or dropping a stone into a mill pond. It is. It's lovely. It may, it, I did some work on my City and Gills and, and I did ripples um, in a midnight sea and it worked really well. It was lovely. Gorgeous. 
And of course, yeah. um, once you've created your fabric, you kind of go on and create the, the case and everything is explained yeah. in there. Because, it, of course, we're learning canvas stitch, but it's got a practical use to this project as well. So um, yeah. you just need to add in something like a little bit of felt on the inside. Yes, I've actually got a little demo here of the oh, inside. Oh, fabulous. We'll come back to you. Want to have a quick look? We'll yeah, please do. So there it is. That's the inside of it. And... Uh, it's got three, well, six pockets all together for your um, needles. I like to keep my needles in their packets so I know what needle I'm using. I'm quite picky about what needle I'm using. So to keep this keeps your needles in your packets. But the tradition of canther is that you wrap precious things with canthers. They're not so oh. much quilts. But and I think needles are pretty precious, and uh, so I think I thought it would be lovely to wrap them in their own little camphor. So um, once you've got the um, camphor finished and the inside, uh, you make these out of the felt, and uh, it's bound. So on the other side, you can see I'm starting to bind it, and the binding comes over and finishes. Wonderful. Finishes the piece. I'll put it there, there. Lovely. Move it there. So the binding comes over and finishes the piece, and there are two uh, little um, ties on the outside to finish it off. So um, it's very easy. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a quick project because it isn't, but it's very satisfying but it's and kind relaxing. Of, it's one of those ones that you almost don't want it to be a quick project because you're saving yeah. it and enjoying the whole experience. Yes, I, I, I did. I mean, when I was working on the sample, I have to say making samples isn't always my favourite things, but working on the samples for this canther, I really, really enjoyed it and remembered how much I'd loved making it in the first place. Oh, it's, so, sometimes it's nice to yeah. fall back fall back in love with something, isn't it, sometimes when you step away from it? It yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was lovely. So, that's uh, yeah, so that's, that's my canther. Wonderful. So, shall we let you get ready for your next demonstration while we do a quick recap? That would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Hayley. Lovely. We'll be back with you in a few moments then. So if you're wanting your fabulous project, do bear in mind we are now on extended delivery. We're looking at the 20th of January. And, of course, you're going to have all your tuition, all your instructions in there. And I love this. Just as Sue was chatting there, I was reading. She even includes, and this is how important things are to Sue, she's included a little bit of history there about camphor that, of course, she was sharing with us at the beginning of the demonstration. Tells you about how to make your outer, side, um, outer case. You've even got a little drawing there showing you where those stitch lines are going to go for those little pockets there and of course you are going to learn about the layout of where you're going to put those gorgeous paisleys when you pop them in place and you can see here you've got a variety of those different styles and patterns in there and of course you have got the template in here so you can trace those off as few or as many times as you like but don't forget you are also getting sorry my nose coming into shot there you are going to get your acrylic template there as well with your paisley pair as you can see there so that is something you can use to trace around but, of course, if you do want to go back to the reference sheet and you prefer to do it that way, then you can do it. It's all about options, and that, that's exactly what Daisy Chain Design do. They make sure that you've got all the options so you can find your own way of creating a fabulous project. 450470, just £11.49. So very busy hour again. It's good to have your company. Bottom of the phone, um, there you can see the phone lines. Again, we are busy during this hour, so if you can order online, it might be a way of bypassing those queues now. That fabulous scrappy quilt. 30%. Oh, no, this one. 30% of this one. I've only just told you about the extended delivery. How can we be at 30% already? Oh, my goodness. There you go. So, yeah, 30% of the stock has already gone of that extended delivery. I will keep you updated, though. Don't worry. And we'll come back to that, I'm sure, as the hour progresses. Now, we're busy for the next one as well. 20% of the stock has gone of this one, extended delivery. Um, and I'm not surprised because it's one of those things that we can't help it. We keep Any of those little scraps that we've got within our um, kind of sewing room, we keep them. We can't can't bear to part with them and it's not surprising because I mean some of those fabrics we do pay quite a pricely sum for don't we now with this one you are going to be able to take all of your scraps it doesn't matter what color they are you can put them together if you're wanting to in kind of color combinations but I kind of like the idea of just picking up any fabric and then laying it down almost in a very kind of uh, well I suppose it's an organic way of crafting is it just pulling out those fabrics see how they choose each other and then of course they all sit together absolutely beautiful when you're working with this 
design. Now I think this is something that Sue is going to be sharing with us in her next demonstration but we did touch on something very similar in the first hour this morning as well so don't forget seven o'clock this morning the ladies were both here with us again um, via um, Skype and the telephone so you can go back and hear everything and see the demonstrations just go back on Rewind. Of course really busy project this particular one because not only are you going to get your pattern and your intuition, your intuition, your tuition, <laughs> you can use your own intuition if you wanted to, um, but you are also going to get your violin which you're going to use as your base and that's something that's quite important on how you use that. Might be a new area for you to sew with so we've got Sue here and this is Sue's demonstration and I can see oh you've been busy already Sue. I have, yes, Hayley. Well, this is one of my favourite quilts and it really um, is a true scrappy quilt in that I got all my scraps ready and I really didn't look. I took them out of the bag and I made myself use them. So um, because they're only small pieces, you can get away with all sorts of things that you couldn't normally get away with uh, with a quilt. But um, I also, in the hand-stitching vein, there, it is quite possible to hand-stitch oh, this okay. um, this if you want to because it's a foundation piece uh, item and um, I just wanted to share a trick with everybody because um, you will have to transfer the pattern onto the violin some very clever people can do it on their printer but I can't but one really clever trick about transferring it as you can see the pattern is underneath and it's been uh, sellotaped down onto our board and I've sellotaped a piece of the uh, sewing violin on top with masking tape actually quite securely. Now the way to transfer this pattern rather than keep changing your ruler round and about, you do all the horizontal lines first and ah, then you do all the vertical lines. So it's much easier. So there we are. And it's ever it makes it ever so quick then. I mean I'm not doing it as accurately as I would normally. That's but you could get the tip. Picture. Yeah, I, it's a brilliant tip. I don't know where I heard it. It was on. A, uh, it was something about log cabin, I think. Okay. And then you do all these lines, and you can see all the numbers are on there, and the numbers have to be transferred onto uh, your uh, violin as well, so you okay. know what you're doing. It can seem a bit daunting that there's 29. Half of those 29 are one fabric, though. Half of them are the background fabric, which oh, is here. Enough. Yeah. Already cut into strips. And I'll just, I'll bring my scraps over to show you, but then I'll have to move them out of the way. Can you see, I've got all my scraps just cut up into strips ready. I love being and nosy and looking trim. at people's scrap fabric. There's some know. fabulous ones in there. Uh, well, I did, I have to confess, I didn't use all my scraps. I picked out my brightly coloured scraps. Ah, oh, okay. So, um, but I mean, I could have you, if I'd have got my other scraps out, I'm, I would, I put them all in a bag and, and box and just pulled them out. I do explain in the pattern how I did it. Okay. My only rule was I didn't use the same fabric twice in the block. Oh, so okay. here we are. Um, do you now, have to make it, sure, sure that you've got consistency between the type of fabrics that you're using? So would you use all cotton what? fabrics or could you incorporate other fabrics you might have in your stash? Funnily enough, you could, I, had, I do say this in the pattern, because it's a foundation pieced, piece of work, it's very forgiving for different weights of fabric. So okay. you could use, a, um, I had the idea that you could use some dress fabric or, or from uh, children's dresses. Oh, yes. Uh, pure, cotton, pure cotton is best, okay. but um, you could get away with some polycotton. I wouldn't use anything stretchy. Oh. You might struggle a bit with something stretchy, um, but otherwise, and particularly if you do use the violin as, as the foundation, it's not going to come out. So it, it holds the fabric very steady and, and very much in place. Um, now, I was just, it, there are 29 pieces in each block and it sounds a bit daunting, but you can actually start to piece two pieces at the same time. So you can, Ooh. because they're all cut into strips and ready, you can get them ready and I'm doing this one, this particular one by hand, and I'm just going to put my, uh, there, oh, I've got that a bit too high, right, I'm going to put it there. This is, I'm not going to go through the basics of foundation piecing at the moment, it, it is in the pattern. Okay. But if I'm going to stitch that, I would stitch that on, and then at this, once I've stitched that one on, I can stitch this one on, so I can have them both at the same time. 
So one so would open makes... upwards and one would open downwards when you you finish yes, them. Yes, so that one opens that way and that one's open right. that way. Okay. So then you put, you put the opposite ones on. I think it's probably clearer on the machine stitched one that I've got here. So I've got my machine stitched one ready and you can see there's the centerpiece and you can put your two first pieces opposite each other and stitch them down and here they are. Lovely. So stitch stitch Perfect. and then turn it around and do the next two now on this particular sample i've moved a little bit further on okay. and this is to show you that eventually when you come to the outer rims of the pineapple block you can have all four pieces pinned in place stitch stop stitch stop stitch stop stitch stop and then they're all ready oh look to at be this. flipped over onto that so it does although it seems a little bit you know daunting to have to to have 29, 25 pieces in, in a block, it is actually much quicker than you think because you get into a rhythm and uh, it's just the same with the hand version as well. So it's 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 going to be quicker than you think it's going to be. Because they're such small pieces, can you see, it doesn't yes. really matter if they don't match or, you know, yes. they're, they're funny. If you can use up if you've got some odd fabric and you look at it and you think, why on earth did I buy that? It's covered <laughs> in, I don't know, snowmen or something. They're such small pieces, you can use it up, you know, that you can get away with it. So um, it is a great scrap buster. And I'm guessing Sadly, that each, you're working, um, I suppose, a, a block at a time. So you're not necessarily going to yeah. be completing this quilt as a huge project. It could be a no. breakaway project from another quilt that you're working on. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, you work it on a block at a time. I think there's 35 big blocks and four smaller blocks. Um, and I've also given quite a lot of detail in the pattern about um, some ideas for quilting it. I've resisted the temptation to say quilt is desired. I've given some designs for the different areas of the quilt. I have to say I didn't quilt it. It was beautifully quilted by my long arm quilter friend, but only because I didn't have time. Um, otherwise I would have quilted it myself, but um, I do give you lots of ideas for quilting as well. So um, it is a, it's not as slow as you think it's going to be. It, it you know, it, it, it's, it's a great block to use up some scraps. I love it. And of course, all the tuition is there. Everything that Sue's explained to us, including that fabulous template that you are going to be using when you're tracing off those yeah. designs. So you can see that everything that you need is included within this particular one to get you started. You just need to add your scraps. Now I'm going to hold this up again, Sue, because I mean, this is an absolute work of art. I mean, this is something that anybody's going to treasure when they've completed it. Well, thank you. Due to the fact that I couldn't, I had to bring it over and drop it off and I haven't actually seen it while it's been quilted. So um, oh. I'm thrilled. She's done a beautiful job on it. Um, certainly has. Quilting in, yeah, yeah, it, it is a lovely quilt. I can't wait to get it back. <laughs> I'd like bet to have it on can. my bed. We get quite yes, attached sir. to our quilts, don't we? It's quite a big thing to, to pass them on to somebody else to do that long arm quilting. Well, I, I, I did post one uh, earlier on in the lockdown and it didn't arrive and it didn't arrive and I got so upset. I that bet. I, thought, <gasps> I just, I couldn't put it in the post this time. I said, no. I'm just going to have to drive over and if you want me to, I'll just throw it into your. Cabin. Just leave it and walk away. I'll, I'll just lob it over, the, lob it over the face. If you oh can, gosh, no! If you oh, I hope it. that other one does um, turn up. Oh no, it, it did turn up, but oh, I got so phew. stressed about it, I couldn't, I couldn't cope. I can imagine. Um, and now, just having a quick look at the time there. We're going to obviously come back to you for another demonstration um, in a few yeah. moments. So we're just going to do a quick recap and then come back to you. So, of course, if you do want to get hold of this one, the extended stock of this one, oh, we knew it was going to happen at some stage. Um, it's just a shame it's happened so early on in the hour. We are now looking at limited stock with regards to the extended delivery stock of this one. So if you do want to get hold of it, we are looking at the 20th of January. We're going to make some calls to see if we can get any more of these. But for the time being, if you're wanting this, you can get hold of it, but it will be dispatched on the 20th of January. It has been a very popular item. So, yeah, technically it has gone so yeah 339 333 if you want him to get hold um, of those um charlotte is just literally coming off the telephone from sue so um bear with me just a few moments oh we're okay okay and what data we're looking at this time now 
the 25th okay so a little bit longer <laughs> so not too much longer though so so uh, yeah just to give a time them time to print and cut out all the fabulous violins so yeah thankfully thank you Sue. thank you for helping us out with that one so the 25th now of january with regards to these ones just as i say um the girls will get them out to you as soon as they possibly can but obviously it's just to help them out and it's not too much longer to wait is it 13 399 at 333 if you fancy getting a hold of those but we're going to check a, a little bit more about red work with the next kit and this is something i just think it's beautiful i mean we're talking about traditional cancer stitch earlier on again red work a very very traditional type of embroidery beautifully done that and um, traditionally what you would do is you trace out you draw the design onto your fabric and then you would start your embroidery stitches well, one of those stages has been done for you because you are going to get a panel and the panel will have your design already printed onto there it's a lightweight print and you can see there it is a permanent print so don't worry about it kind of rubbing away as you're working and then obviously you're going to stitch on top of that with your red threads now what you can see there is a dotted line because these will be separated up and as you can see from the pattern there you are going to be able to create the most incredible quilt and it really is beautiful this is something that if you wanted to you could kind of put together over a year you don't have to do it all in one sitting you don't have to do it rapidly over a couple of months but what you will find that there are 12 blocks 12 lighter blocks with your red work detail on there and what these are are they're kind of the months of the year there's a lot of work gone into this one because the knowledge of um, which kind of birth flower for each of those months is included in there. I did jump ahead and have a look at January, uh, not January, July. Um, very pleased to see Freesia as one of my favourite flowers featuring there. They've got a beautiful scent to them. But what a gorgeous design. Isn't that beautiful? love it and then you've got your little cornerstones there as well and of course you can use them together as a quilt if you're wanting to or alternatively you could use them as individual panels to go in cushions and things like that um, and you have got the templates incidentally as well so it's not just about the fabric panel you have got the templates so you can trace those designs out after you have created them using that panel it's a very popular one this one again half the stock has gone 34 pounds and 99 pence is your price zero three zero nine three seven and this is something that um, Sue is going to share with us in her next demonstration. And she's all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to hand back over to Sue. This is a gorgeous quilt. Thank you, Hayley. It is one of my favourites. Um, and again, as you say, red work has a, a long history. Um, Victorian times, uh, I believe, was when it was uh, started. Um, and it's, it, it's very simple embroidery. You see, I've got one of the... Um, corner blocks here we we these are printed as well for you beautifully by Hayley and um a nice fine line to cover it's backed with soft iron-on violin and the main stitch that's used throughout the red work is um, a back stitch i'm just going to quickly demonstrate back stitch i've got uh, in my needle i've got um a two strands of embroidery thread see i'm just separating them there okay. and uh, a back stitch is simply going into the, the back of each stitch so oh, sorry drop my needle can you see that okay we can Don't pull yes, it too perfect. Hard. Thank you. if you want to work with a hoop that's absolutely fine um, you don't, and then you don't have to put the violin in place. But uh, I like the violin, and it's a very forgiving uh, technique because uh, the length of your stitches will disappear. You won't if you do some long stitches; it doesn't matter. You will have to do some short stitches to get around the curves and the smaller pieces of the of the design. But on the whole, again it's very relaxing and i'm into relaxing and mindfulness at the moment it's oh. getting me through getting well, me through it. lockdown i think yeah Definitely. a lot of us are, are kind of finding that as well and just to mention as well you, you mentioned the violin then now the violin obviously is optional so that isn't included within your bundle um, no, but obviously yeah, no. that can come from we've all got some of that in our stash yeah and it's it's very easily accessible online but make sure that you buy the iron on violin for this um, the last violin I was showing you was sewing. The iron-on violin has has a, a glue on one side, so the irons onto the fabric, as you would imagine. Just read the instructions on the selvage. Fabulous. Now, this um, quilt also has in between it um, some churn dash blocks and i just wanted to share with uh, everybody a couple of tips for doing the churn dash accurately they're very easy to make uh, in fact most of the blocks are just squares one two three four, uh, four uh, red squares and one white square but the corners are these half square triangles i'll just move it over so you can see 
that's a half square triangle and again no triangles are used in this um, you actually use squares so I'll tell you the size of the square and uh, you take a white square and a red square put them right sides together and draw a line from corner to corner of the white square okay. and then take your sewing machine if you're not very confident you can also draw a line a quarter of an inch away and use that as your stitching guide However, if you're confident with your quarter inch foot, or if, if you've got a quarter inch foot, then you can see I've stitched either side of the drawn line. And now I'm going to take my, and normally I would use my rotary cutter, but I can't actually see it at the moment. So I'm going to take my scissors and just follow clip that the two apart. Okay. Yeah, follow that straight line. And when you open it up, ah. you've got a lovely half square triangle, Clever. which makes you need, you need two of that, two of that uh, little unit to make the four half square triangles. But um, later on in the year, I'm going to be doing um, a little bit more about perfect piecing. And um, we've got a block of the month coming uh, eventually. We're having some trouble with supply of fabric at the moment. So um, which is common, to, I think, to a lot of people. Oh, yes. Um, so uh, once it comes out, I, I think um, I've written an article on about it as well, but I just wanted to have a little, a little word about perfect piecing. So you can see where I'm pointing. That's a pretty good join. That is very um, good. So is that. Thank you, Hayley. It's not bad, is it? It's not <laughs> absolutely perfect, but it's okay. And the way that I got that join was by pressing. So if I turn this over, you'll see oh, okay. that the seams are pressed not that these side seams are not pressed open they're pressed in that direction okay and then the side seams of the middle section are pressed in the other direction so is this there. when we hear that phrase about pressing to the dark side yes it, it, it is also pressing to the dark side but i think um what do they call it now nestling and wrestling the, 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 <laughs> yeah sorry that's that sounds a bit naughty, doesn't it? it is, yeah. <laughs> you can see the, they're going in opposite directions. And the reason that you would do this is when you bring them together, so right sides together, I'll try mm -hmm. not to do it too quickly. When you actually start to sew along there, you yeah. can feel, you can feel that those ah, two intersections are locked perfect. together. Me. Could you slide Locked it slightly together. towards yourself, Sue? Just so as we can see them there, yeah. perfect. You can see them kind of locking in together there. Is that better? They're That's locked lovely. together. Yeah. And then you can pin it. And I, I always pin like that yes. on the. Uh, uh, but I never sew over pins, so I would always take it out before I actually. Uh, go to it. So that's my little bit of perfect piecing for today. So that that's hopefully I'm not going. I'm not going to stitch it, but that hopefully would give. You, oh look, you can see when I turn it over, you can yes. see they are lined up really well. Yeah. So when I do my quarter inch seam along there, they're going to be lovely and accurate like the ones below them. Now the bit that I do press open is this seam, the last seam. Okay because I want to um, have that quite flat and so they are pressed open and so that gives you lovely crisp accurate points without without really stressing over it you can feel it once you get used to, to doing it opposing seams that's what it's called um, once you get used to doing it you can feel it automatically and uh, it will help you with those points in the um, in the blocks and that's nice as well because sometimes with with quilt um, quilting and I'm not a big rule person I must admit but I know sometimes yeah. little rules can help us on our way and it's nice there because yeah. you're showing that you don't have to kind of stick to the rigidity if you excuse the expression I mean, get my tongue wrapped around the word of having all of those seams pressed in exactly the same way what you need to bear no. in mind is which is the best way for the particular purpose that you're working with at the moment yeah. and you can see here exactly. that churn dash block i mean it is a beautiful block when it's put together and as you say those gorgeous corners all coming together i'm going to look forward to seeing them and learning all about perfect points uh yeah Hopefully, um, yes, it should be it should be quite interesting.
Um, and I feel a little bit of a fraud because mine aren't always perfect. But do you know what? Um, I kind of like it when they're not because the way I see it is it's giving your quilt and your project a little bit of personality. This is why I, exactly. whenever, I think when people are quilting quite often, we can be too quick to unpick things and restitch things. Yeah. And then, of course, you mm. start stretching your fabrics and you can start doing more damage. Yeah. I think just leave mm. it as it is because it's almost the way yeah. that nature was intended, which, of course, is a, exactly. a lovely thing to think and give it a very organic feel yes and I, I, I get I, I when I was teaching I mean I'm not teaching at the moment but when I was teaching people would say oh don't look at that bit don't and I say oh no don't say that because then that'll look straight at it yes, that's um, true and you know in the in the overall scheme of things it'll be absolutely lovely it's well, like you can for stitching you might so. get a few longer stitches and you know what it doesn't matter in the overall scheme of things it's going to look beautiful and you made it with love exactly and that's the most and important it's, thing it's not going to be any less cozy because your points haven't all matched up is it you're not going to have no, gaping holes isn't. in there <laughs> no, I no, love it. No. Sue, thank you so much. Now, I don't know, did you have any other demonstrations you're going to share with us? Um, or is it time for us to say goodbye? I don't know. Um, I've got one other little demonstration, Ooh. which um, I can pull over if you're We've interested. We've got about five minutes, so let me just do a quick okay. recap on this one. We'll come back to you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. We'll do that very speedy. Now, it won't take me long because you'll see it's going to go green on your screen any moment now. This particular set is now a limited stock. So if you're wanting it for immediate dispatch, you need to be quick. You are looking at a very large quilt with regards to this one, 48 inches by 60 inches. So whether you are having it portrait or landscape, it's entirely up to you. But of course, I'm just wondering if I've got it the right way around because you've got the months of the year on here. I'm hoping I've... Have I got it upside down? Oh, well, yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of the right way for me when I'm sat in bed. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of yours, then there you go. Details are on your screen there. But be quick. If you want your immediate dispatch, then you have to get it in your basket. And more importantly, check that basket out. 030937. Um, rapidly coming to the end of the hour. And I know Sue's got a very quick demonstration for us. So we're going to go straight back to Sue. So what are you up to this time, Sue? Well, I, th um, I think further on down the counter, there's there's a project called Bringing My Step, which is an applique project and table runner. And uh, I just wanted to have a word about uh, stitching blanket stitch by hand. Um, I never know where to start my blanket stitch. I always get confused. Okay. Um, but I but I've sort of worked it out now. If you always st start. Uh, right in the top corner of it. So you start actually, you don't start on the applique, you start on the background, um, and then your first stitch will create the blanket stitch that comes across. I'm sort of thinking, um, I mean, I did do a, quite a lot of this applique with um, a machine, but uh, in the, the spirit of wanting to do things slower and uh, hand stitching, I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration on a hand blanket stitch which is equally pretty and of course when you're doing hand blanket stitch i would also use a contrasting thread and again don't stress about your um the length of your stitches if you really want to be accurate you can make a little mark or put a little mark on your thumb so that you can see the length of your stitches but honestly it doesn't matter and i think that they can look really pretty um this is this applique has been uh, applied to the fabric using a bondi web so um it's a raw edge applique so it's not going to fray um, but you do need to stitch it on so um, i'm using a contrasting embroidery thread again and just uh doing a nice blanket stitch so i just thought i'd Add a plea for hand stitching. You don't. I, there's a little bit that I've done on the machine, which is also very pretty. But I, I just like the slightly wonky uh, handmade look. And don't be ashamed of it. That's what I wanted to say, really. Beautiful. Just crack on, do a bit of hand stitching. I love it, and I love the choice of fabrics you've got there. Gorgeous colour tones. Thank you. They're uh, William Morris inspired. Ah. Very, yeah, very nice. If you've got one, there's a lot of William Morris fabrics around. They're pretty, aren't they? 
Now, with regards to this one, I was just, I've actually got the table runner here. I'm just wrestling with it. So <laughs> there you go. This <laughs> is the table runner um, that you're referring to. You can see those gorgeous kind of tulip style flowers featuring there with that stitching that you've been teaching us. Got the details up on the screen. So if you are wanting to get hold of this one, you can do. Um, we've not had the opportunity to share it with you, but you have got a pattern with this one. And of course, that is going to explain to you. And again, you have got your foundation pieces there for you to do those kind of connective blocks in a similar sort of style that we saw with one of the earlier demonstrations but there you go there's your table runner with your um, printed sheet 11 pounds and 99 pence so if you're wanting to go for that one then the details are there on your screen sue thank you so much we've fitted in a lot in in this hour and i've loved it good and it's been lovely to see you Haley. oh now hopefully it won't be too long till we see you back here in the flesh but thank you for taking oh, the time and wait. trouble i know it's been a bit of a learning curve for you today hasn't it with that um, filming Yes, and I was absolutely terrified. You did like a brilliant job. Night worrying about it. But no, anyway, yes, you didn't need to. Okay. You didn't need to at all. You were absolutely fabulous, though. So thank you. And I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Lots of hugs. Yes, and same to you as well. So, yes, what amazing demonstrations. I mean, she knows the stuff, doesn't she, Sue? And I love it because it's not just about the sewing. She knows the story behind it. She knows the history behind it. And she includes that in the, the instructions as well. So it's something very special to um, to our lovely Sue. Now, we've been very busy during this half. Now, the quilt that we were looking at with the panel, with all those months of the year with the different flowers, it has sold out. So thank you to everybody that placed your order for that one with immediate dispatch we have got it on extended delivery and we're looking at the 20th of January with regards to this one so if you do want to get hold of yours you still do have time and of course the beauty is with this one you are going to get the panel to create all of those fabulous floral content pieces but you're also going to get the printed pieces there as well and this is nice because I know many of you will be tracing out different elements and making your own little projects to work alongside it now it's been a busy busy hour it's the second hour that we've shared with Daisy Chain Designs today so I do urge you to go back and watch the first show as well seven o'clock we had other demonstrations other products but they are still available during this hour so if you've seen something that we've not had a chance to demonstrate stands a chance that if you go back and watch the seven o'clock show this uh, this morning you will see them featured and if you are still watching sue and sue the sas of uh, daisy craft designs and um, daisy chain design should i say then thank you so much for joining us and lots of love to gail sat at home as well so uh, yeah do check out your baskets even if they're on extended delivery get them now So it's coming up to 12 o'clock, so it's an hour that we are going to send it with our one-day special. You need to be quick, then I'm back with Rope and Roll. I'm looking forward to that one for an hour with Craft Yourself Silly. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On each hand of shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche.
Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board, um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy Shows on Hochanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. A very good afternoon to you. Da, 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 da. Can't help it, just got to do it. Start spreading the news. The one day special is here today, but only until six o'clock. That's when prices are going back up. We have got a marvellous collection of fabrics, quilting cotton, and we've got a marvellous guest as well. We've got our Hayley Smith with us. Hello, Hayley. Still pinning. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> pinning. <laughs> and why are you pinning, Hayley? Because we are effectively real-time quilting here, um, because we started making a Bargello quilt uh, last night, and we're kind of taking you through step-by-step step of how to put that together. So I'm just trying to get a few more bits to put on so you can see how it's starting to look. Now, I've never heard of a Bargello quilt, but they are absolutely amazing. We did have a photograph sent in last night. We used it on the earlier show. Uh, we'll see if we can find that. Um, it's incredible. Well, we and when you see the picture of the quilt, you'll think, oh, my goodness, how did they do that? But Hayley is taking us through step by step how we make and create that effect. And you know something? It's easier than you think. Yes, there's a bit of time in there to produce it but it's easier than you think and we've got the right fabrics to do that because all of the one day special fabrics we've got available for you not only are they quilting cotton of course you can use them for other projects as well but they are toned beautifully to work well with one another now let's start off with the very first color i think 50 percent of the stock has gone of this one uh color wise this is your uh, this is the candy pink the candy pink that's it the candy pink so you can see good job one of us is paying attention well it, yes i know i know <laughs> it's uh, not pink. usually me either is it pink <laughs> is one of my favorite colors because of her chandra of course but also because you've got your different hues in there so you've got some lovely strawberry and raspberry tones in there and you've got your lighter vanilla as well so this could be your strawberries and cream 25 pounds and 90 I know, it's good, isn't it? £25.93, you're saving £15. Uh, so those are your 
candy pink hues. Let's go on to your nice neutrals. We couldn't find any horrible neutrals, so we thought we'd bring some nice neutrals to you. Um, and they are, you know, some people think, oh, neutrals, really? Think of neutrals. Uh, maybe think of some landscape scenes. You can use this fabric for building scenes. Lots of people are using fabric now instead of paints to build and create. So they're taking their crafts and crossing them over to soft crafts. But also I think these are a, a good staple to have in your fabric diet as well. So we've got some lovely browns in there going through to some vanilla colours and some yellow and cream. £25.93. Next up love this this is your spring hues um this is approaching half the stock gone now what i like about this is we've gone from the blues the light blues like the sky blue for example uh, but then we've got that really nice um i'm gonna say kiwi fruit green not lime green but a kid's almost lime but not a vibrant uh lime and you've got a nice sage color in there and then that nice blue as well sorry Haley. ice cream mint choc chip ice cream Mm, that used to be my favourite. Love that. Yeah, you're quite right. So that is your spring hues. Now I've got to get from over here to over there. I don't know which is my best side. Some might say this one. Uh, do you like this? Turn on. Oh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Turn on a tuppence. Turn on a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm JP3O. <laughs> right, okay. Here we go. Uh, we have got, now these are your sunset hues, some nice um, spicy pumpkin in there. Um, they do say, I don't know who they are, we mentioned this earlier on, there is like they. I don't know, I, they must live in a forest somewhere. They say, and then we all follow like sheep. But anyway, they say that yellow and grey are the colours uh, for this season. So this would be a good starting point for you. So some really nice pumpkin, uh, some buttercup colours in there, daffodil. These two in particular for your daffodils, don't you think? Absolutely sensational. Then next along, love these. Now these are your lush lagoon. And this really is like diving into a lush lagoon. So you're coming through the top of the water with the sunlight glistening. As you get deeper and deeper into that lagoon, the water gets darker, more condensed. And then you find a little bit of algae at the bottom. And then you think, oh dear. So you turn around and you start swimming back up to the sunlight. Beautiful colours there. And then you've got wild berry. Two thirds of the stock of the wild berry has gone. Uh, and in here, you've got uh, your shades of purple. Um, they really are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, let's have a look. Maybe eggplant colour in here, a little bit of aubergine. Same thing, of course. Uh, very nice, very nice. Um, £25.93, you're getting six. They're half a metre in length, and guess what? You're also getting eloquently done there. Uh, fusible web, yeah, and that comes with every single one day special that you purchase and i've got some news for you if you wanted to because we've got flex extravaganza on at the moment you can divide the cost of everything over five pounds into two monthly payments interest free it's 12.97 today or you might want to go for two of the same color and you know if you do it's a continuous cut for you mm. Mm. check me out with my knowledge continuous cut for you that was confirmed just after the last show so do bear that in mind so uh, your item number there's a lot of fours are you ready four 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 nine five is your item number i do like saying four uh right um this is not the quilt but this is a really nice picture of christmas tree skirts as you can see here <laughs> Uh, this was also made using different variants of uh, fabric and colours. Um, and these, these, um, uh, who was this picture sent in by? Elaine. Uh, so that picture was sent in by Elaine. Um, but it could be a quilt. But we do, we do have, we do have another picture of a quilt, uh, and we will find that because that's in that Beaujolais run. No, what, what's the what? <laughs> Beaujolais, <laughs> not the Beaujolais run. The Beaujolais run is something quite different and I don't think we're allowed to do that at the moment anyway. Uh, right. 
shame that we can't. Right, we have got um, happy hour deals for you. I think we've got three. Um, well, let's let's just swiftly move those over there and bring these in. We'll start here, shall we? Uh, right now, we've got some beautiful fabrics for you. You've got three options here. Um, I'm going to move those to the side. Uh, they're not limited stock, um, so there's plenty for you. Well, there's plenty until they sell out. But let's have a look at the fabrics that you're getting here. Now, these are lovely. These are your ditzy prints, aren't they? Well, so that means it's a white print on a coloured fabric. Um, I'm having to do lots of lining. I'm very sorry. So I'm just multitasking. Um, this is white print on a coloured backing fabric. And they're really, really useful, these, as alternatives to planes because there's um, that's your kind of beigey gold colour. There's a grey, a beige. white and a cream. Would you call these beige? See, I'd call that gold. Yeah, I'd call it more gold. I would call it more of a gold, but it says beige on the telly. Yeah, it so says, it says that's the what beige. we have to call it. Yeah. Right, so it, it says beige, but uh, we're going to go more for a, a gold colour. Uh, but when you're ordering it, call it beige. Uh, next along, We've got your grey, and again in here you can see that lovely white print on the grey fabric. These are going to work beautifully together um, when you're quilting, even if you're just adding a little uh, frame or a little um, feature part to your projects. 19.99, you get a lot, you get five half metres in that. Uh, so that's your grey, that is gorgeous. And then we have got your white and if I just lean that forward you should be able to see there you go I know we've got bright lights here in the studio they are very bright in this set aren't they um, yeah there you go you can see those beautiful patterns in there 1999 zero oh lots of fives in this one zero five 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 uh, three eight is your item number um, uh, well let's have a look at the cream one we've got this available for you there's the cream one Trust me, there are patterns on there, um, but that is the cream one. Um, these really are beautiful. I love these fabrics, and they're great price as well. Saving five pounds, happy hour deal. Uh, next up, you've got the grey stars. Now this, is this brushed cotton? Yes, it is. So mm. um, brushed cotton is still 100% cotton, still um, really, really usable. Great for backing quilts with because it's lovely, lovely and soft. There is a really lovely soft texture to it. So um, fantastic for backing quilts as well because some of them, that particular one is 44 inches wide by 2 metres. So you've got plenty there if you are going to use it for backing a quilt. That is so super soft. Love that. Absolutely adore it. Beautiful. So that's your stars. 9 .99 and you get 2 metres by 44 inches two meters that is a large amount large amount um so can i just open this up imagine if you're using this maybe as a quilt on your bed you can you get here's the thing can you get thread that glows in the dark um you can get fluorescent thread yeah i wonder if that <laughs> but would i don't really know if you can get um kind of glow in the dark thread Mm. Fluorescent thread would look nice on here, especially, you know, as the lights go down, because all the stars might illuminate. It's all might, and you could, but, you know, give it a go. Uh, £9.99, 011 282 is your item number for that one, which is beautiful. Um, and then we have the floral bouquet. This is on a different option for you. I'm going to open this one up again, because it's nice to see sometimes the print on a larger scale. Uh, let's open that up. Sometimes your eye goes to the colour of the background. Sometimes your eye goes to the actual pattern. That's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful brushed cotton, 9.99, 506, 876 is your item number. Nice on a quilt, uh, pillows or cushions as well for little cuddle, pu uh, pu cuddle cushion. <laughs> it's not what I meant at all. Cuddle cushion, not cuddle pushing. There's a new word, a pushing. A cuddle cushion. No, I said it again. Cuddle cushion. Um, anyway, 9 99 So let me just pop that to one side. In fact, I might just um, uh, lunge into somebody. <laughs> this is what we do in a safe way. Uh, right. Now, we're very, very busy for this happy hour deal. A quarter of the grey has gone. Beautiful ditzy patterns that are printed in white on the fabric. So you can see there how gorgeous they are. Uh, different patterns running throughout. Isn't that lovely? And the grey, 
very, very busy. A quarter of the stock all gone. The white is also busy. A quarter of the white has gone. You can see the patterns here if I just push them forward. It's the same patterns on the grey and the gold, but just so you can see, even though it's white on white, it does look absolutely marvellous. You get five pieces uh, of the white. There you go. Uh, and then you've got the gold. And then you've got the gold. Uh, or be It's called beige, but uh, we think it's more gold. £19.99. Uh, very, very busy. And you'll see that the patterns... Are the patterns the same? I don't think they are. They're not. They're different. They are going to vary. So the patterns do vary, but you'll see that they're floral, they're beautiful, they're ditzy. So the patterns are different. Um, half the stock of the grey has gone. This is a happy hour deal. I think it's going to sell out before the top of the hour. You can divide the cost of this over two interest-free payments. So uh, those are your happy hour deals. 055538 is your item number. Um, do you want me to just step back or should we show a picture of the happy hour actually? The cream, because we've not seen the cream. That's available, isn't it? Yeah, there's your cream option. There's your cream option. Um, so you choose, you decide. Uh, and remember, you can cut the cost, uh, spread the cost of anything into two. Very, very busy for those. Uh, right, so we have some more fabrics for you. Stock up um, and then get all crafty running it into the spring because that's what we're thinking about at the moment. Okay, uh, so different item number on your screen from your one day special. £14.96, great price. You get four half metres here and these are Nature's Moods uh, quilting cotton. So these are your fabulous uh, fuchsias. They're lovely, really nice tones. How much of the stock has gone? A third of the stock gone already of those. I must say, these are excellently displayed. Have with a little pin at the top, so they're all neat, like a little, like a little um, scarf or a little tie or cavat, or cavat, as some people call it. Uh, very nice. Uh, right, we have got the lime cooler, so some nice. Um, beautiful bright greens in there. Third of the stock has gone of that. Then we have lovely, oh no, we've got some reds here. Um, this one is red maple sunset. A quarter of the stock has gone. This is like New England in the fall. All those lovely red maple leaves. And then you've got earthy greens. I like these. Very, very nice. Um, so a third of the stock of the earthy greens have gone as well. £14.96, 794550. Uh, right, we're going to head to Hayley now and we're going to talk about some other fabric and then we'll yes. crack on with our demonstrations for the quilt. Right, Hayley? Okay, so I have um, some slightly different ones. They've got almost like a batik um, mottled finish to the background and then they've got printed patterns over the top. So we've got four different um, Okay, four different patterns that we're going to talk about and then there's different colourways in each. So if I split those there and go for these ones, these are the Ditsy Sprigs. Oh, and then we've got uh, everything coming through from your, your browns, your blues, your olive greens, pinks in there, your beige, teal, purple, yellow and then there's that kind of sandy colour in there as well. I really like that sandy one. I think that's got a lot of different uses. So this is um, all the same all the same pattern, which is your... Oh, I've forgotten already. Ditty Sprigs. This is your Ditty Sprigs and... Your all Dirty Sprigs? Ditsy. Oh, your Ditsy. You need to get your ears checked. Love. I do, I do. This I is need terrible. Them it's terrible. It's all out. the time. I know. It's Not Dirty time. Sprigs. No, Ditsy. Ditsy. Just, but the next know. one... This is uh, Blotchy Flowers. I hate that name. Blotchy. I really don't like that name. Blotchy. I don't think it is a nice, it's not a pretty name, It doesn't name, really is go it? with flowers, a blotchy doesn't, flower. I know, it doesn't, it doesn't do it justice, I don't think. So there's five different colours in that. Um, um, as we showed you before, what you'll notice is a lot of the colours will be identical in terms of the background. What you then will see is the different print on the top. So, five different colours in your blotchy flowers, which... Um, is your uh, what was the green again? I'm not oh, we're just going to well. change the details for oh, you, dear. actually. Um, words and pictures. Sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, that one. No, that's not the right one. That's the wrong we one. We will be this bringing up the right and cotton. We it's will a good job I don't do the numbers because I would just read whatever they put in front of me. 
are the names connected with the names that we've got on the maybe have a look on the website yeah that's definitely you'll see not all the, the right options. one and um, these these ones are definitely the the melody ones and they definitely have There are there are four different another four different options. It may be worth it to have a quick look on the website just to double check. So uh, that's the blotchy flowers. There are two other options. Filigree is one of them, yep. and that's the one that comes from here. Uh, so it's these seven options. Oh, we down to six. No, we still we still got seven on this one. So we've got um, the beige, pink, sandy colour there into the brown, the blue. This is a sage green rather than the first green that we had. And then we've got the grey. Perfect. And the last set within this are the spots. Now, I really like these spots because they're not like a dead even polka dot, which sometimes can be a little bit more difficult to work with because you kind of need to keep with the lines of the spots and the pattern of the spots. The pattern on here is a little bit more erratic. You've got different sizes of spots in there, so they're really super easy to work with. And with that patterned kind of mottled background as well, you'll find they'll go with an awful lot of things. Perfect, love that. I've uh, got some news on the happy hour as well. We're very busy for the grey option uh, with that white print on the fabric. Very, very busy. We also have a beige, which is more gold. We have a cream and we have... Uh, the grey which I'm holding grey very very busy it's beautiful floral design has it sold out the grey has gone and sold out everyone so that's no longer available but we still have the beige we still have the cream uh, and we have the white so we're limited stock on the white and we're limited stock on the cream um, you can I, I can't reach out for them at the minute but if you head to the website you'll be able to see the options for the white and options for the cream and options for the uh, beige but the grey's gone and sold out so that's gone and sold out um, so we don't want to tease you with that anymore let's have a look at the that's the grey so that's gone and sold out that's the cream and then we also have the, it's called beige, but it's it's more gold. It's called beige, but it's more I mean, gold. All of them have really kind of nice neutral tones to them. So even that kind of sandy beige colour would work with an awful lot of things because it's got a really kind of neutral, nice neutral goldy beige tone to it. It's got quite yeah. a warm tone to it as well. Th they're absolutely, good. I love these. I really, really do because it's just going to give you that um, extra um, <laughs> pattern to your quilts it could be for your cushions well, it's, it's when you're looking for a plane that's not a plane yes so you're looking for something that isn't like a lining something that isn't going to distract from your main design something that's going to um, kind of add to it rather than distract from it yes that would be lovely great for lining as well so those are your happy hour deals that we have left we've also oh half the oh now we've moved on to something else so we've got beautiful brush cotton for you uh, half the stock, though, of the stars has gone. £9.99, 100% cotton, 011282 is your item number. And we also have the floral. This is so soft, everyone. And a third of the stock of this has gone. Different details coming on your screen for that. Two metres by 44 inches. That's a lot of brushed cotton. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, £9.99, 506876 is your item number. Uh, in the first happy hour deal, I do need to tell you that the white has now gone and sold out. Are you okay back there? Yes. Someone has just split their sides, quite literally. But they're okay. Everything is fine. Uh, it's just Sunday morning. We've got seamstresses is all round because it is all about soft craft. So side splitting <laughs> we'll be able to sort out. It's the box that split the sides, not a person. Oh, don't fine. give away the... Well, the, it's, the it's, it's not that exciting. It's a box. Yeah, well, now you've told everyone at home it's a box, but everyone at home thinks it's box, all split the pants. <laughs> How's your bed? How's your and box? Ben? So therefore, they might have had a bit of a giggle into the afternoon, but now it's just a box. Over to Haley. Sorry. <laughs> so on, um, what we've got here is uh, we're using some kind of the bar jello techniques, and what we've done is we've taken these first six, three, four, five, six from the one day special, and that's the candy pink option. Then the next two we've got from the 
fantastic fuchsias which are on the back rail there then the next three we've got from the maple red option which is also in those sets of four and then these last three that we've got is out of the nice neutrals so we've got a good mix of different ones from the one day special does here. it work really well how all that tone it's i mean i think it's fantastic and what i've done is kind of picked ones that go all the way through and then back up in a different color range so you've got a nice kind of um mix there and the way that the bargello works is you sew all of the strips together and then you sew the front and the back together so effectively you've created a great big loop. Now once you've got that great big loop, you're going to cut off strips from the great big loop. Now, the way that I'm doing this one is we're starting with a small one in the centre and we're gradually getting wider and wider just by quarter of inch at a time and that's kind of spreading it out and what will give you is like a V-shaped curve coming down into the centre. So, uh, we've done uh, already, these are sewn together so you can you can kind of see where we're going here and you can see that pattern starting to, to come in down the side here. You can see that pattern start, that curve starting to form because that's the central panel there and you can see those curves starting to form coming out from the centre. So what we have is we started with a one inch piece in the centre, then these two pieces either side were 1.4, the next two, so this one and the one that will be sewn onto here, that's one and a half. Then we've gone to one and three quarters, and now the next pieces I need to cut are five or um, uh, two inches each. So I've got it. Like, I've got a nice big board here because I'm using the grid that's on the board, and you can see that's lined up exactly with one of the lines on the board. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my quilting ruler along to two inches. There we go. And then I'm going to run two strips off at this size because what I want to continue to do is continue to keep the same size for each side. Okay. So I'll always cut, because I started in the middle with the smallest one. Let me just bring this back in so you can see. Because I started in the center with the smallest one, what I'm doing is stepping out by the same width each side and working evenly either side. Okay. So there's my central piece. And then from there, let me pull it up onto the pink bit because I think it's a little bit easier to see when there's that little bit more contrast in it. So we start here with our kind of skinniest one in the middle and then we go out a little bit and then I'll put, I'll put it flat because I think it's easier to see on that overhead. There we go. There you go. So there's my one inch, one and a quarter and then one and a half, one and three quarters. So there's my other one and a half there. Let's get that lined up out of the way. And every time I'm putting a new strip on, I'm coming down by one colour section. So that's what starts to create that little kind of V shape. And because every time I'm coming out, I'm making the strip a little bit wider, that's actually going to give me a, a curve right. and spread now it out. I wonder we if go. we can find that picture of the Borgello quilt because we'll, 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 we'll try and find it in a few moments time, but maybe if you have the internet, do a bit of research. When you see it, the penny drops. If you know what, yeah, what a Borgello the problem quilt is, is then you will. But I can't give you a picture because uh, if I go onto the internet and find a picture I haven't actually made that so I can't show you that because I don't have a copyright on it so that's the difficulty I'll go and get my computer out a bit later and I'll see if I can generate one on my computer so you can see the kind of thing we're going at so um, as I said we're up to one and three quarters my next one is two inches so I'm going to line that up to make sure I've got two inches and then fingers right out the way and we're going to cut through both of these layers which are folded in half Ooh. Don't be sliding. Uh, oh, got a little bit in the middle. Let me just get back in and... There we go. So we're going to make two of those. And then once we've got two of those, what we're going to do is take our piece of um, Borgello that we're working on. And the last strip that I did, let's put this in the centre. The last strip that I did... Um, started out with this kind of dusky pink colour. The next strip I'm going to make needs to start out with this colour here. So what I'm going to do is take that round to where that one needs to start. Just double check it. So yes, that's my pink and then that one. So that it will be di diagonally kind of opposite the next colour. So that means this is where I need to split it. Now, because we've cut through the sewing that we've already done, you should be able to just pull them apart once you get kind of once you get past about two inches then you're going to have to use your seam ripper and you can see there's your next one on 
and then we'll keep going and going and going and you can see that curve starting to come in there. Can we show the picture now? Of course you can. Let's have a look at the quilts, the Bourge Yellow quilt, because it's like throwing jack straws up in the air and them landing on the floor thinking, what do I do with them? Now this makes sense. Can you see? Now when I first looked at this, have a look at the pattern interchanging links. It looks amazing. But now just focus on lines. And you'll see you've got the lovely strawberry raspberry tones and the pinks running up. Then it goes into the blues and then the browns and so on and keeps going. So this is what Haley's doing now. She's placing the patterns next to each other in a line. If you know how to do this, forgive me, but I find this fascinating. I've never seen this sort of quilt before. And I think this was sent in by Sheila. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Stunning. It's absolutely stunning. But if you That's know the method it. of how to put this together, then it makes sense. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. And if this is your first time quilting, oh my goodness, can you imagine this being your first one? Uh, so that's the Borgello design, but it's really easy to conquer when you follow what Haley's doing in the demonstration. So thanks for that. I just wanted to show that so it all makes sense you're working from the same end as well because what you've got is a continuous loop of fabric you always need to make sure you're, you're starting from the same color because you need to make sure that that color steps through so it's really it's the best way to do it is to follow one kind of all the way along because got, it's like, it's, like the steps yeah that's yeah. what you're doing and you always start out with the same size strip when you cut them so that takes off kind of a lot of the pressure because you can use something like a jelly roll or something like the coordinating bundles that we've got today. That's what works ever so well because that graduating colour within it. Could we have a look at Sheila's uh, just one more time? Oh yeah, because then you'll be able to see she's got the pink bits at the bottom and they're you know graduating colours of pink. So she's going from the lighter pink down to those darker pinks and then in the blues again she's going from those really light blues to the dark blues and it's that graduation of colour and the stepped design. That's what is kind of the, the kind of marking factors of a Bargello quilt. Would yours look like this? What, it will not look anywhere near as fancy as that. No, but it uh, will... it's just a really, really basic right. kind of V that we're doing. But just... you'll still get a lovely flow. Yes, that's what Bargello does. Mm. It gives you the kind of flow and those nice patterns. I think, I think it's, I mean, of course, it's, it's, there's a lot of math in there and calculation, but it's not that difficult. If you follow what Haley's doing and do it step by step, it's fascinating. It doesn't have to be for a quilt, though, Haley. You could no, make you can a do bag. smaller ones. You can yep. do them for bags. Cushions. You can do them for cushions. You can do them for much smaller pieces if you want to. But the what I do advise is uh, once you've cut them, take your time to pin these joins properly because the better kind of you get these joins where they're all kind of matching up nicely, the better your finished piece will look because you can see you've got nice joins there and that's the, the better it will look. Yeah. I will admit down here, I've been rushing it, it's got a little bit sketchy. Well, it's live but TV. It's got a little bit sketchy down here, but we'll not look at that. Well, just look at this. I, I think this is a project that will, that will build <laughs> See, with you. I don't you. mind showing you when it goes wrong because then you get a chance to yeah, show exactly. you how to fix it. But it's, 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 the, it's a kind of project. It's almost like mixed media projects if you're into mixed media. You put down the first few mediums and then you'll walk away and then you'll come back and you'll do a bit more. Then you walk away and then all of a sudden the whole thing starts to come together. And I think a project like this, you don't have to use your one day special for the Borgello quilt. You can use it for whatever you like. This is just an example of how you can use those tones together effectively. This is your one day special. It's a reduced price all the way through until six o'clock tonight. So let's start off with your candy pinks. 60% uh, of the stock um, has now gone, actually. So you've got some lovely strawberry and raspberry colours in there going through to that lovely vanilla star. And that's almost like a vanilla pod colour as well, which is gorgeous. And then that lovely light pastel strawberry colour. £25.93, saving £15. Then we've got your nice neutrals as opposed to your horrible neutrals. I uh, <laughs> love that name. Uh, still a lovely colour. Got some really nice light chocolates moving into again. I'll say I'll say vanilla, like buttermilk uh, colour in there for you. Twenty five pounds and ninety three pence. Do you know what this is like? This is almost like toast gradients in a toaster. So that could be when you do your toast on number five. You like it well done. Some of us like it on one side. I like it on both sides. Well done. Uh, then maybe not so well done, but you still want to put a bit, bit of butter on there so it soaks in. Then we go a little bit lighter, maybe for jam or maybe for putting a little pate on. Vegetarian, of course, because we lightly toast it. And then if we're a gentleman in New York, we only have it toasted on one side, so it might be a little lighter. 
25 pounds 93 pence next up we've got your spring hue 60 percent has gone i'm thinking easter time as well these would be lovely for easter colors uh little babies of course uh boys or girls because light blue is just a lovely color uh you've got some green in there as well well, it used to be that light blue was for, this is kind of a long, long time ago, that light blue was for boys and pink was for, uh, sorry, light blue was for girls and pink was for boys because um, red was considered a stronger colour, oh. therefore pink was the lighter version of red. So it used to be the other way around. Interesting. There you go. And now it's anyway. Doesn't really matter. No, no, it doesn't really matter anymore. Doesn't Do we really like? Matter. Interesting though, colours how it could influence uh, right next up there you go uh, we have got your sunsets so you've got lovely buttermilk colors in here you've got uh, some nice spicy pumpkin um, some buttercups and again going into your vanillas maybe a little bit of eggnog going on in there uh, next up we've got your lagoon love these beautiful beautiful uh, deep blue color in there uh, and then you've got your greens as well, a little bit of forest green going in there. And then you've got your wild berries with your purples. Yeah, a whole forest of berries for you here. Uh, very, very busy for those. £25.93. 4444 is your item number. We've got lots of fabric bundles available for you. Have a look at your website and you can shop ahead. We've got some lovely charm packs for you. We've got some fabric freedom rolls, uh, which is Swiss rolls available to you. We've got some cotton poplin, uh, some dotty fabric in there. We've also got your Melody Quilting cotton. It's a big pick and mix, 10 pounds and 99 pence. You choose any two. And the happy hour deal, we've managed to get some on extended delivery. So we're really happy about that. And we'll take you through the options live right now. First of all, beige. It's more of a gold colour, I think. More of a gold colour. It's beautiful. I think if you've got a wedding coming up this year, you could use these. You could make ribbons or sashes for the chair. Sashes or sash? Sash. Sash. Sashes for the chairs, yeah. So each chair can have a sash, yes, um, which are beautiful. So you might consider going for a couple of these. Remember, you could spread the cost over two months. So that's the beige, even though it's more gold. Considering the mess you left them in. Well, I didn't really leave them in a mess. I was trying to fold them as, as, as good as I have, but I was to the also best of your ability. To Is that what we're going to use? No, to the I was, best I was also. <laughs> I, 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 Go on, just ru just ruin them again. That's fine. I'm not Molly ruined. doesn't mind. I'm not ruining them. I need to show people at home. <laughs> I know. See what, I know. See what I have to work with. <laughs> I'll see. Right. Um, I'll, I'll see. We have screen. got. Let's show these now. Are they the same? There will be in, in a minute. You're all right. Now, one side you've got your white print. So it's the white print on your beige, but again, it's more gold. And if I turn this over, you can see, there you go. Uh, so it does have a right and a wrong side. But even if you were to turn that over, let's just pop that over there. Let's say that was the top of a hem or something. Still going to look absolutely fantastic. So you can see that beautiful ditzy floral uh, pattern. And if I bring those in, you can see the different patterns that you've got on there. Aren't they lovely? Look at the roses and the swirls. Um, yep. Seat covers, chair covers, Now, if napkins. you are thinking about using them for um, yes, re maybe reupholstering seats and things, yes. you know in the one-day special we've got the fusible interfacing? Yes, we have. Then I would say because they are, um, I would class those as a poplin weight. So I would say if you're going to use them as chair coverings and things, I would personally use some of that um, fusible webbing. Good idea. Um, and use maybe a heavier weight calico. On the back. Sandwich them together, so then you're creating one much thicker fabric which is going to be a lot more stable and then back your chairs or do your blinds and good things like that. Good idea, good idea because then you still get to use the luxurious fabric yeah, that we've exactly. got you still get you. to use the nice pretty fabrics but you're stabilizing them and making them more heavier weight good idea. so that you can do more more things with them. Good idea. Uh, so that's the beige again, it's more of a gold colour. Let's show you the <laughs> white which is beautiful. Uh, now the uh, is it the beige that's on extended or the white? The white and the grey is on extended. Just a couple of days for you. Dispatching on the 12th of January. Right, I'm going to open this one up and then I'll put the others next to it. 
uh, here we go. These are so beautiful. And uh, what a great opportunity to get hold of these fabrics. You can see there that beautiful floral design on that one. White on white. How um, luxurious and would look beautiful with your beige. Would it not? Those two together. Um, and then these are your other patterns. Let's bring those in for you. And let's see if I can tilt them towards you. So you can see you've got some repeating patterns from the beige, uh, but you've got a whole array of patterns. They will vary. So let's just pop that forward and then just run along that line there. there we will say they will vary, but there will always be grey on white. And it, it might be, they'll always have a white bit of a... White on Yeah. Oh, you're white, white on white gray. now, are you? Okay, yes, sorry. Yes, this is white on um, white. And they'll always have that little kind of... Uh, floral theme and they'll always be nice small patterns as well because those are the kind these are the kind of things that you're going to want to use as maybe sashings or bindings or those bits that are in between those feature fabrics that you've got where you you don't want something that's a plain stark white you want something that's got a little bit more to it and these are perfect for that great for lining as well so if you think these are all white then pop those into your basket Pop those into your basket. I feel like there's pressure on now. I've got to fold each one. And well, you've got to at least try. And then, I did, well, I did try you last time. Try. <laughs> you should see the state they arrived in. Uh, right, we have got I don't want to your grey. Your, your folding in, in the house. I was folding them up when I was handing them back to our lovely floor manager. I do my best. So the, the grey, I think, I mean, all of these are great stash builders because you are going to use them for. Um, loads of, of different things. They're a great stash builder because they're a great standby fabric, you know, one that you, you've you got some feature fabric and what can I put with it? These are brilliant. And the grey is a lovely neutral one. So if you don't want something as stark as white or um, maybe cream isn't going to go, then grey is a lovely neutral option. I think the greys with the white on grey are so effective, aren't they? Country cottage style. And from a distance, it, it just looks like a, a light grey. It's only yeah. when you get closer up that you can see that white print on the top. And that's a completely different technique than you'd usually use for your printing. Yes. Usually, for that's printing, you need a light background and you always put dark colours on top of it. So um, this is more like a screen printing technique that's used to get these colours on. So those are three of the options. There's also cream as an option. I just wanted to show you how they could work together. Um, all of the options will be available on the website. This is a happy hour deal, though. The price is going back up at the top of the hour. So, so they will be available online. You can head to the website and have a look. So we do. Do we have the cream or is that gone? Here we got so all of the options available on the website that you can go and have a look. Uh, there you go. So there's your cream, nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, 055538 is your item number for that. Uh, right, so those are your happy hour deals. Remember, we also have this beautiful quilting fabric for you. Uh, this is your lovely fuchsia. Uh, it's some great reds. More of like, um, well, it's a fuchsia, isn't it? It's not red, not purple. It's somewhere in between, which is a lovely colour. £14.96. Next up. We've got those gorgeous greens for you. Love these. Um, some nice kiwi colours in there for you. Again, I'm thinking springtime. I'm thinking Easter eggs and things like that, maybe for your appliques. £14.96. We're approaching half the stock. What's the, gr the green one is the lime colours. And then we have the maple, the red maple sunset. Gorgeous colours for that. Really nice. And then we have, love these greens, really nice soft greens, aren't they? Like moss greens, £14.96. Now, I do need to tell you that the fabulous fuchsias are approaching limited stock, limited stock, and that's the one at the start just here. So if you do want to get hold of these, I'd place them in your basket. Let's head back to Hayley and see what she's doing now. What are you doing, Hayley? More and more. She's adding more this. and more. Because it does take quite a lot of time to... Oh, sewing without me there. Um, it does take a bit of time to, to put these together because obviously you are sewing lots and lots of little pieces together. But because you've cut them in strips, you're cutting down a lot of your time by uh, doing them in, in big runs. So if 
you're not confident enough that you can keep it dead straight in those big runs, then just break the thing down. So maybe do um, your first six at a time if you're not confident that you can get it. Because, it, you know, sometimes if you do cut a little bit off and it's on a great big long run, then it does get you kind of running out by the end of it. But what I'm doing is just taking the time. I've obviously pinned all these in place, trying to get the joins um, as, as good as I can get them to be able to get them just working really nicely and the better you can get the joints the more professional it's going to look now the foot that i'm using we've got these on the show on monday this is just a quilting foot it's got this little kind of arm on the side and what that allows me to do is butt my fabrics up against that little arm and that guarantees me my nice uh, straight quarter inch and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of pinning <laughs> and a lot of sewing, and it's just a little bit of, of patience on this one. I've put the pins in the wrong side there. Now, Hayley, because ideally, I would have my pins in this side that's flapping okay. rather than this bottom side, because this side, it wants to fold this way. So that's why I have that side pinned open. The bottom sides will naturally kind of follow the direction that the feed dogs are taking it. So it's definitely worth pinning the other side, but I've started, so I thought. I've got a question. Go on, You're then. using uh, thinner strips to build and create your borcello. Borcello? Borcello. Borcello uh, quilt. Bar no, Borgello. 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 Yes. <laughs> Seriously, Janice. Get a grip. <laughs> borgello. Got um, me doing it now. <laughs> you, you, can, you can use wider strips. Um, you can. You and can. we've got a picture sent in. Who sent this picture in? Sylvan has sent this picture in. Now look Perfect. at that. Perfect. Yes. So it's in progress, it's not pressed yet, but that's a perfect that's, example that's of what That's much we're doing. more representative of what we're... Obviously, I've started off with a much skinnier one in the centre, but that's much more representative of the kind of thing you can do. You can create those curves and those patterns. Now, by changing... Because uh, she's got kind of probably half-inch differences between those, and that's why you're getting the, the kind of zigzag look. To make that more curved, you just need to... Um, smaller differences between your blocks. And again, if you're looking at this for the first time, just look top to bottom and you'll see the greens going into the lighter greens, back to the darker greens. If you concentrate on that and just think of it in strips, it all falls into place and becomes very, very yeah, easy. It also looks like space invaders, don't it? A little bit. <laughs> the height of everything is always the same because you start off with the same height strip and that allows you, when you move things up, you're always kind of matching up with the one before. So... That's one thing that is, is dead easy and dead, a nice, easy way to get started. So you're always starting, I'll come up to, to this bit because I think it's easier to see on these because more contrast in the colours. So you're always starting with the same height of piece. So every time you move one down, then it's going to match up. And this hasn't been pressed yet, so that's why that's flapping open and I'm having to hold it down a little bit. But you can see that little kind of curve starting to come in there. And because I've started with a quite a small one here, and I'm working my way out to, to a bigger one, you can see that's creating that more of a, more of, you know, like the top of a heart? Yes. Where you come in from the pointy bit and then you come out in that little bit of a curve. So Got you. that's the, the kind of way we're going. Now, I would definitely recommend as you go with the, as you go along with this, press as you go. Because if you then try and do the whole lot and press the whole back in one hit, you are going to have a nightmare because you've got some bits going one way, some bits yeah. going another way. I would definitely press as you go. So that's going to be my next step. I'm going to take this to the ironing board and get this pressed nice and flat and just okay. do one strip at a time, just take your time. Perfect. I'm going to remind everyone of the happy hour deals that we've got because we have been so, so, so busy. Right, if you have just joined us, welcome. It's nice to have you company. We've got the one-day special. We've got lovely Hayley Smith with us and we also have happy hour deals and lots of other fabrics to check out online as well so let's go for your happy hour deals these are beautiful they're luxurious as well uh, you've got these beautiful ditzy fabrics on here and i've got some choice for you this is called beige but it's it's more gold it's more gold and i think you can see that at home so you've got these lovely white patterns onto the beige although it's gold um, fabric you've got different patterns on there as well but you can still use these together because you've got that lovely ditzy element to them they're small um, they're going to work beautifully together but also uh, you know as lining perhaps 
for your projects. We were talking about maybe using these for a bit of upholstery. If you are, then it's a good idea to use some fusible web and maybe add some calico to the back of that if you are using these to upholster furniture. £19.99, pence, saving £5. Uh, dispatching on the 12th of January. Then you've got your whites. and This is also on extended. 12th of January. Just putting these together so you can see, hopefully, it's very bright here in the studio today, but hopefully you can see those white patterns on there. Um, so there you go. The patterns will vary. There you go. So you can see that white on white. Again, a beautiful option. Uh, and then we have the grey available to you. Now, this is also on extended delivery, but we are approaching limited stock, approaching limited stock who've had these fabrics before and then have kind of fallen in love with them yeah. because they are so useful and such a nice one to work with because they cut really well they kind of it's weird to say when you're cutting things in squares and things but they they hold their shape very very well um, okay. and they're really nice and easy to sew with now initially when you get them and um, because of the type of printing that's on them that can sometimes feel just a little bit stiff it's definitely worth as we said earlier in the show definitely worth washing these first and just giving them um, washing them if you're going to tumble dry them then tumble dry them but 30 degrees wash everything before you start um, and I quite like sewing with them when they're in that kind of nice we're not it's not stiff state, but you know what I mean when they're when they're kind of f f fresh from the factory fabrics. Yes, I yeah. quite like sewing with them like that. But uh, obviously, we do always recommend that whatever fabric you're using, you kind of wash it and uh, prepare it the same way as you would with uh, whenever you kind of you've completed your project. You wash it like you're going to treat that right at the beginning. So you wash it and iron it and do whatever you're going to do to it long term. You do that first so that if there is any shrinkage in anything, which there shouldn't be in here, then it happens at that point rather than after you've sewn everything together and everything goes a bit wobbly. Excellent. <laughs> £19.99, pence, but do be quick. I don't want you to miss out. Um, we have another colour option for you, which is a cream. We don't have it here live in the studio, but here it is on the website, uh, your cream. Um, oh, it's on the website. There you go. You can't really tell the patterns on it, but just to show, we have cream. Now, uh, we do have some other happy hour deals for you. I'll just stack those up conveniently to the side. We've got some beautiful brush cotton. Uh, first of all, we're starting with the grey, oh, sorry, grey stars. Um, lovely, gorgeous and soft. We are limited stock, though, on the grey stars. Limited stock. Make a nice pair of pyjamas. Not for the kids, though, because we don't recommend brush cotton yeah. well, for the no, kids. The only reason that it's not recommended is because there's no fire treatment on it. Yeah. So uh, fine for dressing gowns, but not whatever you're actually going to put them to sleep in. Yeah. So brilliant for dressing gowns and things. Uh, or your alternative is you can get spray treatments that you can treat the fabric with okay. before you make your pyjamas. I'd like a, a pair of woody trousers to relax at night rather than wearing tracksuit bottoms or... Oh, or, comfy pants. Or, hey? What we like to call comfy pants. Comfy pants, yeah. Comfy I, call pants. Them, I call them woodies. Woodies. Get your woodies on. Um, so that's your, your, your grain stars and then you've got your floral floral bouquet um, these would look nice in some woody pants uh, nine pounds and 99 pence you're saving 12 pounds it's a great deal two meters by 44 inches now we have um, about four minutes left on the show let's have a quick look at the right. website before we head back to Hayley so the one day special is available to you. You can see that there. Uh, we've also got some fusible web. Remember, you get fusible web with your one day special again. Uh, you've also got some lovely fabrics for you, uh, pattern fabrics. You've got some charms in there, as well as your uh, rolls. Your backing fabrics, that's also proven to be popular. That's two meters. And then there's lots of different variants in there as well. So go to the website, have a look at the pick and mixes we've got available for you. Have a look at the fabrics whilst we've still got them. Have a look at the seven day savers as well. So there's plenty for you if you're into your soft crafts. Right, let's head back to Hayley. We've got about four minutes, Hayley. Okay, uh, right. What I've done is I've just given all of this a quick press because we've sewn these together. And I think now you can start to see those shapes and those patterns coming into play where you can see that kind of V shape coming in. So we'll continue with this in the last one. Um, we'll get a few more rows on and we'll sit, start to see that real kind of shape coming through. Perfect. Yeah. Then done.
Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Um, you've been taking photographs of the progress, haven't you? Ah, uh, well, no, I forgot. Oh. But we'll take some now. Yeah, take some now. We can possibly get some screenshots for you and put them okay. uh, on later. But it's really nice I forgot. to see. I got distracted because we did a little FaceTime live instead, didn't we? Uh, we did, yes. Yeah. Yes. Responsibly distancing as well. Yeah. Now, we're going to have a look at something <laughs> now. No, really, I cannot repeat. <laughs> oh, go on then, I will. Let's have a look at the... <laughs> That's what we're calling this. This is your... Uh, 25 pounds and 93 pence that's your candy pink <laughs> and you also get that you get you get your fusible webbing for each of your day specials uh this one is your it's nice natural well today, isn't it yeah that's your nice uh, webbing that's your webbing again. again uh those are your spring hues nice and for easter the, hey, and the webbing, the webbing. Did you get the webbing with each one those are your sunset here it hues. comes here it comes webbing. there's the webbing that's your lush gloom. Lush gloom. Lush gloom. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Wabbing. Wild berries, Plus everybody. Ready? Ready? And here it comes. You ready? Wabbing. There you go. Whew. So that is your one day special, <laughs> otherwise known here at Hochanda as your. <laughs> uh, your happy hour deals have been very, very busy. Um, and they're beautiful fabrics. They really, really are. We've done shows of these before, haven't we, Hayley? You've done we various have, projects. And I think that the people that are buying this particular happy hour are people who've had them before, know how good they are, and have gone to, to stock up. Because especially things like the whites, the, they've given you all of those neutral colours, which are perfect for teaming up with the feature fabrics where you're looking for something that's either white but not white or, you know, kind of plain but not plain. Yeah. Those are the whites. Let's show the grey because you can see the patterns on here. It's a white on grey. That stands out, doesn't it? Would actually look really nice if you were to mix and match these colours. Uh, beautiful grey. And then we've got beige, but it's gold. It's gold. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think we, we would go on the lines. This is more, more being gold. More being gold. That's really bad English. Sorry, everyone. It's been one of them shows. Um, but that is the beautiful patterns that we've got in here. I'm allowed to open these up a little bit further for you as we're heading towards the end of the show. I'm allowed to open them anyway. Um, but lovely, lovely, beautiful patterns in there. We've been so busy. These are on extended delivery, 12th of January, uh, dispatching these. But well worth going for because there's only a couple of days to wait. It really is. Um, choose 10th today, 11th today, 10th today. Tuesday, these will be dispatched. Um, and the grey's limited stock again. What on, on the extended delivery? Right, grey has proved to be very, very whew, popular. Talking of grey, I think I've gone grey <laughs> in that show. Huh? You're going to have Hayley. a lie down now. I, I think I am. <laughs> oh, no, I've got to drive home. Best not. <laughs> um, Hayley, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Janice. Really Thank has. you very much. We'll do it all again at four o'clock, shall we? <laughs> uh, no, because it's not me. <gasps> but it is you. You said it was you all day. No, it's not me all day. Oh, who have I got? I probably did say it was me all day. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe strange. someone's written it and they've taken me off. I don't know. Hayley, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll see Hayley again at four o'clock for your final call. Oh, we've got another Hayley coming up. I'm sandwiched between two Hayleys. Can't think of a better place to be. Uh, Rope and Roll is coming up next on Hochanda. Craft yourself silly with Hayley at two o'clock. And then the Happy Puzzle Company. Oh, how exciting. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long-arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. 
make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. looking forward to this because you've got something a little bit different something that you probably haven't seen since before Christmas or in fact you might not have seen at all um, so I do urge you to stick with us because we've got an amazing craft that we are bringing to you and a fabulous guest as well now our guest is um, Skyping to us all the way from uh, Turkey so uh, we have Oscar and uh, Mehaba <laughs> hello how are you very well thank you very much how are you Oscar I'm so fine. I am so happy to be with you again. I love uh, this it. This is my I, third show. It, it, and everybody has loved what you've brought to us um, previously. You were here last in November. Yes. And we did eight projects, uh, string art projects. And uh, now I am here to demonstrate you four new models, four new projects for the craft lovers. And they are beautiful projects, and I think our viewers will love them. Now, the first one, we are looking at stars, lots of stars. 
We have one big and five small stars in this kit. They are beautiful. And there are a lot of thread that you are including within these kits. So lots to work with. These are beautiful, Oscar. Thank you. Each kit comes with uh, five different colors. Each one has 100 meters of string. So you can freely choose your colors and choose your patterns, which one uh, you want to use. And there is not only one way to uh, apply this string uh, on these uh, panels. Uh, there are many patterns, so you can choose and combine them together to uh, have your own original uh, personal design. Uh, you can choose them uh, from the guides that comes with the kit. And uh, we have something new uh, for this time. We have also YouTube uh, videos. Uh, I know that there is a rewind section in the uh, Hochandas website for the people who uh, get the kits and uh, watch the t uh, program again. Uh, but this time, uh, I prepared four videos for this for these kits, and uh, in these videos, uh, everything is explained uh, in in a very detailed. Uh, we, uh, because it's sometimes difficult to have uh, all the demos in the show uh, because of the time limitation. So uh, another alternative is uh, for the crafters uh, get uh, they can watch the videos in my uh, YouTube channel as they do the project. This is it. And those projects, when you go to the YouTube channel, um, Rope and I'll, uh, as you can see, they're string art. You can go and watch those uh, video tutorials and work alongside Oscar, um, because that is the thing. Within the, um, the actual show, obviously, our time limit limitations, we can learn that technique and see a little bit of the demonstrations. But if you want to work alongside in real time, then do head over to the YouTube channel and see that. So looking forward to this. So, of course, you have got all your fabulous stars in your different sizes your different combinations of thread it's not choices you are getting all of these and then you are be able to uh, create with regards to these ones so uh, 428306 rapidly approaching six percent of the stock has gone six no six <laughs> I don't know why I said six. I was just thinking six days extended delivery I think it's ten days extended where did I, where did I get six from oh I don't know Oh dear me, it's been a long few days. So, 10% of the stock has gone and 10 days extended delivery. She's, there we go. It's just over six really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no, 17 pounds and 99 pence, 428306. Poor Oscar, you've got to put up with me for an hour. Yes. <laughs> 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 I think we will have fun. That. <laughs> now, if you want to get hold of <laughs> that sure. kit, the details are there on your screen, as you can see. The next kit that we've got for you, again, is something brand new from Oscar, and this is brilliant because this is very much three-dimensional. So if I twist this one to the side, you'll be able to see that you've kind of got this support that is sitting in the middle there, meaning that you are creating the most incredible kind of dome effect. And again, as Oscar mentioned before, there are different combinations of how you can work with your string. String art is a beautiful way of crafting and all those different colours, again, Osgood, give you so many different results. Yes, uh, people can try themselves also something new, some new patterns. Uh, I like that because it's easy to uh, try something and take the string off and try something else again. So repeatedly you can try and find out uh, something new, something original. Uh, and uh, all these patterns are also explained uh, how you start, how you make, how you finish them. And uh, another practical thing is with the glue which comes with the kit, you can easily uh, attach them on your wall or anywhere you like. Uh, you don't need a nail or anything else. You don't need to, uh, any damage in the wall. So you can place and replace it anywhere you like.
That is fabulous to know because sometimes if people rent um, their home, they're not allowed to put nails in walls. So, yeah, a good, good example of how you can um, decorate your home. Now, again, £17.99, a very affordable price. And you can see, obviously, you've got your different colours of string there. You've also got your foam pads there that Osgood just mentioned. And, of course, lots and lots of different patterns and variations to work with this one. So, 588645. If you fancy getting hold of this one, then those are the details you will need. And, of course, with Flextravaganza, you can spread the cost over two payments. So, if you want to go for both of those kits together, then you can. But we have got something quite outstanding with this one. This one is a beautiful piece. It's a large piece as well. And it is a gorgeous one that uh, perhaps could work alongside the stars that we saw earlier on. But this time we are calling this one the 3D Hexagon. This is a large piece here that we've got, Oscar. Yes, it is the biggest one. Uh, it takes longer time, but similar patterns can be applied. Yes, uh, it's, I am very excited to demonstrate here uh, for the first time three-dimensional models. Uh, that's also exciting for me. Beautiful. And you can see that they're very strong. Strong and very lightweight. Yes. So you can easily uh, exhibit them wherever you like. I love this. Now, you with can... with these kits, um, what sort of age would you say for the person to make these? Can children get involved? Uh, for the first model, the star, uh, any children over five with adult uh, adult uh, advice uh, can make it. Uh, the other ones are more difficult. Let's say uh, eight and older can make. Uh, the 3D circle and the hexagon. And the last model, it's more tricky uh, because you need a needle maybe uh, in order to uh, thread the beads into the string. So over 12 is better for the last three-dimensional model, uh, okay. which is named uh, flowing beads. Wonderful. Now, those flowing beads, you wait until you see this design. It is so <laughs> clever. I think it is my favourite. Um, and uh, obviously, for the time being, if you're wanting to get hold of the hexagon, before I show you the next one with the beads, then the details are here, 589605. And as you heard from Oscar there, why not turn this into a project that you maybe create alongside a child, a niece, a nephew, a grandchild, or um, just create it for yourself. It's entirely up to you. But either way, you are getting brilliant value for money and something that is quite a conversation starter just like the next item and this one is brilliant this reminds me of something that you might um, find on a, a desk um, because the reason being is and I'm not going to rotate that one because it's sitting quite neatly um, with this one you've got a series of beads so when it's vertical like so you can see the beads will naturally go to the base if you turn it to the side they start moving around and it's like, well, okay, but you wait till you see what happens when you roll it along a countertop. So I'm going to place it like so. I'm going to be careful that I don't do it too quickly, but you watch what happens with those beads. Can you see? And I'm going to do it towards the camera because it might be easier for you to see it as it rolls towards you. So here we go. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. Oscar, I found my new favourite. <laughs> this is brilliant, so clever. Now with this one, we've got the um, the perspex. So how did you come up with this design? Uh, I was always thinking uh, of uh, adding um, uh, motion uh, into these models and I saw a similar uh, example on the web. I worked on it and I sold uh, how to uh, make it, uh, the technique. And what is uh, so relaxing is take, if you take it on your hand and play it like this, watching the beats flowing from both sides is very exciting and so relaxing for me. Uh, that is also my favorite. The sound and the view. Fascinating. Yes. It's almost like raindrops that you can hear. It's 
very, very calming, very relaxing. And I think it's something that is going to fascinate anybody is those beads, as you can see, they shoot around as you rotate it around. And you can see that obviously it's made from your acrylic, your perspex there. Just £23.99, very clever design. Something I think that our viewers are going to love. Now, if you want to get hold of yours, the details are on your screen there, 236888. And of course, as we mentioned previously, um, Oscar has his own YouTube channel now. So if you are wanting to see how these are created or any of the kits from beginning right the way through to the end, then you can do that by watching those on the YouTube channel. Of course, on our website, you'll be able to find things like your rewind. But if you're wanting to get hold of this particular one, the details are on your screen, 236888. Now, I've got the kit in front of me here. So let me show you what you're going to get in there. Because obviously, you're going to get your circle discs that are going to be at the ends of each of those and the piece as you can see there with all those lovely notches those notches will become familiar because you'll see them in a lot of the pieces Oscar brings to us then you've got your kind of your cross members here which are going to give the stability to uh, your project as you can see there and then of course you're going to get your string now you've got your different styles of string featuring in here so it depends on you how you want to work with this the one that we have on the countertop here has got your black thread in it so very much a kind of net sort of look to it but if I show you you have got your light in there as well so it's up to you depends on the results that you're wanting to get with regards to yours whether you use the black or the white also you've got an abundance of beads in there because you're going to need to string those up and as Oscar mentioned um, it's, it's one of those ones that you could perhaps do with children but because of the thread in the, the beads onto the thread you, they may need a little, bit, a little bit of help with the needlework that you've got there and of course full instructions so 23 pounds and 99 pence 236888 now of course many of these kits are brand new to us and Oscar is with us in Turkey and he's going to demonstrate those fabulous stars that we saw just a few moments ago so over to you Oscar yes we will start with the simplest and easiest uh, model the star model and it's beautiful uh, the crafters who did the previous projects uh, will remember we have notches all around this edge and uh, these notches are different uh, we have two kinds of notches here one small and v-shaped one we will use this one only for the start and all the others uh, the wide ones the bigger ones will be used for the string art uh, let's start with the uh, central pattern to start, we make a, a knot on the end of the string, and then we cut the extra knot, uh, extra string, sorry. Now we are ready to go. Now, first thing we do is placing the end of the string here, the starting point, and then we turn the string around this piece in order to get to uh, the bigger one so this is how we start very easy very practical now uh, the first uh, pattern i'm going to show you is the central pattern we start this pattern with uh, dividing the star into two equal parts we just divide it from the middle and then we turn in the same direction for these two points we follow the order to the next anti node like this. We go from the behind and to the top. Uh, front to back, back to front. We follow the order to next anti point and we turn like this. As we do that, you can see that a pattern is started to occur in the middle. That is what we call the central pattern. So if we go on like this, all around the star, all around the edge, when we finish, we will got a central pattern like this. It's so easy and practical. It looks amazing and very pretty. Thank you. So uh, the idea is clear, I think. I won't go on all the way around because I want to demonstrate all four models. No problem. So you got it? Yes, you, I un four, understand. 
uh, this point will move through this way and this point will move they will turn in the same direction until we got this wheel wow so this is the I, finished like uh, example for the first one now uh, how we finish the easy and the practical way is uh, we have this uh, dove tuck uh, with the kit we have, uh, we uh, get a small piece of uh, this glue we apply it on the string and press and then we cut the extra string this is the easy way i want to show crafters another way of finishing this is uh, we will use this knot later on uh, we will make a knot on this edge to make it i hold the string uh, in a distance from the panel i place my finger over the string i turn the string around and i turn my finger once more in order to make uh, one more twist over here and then i place my fingertip uh, on the edge i transfer the string here and then i uh, stretch i uh, straighten the knot at least two times if we do that we will get a clean surface in both sides so you won't see any glues or any white spots and very clever so if we cut it so it's done uh, especially especially in uh, three-dimensional models uh, there's not all, uh, it's better to make this knot for the finishing and the second one I'm going to show you is I will show another pattern we start the same we make a knot at the end of the string now I will connect this part to this one and uh, I will leave one, two, three empty notches here because if I start from here, then the some of the strings will co come out uh, out of the uh, panel. I don't want that for that reason to make it uh, to make the pattern more close to the middle. Mm -hmm. I leave three spots here, and then I go on just the same. The one on the center gets. Uh, far away from the center of the shape and the uh, other one gets closer to the center ah. this one will move this way and this one will move this way so we go on like this till we reach to the corner here so last three steps and that's it the That's same so pattern uh, the same pattern will be applied to other sides also i will make it from here to here so each time you don't need to uh, glue or not uh, anything so you can go on with the same color just one two three steps empty and then here you can go on like this so the idea is we repeat the same pattern uh, five times in order to get each uh, arm uh, with the same pattern so last two steps and here we go we can finish it like this uh, we after we repeat the same pattern in all around Ooh. we've got this shape that's lovely so pattern is repeated here 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 and here so again in order to finish i go here and turn around and then i place my finger on the string turn it once and twist once more and then i place my finger uh, the tricky thing is uh, till you finish uh, 
finish the, that knot, you don't uh, take your finger from here because okay. if you do, uh, it just comes out for that reason. Okay. At least two times, I apply the same knot and cut the string. That's all. That's fabulous. I love that. It's so clever. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can jump up to the next uh, model, which is three-dimensional circle. So uh, in order to make this, we have three pieces. We, uh, I'll show how to connect them. Okay. We have slits in the middle. So using the slits here, we can easily attach them together. And we have four more slits uh, in the circle. So I will place this piece to the middle and then I, using the slits, I connected the pieces. So the frame is ready. That's all. Now, in order to uh, make it easier, I have some pieces like that. I used glue in both sides. You can use uh, anything in home with the same height, uh, like wooden blocks or anything like that. It will make easier uh, when we make the string because it's difficult to uh, hold the frame and the string at the same time. Okay. For that reason, uh, you can get a help, help attaching the frame on the desk. So we are ready now. Now uh, I will apply an arc pattern between these and these edges. These have equal numbers of uh, notches around uh, the edge. So I will start with the green one this time. Just the same. I make a start, for the start I make a knot at the end and I cut the extra string and then I place the knot on the start point over here. So I'm ready to go. What I'm going to do is, I am in first point here, I will go to the top here and again first point on this side. Okay. Now I will go from this side to this one and to here again and when I pass between these two slices I will follow the order down here. Okay. So I would do it from the second one, from the third one I go again and these two points get far and far away from each other as this one goes down here. So let's speed up a little bit. It reminds me a little bit like weaving. Yes, just like weaving. Uh, normally the string art is, uh, you know, applied uh, on a thick wood with nails, but uh, preparing these nails is so uh, hard and so difficult because uh, it's difficult to make them e e equally and on a straight way and it's noisy. I'm sure most of the people's uh, favorite part is not uh, making the nails. Exactly. So, last two years I was teaching in schools, so I was uh, trying to figure out an easier and more practical way for the string art. And this is the solution I get. So as you go on like this, you can see that the pattern is almost done. It's very effective. They, thank you. Uh, since the numbers are equal on either side, as we finish here, the other points also finish. Now I will repeat the same pattern on the on this side also okay to do this you can start from here directly but we will do the inverse because our string is at the end 
So I will start from down here and come to here. And I will repeat the same thing in reverse direction. These two points will come closer to each other. And this one will go up here. Okay. So I go on like this. Now, for our viewers uh, now at home, will... for our viewers at home, don't worry. When you get your kit home, you will have all the instructions included within these, um, so you can um, see the different patterns that Oscar is creating with any of the kits. To be honest, there is a lot of information, and here you can see the different coloured threads being used, the different effectives that you're creating, and of course, even from that very first knot to actually tying those knots off. Also, do check out Oscar has got his own YouTube channel now, so you can watch in real time so obviously some of the projects can be quite time consuming so I don't know if you'll get to cover all of them but what you can see is by going to the YouTube channel you can work at the same pace as Oscar is and what you will find is with these kits there is a generous amount of twine in there in a variety of different colors you've got a hundred meters and you've also got some beautiful metallic threads in there as well so if you want to use those as your final layer you can see just how incredibly effective they are now if you want in the kit for your circle string art then the details are on your screen it's a very popular kit so if you're wanting to get hold of yours i would suggest you check your basket out as soon as you can but the details are there should you need them at the bottom of the screen we have got the string art for the stars which was oscar's first demonstration so we're going to go back to oscar now to continue with the demonstration on the 3d circle over to you oscar Thank you. Uh, now I will apply uh, with a different color the same pattern to these edges. So with green I did these two. Now using the yellow string I will do the same pattern for these two edges. So from left to right I go down and up again from the next anti point following the order and so that I apply the same pattern, but I change the color uh, to yellow, so that will make a more colorful and more aesthetic design. So we started with the uh, green and we go on with yellow. The idea is applying this arc pattern on this side and this side again. Again, I want to jump a little bit forward okay. uh, in order to show you another pattern. Oh! So this is how it uh, will seem in the end. So we got two colors and same pattern on these four slices. Now, I want to add a star shape over the top here because I don't want to close the previous layers I did here so I will make a start notch over here so I will start from here in order to get a smaller star if I start just from the end I will get a bigger star but I want a smaller one now uh, starting from here, let's count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and uh, this is the 12th, so I will leave the 12 empty notches also here. Let me count 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. So this is symmetrical. Now, I left 12 empty points here, as well as I left 12 empty here. And I am in the first uh, points here. Now, turning around the shape, these two points will move out from the center, and these two points will get closer to center, so that I will get a star shape just in the middle, but I don't want to close the previous layers for that reason. I started not from the end and I left 12 empty. So turning around like this, each time I go to next empty point in order to form this star shape. 
so clever how it all comes together and so quickly. Thank you. I will go faster. You can see that the pattern appears right in the middle, step by step. It's beautiful. And the silver like thread. The silver. Yes, I, I like the silver because it is uh, suitable with many other colors. Uh, which color you use doesn't make difference. It's a neutral color. So, and it's amazing, like the metal, uh, shining like a metal. So, last two points. Here, I, I will finish the pattern like this. Uh, I put my finger on the string, turn it once, and once more here, uh, I have it twist, and I transfer the knot here, and then just like this. So you don't need a glue for this. Very clean and seamless knot. And when you cut the knot here, that's it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I have the exact same one in the studio here. Oscar, thank you so much. Um, I will let you get ready for your next demonstration while I tell our viewers about your kit. This is fabulous. You can see the effect that has been created with that wonderful three-dimensional circle. The string art that Oscar has been sharing with us is so achievable and it comes together so quickly and of course so many fabulous colours. We'll tell you about those kits but if you're wanting to get hold of the 3D circle then the details were there. Now of course we're going to be looking at the star. This is the kit that we started off with and Oscar's first demonstration and he worked with one of the larger pieces. Now you will get a large star. You will also get get four um, of the smaller ones as well so there's oh is there five small ones oh one two I don't I thought oh it might be that they're on the front there so yes you're getting five of the small ones as well so six stars in total and there's lots of different combinations and ways for you to put these together the reason being is you've got loads and loads of your string and Oscar has been very generous you've got loads of different colors so you've got your bright tones there if you're wanting 200 meters of each of those in, sorry 100 in each of those and then you have got your, your metal I thought you said 100 200 oh I don't know um, and then of course you've got your sticky tack that we've seen Oscar working with there as well and of course these are all cut to perfection which means that you don't have to worry about knocking in little nails and catching your fingers on them and things like that they are all ready for you to go with 30% of the stock has gone with regards to these and of course when you start winding your string on there in the variety of different combinations you get different results so you can see there um, there's quite a lot of silver featuring on that one because it's the last layer that's been created yet on this one it's been used earlier on in the middle so you can see that you can see it more so in the center there in the open area but not so much on the different points and this is the beauty you make the design in whichever way that you're wanting to work with and of course you've got all those different colors Colors that you can be working with lots of different colors or just maybe just use a couple of them as you can see there and of course they are very very recyclable because all you need to do is untangle them or unwind them and then start again perhaps with different color threads and have loads of fun now you have got the tuition you have got the instruction so don't worry about that as you have seen from Oscar he is a very good teacher when it comes to explaining how to create um, your kit and he has got a YouTube channel that you can go and visit as well Details on your screen for your stars are 428306 for those. Now, the circles we just saw um, Oscar working with, you have got this one, and again, you've got a whole variety of colors, but of course, the base there will allow you to create one of these wonderful um, designs. You've got your circle, which is gonna be your main base, but then you start adding those threads. Adding the threads and the string in whichever way you're wanting to. So whichever color you choose to work with, you start with, and then you build up those layers in those different patterns as well absolutely amazing I'm just wondering with regards to the actual base I know how creative um, you are at home then maybe you'll introduce your own paints maybe add different things to those if you're wanting to it is on the underside so it is very much the stability of the piece but of course it's up to you how you create with it and I love this you can see kind of almost that stitch around the edge there where that string has been hooked over to create that fabulous design as you can see there 
Now, if you want to get hold of this one, £17.99. Again, full instructions. You can see there are lots of combinations on how you can work with those. And it's proven to be a popular kit. £17.99, 588 645 if you're wanting to get hold of that one. Now, the next one that we've got for you, again, a brilliant idea on a large scale. It's almost like a, a very elaborate spider's web almost. This An amazing design. It's a big piece. It's a three-dimensional hexagon. And again, you've got all that fabulous thread coming together to create the most beautiful design as you can see now this is the largest piece that Oscar has brought to us previously and it's one that you can enjoy sit and take your time and your pleasure putting it together and again maybe planning and thinking about the different colors that you're going to be working with maybe you're going to be using kind of your pinks and your yellows for the summer um, and creating it in this dimension yet in the winter going to your own um, kind of your greens and your silvers thinking maybe Christmas time because that's the beauty you can unwind these and actually put them back together and use them in a different color way as well absolutely amazing and now again of course you have got that framework as you can see there where it's all coming together but don't worry full instructions full video tutorial if you're wanting to get hold of this one so 589605 for that one now the last one that i'm going to share with you before we go back and visit oscar is what one of my favorites i love this this could keep me busy for hours now you're going to get all of the elements that you need for you to create a fabulous project and it's something that is very very interactive so you're going to have all of the perspex the acrylic that you need the beads two different colors of threads because what you've got with this is the ability for you to string this in either the black thread and as you can see there those beads threaded on literally just whirring their way along those strands as you can see two colors um, are included within your kit you don't have to choose at this stage you can decide when you get yours home but you can see that it's almost like they're being juggled and moved around from one side to the other and as you can see, they're absolutely amazing results. It's almost like, um, you know when you have on your desk those kind of stress, stress relievers and stress balls and things like that? I think if you've got young children, this is going to keep them amused for hours. It keep me amused for hours, and I'm not a little child. Um, £23.99, if you fancy getting hold of yours, the details are there on your screen there, 236888. Now, of course, Oscar is um, over in Turkey, so we've just got a little bit of extended delivery with regards to any of these kits. We're looking at the 20th of January but they are definitely worth the wait. Now I'm going to go back over to Oscar because Oscar is going to be working with the largest hexagon. So Oscar, over to you. Yes. Uh, with the hexagon kit we have six pieces of these arms and we have uh, the bottom parts, six of them, and we have a center part here. So we start with the frame. Uh, the notches will be on the top and uh, using the slits in the center we attach these pieces just like this through the slits till the uh, through the end and all of them uh, should be on the same direction I mean the points the notches we need for the string will be on the top and just like this we place these six arms on the frame and then we turn the frame around in order to attach these pieces these make uh, the pieces more stronger uh, and you can see that there is a detail here just like the uh, puzzles have uh, so uh, we have to ca be careful about the direction so that uh, the next piece will be on this direction to uh, fit in here. So I place these pieces just like this, starting from the end, going through the center, and that's it. Now the second one, this one goes here. And sometimes you should move it a little bit left and right in order, in order to fit in its place. So it's so easy. You just put your finger on the hole and you press it down in order to get the frame ready for the string art. And oh, sorry. I I placed it in different direction. But so it's easy to change. This is the correct one. Yes, 
for sure. And last two. And here. And the last one. So the frame is almost ready for the string. That's it. I turn it back on. And now I'm ready to go. And let me zoom out a little bit because okay. the frame is so That's big. okay. Oscar, while you do that, can I just show our viewers the um, the hexagon that we have in the studio? Because you can see how all of those pieces lock together as Oscar was just showing us there. So you can see it's a very firm base before you start um, adding your string um, to create your beautiful piece there. So again, just locking into place, like Oscar said, just like a jigsaw puzzle, um, each slotting together. But if you do find that you have any mishaps and you kind of lock them together in the wrong way, as Oscar showed, you can very, very quickly and easily remove them and put them back in their rightful place. And then of course, we're going to go on to the next stage, which involves adding all that fabulous string that is included within your kit to create your own gorgeous hexagon, as you can see with this one, a beautiful design and it comes together so easily, Oscar. Thank you. And I think I couldn't do that. Let me go on like this. Uh, so from one end, I will start the same. I will make a knot like this and cut the extra string and I'll start from the end and I will make another star for this uh, pattern also and let me try it once more sorry about that that's okay and that's it no Shall I show you one of the other, um, um, shall I show our viewers one of the other examples as well, Oscar? Just while you, you get yourself comfortable for the next part of the demonstration. Have a look at this. Beautiful. Now, within your kit, you are actually getting five different colours of string. So with this one, you can put them together in different combinations to get your own chosen result. Now, we're going to go back to Oscar because he's ready for the next part of the demonstration. Um, so uh, you can see, obviously, he's got the base. And you're going to start um, putting the string in place, Oscar. Yes, I am ready now and I will place some uh, glue underneath the frame in order to uh, attach it on the desk. Sorry for the technical delay. That's okay. Oh, we have worse ones now in I'm the ready. studio, don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I started from one end. Uh, I will go to the top and to the bottom again for the next uh, arm and one on the top, the other one on the bottom, and the first tour is finished. Now, what I'm gonna do is, these three points on the top will follow the order down this way, and these three points uh, on the bottom will go upwards. Uh -huh. uh, I will go two by two in order to make it more quick normally uh, you should use uh, every uh, point every notch on the frame uh, because the more uh, notches you have that makes the image uh, more uh, easy to see i mean it's like the resolution in an image but in order to, i want to show the last and the favorite model for you for that reason, I'm going on two by two in order to get this star shape, star pattern done. So I'm turning all over the shape, following the order. And each arm goes in a different way. Three of them goes through the top and the other three goes uh, down slope. Just like this. So now I'm going to uh, take the uh, video a little bit forward in order to show you the finished uh, sample okay. here. So uh, if we go on making the same pattern till we get to the half of the 
arms here. We've got this shape. Now, uh, we are just in the middle of this arm. So I will change the color in order to make these three arms in a different color. So I'm going to use the silver again. It's more visible because uh, we will make a knot where we uh, finished the previous color. And we go on the same pattern from this point through the top following the order. So I go on with the silver and each time I go to the next empty point through the end. Just in the middle I change the color in order to get more colorful, colorful view. So if I go on like this till the end, sorry this was uh, in the wrong place. So the pattern started to occur. Uh, these points go through the, this direction and these three points go through the top. Okay. So as I finish this, I will get Ooh. this wheel. We have two colors. Uh, three of the arms have pink and the other three has the silver and this is how we do it. And uh, I want to show you one more thing. Okay. In this wow. example, we used another pattern over here to frame the, uh, this star around it. So you can uh, combine different patterns together in order to get uh, very amazing weaves. Uh, yes. That's the point. And, uh, I want to repeat once more, uh, there's not only one way of doing these kits. Uh, you can uh, combine different patterns with different colors in order to get original designs. That's wonderful. Now, we have got some other examples within the studio. Uh, now, Oscar, I know you wanted to show us another demonstration. So just to let you know, we have about six minutes left. So shall I let you get ready for that demonstration? Yes, I am just uh, preparing. Wonderful. Now, as Oscar showed us there, it's so simple and easy for your hexagon to come together. And the key thing is it depends on how you're putting those uh, strings in place as to the final result that you get. So you can play around with these. And the beauty is, because you're not actually gluing anything in place, then if you take a design and you create it and you suddenly design, well, actually, I don't like that, that way or I want to change it, then you can unravel it and then start again. Now, don't forget, your tuition in your instructions is brilliant. It's going to show you step by step. But do check out the YouTube channel, which is mentioned on your um, your instructions, so you can go and you can craft alongside Oscar and actually create yours at the same time. So the details are on the screen if you fancy creating one like this. But Oscar is going to show us how we can create the most incredible project with beads. Now you will get in your um, kit, you will get the perspex that will allow you to put this together, and you will also get the fabulous thread and all the beads. Let me just move it to the side there, so you can see them just swishing around there shooting around the design there and that is within the black if you want to use the black thread but the other alternative is use your white and you can almost see them out a little bit more with those and as you rotate it they just literally just swishing backwards and forwards there 23 pounds and 99 pence if you fancy getting hold of one of these kits and this is where we are going to go with our demonstration next so if you're wanting to create yours the details are there 236888 Oscar are you ready Yes, I am ready. Uh, the last one, the flowing beads. We have two colors of beads and we have a needle here. But most probably we don't need uh, the needle just in case uh, we need. Uh, I, uh, I have them with the, with the kit. Normally I applied uh, a glue on the end of the string. So it's uh, more solid, more, more hard now. So you can use uh, the, uh, the end of the string just like a needle in ah. order to get the uh, beads in the string. So uh, you don't need a needle normally, but uh, in case you need, you have one with the kit. Uh, 
let me start with the frame. Again, we have two slits in the middle for these pieces. We combine like this. That's it. And now we have a cross shape here and we have a cross shape over here. We combine these two pieces, one on the top and one on the bottom, these two circles. So it's just that easy. That is so now, easy. Uh, before starting the beads, I want to show you there is two kinds of uh, different uh, uh, notches here. One is deep, one is short. So we have two layers uh, of beads here. For the first layer, we will use only the deep ones. And for the second layer, we will use only the short ones. In order to start, uh, at the end of the string, we should make another knot like this. In order to make it bigger, because the uh, thread is so thin, several times I turn the string in order to get a bigger uh, knot here. And again, we have a start point here. We have four of them uh, in each quarter. And I turn the string a few times, and then I go to a deep point, deep notch, where I want to start. Now, I will take these beads inside my ha hand I hold them inside my hand okay. and each for each string I will leave one of the beads here okay. like this and I turn the uh, cylinder a little bit uh, because I want uh, uh, I want the strings twisted like that okay. for the flow of the beads so uh, but uh, how much we turn is depends on us. Uh, we don't want these beads to touch here, the uh, panels in the middle. For that reason, it's 10 or 7 uh, steps is enough. So each time I go uh, up and down, I leave one bead and I follow the order only using the deep notches like this ah. from up down and each time I give one beat for the string Very so clever. you can check uh, like that uh, if everything is okay oh, yes. so we have one beat for each string so we go on like this turning around and Easy. just leaving one beat each time now, Oscar, uh, um, we are very quickly getting to the end of the show. We only have about a yes. minute left. The time has flown. Okay, I'll show the last layer here. Okay. Uh, the second layer is, the difference is, we turn the opposite side. For the first layer, we turn the cylinder in this direction. Now okay. we turn the opposite ah, direction. And okay. We... We have to take care of uh, that the bead doesn't touch the previous layer, so we go further or closer according to that. And we use the short ones, only short ones. So we go on like this, using the short notes and leaving one bead I love for it. each step. Now we are down if to the last go, 30 seconds, Oscar. We've got your YouTube yes. channel, haven't we? On the instructions, you tell us about the YouTube so we can watch the demonstration that way too? Yes, of course. Everything is explained uh, and written in the YouTube channel, uh, YouTube videos. Uh, here you can uh, We're use have black to say and goodbye. white to say Oscar, I'm so sorry. We have to say goodbye. We are out of time. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, I feel awful. Um, craft yourself, silly, coming up straight after the break with Paola and Hayley. Then we're back with Gavin and the Happy Puzzle Company before we have a final look at our current one day special. I'm sorry, Oscar. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest, and a crafter here at Achanda.
I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child, and I absolutely love it. I love my job. I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people, and that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Alice, I'm Alice Stitcher Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board, um, our craft bonds, our uh, pearl drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy Shows on Hochanda. Hello, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Hochanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities, so I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate. Um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the Character Craft Shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon.
afternoon. Of course, we have got Cup Yourself Silly, and we have got amazing panels, and we have got the amazing, under-talented, and always fun to work with, Hayley Smith here. How are you, Hayley? Oh, yes, yeah, I like We've got a different hat on now. That was my Fabric Freedom hat, and I have the Cup Yourself Silly hat, you're so silly. Yeah. which just, uh, is just represented by a different top, really. Exactly. Yeah. Nice, and beautiful <laughs> colour, beautiful florals as well. Right, what have you brought us today? Okay, so this is something we're really excited about because we've been working on this for a little while. And um, what we're bringing you is something that's a little bit different. So we're bringing you the quilt topper panel. So this is one of them that I've got here, which is the, is it, I keep calling it sewer sayings, but it's not. Uh, Stitcher sayings. sayings. So close. So, so close, yes, so, so far. So this is um, one of them. And th the whole concept that we're bringing you is bringing you one big topper panel, which is 70 centimetres wide by a metre. Mm -hmm. And then you can get this in various different formats, which I know Paula is going to run you through. And we've got some amazing samples. So thank you very much, lovely design team, for working ever so hard for us. Right. And I hope so you all perfect. received your little surprises. We, sent we you. do. Right. Of course, let's start with the, uh, qu the quilt and cushion fabric panels. Now, we have got three options and those three options will be available in every kind of category of different panels and as well meter pieces and half meter pieces. Let's start with the, uh, the birds here. Um, we're so, uh, you can see here the bird stamps now, what do we get as well the panel for so, the cushion? So, what you've got there, what you can see that you're looking at now, that's the topper portion of it. Now, down the side of the screen, those pieces are long strips which are designed to be your border or your edging to do a much larger quilt if you want to add other fabrics into it. And then at the bottom, you've got two panels there which are designed to be cushions. So we have got like a quilt, a little quilt, and then the cushions yep. as well. Now, if you want to use one of those on the back, one of the samples that you've got over there, um, Heather from our design team's actually made it into a quillo. It's the one on, oh, yeah, it's the one on the bottom, mate. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what she's done with this one is she's backed it with fleece and mm. then used one of those cushion panels on the back so you can fold this up into a oh, quillo. Oh, so you so can you fold it into thirds and then fold it up and up again and it'll it'll fold into that pillow okay. bit. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Uh, no, I can't do it. Okay. Uh, you will fine. show us later. I'll just, that's, that's okay. You know. Uh, right. So, uh, let's see their bird song here first. Ooh, I'm making a <laughs> that mess. That was so already. beautiful, wasn't it? It's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Right. So uh, you can see here, though, the birds. <laughs> this one's stamps. been done by a tractor, and she's just put some little kind of elements on there just to oh, kind yeah. of, if you have a look at down at the crane, she's done a bit of hand stitching on there. So these are beautiful to add the embellishments on. It's the big one in the centre there. Yeah. There, Sorry, that's the one. That's it's I hard to, to see point from behind it, it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's a problem. I wanted to put it's, it's difficult to hold and point at the same yes, time. Yes, I know. But um, she's added a bit of hand stitching to it. So these um, images that we've chosen all lend themselves to adding embellishments to them. So they're yeah, not so. just your straightforward quilting. They're really good for people who want to add, you know, add a little bit more and just stretch themselves. So. What we've done is kind of bought the easy version, which is just the topper where you can just literally put a border on it or make a wall hanging from it and you're done. Then the medium version, which is the uh, quilt and cushion panel. So you've got that original piece and then all of your extras to go with it to, to make something uh, a little bit bigger. And then we've got the deconstructed panels, which are going to come a little bit later. Right, so we have got it here, the bird stamps a panel. Of, remember, it comes with the cushion as well as the borders. Then we have got the stitchers uh, sayings, which I, I, we have to look, look through them. Fabra cadabra. I yeah, love that I, one. <laughs> just making st I've just been making stuff up for this, and it's just been making me laugh so much. I've just done this to amuse myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> And then, of course, I swear I never use your fabric as scissors on paper. And then, you know, kind of, I love those ones as well. The sewing room isn't going to tidy itself. Just So let's just close the door. This is like my house at the minute. And then we have got, if you see me with a seam ripper, now it's not the time. You see, we put a seam ripper in her hand as well. <laughs> I like, you know, that <laughs> frustration. Uh, so much fabric, so little time. It's all fun and games until the bobbin runs out. I'm 
quarter of an inch and makes all the difference. And actually, that is a quarter of an inch if you need a guidance of what a quarter of an inch is. And then we have got, um, I swear, again, we have so got... Yeah, these are in your cushion panel ones. We've repeated a couple of them in cushion panels as well. That's really cool. Of course, the panels in here. Uh, now, we have got uh, them, and then, of course, we can see it. Sorry, let me rummage. Sorry, you can't imagine how messy my house is. Uh, then, of course, we have got this. Uh, this is using the smaller panel, isn't yes, it? Yes, so that's just using the topper section out of there, and then it's just done with a uh, spotty border. Mm -hmm. And you can see, as a wall hanging, that could be just such fun in its own right. Or you could use it as a small quilt, or you can do many, many other things with it, adding more fabric in and, and making it a feature bit of a centre. I think this would be really nice over chairs in a conservatory, if you have got like chairs there, so you can have yeah. like an extra blanket. Uh, right, and then that is the Stitcher Saints. And finally, we have got the vintage uh, Seaside in here, which I think is one of my favourites because it features a little bit of a, like Japanese wood printing here. Yeah, we've kind of mixed this one up a little bit and there's lots of different kind of themes in this one, but it's all got that kind of seaside feel. So you've got your sea holly there at the bottom, um, and then you've got anchors, you've got lifeguard, you've got kind of 50s feel bits in, you've got Japanese feels in there. There's all sorts, and you've got the postcard as well. And the postcard's quite fun, because on the sample that you've got there that Heather's done, where she's made it into that Quillo format, um, she's actually written a message on the postcard. Oh, I love her. So you, you know, you can really personalise this and, and have uh, a bit of fun with it. With the fabric pens, of course, and that panel for the cushion is the one that, if you are smart, which probably you are rather than I am, uh, you can then fold it over uh, that, and of course you have, and it's reversible as well. Yep, she did a good job, didn't she? She did a very good <laughs> job. And, but you could do that too at home. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You choose whichever panel you want to go for. 443 123 is your item number. Now, with uh, our never, uh, our no, what? What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Uh, our next option is actually the same panels, but with coordinating fabrics. We are getting half a metre of each. Yes, up. so we've, we've designed four different fabrics to go with them, and um, you will get a half metre of each. So they all are exactly the same colourways. They coordinate absolutely perfectly. You haven't got to look for matches in any of these you can just kind of go straight for it. Okay, so if you are going for the bird stamps, you would get half meter pieces of these four beautiful fabrics. So in total, two meters of fabric. Two meters, yes, in total. So oh, you've got the large bird stamps, you've got the smaller print there as well. And One then you've got the stripes birds. and the palm fronds which match the border pieces in that quilt and cushion panel. Oh, you have a hoop, um, I don't know how you call it in English, how do you call this one in English? Uh, that one? Cockatoo? Is it a cockatoo? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was a, it was um, a, no, it's, it's um, oh well, anyway, moving on from that. Uh, so if you know it, I send it an email, it in Spanish is called abubilla. Oh, I don't know okay. how, how it was. Uh, right. Uh, now, now, now it's crystal we clear. Huh? Thanks. <laughs> You've made it more confusing. <laughs> Typical me. I always make it more confusing. Uh, Is that right. what you, that's what you aim for. Just more confusing. Yeah, right. So <laughs> then we have got the, of course, the Stitcher sayings. You know, I, every time I get, I'm not sure which one is my favorite, if it's the Stitcher saying or the Vintage Seaside, because this is a really graphic kind of com yes. you know, comic and, and like. Yes, we've got three completely different looks here, and that's what we've tried to bring you, uh, you know, so there's, there's something for kind of everybody, but the, the fabric with the speech bubbles on, I think of that collection, that's my favorite, favorite. Yeah, I, I think because the fabrics so are really strong. We've taken all of the phrases from the uh, quilt panel, the quilt and cushion panel, and we've added them just onto a, a background there. So I think that made as a, as a dress <gasps> would be brilliant. Now remember, all of these fabrics are 150 centimeters wide. So they are wider So that's then. kind of half as much again as you would get on your normal Fabric. And they are quilting cotton weight. Yes, absolutely. But that means that we can also use it for dressmaking. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Uh, and that one, of course, is your uh, stitcher says. And, of course, finally, we have got the vintage seaside as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, 
the, the two of them are kind of white backgrounds and then two of them have got that yeah cream. well you kind of need that to kind of offset the uh, the colors and you do need lighter and darker ones so you've got that really bold stripe which is the same as the edge of the postcard you've got the fabric that is just all the postcards which is brilliant for you know writing those little messages on you could really personalize that by before you go ahead and sew with it Absolutely. Going Love through that. and adding lots, lots of messages. Remember that other. whichever option you go, you are getting four me oh, sorry, four pieces of half meter PF fabric plus the panel. And you have got, of course, a flexibuy option. You have got a saving of ten pounds whether you flexibuy it or not. And if you flexibuy it, you only pay twenty two pounds and ninety nine pence. If you are a freedom member, you don't pay PMP. If you are not a freedom member, you pay PMP on the first installment. Three five eight nine seven nine is your item number. Now if you want to to just go for the fabrics here you have got two different options going for one meter piece of the fabric a specific fabric or going for the half meter pieces and you are getting all four of the one particular option uh, on the website everything will be explained much clear uh, there you can see different item numbers for different options 17 pounds oh 35 pounds and 98 pence is for the four half meter fabrics you choose whichever option you want to go birds stamps uh, maybe vintage seaside or of course the birds stamps your choice and you are getting all four for um, the you know half meter pieces or you could go just for one meter piece if you wanted of those gorgeous beautiful stamp and bird stamps or the stripy one is up to you now if you wanted to go for a smaller version of the toppers we have got here just the quilt topper am i right Haley? yes so this is 70 centimeters by a meter and it is just at the topper on its own so it would be up to you to find the fabrics to to work with it to make it into a bigger piece or um maybe you just want to make it as a wall hanging and you just want to back it as it is Absolutely, and then we have got, of course, the, the stitcher saying, I mean, this would be so cool to have it, I think this, as a quilt for a chair um, in the sewing room or in the craft room. Well, that's it. I mean, you could ultimately kind of add pieces together to maybe, you know, do it around a, a chair. If you've got like a tub chair, you can make the back of it. Absolutely, yeah. Like that, and just add the pieces on side by side. Indeed. Right, it's your choice. Remember, you have got three different options a vintage seaside, a stitcher saying, and of course, the gorgeous bird stamps. Now, and this is just the quilt top here that you're getting. $12.99 is a fabulous price. And remember, flex again, that means that you can spread the cost in interest free payments even on $12.99. As long as it's about five pounds, you can flexify it. 823602 is your item number. Number. Moving on to the final option we have got here. This is the deconstructed. Yes. So for the people who are more into their art quilting or would like to take it to the, the next level and basically take a, a blank canvas and add their own bits to it, this is why we've done the deconstructed panels. So it gives you like little block elements. Some of it gives you scripts. Some of it gives you um, feature bits that we've seen on the main panel that you can then layer up and create your own version of it. Would this be uh, ideal for somebody who likes free motion? Yes, and, and things then... like uh, your free motion, your art quilting, your people who want to just kind of, you know, experiment and take it that little bit further. Mm -hmm. These bits are absolutely perfect for. And then you can see all the birds in here. So also a patchwork would be quite cool to fasten. Uh, yes, I just because on the on the screen it looks like there's a big blank square there isn't it's got a nice uh, kind of wibbly background there oh, you I go see. yeah, yeah so it's giving you the background bits to start off with if you want to and if you don't want to you can just take the little elements out so you could make that go an awful lot further by maybe adding a couple of elements onto a cushion then a few elements onto a blind then a few elements onto a I love this one <laughs> yes so this is quite fun it is exactly the same size uh, as the topper in terms of those squares or those those well not squares uh, those um, kind of blocks that are panel. on the side that works out exactly the same size as the uh, topper that you've seen but all of those elements are now separate so you can move them around so you could just put one or two things in there you could replace them and there's little bobbins on there there's little there's all sorts of little kind of fun and games on there where you can move them around, change the sayings, and maybe there's some blank ones as well, so you could even add your own sayings into that one. 
Absolutely. So your choice of a vintage seaside, uh, bird stamps or a stitcher say, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. It, it will be, uh, these ones will be extended delivery. It will be dispatched from the 14th of January. It's just four days, so it's not well, long to wait at it's all. It's because we've got to print it all. Oh, I see. <laughs> we have to print it all. So um, everything, we're printing everything to order, so it does take us just an extra couple of days to do that. Fabulous. And uh, have a look on the website for every single item that we have got, including, of course, that, well, craft yourself so silly, super soft batting with a scrim. Uh, you are getting, uh, and of course, I think Haley is going to use it because uh, she was telling me all about it. Five star reviews. You also have got the pick and mix of the poplet. Here you have got all the options. Uh, three uh, half meter pieces. Twelve ninety nine is your price. And look at those five star reviews. A veritable rainbow of choices here we have got also uh, some animal print and some all oh, look at that the dark gray is that kind of a fleece kind of that's what the um quillow oh, one I was see. back with so this is why we brought the fleece because the fleece is a really nice option oh, for backing yeah. quilt sorry because then you won't need uh, batting in the middle yeah. you can just literally go with your topper and your fleece as a backing slash batting okay. and you're done. Oh, apologies. I did say poplin is actually fleece. So this is very important. So that's yes. very so important. the back on this one is the dark gray right. fleece and that one goes with the vintage seaside. Perfect. We've used white with the birds. Um, you could easily use white or black with the sewer sayings or any colour really with the sewer sayings. Oh. There's so many options you can If we go with. for three pieces of the same colour, would they be a continuous yes, piece? Yes, absolutely. We cut everything off the roll so it would be a continu continuous piece whichever colour you order. Fabulous. Uh, you have got the details there. Twelve ninety nine is for a metre and a half is whatever colour you, uh, you want. One for four, uh, four eight two. We have had a question by Tracy. And can you make a... To, uh, can you make to sell? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely you can. And I think the, the Sewer Sayings one is so fun. I, this is one I've really, really enjoyed making. Um, and I think it's just such fun, isn't it? It is fun. <laughs> and of course, this would be like a perfect project as a present. Turn it right way around. That helps, doesn't it? Right. What are you going to show us? So, um, what I've got on the back of here is, you mentioned the um, super soft batting with scrim. So first of all, I need to explain what that is. The super soft batting is, um, as we usually have, which is a polyester batting that's felted, and it is absolutely so soft, both sides. Now, the scrim one, I don't know if you can see here, just has a little bit of, um, uh, it's almost like a, a, a plasticky... Do you know what it, I liken it to? When you have like a sticking plaster for when you've got a cut and oh, it's yes, got exactly. that little bit yeah. of um, kind of, it's not like a, it is like a plastic, but it's not like a plastic, but just to stop it sticking to your... It's like a coating. It's yes, like, yeah, it's like a coating on there. And what that does is when you're doing a lot of free motion, it stops all of your uh, batting that's on the back from bunching up and um, creating lumps and bumps. So it's definitely one that's well worth using with these type of panels where you are going to put potentially quite a lot of decoration on them. So what I've done is I've cut that piece of uh, super soft with scrim. Now the piece that you get is actually twice the size of this. So I've just used half of it okay. on the back of here. Um, and now we're going to look on at this panel in the centre here. This, um, if you see me with a seam ripper, now is not the time panel. And I'm going to just come in and out using the lines that are already on there and just following those with some um, coordinated. Well, it's fairly coordinating. It's a bit more, it's got a bit more of a turquoise colour. It's a bit more like her shirt. But we're going to use that to come in and out of here to quilt all of those layers together. Fabulous. So I'm going to go and grab my sewing machine. Oh, I'm going to get cracking. Okay. So what I've done is when I've laid it on, um, I've actually ironed it as I've laid it on, just to make sure that everything is flat and all the layers kind of sit nicely together. And then you can see I've got pins, at least one in each section is what I've got. And I would say the longer the pin, the better, because you can see that pin, because it's quite long, is actually yeah. sitting quite flat versus a shorter pin. If I put uh, a little short we'll one create in. create more, more bulk. What will happen if I put a little short one in over here? Can you see how that pulls it up? Oh, yes. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. So you want nice, long, thin, flat pins. And ideally, the ones that have got the flat heads on, they seem to sit a lot flatter as well in comparison to the ones with the bobbles on. Okay. So that will help you as well. 
Okay, so we're just going to, I'm just going to swap my feet because I've still got my quilting foot on from where we were going before. And I'm not necessarily going to use a free motion foot to do this because I want my stitch length to be quite even. So if I was going to do true free motion, I'd have a free motion foot on, I'd uh, drop the feed dogs at the bottom there so that they weren't pulling the fabric through. But because what we're going to do is some uh, quite a few straight lines on here, I'm actually going to leave those on because that's going to give me a really nice even stitch length rather than free motion, which is going to be uh, relying on me to provide the a constant speed and that constant yep, stitch length. Sense, yeah. So um, I think we'll maybe start, oh, should we start in the middle or should we start this side? Ooh. Let's start this side because okay. it's a nice kind of contrasting colours there. So any, any sewing machine we can do this? Any sewing machine will be able to do this because uh, obviously all we're doing at the minute is going uh, straight forward back and forth. So what you need to do is make sure you've got a table that's got plenty of space is number one because obviously you're working with slightly larger panels and you don't want to be stuck on the edge of a table where everything's falling off the end. Um, and then I'm going to just get this twisted around a little bit more because that's better. We want to go in a nice straight line. And then all I'm going to do is follow these lines that are within here. And that's going to give us um, the, what we need in terms of quilting the layers together. But it's also going to give us something that's a little bit more decorative than just going around the edges. Now, just going around the edges is a perfect way to quilt. The one that you've got over there with the orange spotty border, that's just gone around the edges of the blocks. And that's a you know, nice and easy way to quilt it together if you want to. Yeah, you can see that all the blocks are quilted. But Very you can elegant. take, these are designed so you can take them an awful lot further if you want to. And with these, you can either cut them off when you get to the edge of the block or you can just run it along uh, the outer edge of that block because I would probably still come back around this with a, um, a black on would the edge of those borders. The, the soft batting with the screen is a good for beginners as well. Um, uh, yes, it's really good because if you're doing quite an intense amount of stitching on there, then especially if it's uh, maybe a first or second time at free motion, it's a really good one because it does help um, stop the, that fabric bunching up and that can be a, a real problem. Uh, very busy for that soft passing with the scream. Uh, I believe 60% uh, of the other uh, stock has already got 9.99 is the price. Remember, you yeah, can multiply while well, we have got in the, in the stock, and you can flexibly so you just pay it for half today. 435634 is your item number. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced quilter, that will solve so many issues for that free motion embroidery. All right, I'm just pulling these through to the back and I'm going to tie them off straight away because there's nothing worse when you're doing free motion. If you can keep it in a continuous run, then that's brilliant. But if you can't, you really want to get rid of these edges and these uh, loose threads just as soon as you can because there's nothing worse than just having a complete spaghetti junction in the back. And what you do risk is if you don't get rid of them straight away, you risk them accidentally becoming caught in your uh, bobbin as well and then snagging up later on. So I'm just going to get rid of those. And then I can continue on doing exactly that and just keep putting those dashes in. And when I get two or three of these in, you'll see what a difference it makes and how it does kind of give it a completely different look to just going around the edges. Now, I have got um, uh, a slightly different foot on here. So I've got a an, um, satin stitch foot on here, which that just means it's got two metal runners underneath. I'm actually, can, can I ping this back off very quickly? Let's have a look. Now these are on a Monday, so I'll quickly show you this. It's got a satin stitch foot, two metal runners, so it'll help it glide. And there's also just a little tiny channel in the bottom there. So if you are doing quite intense stitching, so maybe you're using um, a, a satin stitch or a decorative stitch in there, then that will help that run much more easily underneath because of that little channel that's built into there. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I'll pop that back on very quickly. Now what that's actually allowed me to do is bring that uh, bottom thread up to the top unintentionally but it's all good 
Uh, right, we have got some news about the uh, batting, the soft batting with the scrim. Uh, now that has got a technically sold out. If you have it in your baskets, check out your baskets and you will get it. However, we have got good news. Uh, we have got some on an extended delivery. It will be dispatched from the 18th of January. You still can get it. You still can get it at 9.99. You still can flexify it. It's just that it will be dispatched from the 18th of January. The same item number it's as such well. Such a useful one because I think when you you get hold of it, you'll see it is it is exactly exactly as it says on the tin, it is super soft and really, really usable. But, um, Do you know the composition of it? Uh, it's polyester. Polyester. Okay. Polyester, which is great for people who have uh, like allergies you. and things as yeah. well. I'm just swiveling that round because I need to do that last little bit. Which way am I going? This way. I could have made that a lot easier, couldn't I? Um, <laughs> I think I made that look a lot more difficult than it actually was. <laughs> Why make it easy when you can make it difficult? Well, yes. Well, ex indeed. Yeah. So I'm going to put one more stitch in there, and then when I'm ready to take that out, just pop that away. Now, that, you see my needle keeps popping that uh, thread out, and that's because I've actually got one of the quick thread needles on. I know these are on the Hachanda website somewhere, but what you actually do with these is rather than having to um, use your needle threader, yeah. you just literally push it towards your needle, I see. and it pops it in. Do they so have like a little gap? It's in got a tiny, side? tiny little gap and it will just ping them in. Now, wow. I will say that's fantastic for going kind of back and forth and doing quilting and things. But if you're going to do things like satin stitch, when right. it travels left and right, it sometimes is it a bit catch. too much of a distance and it'll catch and it'll pull it out. But yeah. for, for normal everyday stitching, um, it's just a lot quicker, isn't it, to yeah. get the to get the, um, the thread in and out. So I'm going to pull those through the back and chop those off again. So that's just a couple in there. And you can kind of see how now it's bringing that background to life. But what it's also doing is by quilting the background, it's adding, kind of cementing those layers together and pushing the background back a bit, which then means that the feature bits on the front will stand out a little bit more. I mean, if I was going to quilt the front with a, a black thread, I would just follow the black lines. Let me just push this out of the way a bit so I can get this flattened out. I would follow the, the kind of black lines of these. Yeah. Now, Faces are slightly difficult because if you stitch too much into a face, it starts to look weird. Right. So what if I was going to stitch the face in, I would do eyebrows, I would do these little nose pieces, and I would maybe just do that dark the bit teeth. in the mouth to mm -hmm. make that sink back. Okay. If you start, especially with eyes, if you start yeah. doing the eyes themselves, it sometimes starts to look a bit weird. Yeah. And also, we don't want any wrinkles either. No, no wrinkles. So, so um, yeah, just bear that in mind. If you are doing the faces, I would stick with eyebrows, those little bits of the nose, and maybe the inside of that mouth. Or just well. leave it plain. Or just leave it plain, yes. Could I we mean, do the hair? There's plenty. Oh, yeah, absolutely you could do the hair. You could add all sorts of kind of swirly bits and pieces. Maybe um, have a look at some of your kind of wools and yarns and fibres to Ooh, add texture cool. to it. You can yeah. really go to town on these. Absolutely you can. So, well, I'm going to. Oh, do you know what? I'll see if I can find some more kind of fibres and things, and we'll do maybe some of that in the next hour that we've got. Which we've got, got an hour at seven o'clock. So we'll do that on on her then. But what I want to swap to, if you can give me a minute to swap things over, is I want to swap to the vintage seaside one, because I there's another couple of samples I've got uh, which we can show you for that. And actually, this one. This one is from the bird stamps panel. And okay. you can see it does not look anything like the one you started out with. Right. And this is because uh, this one's wow. been done by Patty and she's actually taken fabric pens yeah. to the background because it's got a kind of quite a light, um, like light beige colour background to it, like a creamy beige. Then that's a really good one to take your pens to if you've got pens or inks or that kind of thing. And then she added a little bit of stitching over the top. Gorgeous. I'll really show you the back really so you gorgeous. can see. She's she's just literally kind of done the, the bird outlines wow. as stitching, but the rest of that embellishment has been added with pens. That's gorgeous. Uh, now, of course, if you want to go for the uh, quilt and cushion fabric panel, well, we are going to have a closer look at them now. Uh, remember that the super soft batting with uh, scrim uh, is back on a stock. Uh, it's still 9.99, so if you want it, grab it by checking out those baskets. But also very busy for the panels here with the quilt and the cushion. You are getting them both in one single piece of fabric. You have got three different options. You have got the gorgeous bird stamps. You have, 
remember that you have got the bigger panel, you have got the borders perfectly for that sashing around it, and then we have got the cushion stamps at the bottom of it. It could be for a quillow or it could be for two different panels, like for different cushions. I love this idea for a smaller project. Maybe you are a beginner, maybe you are an advanced uh, quilter, but you want a project that is quick and easy. And remember, you can make to silk, and of course, uh, Haley has given you permission to do that. That is the bird stamps. Then we are moving on to the next option, which is a stitcher saying, this is a fun one. This is something quite original. This is something that makes sense to have in maybe in your craft room, maybe in your uh, sewing room, maybe just have it around the house because it is absolutely phenomenal. The colors are vibrant. They have got that retro vibe. And thus saying, a quarter of an inch makes all the difference. And of course, then you have got not only the panel, not only the borders for the sashing, but you also have got the, uh, you know, the amazing panels for the cushion. If you see me with a seam ripper, now it's not the time. And of course, like many, many have, we have said, no, I have, I swear, I never use the uh, fabric scissors for the uh, paper. Right, this is the stitch you're saying, and then we are moving on to the vintage seaside. It's actually the favorite, and it's one of, you know, it's one of my favorite too. Uh, it's taking the lead, and you know what? This would be lovely to have also. Could you put on the back of it, like, a, you know those water-resistant fabrics, and to do a, like a picnic seaside uh, blanket? Because I really think that would work very well. And then, of course, you can have it as a quillow, or you could have it as a seaside bag as well. You could make it into a little, little one. Uh, if you have gone for the one-day special, with those solids, you could kind of coordinate it and make it a bigger bag, and this could be the pocket on the outside bag. Could be a picnic bag. You could do the straps of the bag with them. So there is a lot of possibilities, not just for what they are meant to. You can bring in those elements. You could frame them. If you are not a sewer, uh, maybe you just wanted to do a, a little bit like uh, make it jo shows us that you can take panels and then just glue them together and uh, staple them. 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for each of these panels you just choose between the vintage seaside, the stitcher saying, or the bird stamps. Whichever option you go for, I need to tell you that, of course, there is extended delivery because they are printed to, uh, for order. It will be dispatched from the 14th of January. 443123 is your item number. Now, you can also go for the option of the panels with half meter pieces of matching fabrics. Whichever option you are going to go, you are going to get four different fabrics, four different patterns that coordinate perfectly in style and color with the uh, option that you go for. Bird stamps is this one. Kind of, can I open it? Because I think that is this kind of really when you see it like this it's really cool think about maybe doing cushions for the sofa that could be really cool you don't have to quilt them if you don't want to you can just leave them as they are then you could absolutely use these for dressmaking for anything else you like so if you wanted to get them as the uh, single meters we will print these as continuous pieces yeah. so especially the I like the stitches saying one with the, the bubbles on I yeah. think if you made a kind of summer dress or something with that, it would be so funny. Yeah. All right. So funny. Fabulous. Uh, so you can go with, there are different options as, of course, Haley has mentioned. So if you want to go with the panels, you are getting half meter pieces of each of four. So that's bird uh, song. And the uh, bird stamps, not song. Then we are going to the stitchers uh, sayings. Here are, can I open them as well because I think this would be super cool to have little uh, pencil cases or something like this uh, for your scissors, your fabric scissors. Maybe just use two of those squares to make a little needle case. That absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you've got you've got a lots of, as well. <laughs> especially in that one who's taking your scissors. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you know those patterns that they and are like um, a pot, like the soft pot. Yeah, so you can yeah, put the yeah. As no, well, remember you're getting extra here. Um, Usually most fabrics that you'll get, you'll get as a 44 inch width fabric. You're getting kind of half as much again, because these are all, a, um, I think it's a 57, 58 inch width. So you're getting a huge piece here. So you're getting almost 50% added on there. 
I mean, it, I am stretching both my arms and I'm not reaching to the end. So that's that's us. <laughs> what, I'll, what I'll maybe just do is uh, is get a piece that's a normal size and that yeah. might help. So hang on, is it this one's normal width? Uh, there you go. So that is a uh, normal width piece. And then if I grab one of these ones with the bird stamps on. This is actually from the, the one day special, so it would work brilliantly with these because I think some of the colours work fantastically well. Right, I'm gonna don't know how the best to do this, but we'll see. So oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh you can see it there. there yeah. If I do it like that, you can see this how this is extra? where the uh, the fabric, the normal width fabric ends. So you can see you're almost getting uh, a fat quarter extra Absolutely. on the so, bottom there. So you're true, actually. getting a really a nice kind of extra wide width in all of these fabrics. Indeed. And then we have got, of course, the vintage uh, seaside here. Uh, shall I open? Uh, oh, I'll show. I'll open this, the postcard one because uh, I really love the way that it repeats itself. So. This is so cool. I really like the colors in this one as well. Uh, really good to go for this option because remember, you are going to get four half meter pieces, so two meters of pieces, as well as the panel. You have got it's a saving of 10 pounds. And also, that means that you can flex buy it if you wanted to. So you just pay 22 pounds and 99 pence today if you are a Freedom member. 358979 is your item number. Right, if you go to the website, you can find exactly the, the fabric options. Now you can go for just the four half meter fabrics. Maybe you are going for the panel as well, but you want an extra. Uh, you could go for that. 35 pounds and 98 pence gives you those four fabrics in half meter pieces. Then we have got as well the option to go like, like of course Haley was mentioned, that meter fabric. Now then you choose, you go for whatever collection you go and then you select whichever pattern you want to. That means that if you wanted it for dressmaking, which could be a lovely vintage uh, seaside of a dress or it could be of course the stitchers one, um, you can then buy multiples and it will be cut into a continuous piece. Uh, that makes a lot of sense if you want to do, do dressmaking or maybe you want it for the back of a quilt. Then we have got another option for you now if you are wanted to do a smaller project or you just want to try it for the first time of course at 12 pounds and 99 pence makes it really affordable in here we are having the same choices but what we are getting of course it's just the panel we are not getting the session element and we are not getting the cushion uh, panels but we are getting the fabulous toppers now we are getting if we want the bird stamp this is the one that we are getting then we have got the stature's uh, sayings here we have it I love that all the fabric that suddenly magically appears and then we have got hmm, I think it's my favorite uh, the seaside I just love it because of this one I just I mean I, the whole thing but that um, you know Japanese inspired uh, waves is just fabulous but then you have got the kind of the thistle you have got of course the seaside seagulls and the lighthouse as well and the lighthouse is such a kind of positive uplifting you know finding the light in the dark night and the storm it's just such a powerful and you know image 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price for one of these toppers whichever one you want to go and choose it uh, 823602 check out your baskets as well remember that we have had a sellout that uh, batting with uh, the screen it's back on extended delivery so if you want it you still can get it at 999 but it will be dispatched from the 18th of January and then finally we have got uh, the deconstructed uh, quilt here now this is uh, the uh, biggest piece in here here. You have got all those different elements, including the cushion uh, toppers there. So you can then bring it in and deconstruct it and make it in different ways. You have got different panels, different ways of, you know, cutting around and kind of making it yours if you wanted to. Remember that you can patchwork, you can then bring it your free motion embroidery. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your choice, uh, your price, and then is your choice of, of course, the vintage seaside, the bird stamps, or the stitcher saying. And of course, I think the stitcher saying is my favorite in this. This look at all the extras, and of course, what you want to do, or I, or I want to do is kind of use this panel and then applicate these elements into it and create really fun things. And 
the great thing is you don't have to use the stitcher saying for this one you can then put your own twist and what you are saying is like maybe something like that oh i forgot chocolate i'm just like how i'm gonna survive this is me just saying that anyway yeah, that would probably. <laughs> uh, but you can find everything on the website. Remember that there are different options to go for it. Remember that soft batting with the stream is now back on extended delivery. Very, very popular. Five star reviews. It will be dispatched from the 18th of January. Now, they're also very, very good for, uh, of course, the patchwork is the fusible webbing uh, with a ha half, uh, one meter and a half by half meter of that. 9.99 is your price. Remember, if you wanted to do a quick, uh, quilt going for the half meter pieces of fleece makes a lot of sense you can pick and mix any three and if you go for the same color it will be cut continuous piece so it makes sense to now, go for um, that look at those you were uh, saying about a waterproof uh, backing yes weren't you so um the although the fleece is not waterproof it will be water resistant because okay. it's polyester right so um, if you want it completely waterproof, yeah. then it's something like a shower curtain yeah. that you oh, want. That could be, yeah. But if it's obviously if it's a fairly dry day and you're just wanting to have a picnic on the grass, then backing it with fleece is perfect option. That's a good point. So we can do a picnic blanket for a uh, you know picnic in the on the beach. I mean, I know that now is not the right time, but you know, in a few months. Well, then. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be stopping them because they're all uh, all outside mine. So okay. Okay, right. Um, Just saying. Just anyway, saying. moving on. Uh, Twelve ninety nine <laughs> is your prize uh, if you want uh, the fleece uh, one four 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 eight two. All right, um, Haley, where are we? Okay, are? so I've switched over to the uh, vintage seaside quilt, and um, one of the options to quilt these is the obvious of going round each of the blocks. Now, well, I'm going to turn this around so it's the right way around because that would just be a much a more sensible thing. So this is from the quilt and cushion panel, but I've cut the top off, off of it to start work on that first and then we can add the other bits back in uh, later. So I've whipped around the edge of there just to quilt th those pieces together. If I show you on the back, you can see there, you can see the lines. So it's, it's, this is now secure and then I can work and do extra things on top of it. Now, one of the options that we have as an end of call offer are the zebra doodles pens so if you've ordered yep. anything else these will pop up at the end for you and mm -hmm. um, and these are fantastic for doing like heather had done and adding that message onto there so if you didn't want to, if you weren't maybe confident of to free motion or some machines do have a facility to to add text and add stitching on there so if that's not what you want to do you can do um you can use these because these once they are ironed or um heat sealed and then they'll be fine for washing as well uh, let's have a look on the website when you how go to, to find check out there we are free how about so free delivery add-on so 3.99 are the set of black doodles pens you have those ones there you have got other options as well so have a good look you just pay 3.99 and you will get the set of five of them perfect so taking it that next step up from what we've got there now um obviously just gone around the edge now i would possibly put a second row around the um that kind of stripy edge of yeah. the postcard so get a second right. row around there the obvious thing to do is obviously put these lines in as well okay and yeah. then if you're starting to get more adventurous yes you can kind of put these back in but that's oh, going to take I a little see. bit more concentration or if you're sneaky and you have a machine that has a very lots of machines will have a similar stitch to this this one's actually got a, a wavy stitch on so if i set that to number 11 yeah um, and then i just do a bit of stitching yeah i might be 90 percent of the way there but what i can actually do is take a ruler measure the height of it and yeah. measure the width that that repeats at, right. and actually um, get it to match up pretty closely with that Fabulous. So um, there's lots of different options putting this together. So I'm going to start off by actually going around the rest of these and we'll build this up a bit more because we're back at seven o'clock. We are. So um, I'm going to get some more of the fibres and we'll do some fancy bits with her hair because that's Ooh. a good idea and we can do that. Um, and we'll start just building these up with stitching, just proving that you don't have to have, you know, an amazingly fancy machine to get these panels looking really, really special because a lot of the hard work's done for you. And just by adding a little bit of quilting or a little bit of hand stitching, you can get them looking absolutely fantastic. 
Thank you so much, Haley. Because uh, now, if you want uh, to go for those ones, you have got the details on the screen. The ones that come with the coordinating and fabric. Uh, right, we uh, we have got there. Of course, that fly flexi by option. But let's head back to Haley for okay, the next. Okay. So uh, I've um, been around the outer edge of that. I would personally go around the inner edge of that as well. But now we're just going to follow some of these lines. Now, the foot that I've got on here is a clear foot, and that makes it a lot more simple for me to make sure that I'm lined up. And this particular foot has a little notch in the front of it. Yes, a lot of metal that. feet uh, will have like a little red line or something like that course, to show yeah. where your needle's going. When okay. you're doing this type of thing and you're trying to hit exactly on a line that's already printed, what I would advise you do is don't look where the needle is, look yeah. where that indicator line is going oh, because yeah. that's actually what's going to tell you where you need to look. Because I'm looking at this little notch in the centre here and keeping that in line with my line. And then we've got exactly on top of, so it's almost like stitching the ditch but there was no existing yeah. ditch. Yeah, exactly. And that's going to allow us to quilt all these layers together so we haven't got any baggy bits but it's quilted in a way that you know, is a little bit more unusual and relates to the fabric that you've got on top of it. So now I've got the bottom, I'm just going to pop a little fixed stitch in there so it's got a little bit of extra security. And then I'll pull all of this through to the back and tie that off again. Now, this is still going to be backed because I've added uh, my quilting onto this top layer. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and back this, then I've got um, two options. Let me just clear this off the back so I can flip this over. Mm, there we go. So, if you're going to do a lot of uh, bits and pieces on the front there, and you're going to add quite a lot of, of stitching in, you probably want to be able to do that on your first layer of batting, because what you don't want to do is have all of these bits and all of these tied off pieces right. on your back. So what I would probably do um, you know the big pieces of fuseball interfacing? Yes, we do. That we it. had on the one day special. Uh -huh. I would actually do all of my fancy pants stuff on here. Right. And then when it comes to putting my backing on, I would use that interfacing to stick the backing on. And then I'm going to hide all, all of my workings on the inside yes. and it's going to look a lot cleaner. Or your other option is to actually do it as two layers. So quilt your front piece onto this layer and that was the one that I'd recommend using the scrim for. Using a, a thinner batting for your back layer and just doing your nice pattern and then using the interfacing between those two layers of batting to put it all together. And that would be a super warm. Super warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can back it with the fleece. You can use that interfacing and use the fleece to back it as well. That would make sense. And then well. worst case scenario, if you're, if you're still wanting that little bit of extra um, security to tie it all together, then you could always just go back around those blocks on here and that would be enough to hold everything together. Fabulous. Now, that is, uh, explains how simple it is to put it together. And of course, we are going to be back at 7 o'clock. Yes, right, we'll so. do some more techniques at, at 7, I think. Okay, right. Uh, now we have got about seven minutes. If you, there's anything else that you want to show us, uh, in a second, but I will uh, remind you of what you, the option that you can go for if you wanted to go for the quilt and cushion uh, fabric panel that we have got. Remember, there are three uh, design options for you. We have got the bird stamps which of course comes with a beautiful kind of coral, orangey, uh, um, palm tree leaves. Then those bird stamps, of course, and then at the bottom, you have got the cushion panels, but it could be for something else. Of course, it could be a bag. It could be a different ways of putting it for a quillo as well. £19.99 £19 is the price. You can flexibly and just pay £10 today. Then we have got the other option, which is a stitcher sayings here. Again, it's a really fun, bright, colorful, original difference. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of something a bit different. And I like it. It's cool. It's colorful. And you have got the panels for the cushion at the bottom of them. And, of course, you have got the sides as well. And finally, the last, uh, the third option is the vintage seaside. Very popular option in which you are getting those beautiful tones of red, grays, and creams coming through 
with the lighthouse, the beach huts, the lifeguards, the kind of the beautiful hawkside wave. And um, you have got also the anchor and the crab there. And then you have got, I love that. That's a little bit kind of Jules Burns uh, kind of inspired. I love that kind of, you know, v you know, proper vintage element in there, the cushion panels there. 19 pounds and 99 pence, 443, 123 is your item number. If you flex divide, it's of course 10 pounds today and 10 pounds next month. Then we have got the ones that come with those panels and the coordinating half meter fabrics. And those ones means that you get them uh, for completely different fabrics that match perfectly those panels. So uh, starting with the bird stamps here, the larger feature stamps, then the smaller ones, and then of course the stripes, those colors that match perfectly, those colors that give you the ability to mix and match and make larger projects. Quilting weight means that you can also use them for projects like dressmaking, so not just for your uh, quilts. Then we have got the stitchers um, option, the stitcher sames. I love the brightness of the fabric. I love the way that they are square, so easy to cut, easy to use as well. The sames here, again, fussy cut them, interface them, patchwork them into their project. And then that kind of yellow with that kind of gray, the half tone in those colors, in that orange tone, giving a little bit of detail, but not overpowering too much. That is what you're saying. And finally, the vintage seaside here, the stripes, the kind of beautiful kind of chairs that could be then the postcards, and then of course we have got the seagull and the uh, crab and anchor fabric. Now these ones are the different options. You have got, of course, the flexible option to spread the cost and a saving of ten pounds. Grab yours by checking out those baskets. Three five eight and nine seven nine is your item number. Back to our Haley because I believe you are finishing it something. Yeah. Well, um, what I'm doing is I'm just going round some of the edges of the other pieces, um, and then I think what we'll do in, for the next hour. If I can find my free motion foot, we'll have uh, a go at actually doing some, some kind of colouring in on some different bits as well because free motion is a great way to work on these. And even if you're just um, beginning at free motion and you just want to put you know, free motion pieces in the background elements, that would work really well. Or perhaps using that uh, wavy stitch that we were looking at to add on to the postage mark, using that in between all of these other elements. There's lots of different ways you can kind of work at this and lots of different effects you'll be able to create. Indeed, I love that. Of course, uh, now your unit is a sewing machine. Maybe you put the fleece in as well. Uh, remember that we have got those options on the website as there as well. Whatever option you go for, whether it's the fabric panel, details at the bottom of the screen, or the one that comes with the half meter pieces, which we are getting four of them, four different ones. Uh, so in totaling uh, two meters of beautiful quilting cotton, the details on the left hand side of the screen. All you have to do is choose what kind of bundle you want and what patterns do you want? I believe Vintage Seaside, is it still in the lead? It's still in the lead. There in all go. options as well. Well, the, the um, Stitcher Sayings one, that was that was just purely for my amusement. Well, apparently <laughs> it's a, a very close I just made second. because I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, if, if whichever one you want to do, check out your baskets. Remember, they are beautiful quilting fabrics. So not only you can use them for quilts, but you other projects as well. And they are big pieces as well of fabric. Yes, they are big pieces, and they're kind of instant quilts if that's what you want to go for. But I think they do stand alone, or they can stand alone as wall hangings and, and things like that. We wanted to create something that was kind of pretty universal that could be you know, in the centre of a, a throw or a bigger piece and would allow you to do, you know, your, your little bits of work individually on it, which you can just take one project at a time. I was thinking they are like a very simple black dress. Imagine one of those ones that is a really simple dress. And then you want to make, you know, maybe that piece in here and just cut it as a long pocket or something like a oh, panel in here. Oh, I know what here. you mean. I know what you mean. And add, add them on as Add as them on as patchworks. Yeah, accessories yeah. into a very simple <laughs> slim A-line dress. And you could do that one as well because you know, some of these things would work really well for those ones as well, yeah. 
In, in just general life, you mean? In general life, in general absolutely. Life. Don't I touch mean, my stomach, says <laughs> I mean, I love the, 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 that one, for instance. The, you know, I swear I haven't used your uh, fabric scissors on paper. <laughs> I think we all can relate about with the, those ones as well. They, uh, you know, it's all fun and games until the bobby runs out. True, or a though. quarter of an inch makes all the difference as it, well. It really does. It does. I mean, it relates to, to sewing. The same allowance, right? It's yes, the same, the same allowance. It's the same allowance. It's nothing dodgy. It's the same allowance. <laughs> Um, right, <laughs> uh, we are both back at 7 o'clock. Uh, now, of course, do check out your baskets. Hayley Do and myself as well are back at 4 p.m. with the final look at the One Day Special, which are all the splints that will work very well with this panel. So stay tuned because also after the break, well, Gavin is back with the Happy Puzzle Company. And I'm a massive fan of the Genius Square. I really want the Genius to start as well because they are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. And of course, Derek, the Fabulous Derek is back as well with him. So they are going to be a fabulous fun. So stay tuned. Thank you, Haley. We'll see you at four. But the Happy Puzzle Company is back with Gavin and Derek for that one. Uh, then at four, the Fabric Freedom Bold Basics One Day Special. And then at five, Catherine and Derek Dremel. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucy style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Extravaganza time, folks! From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flextravaganza event! If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps, 
I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Free Spirit is the home of some of the biggest names in designer quilting fabrics, like Kay Fassett, Tula Pink and William Morris, and have been proud to supply Hochanda for the last 12 months. Join us on Thursday the 14th of January at 6pm for the Free Spirit First Anniversary One Day Special. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, happy Sunday afternoon to you. It's lovely to have your company here at Hochanda. My name is Derek. If we've never met before, it's lovely to meet you. And if we're old friends, welcome back. Uh, we have got a brilliant Sunday for you and a show that has been so, so, so much awaited and so needed on our lives. The Happy Puzzle Company is back in the house here at Hochanda. And Gavin is here. Gavin, it's lovely to meet you. Happy New Year. Hello, Derek. Happy New Year. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hochanda world. How are you all? Happy New Year, my first show since Christmas Eve, and I'm delighted to be here with some brand new things. Which is absolutely brilliant, I love this. Now, legendary, first of all, we have got some exclusive, like world exclusive puzzles coming your way in this hour as well. <laughs> But I want to talk, first of all, about something that you know which is legendary to the Happy Puzzle Company, which is the Genius Square. It is coming up a little bit later on. I know a lot of you, in fact, thousands of you, have it already in your lives. There are competitions going on here, there, and absolutely everyone. I want to hear about your experiences of the Genius Square as well. It is coming up, and we will feature it later in the show. Can you, can you nutshell it in 30 seconds, Gavin? The greatest game ever invented, bar none, 350,000 copies sold worldwide in the first two years, Game of the Year in Australia, Product of the Year in Australia, Game of the Year in Spain, in the final of Game of the Year 2021 in the USA, and it's received the second highest product rating ever given to a game by the Good Toy Guide in the UK. Oh, I tell you what, sell it? I tell you what, that was pretty much bang on 30 seconds. And you know what, for those of you watching who it isn't in their lives so far, well, I'm included, so I'm really, really fascinated to see how this works. I understand that Yanis is a bit of a mean streak at this game as well. So it is there for you to buy. And I know people buy this multiple times as well, because what's happening now with lockdown is that this is a game that you can play with you in your house and someone else in their house, and you can video Zoom and Skype and all of those video calling things to each other, and you can play each other. Um, so... Listen, £16.99 right now. Remember, Flex Extravaganza is on right now, so you can split that down into two flexes as well, which is really, really good. And all you need to do is pop that item number into your basket right now, 549652. Right, the follow-on to the Genius Square is the Genius Star. And that's what we're going to just very, very briefly uh, mention right now. Here it is at 1899. So the difference between the square and the star, Gavin. So the star is a follow on. It's much more complex. So instead of taking about 30 seconds to a minute per game, it's going to take you more like five minutes to 20 minutes per game. Lots more scope for possible puzzles to do, including some really dramatic twists, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Again, huge award winner, current Toy of the Year in the USA, as chosen by the toy industry itself in the USA. It's been out since May, 85,000 copies worldwide already. And I'm really happy to know as well, this is something that you can play. If it's just you at home, you can play... 
So you can, play, you can play by yourself. Yeah. Uh, you can play with somebody else in front of you. Yeah. But the key thing, particularly during lockdown, is that you can play it with somebody else on Zoom or Skype. And yeah. you'll see, as we demonstrate it later, that it really is easy to play against somebody else. In fact, there's all sorts of Zoom competitions that are going on at the moment. And we have been bombarded by Hachanda viewers telling us their stories of how they're being able to play with their children and grandchildren remotely over Christmas. So this is really something special for lockdown. Fabulous. If you have yours already, uh, then absolutely. Pictures, stories via our uh, uh, email address, studio at hochando.com. I would love to hear. Can't wait to get playing a little bit later. And... For the littlies among the family, uh, to get them, well, I suppose it's a, a bit like you would graduate to the square and the star by starting with B Genius, which is for the littlies, Gavin. If you were aged from three to eight, you would definitely start with B Genius. And it is different to the others because it's a non-competitive version. It's designed to build self-confidence, spatial awareness skills and thinking skills in younger children. The pieces are much bigger, much chunkier. And as I say, it's not done in a competitive way. What we're trying to do is build confidence. It's a lovely game with really beautifully made, chunky wooden pieces. I feel like this is where I should start my journey with these games. Uh, 16 .99, it is there for you if you know you loved the games uh, that you have already from the Happy Puzzle Company and you want something for the kids uh, to play with right now because they are around a lot more and you want to get them away from technology etc etc then this is great because it's good old board games as well. We're going back to basics which I love. 16 .99, back to basics but with something which is brand new and something that will build as well, which I love. And Derek, now, one yes, more thing, just yes. to say to people, because I know how many viewers have got their sets, if you want to play against Derek and I later in the show, make sure you've got your Genius Square or your Genius Star or both in front of you. Brilliant. Right, I'm looking forward to that because I am, I am totally in the dark at the moment, so I'm, it might be the same for you as well. So stick around. This is brilliant. Right, let's talk puzzles right now. Um, do you know, puzzles, um, it's one of those things that you think, actually, do you know what? It focuses the mind. It's, it's something to concentrate on. It's something to achieve right now when we are at home an awful lot. We have got for you, via Gavin and the Happy Puzzle Company, world exclusives in jigsaw puzzles right now. Let's start with the first one. A world exclusive. Proper, proper world exclusive. Um, so this is a Call the Midwife 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Now, in case you've been living on another planet and you've never seen Call the Midwife, it's the most wonderful BBC period drama, which has been running since 2012. 86 episodes once the new series has been uh, put to bed. It starts very, very shortly. Uh, and this wonderful thing is now available for the first time as this multiple image jigsaw puzzle. Now, when we say exclusive, this puzzle is not available anywhere in the world at the moment. It is currently awaiting uh, a bay in order to be able to dock at Felixstowe Harbour. And as soon as it comes into us, because this is on an extended delivery. It is, yeah. Uh, it's due to dock in on Tuesday, and it will be available exclusively through the Happy Puzzle Company. But the key thing is, because it's not actually available there, and there is a limited number available, you get the opportunity today to buy this puzzle exclusively through Hochanda. When they've sold out, they've sold out. And at the moment, as you've probably read in the press, Jigsaw puzzles have gone completely mad because yeah. they are providing huge entertainment during lockdown. It's the most stunning, stunning puzzle, this. Well, at the, at the end of the day, um, e even if uh, any of the retail stores um, take deliveries of these, of course, those retail stores' doors are closed right now, so we can't get in there to buy it anyway. So... This is your opportunity to be first off the blocks as well. I love this. You're going to love every single puzzle that we have uh, coming up in this show. Uh, Call the Midnife, uh, Wid, Mid, Midnife? The Wid, Midwife is such a popular series. I know thousands and thousands of you watch it and love it as well. This might be a gift for somebody else as well. They are on extended um, uh, delay uh, dispatch, as Gavin mentioned there. Um, so we are saying the, the 25th of January. As soon, the latest. as soon as we possibly can. There are delays at the ports at the moment, so it should be quicker than that. But just to cover things, we're saying the 25th, but it should be significantly before that. Right, let's do another exclusive then, shall we? 
and I think this, this is another world exclusive, Gavin. It this is one, another is it? world exclusive, <laughs> and it's very, very, very significant because, yes. as you may have read in the press, it is the 30th anniversary of Mr Bean uh, being celebrated today. Uh, although the actual first of the only 15 Mr Bean programmes that were ever made yes. uh, was actually broadcast on the 1st of January 1990 and it ran for five years periodically uh, but it's been sold now to some of 245 territories worldwide. And there were films as well, there weren't were there? Two, there were two highly successful <laughs> Mr Bean films. It is a worldwide <laughs> phenomenon which was actually created by Rowan Atkinson uh, as a character while he was doing his master's degree at Oxford University. Yeah. Now, this 1,000-piece puzzle yes. is absolutely exceptional because there were so many images that we could uh, choose. Again, <laughs> this is a complete exclusive to Hotchandra at the moment. It is not available anywhere else in the world. And once they arrive, obviously... Everyone's going to want them, and they won't last very long. It Abs is a world exclusive. Absolutely, and, and I love the, I mean, the imagery. Just makes you smile, doesn't it? So as it comes together, it just gets happier and happier. Um, I love the images. I think they're absolutely brilliant. They really typify what is that that enormous character uh, of Rowan Atkinson's, which is uh, Mr. Bean as well. So again, a world exclusive right now. That eighteen ninety nine, by the way, um, it is on delayed dispatch. So if you want to um, split that into two payments right now, you can because Flex Extravaganza is definitely in play right now so you can break that 1899 down into two payments you know what you what you are going to be doing as well is probably getting a fair old collection of bits and pieces um, in in a basket today I think it's definitely definitely going to happen um, completely by chance Gavin and I have never met I've never seen the happy puzzle company before so it's brilliant uh, to, to be a first for me but as a wee nipper when I was smaller than I than I am even now on a weekly basis my nan I can't remember how much it was, but she would always go to the newsagent and pick up my copy of the Beano. And because I didn't see her very often, I'd go and see her the other side of Kent, and then she'd have a big stack of like 13 or 14 in between trips. The Beano is like the story of my childhood. So, do you know, one of the funny things about this is whenever you meet people who've grown up with the Beano, yeah. one of the things they always say, one of the first things they always say is, how much was it when you first bought it? Yeah, I honestly can't remember. I, I don't know why I have something like 10 or 12 pence in my head. I don't know what it might That might means be. you're significantly younger than me, because I started <laughs> getting it uh, in 1976, when I was right. seven years old. I used to get off the school bus and get it, and it yeah. was uh, 2p. Very quickly went up to 4p. Right. Uh, and now it's something ridiculous, like £3.95, and includes all sorts of free games oh, and stuff. Oh, does it? But... I don't know if you know how old the Beano is. The I Beano, don't, the first edition actually came out on the 30th of July, 1938. Wow. Uh, and in fact, um, if you go back just to August 2019, yeah. the 4,000th fourth, the issue was published. Now, at its absolute peak, how many, what do you think the circulation was? How many copies do you think they sold Ooh. a week? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, just a random figure. I'm going to go 200,000. So if you go back to April 1950. Yeah. It was 1.942 million copies no. per week. Per week? Per week. My gosh. Just under 2 million copies of the Beano were sold every week. And if you look through the ages, yeah. most of the main characters that were introduced over the years, Dennis the Menace and Nasher and Walter the Softy and Roger the Dodger and Minnie the Mink yeah. and Billy was, they're all still there. Are they still in there? And are they're they still, still in frozen in time at the age they were back in whatever? Have they grown up at all? S strangely, Dennis the Menace <laughs> is still, and I'm not sure he's ever washed his sweater, but if you look at this look at image, that. which you can see on screen now, it is stunning. It is a whole history of all of the characters that have appeared in the Beano, all of your favourites are there. All of the Bash Street kids are in there. And this is a trip down memory lane. But actually, as a jigsaw puzzle as well, <laughs> this is phenomenal because of the colours that are in there. This is something you're going to want to glue afterwards and, and really treasure, put Definitely. on the wall and treasure. Definitely. And, and the great thing today is we have a thousand piece and we have a smaller 200 piece uh, puzzle as well. Who do you recognise out of that straight away? Um, Brilliant. I absolutely love it. That's Banana it, Man. Yeah. Hey. Was Banana Man in the Beano? But I, all, so basically, the DC Thompson stable, which has gradually shrunk in children's comics, oh. a lot of the time, uh, so for example, when the Dandy yeah. ceased publication, some of the characters 
uh, like you'll see in there, actually, just to the right of the image, Biffo the bear, yeah. uh, some of the characters merged in with the Beano. So the oh, Beano's consistency has always been there. There's Billy <laughs> Whiz as well. Um, but it has um, absorbed some other characters as you've gone through the years. But whatever you remember from the Beano is going to be inside this glorious, glorious picture. And again, that is a world exclusive that is not available anywhere else in the world at the moment. It's first come, first served. There is a limited quantity of these, and Hochanda have got that first come, first served. But you're okay. going to have to be quick. Listen, I mean, there are, there are lots and lots and lots of us who have lived uh, with the Beano over the generations, and it instantly makes you smile. It instantly takes you back to a place in time, wherever that is, whether it be your place. childhood. Yeah, absolutely. It might be your childhood. Uh, it might be, you know, your, your son's, daughter's, grandchildren, whatever it might be. So this is your thousand-piece puzzle. There's a real challenge there, because there's a lot of characters in there as well. £18.00 and 99 <coughs> pence. So is the Beano still in circulation yes. now, Gavin? Yes, is absolutely. It? Wowzers. I didn't know it was even still around because, of course, one, when you feel like you've outgrown something and you move on in life, you can, I can't keep going to the news agent every week for, another, for a copy of the Beano. They'll think I'm silly. Um, so you, you kind of you lose touch with it, don't you? So it's just really lovely to go back in well, time. But you know what was really nice was when, when, when these arrived, and I've only had these myself since Friday, and my youngest daughter, Shiri, who's nine, yeah. uh, started reeling off the names of all of the characters. Really? And I was like, oh, I didn't know you were this into the Beano. Now, of course, it's also on TV now, oh, as these it? things always are. Oh, There's various Beano-based cartoons and things. <laughs> um, but this is just as much appealing nowadays to... Uh, to children as it was then. Unfortunately, as was the case with comics, comics are very expensive now. Yes. Right, well, let's scale it down then to something that the young generation is still in touch with the Beano right now. Who knew? We all thought it was something from way back when. It's something that's very, very current now, and even on your TV screens, had no idea whatsoever. So, if you want to get started, or um, this, is, this is recommended at ages three to eight, isn't it? But I think I would start here. I think that's a lovely big image as well. So 200 pieces on this one. So this is your smaller Beano puzzle. So I, I, re I remember Dennis the Menace, and I remember that's Nasha, isn't it? The, that is the Nasha dog. the dog. Who's the, the female character? That I'm, is Minnie the Mink. Minnie the Mink, of course it is. I need to go back to those comics. I do need to go back to those comics and just relive those memories again, because um, they were brilliant. 286450 is your item number then um, for the um, smaller one there. So 200 pieces there, lovely, lovely image as well. And it's quite nice because you can all get involved in something like this. If you've got littlies, if you've got toddlers, you know, three, four, five, six, you can actually spend some time with them as well. And see the joy of that accomplishment when they finish the puzzle as well. I think that's lovely. Remember, you can break that down into two flexies as well with flex extravaganza. Right, OK. Back now to call the midwife, and I have to tell you, this image could not be any more perfect for right now, Gavin, Gavin could it? It's freezing outside. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Baltic. <laughs> if you want to feel nice and warm inside, then definitely this is a nice snowy puzzle for you to do. Uh, this is the existing call the midwife jigsaw puzzle. Again, as a limited edition uh, of these, and there's a limited quantity available as well. It's a thousand-piece jigsaw. Really, really lovely. And this one is also available today uh, and um, is another new puzzle as well. It's not a world exclusive like the other ones are because this has been available for a few weeks, but it is just as gorgeous. And if you are a fan of Call the Midwife or if you know anybody who is a fan of Call the Midwife, they will thoroughly appreciate the characters that are in here as well. Do you know, I haven't seen it too often, but I recently saw an interview with Mir Miriam Margulies, and she played a, she played a role um, in <laughs> Call the Midwife as well, which seems the most unlikely thing in the world, but, <laughs> but she did, and, and we love her, and that's the reason to go and watch Call the Midwife as well, isn't it? Eighteen ninety nine. again, a nice little challenge as well. Um, I love the fact that all of your puzzles that we've got featured here, they're all, um, they're all contemporary and they're all familiar, they're all things that we know and we love um, a lot of puzzles that you see and, and that have been available and it might be your thing completely and honestly I'm not knocking it but um, it's a church scene in a landscape somewhere and it's quite nice to have something that is iconic that is different that means something to you that you can identify with as well I think that broadens the appeal of jigsaw puzzles as well isn't it I think sometimes they've been seen as something that you, we, we grow into in life and absolutely with everything going on right now it's something where it can completely get you away from the gadgets and the news and everything else and you can just like crafting that's why this is the perfect place um, for the happy puzzle company as well talking of icons 
Well, they don't get any better or bigger in classic comedy, do they, than Laurel and Hardy? Absolutely not. And this is a stunning jigsaw. Uh, and as you can see in the jigsaw, it is a jigsaw of Laurel and Hardy doing a jigsaw. Uh, which is <laughs> which is particular. Now let me ask you a question, Derek. How many films do you think Laurel and Hardy made? Oh gosh, I know it was a fair few, but I'm 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 going to guess because it was back in the day. I'm going to guess somewhere I don't know. Let's say fifty-two because I know it was more than Carry Ons. Okay, so they were operating together as a duo between 1927 and 1955, and in that time period, they made 107 films. Wow. And that was uh, 32 silent short films, um, and then 40 short films with sound, and then full-length feature films, they did 23. But the really interesting statistic, when you realise how legendary and how famous they are, how many times do you think they appeared on TV in the USA? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, they were kind of silent film era, so you don't really associate them with speaking at all, do you, really? So the only time they ever appeared on television in the USA was on the 1st of December 1954 when a This Is Your Life was done on them. Really? That was their only appearance ever on TV in the USA. Shall I share my own, my one and only uh, Laurel and Hardy fact? I, I'm not sure which one of them has a connection with Olveston in Cumbria, because I've stood, I used to work for a radio station there, and I've stood next to, there's a Laurel and Hardy Museum in Olveston in Cumbria, Cumbria near the Lake District, and I have a picture of me next to the statue. So I don't know if one of them came from from Cumbria, that way, from... I think they were both American of origin, but oh, they certainly they? came over to uh, England together at one point. Oh. And that's from having seen the uh, Laurel and Hardy film about, the, the, about the biopic about, about Laurel and Hardy. Wow, yeah, I think that's something we all need to catch up on as well. I think it's quite, not, quite a black and white puzzle as well. Also, that gives you a bit more of an extra challenge, doesn't it? That's because it was filmed in black and white. Of course, that's, that's <laughs> the only images there ever were of them. Yeah, ask a silly question, Derek. So that's your thousand-piece Laurel and Hardy um, jigsaw puzzle then. That's 441977. Again, remember, with Flex Stravaganza right now, you can break that down into two very, very easy payments there for you as well. Um, I would imagine there's a lot more in your basket than just the one puzzle. We do have a 500 piece as well and here they are is this the same puzzle they're at Gavin on this one I, I think it probably <laughs> is the same puzzle but I think everyone else who's sitting in the first one has given up by that <laughs> stage uh, so yeah it's I think it's such a lovely idea to have a puzzle of people doing a puzzle there's um, it, it's Stan isn't it with the with the um, with the sort of um, Brill creamed down hair, other that, hair products that, that are that available. Is, that is Stan Laurel, yeah, and Oliver Hardy is the uh, tall, thin one. So, so um, Stan's looking quite bemused there, quite rightly with the amount of pieces in front of him, I'm guessing. <laughs> I think he needs some conditioner on his hair. Yeah, I think he does, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not necessarily a good look, is it, for a photo, but, you know, it was all about comedy at the time. Uh, in black and white, it probably looked better. But Six, also, it does make, the, it makes these pictures really challenging because they're in black and white. Yes. So if you really want to get your teeth into something, and they are so stunning when they're finished at the end. I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's genius. Um, 16 99, um, and that is yours. 271 344 <coughs> is the item number. Right, okay. Next up, we have got the works of a brilliant, brilliant illustrator who you will feel like you're familiar with his work straight away when you see it because it's comical, it's whimsical, it's, um, it's full of people. Um, it's Len Epstein. Um, talk to us about Len, Gavin. So Len uh, has been cartooning for years and years and years, decades. Um, he is actually self-taught and a lot of the work which he does is corporate work, but he's become known as a legendary cartoonist. And that's largely because of these types of jigsaws that you see here, uh, which were especially um, uh, licensed from him. And you can actually see them built up there behind Derek. Uh, he's actually got the built puzzles in there. Now, there are three different ones uh, which we've got here. There is one which is called Traffic Jam, which is the one on the left. That's this one here, isn't it? Which is that one. Then we've got uh, Day at the Beach, which is the one in the middle. Which is definitely before the days of social distancing, because there are thousands of people on that beach, let me tell you. It's definitely not Bournemouth. Uh, and we've also got the block party <laughs> the block as well. Party so let's, the let's, let's home in, shall we, on one by one. In fact, if I just lay these down for a second, then we can see um, the imagery. We'll get Marcus to I'll go in. I'll tell you why I love look. these so much. No matter how many times you look at these images, 
you always see something different going on. Yes. And you go back to them weeks and weeks later and you see the detail of what's going on with them. Let me see if I can just them. angle that to it. There oh, yeah. we go. Like that. We've got yeah, it. Yeah, that's really good now to see that. And they are just, they're busy. They're really busy and they tell so many stories. And as I say, every time you go back to them, you're going to see something different. And they look so wonderful when they're displayed on your wall because whoever comes to your home is going to want to spend ages looking at them. Just as I look now, I'm seeing things that I hadn't noticed before. The pair of eyes that are peering out of the uh, castle there at the top, as you can see. Uh, and you've got the inflatable snake that's there. It's just wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And of course, it's all based on a chaotic traffic jam as well. I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Just going back to Laurel and Hardy, Mo, I've just had lots of lots of emails have come through. I was sort of right. I just remember I remembered things a little wrong. Um, <coughs> Stan Laurel was actually born in Ulverston in Cumbria. I didn't apparently. know that. Yeah. There you go. In 1890. Thank you to everyone that's emailed in as well. Should we go to the beach next with Len? Um, this is lovely. This is my favourite. Um, I, I, I mean, my family hail from a place called Thanet in Kent, which is out on the coast, so Ramsgate, Margate, Broadstairs, that kind of part of um, Kent. Uh, and this reminds me of a very, very packed Broadstairs beach. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And there are so many people on that beach as well. Um, it's fascinating, isn't it? Because every time you look at it, Gavin, you see something new, don't you? And this is a bit of a pipe dream. This is about as far away from a beach day as you could get today. Yes. The idea of sitting on a beach in, in beachwear today is yeah. that not appealing. So you can recreate that in your own home. I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And it's a really lovely challenge. And again, this could be this could this could be one that you sit down and, and do with the kids. It could be one as well that, that you you know you kind of go at for weeks and weeks and weeks and build up the challenge. And then at the end of it, as you say, you've got a gorgeous piece of artwork, haven't you? But how amazing is Len Epstein as a cartoonist? Oh. If you actually go online and look at some of his work, you'll see that he's done and the books that he's illustrated. The man is a genius and he's completely self-taught. Which is, which is no mean feat no, at that kind of slightest. scale. Absolutely amazing images. Uh, and I've got all three of these. Uh, they, they go together beautifully as a set. Uh, and they are absolutely wonderful for people coming in and having a look at and then really marvelling at. Um, and it's the sort of thing as well that you want to take apart and build again. It's just... The shorts honestly, on that, it's on that man there. The shorts are just hilarious. I just think it's brilliant. It just captures that whole seaside thing, doesn't it? I love it. I think it's really, really good. Um, so that's the second one. Uh, but we have the third option as well, which is behind me, which is called uh, Block Party over here. So let's see whether we can get a little... A little shot of that one, and, and, and I take block party as is is an American block. We're block. talking here. It's a right? block. block. We're on the it, block. It, it, it's I think what you might call the equivalent of the street party that we're all going to have when this oh. pandemic finally goes oh. away. Are we? Are we ever? Right. Let me see if I can yes, tilt this will. slightly forward. For oh, actually, I'll have to do it left or right, Marcus. Actually, because otherwise I'm in danger of uh, turning a thousand pieces back into uh, a thousand pieces. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good. <laughs> well, listen, we only have an hour, Gavin. That's the problem. <laughs> so you look at this and you just see every type of person that could possibly be living in your neighbourhood. The old and the young. Yeah. Uh, the inquisitive um, Mrs. Nosy from next door, Mr. Nosy from the other side. Yeah. Uh, and, and all of guy. the things that were gone there. It is just stunning. I, the work <laughs> that has gone into creating this. And it just works superbly well as a jigsaw puzzle. I genuinely love Len Epstein's work. I think he's an absolute genius. They're so whimsical. I love them. I think they're really, really good. So you've got three options to look at. You can look at them more closely and zoom in, them, uh, in them, on them and everything else on the website as well, don't forget. The item number is 002691, and you'll see all three options there. So Block Party, uh, Day at the Beach, and the Traffic Jam one there as well. Uh, they are 16.99, which, of course, you can split down into two pay uh, flexi payments as well, which is brilliant. Right. Now we're going, now this, I've heard about this puzzle before because everyone has been telling me about you and the Happy Puzzle Company since I walked in the door today. So it's lovely to meet you. Um, but you have now these, all the puzzles we've seen so far, you think, right, I think I could go for that one. But you've got something behind you there that, I mean, the, the, the name says it all. Explain. The words, the words puzzle and evil don't <laughs> normally go together in the same sentence, but they should do uh, on this occasion because what I've got behind me here 
are three of the four almost impossible puzzles to be able to do. And they're pretty self-explanatory when you see them. I want to tell you how I got into these. Uh, we also, one of the things which we do is we um, uh, create photo jigsaws, just people send us their photographs and we turn them into a jigsaw. And my wife had this wonderful idea that we should take a picture of the dog in the garden and do it uh, and turn it into a jigsaw. And all of a sudden we had the dog on the grass with the bushes behind it. It was effectively a sea of green. And we realised this was the most wonderful thing that you could do as a jigsaw puzzle. So the first of these that we're looking at over here uh, is a grass puzzle. This is literally a patch of grass. It, this is not just a patch of grass, this is some sort of method of torture. Where is uh, this grass, Gavin? Well, I'm guessing it's in somebody's garden. <laughs> it might be in the local park. It's certainly it's been very mowed healthy. relatively recently. But isn't that a fantastic, fantastic thing? And I think when you look at it from a distance as well, you're not quite sure what it is. Uh, but once you've built this, the sense of satisfaction <laughs> that comes from building this. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't give this to somebody uh, if you wanted them to have an easy time. You want to give this to somebody <laughs> who seriously, seriously wants to be challenged. This is a great comedy birthday gift, isn't it? It. Definitely. A, 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 or a method of torture. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. For those people that you know in your life uh, who have everything, do you know what I mean? And you always buy them a funny birthday card or a naughty birthday card or whatever it may be. This is the one. This is the ultimate right. I've got you this time. I've got you this time. See if you can do this. That's amazing. That's just one of the options because... So, option number two here. These are jelly beans. And, of course... Jelly beans come in a million different colours and flavours and, and all sorts of different things. But you try and do them as a jigsaw when you've got the colours which are so similar <laughs> and yet slightly different. And of course, the reflections make such a difference as well. So here I do my weather forecast a bit over here. That's very so good. So you can see we've got the, the red ones over here. <laughs> and even though they're the identical red colours over there, the shading is slightly different because of the light and they become darker over here. So you've really got to sort them out, and you've got so many that are so similar than there, uh, in, in there that you've really got to think about what you're doing. So I suspect this is a little bit marginally easier and less <laughs> evil than the grass, but don't be fooled into thinking that this is anything other than tremendously difficult for somebody <laughs> uh, to do. Oh, I love it. I bet you've had some wonderful these feedback on these puzzles uh, as well, Gavin, as well, about that. Now, if you can step the other side of that so we can get to that rainbow one with the camera. This um, is my favourite. This is, this is just, it's stunning. This, um, is, this is wave the rainbow, wavy, is it? This is the wavy rainbow. <laughs> Uh, it is exactly what you think it is. Yeah. You can see the colours of the rainbow as they go through, going right the way down from the blue over here, going up to the green in the top corner over there. And I hope that the camera can pick up the detail of this. It is stunning beyond <laughs> words. And the sense, uh, the sense of depth that you get as well with the wavy lines is really amazing. This is a truly magnificent puzzle and it looks stunning on any wall. This is a made up one which I bought from home and it really does look stunning uh, on a wall. And there is a harder version of this, which Derek has got. Oh, yes, I have. Actually, I have got it, hasn't it? It's this one over here, isn't it? Indeed. Marcus, if you stay right where you are for a second, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to bring this over here so that you can see it and then I can pick it up. Oop. Then I can pick it up and move it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, isn't it? That's the wavy rainbow. Oh, sorry, that's the blurry rainbow. This is the wavy rainbow. The one you've got, the one Derek's got there now, is the blurry rainbow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this very, very gingerly, because I'm at a certain angle now that at any wrong move, and I could be, I could be in serious uh, puzzle trouble. Do you know? Do you know when you go into a china shop and they say yes. you break something? <laughs> I uh, the thing is, Gavin. I know we've never met before, but I am that kind of clumsy klutz. I, I am that person. Um, how beautiful that is. Lovely ombre of colours that you've got. Again, that's 16.99. I think it's brilliant. Right, 608.909 is your item number there at 16.99. Uh, let's go and have a look at all of the puzzles that are on the web as well. Remember, we've got some world exclusives there as well, like Mr Bean and the Call the Midwife one as well. Absolutely exclusive to us here at Hochanda. I mean, exclusive in the world as well. They are on delayed dispatch. They are coming out for you on the 25th of January. Um, Gavin assures us at latest. Um, so we will get those out as soon as they go through. Because obviously with everything that's happened recently and is happening in the world at the moment, um, it's slightly more complicated um, getting things through. I mean, they're there, aren't they? They're there. 
They are absolutely there. It's just doing the paperwork and dotting the I's and crossing the T's and we'll get it all sorted as quickly as we possibly can. Right, we are back where we started, which is great, which is music to my ears, because we are at the legendary Genius Square game. Now, what I have in front of me... Well, I don't know what I have in front of me, Gavin, actually, so I'm a complete novice. You can, you can take me from square zero to hero. But do you know something? You're just about the only presenter here now that hasn't done a Genius Square show with me, so I'm delighted to have the opportunity. Brilliant. To, I, I have to tell you, when we came in at the, at the top of the show, because Paula had just finished doing the previous show, and her face of excitement when she saw that we were doing the Genius Square... Uh, so, I have to say, Yanis aside, I have managed to beat most of the uh, presenters hands down, so you've got oh, a challenge oh. there as well. Oh, I'm ready. Bring so, it on. Now, uh, as, it, as I said at the <coughs> beginning, and I want to say it again, if you've got your Genius Square at home with you, then make sure you've got it to hand so that you can play against Derek and myself as well. So, this is the Genius Square, and I'll explain why it's called the Genius Square. It's a lovely story, first of all. This was invented by an Algerian mathematician called Salim Burgish, who wrote to me uh, nearly three years ago now to say that he devised a game which he thought uh, was going to be a world beater and he handed it over to all of the top toys and games companies in the world and they'd all rejected him uh, and said they weren't interested and that's because his idea in its original form didn't actually work in the way that he thought it was going to work ah, okay. and instead of rejecting him we decided we were going to make it work and when you see exactly how this works honestly there are 62,208 possible ways of playing this game everyone is different and every single one has a solution so this is what we do we have seven dice and each of the dice has got on it a number of coordinates so you see we've got a to f across the side and one to six across the top and when we roll these these dice it's these that will fall in any one of the 62,208 combinations. Okay. And what we're going to do once we've rolled them, which I'm doing here, I yeah. hope everyone can, can see those here, I'll call out the coordinates and then you're going to take these round blockers yes. and you're going to block out those coordinates. Okay, right. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got A4. A4. And A5. A5. And C1. C1. And C2. C2. And D4. D4. And D5. D5. And F1. F1. So this is just one way in which this can be played, and all of them follow the same pattern, which is you have got to complete the grid with the other pieces before your opponent. And it works every single time. So I just have to fill in the gaps. You've got to fill in the gaps against me and see how well you do it. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> OK, on your marks. <laughs> Get set, <laughs> go. Now, I, I always say this whenever I'm doing this on here. It is phenomenally <laughs> difficult to actually try and solve this whilst you're actually talking on TV at the same time. Uh, but nevertheless, I don't have an option oh, here. Listen, love a I'm just going to have to do love my best here as I can do it. Let's put that one in here. How long have you been playing this, Gavin, by the way? How just, long have I been playing it? Like, I need he to says know this. Make it, Well, to be honest with you, it's not, about, <laughs> it's not about time. It's about the number of times I've probably played. Wow, I'm really struggling with this one here. Oh, it I'm is very close, difficult but... to talk and do this. Yes, it is. At the same time. It is. Look, as I'm you can see. There. That's really frustrating. It, uh, uh, yeah, and you'll get very close and you'll suddenly think to yourself, <laughs> am I as close as I thought I was going to be? These pieces, by the way, and I will, I will mention in a moment exactly what you get in your set, um, that these pieces clock into place so beautifully. I'm quite sure that everybody is watching their television at the moment and saying, this is how you do it. What have I, what have I done wrong here? Oh, my goodness me. I love it's, this. Really, but it's, it's not that easy to do, and yet it looks and seems seems as though it's going to be so easy to do. And, Let's and put that one in here and this one in here. And so how many, how many people can play at, at the same time? So there's no limit to them. You get two sets. And I'll go through exactly what you get inside your set in a moment. But there is actually no limit to goodness me. Wow, this, and, look at this for a just, struggle. And just, I, I don't take my eyes off of mine right now. <laughs> uh, well, this is how competitive you've made me right I now. I know, I'm sorry, this is, this is my own oh, doing look, here. look, look, but, look, I can't believe how close I am. But, but, I'm you're, just, not, but, but you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. You're I'm not there yet. Not there I'm yet. very nearly there. <laughs> wow, what's happening here? Sorry, Leslie, we're getting loads and loads of messages. Tell me again, sorry. Anne, Anne's had hers for three days. And she can do three games in five minutes. 
and she's well, playing it now. And are you playing against us right now at home? I hope you are. I, I, you know what? At the moment, I think you and I, Derek, are trying to get one game done in an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goodness me, I'm yeah. making a real hash of this. Cancel oh, hang on. every other show today. Uh, we could be here hang on. quite some time. No, oh, I think something, oh, I think something oh, possibly oh, is, 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 oh, is going oh. to happen very I'm, shortly. I'm fi I'm no, oh, it's not. I've oh, Have you oh, done it? Oh, I think I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Can I show you? You can. I am. I am done, I'll show you the right way round. So you know that the right ones are covered up. And I'm still busy over Damn, here. I can't believe it. I I'm, know. You've, I'm oh, there you are. Now I've done mine now. And I, what you'll notice is we've done them in different <laughs> ways. Oh, y yes. Now. Oh, do you want me to that, do that? Is, that is fantastic. Now, let me tell you what you actually get in your set. Now, uh, where Derek <laughs> is over there, yes. you'll see that what we've actually got are the two giant sets which we've had specially made for Hodanda. Yes. What you actually get in your set is what Derek's got over there with right. him, which is the two smaller, uh, much more handy sets that you've got there, which come they with your are. dice as well. Um, two sets come inside every pack, and of course, because you only need the one set of dice, you can play with somebody else remotely, either by sending them a set uh, and just rolling the dice where you are, or they can do the same. Uh, and you can have however many people you want playing, as long as you can uh, <laughs> tell who's actually finished first. Um, and they clock into place nicely. It really is a beautiful, beautiful game. I cannot recommend this game highly enough to you. If you buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game to buy. And I will tell you as well, by the way, if you go onto the Hachanda website, and you have a look at the reviews of this, yeah. and there are bucket loads of them, every single review, without a single exception, is a five-star review. The Hachanda viewers are in love with this game as much as I am. Well, I, I, I tell you what, I have to tell you, that's my very, very, I've heard about this game as well. And everyone since I came into the building has said, do you know what, as a welcome back, you are going to love this show. You're going to absolutely love this show. And I had never seen this game before. That was the first time I'd ever played it, I promise. Um, absolutely brilliant. And I've had loads and loads of emails as well. Thank you for all your messages. Um, Pat says the Genius Square was our Christmas game of choice this Christmas. Um, Hubby and me have played nearly every day since Christmas. What I like about it is the rules are simple. It's thought provoking. Uh, pr provoking and it doesn't drag on all day <laughs> can be as long or as short as you want perfect game love it says pat on the wirral and uh, margaret says i've bought this at christmas for my grandson and we all loved it i've just ordered another one so we can play it on facetime see that's the great thing as well now isn't it is if you're communicating which we all are right now zoom and facetime and skype and and all of these video things right now is that you can play this across the web as well. Right, um, just going back to the puzzles briefly, Nigel has sent us a picture um, of, oh, he says he absolutely loves the puzzles, and here it is, proudly completed. That's, the, that. wave, that's the wavy rainbow, isn't it? Look at that, that, that is stunning. That's the different jelly bean one. Oh, that's got more jelly beans that's in it. That's got far one, more jelly beans. Oh, right, thank you, Nigel, for uh, uh, sending that in as well. Keep. Um, sending those in because I would love to hear. So, one set that we buy gets you, um, it's two of the genius squares, so that's enough for you and someone far away to be able to play. But the best thing to do is get yourself a set, obviously, um, and then send somebody else the set as well because then that that pond keeps rippling out, doesn't it? Then more and more people can play. Does that mean that if you're on a, like a Zoom or a Skype or one of those kind of calls with several other people, they can all be playing the same game Absolutely. at the same time? So I had um, a conversation <laughs> this week with a, a, one of your viewers, a lovely lady called Rokshunda, yeah. uh, who wanted me to know that she's got grandchildren dotted all over the world. <laughs> uh, and uh, Rokshunda goes on to Zoom with them every week and they all play the Genius Square at the same time time together. Gosh, this is so nice. And actually, you know what, I'm, we're never here to knock anything else, but there are certain board games that when they're mentioned, strike terror into you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, because they take so long and long and long. Oh, Norma, Norma beat both of us, Gavin, I've just heard. Um, who was it? Oh, Norma Ann. Um, she beat us both by 30 seconds. Should we play everyone again? Yeah, oh yeah, can we? Let's play everyone again. Let's play another I, game. Absolutely. Because that's what they're sitting there waiting to do. <laughs> and I'm Love hoping this. that this lady, Rokshunda, is there with her grandchildren <laughs> wanting to play this as well. It was such a sweet email to Rokshunda. I certainly. love it. There we go. Okay, let's uh, re-roll these dice and see where we'll come up. Okay, so right. we have got A3. A3. A5. A5. Uh, C1. <laughs> C1. C6. Oh, oh. 
E3. Yeah. Uh, F1. Yeah. And F4. Very different to oh. last time. Let's give the, let's give the viewers uh, just a moment right, to, just get to get themselves just to get all sorted your, out your in there. In a row. Right. Are you ready, Derek? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we okay. go. Let's right. go. Now, having completely embarrassed oh. myself in the last game, I need to make sure I, I get this right. I can't Otherwise, my I'm reputation goes out Lightning will never the window. strike twice. Oh, no. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. There's quite a few ones, ones that are left on their own in this game, isn't there? Well, this is what you've got to guard this is against. The thing to and that's what out. makes it so difficult. Because it really is a challenge to get a ha 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 ha. And this time, I win. Oh, well done. Look at that. Look at that. How you did that in 25 seconds, um, Leslie's just told me. Well, that it, listen, it should normally take between 30 seconds and a minute. That's so awesome. Did anybody beat Gavin, though? That's what we want to hear. I bet, Do, I bet there were plenty. Drop us a little message in um, if you did. That's such a brilliant game. I just want to play it forever and ever and ever. And Leslie's being time marshal in my ear for this show, and she's saying, you're not playing any more games of that for now. We've Aww. got to move on to the next one. We've got to move on to Genius Star. Um, and, and Genius Star, Genius Star is, is, is a step on it is. from the Genius Square. It is, and I shall explain to you why it's different. I'm just moving the pieces okay. across to here. Now, look, you do get two sets of these again uh, inside uh, your package, but I've got one for you over there. Okay. And, uh, and I've got one over here so that we're going to be able to play. Now, this one has uh, 11 shapes instead of 9, but there is a delicious little twist in here. We've got seven dice again uh, but these are not just all regular dice we've actually got some octagonal dice in here as well and the net <laughs> result of that is that it leaves us with uh, roughly uh, 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 166,888,000 000 combinations oh gosh something who like works that. all of that out uh, well <laughs> actually they've all got to be checked by a computer uh, really? and the maths of it is based on the number of different things which appear on the dice uh, and you ah. multiply it through to get the number of possibilities. But once we finish <laughs> uh, designing these games, then what we have to do is we have to get the computer to play all of them. And I can tell you, in the case of the Genius Star, it took the computer three seconds to play every game, but with the number of games it had to play, it took six days for the computer to actually play every, the... at a rate of one game wow. every three seconds. Now, That's our incredible. blocker pieces here right. are these white pieces which have got the star inside. Oh, I so see, yeah. It's not quite the same uh, as, uh, as in the Genius Square. We're going to put those up there. And, oh, you've got a piece of B Genius in there, which we'll come to later. Now, the little okay. twist in this yeah. uh, is, are these two pieces here. Now, we've got um, two halves of a hexagon here. Oh, yeah. And they're just two regular uh, blue half hexagons here. But if you turn them over, they will together make a golden star. Now, on roughly 54% of the combinations, it is possible to complete the star with the golden star being whole inside. So your task... Is that your gold medal, is to, then? That is your gold medal. <laughs> now, your task is to, first of all, work out whether or not you want to play it straight and just go for a win without right. these two being together, or whether you want to gamble and try and go for a double win by completing this with the star being Ooh. in one whole place. Right, now, bring it on. Just to let you know, before, we get, before we get too excited, yes. because it's only possible on 54% of the uh, possible solutions, there is actually a website. Mm. If you go to uh, geniusstar.com, yeah. you can actually put your coordinates in and it will tell you whether or not it is possible to complete your puzzle with ah. the golden star complete. So let's roll Ooh. our dice. Let's make sure we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven had gone straight over there. Right. And what you'll notice here, I hope this camera might want to come in a little bit mm. nearer yep. just to be able to see the board. We've actually got the, let's turn it around here. I hope you can see this, that you've actually got the numbers that are uh, imprinted onto the board. Can we, ah, oh, we can see that there. You yep. can see, so they're not coordinates in the same way. They are just the numbers uh, from one to 48. So Great. if we roll the dice now. And we'll see what we've got. So these are the numbers you're going to block out with your white stars. OK. Uh, so we have got number one. Yeah. We've got number 22. 22. And we've got number 28. 28. And we've got number four. Four. And number 27. 27. And <laughs> number 41. <laughs> this just makes you smile. And your bonus ball. Yes. <laughs> that's what you were thinking, I know. Uh, it, number 25. 25. OK. 
Right, so no done. one's winning the lottery off of this, but hopefully uh, we will race <laughs> against each other to see who can complete this. Now, this right. is much more difficult. Yes. Okay, this is much trickier. To keep it simple, I'm going to try and do this without actually having the golden star together. Otherwise, we really might be here for far too long. You ready okay. to have a go? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go. Right. Now, let's see. This, this is significantly more difficult. So, if you've got the genius square and you love the genius square and you want to be stretched a little bit further, this is definitely the game to go for here. <laughs> so many more possibilities and it will drive you even more insane than the genius square does already. Oh, I love it. I am do you know as well, it's something that through. absolutely everybody can do. You know, there are certain word games that you think, actually, you know, that's not going to work for so-and-so or, or, or whatever. Um, and sometimes people can feel excluded from some board games. I mean, this is something that absolutely everybody can get involved 100%. with. 100%. Um, which I think is really, really good. It's really, really important. Um, and, and actually something that just, you know, takes you away from everything else that might just be going on. I'm absolutely and nowhere near. I've done it. <laughs> Look at that. Have you done it? I've done oh, it. Oh, well done. Right, how long did that take, Leslie? Right, we, d we didn't have the timer, but it's got to be less than a minute, hasn't it? That was, I think I got a bit lucky there, to be honest with you. Uh, I've got some very, 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 very gaping gaps in mine. I would be some months behind you, I think, there, Gavin. Practice um, makes perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you think, see, the thing was, I, I went for the quick kind of, I'm going to put my golden star in first, which was probably a completely terrible move, and then see if I could go from there. Uh, but I guess people strategize in different ways for this game, absolutely. don't they? Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Right now, listen. I want. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shimmy on just because I want to get everything back in and remind you of everything that's in the show. So the genius star there is 18.99. Again, remember, uh, these are on extended delivery, going out at latest on the 25th of uh, January. You can break that price down into two as well with Flex Stravaganza um, as well, which is wonderful. Sorry, did you say we were going somewhere? Are we going somewhere? Oh, have we? Right, OK, we've got a little piece of film um, to talk about the Bee Genius, which is the junior version um, of these fabulous games, a slightly more or, or less competitive version for the children. Have a little look at this. Right. Okay. So, B Genius. Um, let's have a let's have a quick, quick look at B Genius. Very shall we? quick because we are running out of time. This is we the are. junior version, ages three to eight. Much bigger pieces, really nice and chunky, beautifully made. These will last for a lifetime. And this is the non-competitive version. So, if you're trying to build the confidence and thinking skills of a younger puzzle, this is the way to do it. Very simply done. You roll the six dice, they are colour-coded and they've got the numbers from one to six on them. The queen bee goes in the middle of the honeycomb like that. And then we block off the rest of them. So we've got the purple one and we've got the green five and we've got the red five and we've got the orange six and we've got, uh, what have I missed out here? Uh, the blue number three. Uh, and one more is the yellow number four and then what we're going to do is we are going to just get all of these to fit into place the pieces are beautiful and they clock in in such a lovely way and while I'm finishing that off if you want to run through Derek all the other things which we've got it's and then fantastic. I shall let you know what it I've really got is it. because we're about to run out of time as well so let's go and have a look at the puzzles that are on the show and the games as well so B Genius is 16.99 there um, let's go and have a look at the um, the puzzles that we've got in the show because they are brilliant. Remember, a lot of them are world exclusive as well, so we're going to go through them um, on that, uh, the little pictures there. So, Call the Midwife um, is totally and utterly exclusive to us. 425525. You can have a closer look at these on the website, of course, at 1899. Also, completely exclusive to us. Uh, well, we have got the existing. Uh, that's the brand new Call the Midwife puzzle, isn't it? Sorry, I beg your pardon. That's the exclusive one. That's the exclusive one. 519447 um, is your item number, 1899. Quick look at the Laurel and Hardy puzzle as well. 
There it is, 1,000 pieces of Laurel and Hardy doing a puzzle. 441977. Now, that's going to be a nice challenge for you. You're going to love it. 18.99. There's a 500-piece Laurel and Hardy puzzle as well, which is, again, Stan and Ollie puzzling over the puzzle. 271344 is the item number for that one at 16.99. Mr. Bean, which is totally exclusive to us as well, um, as the 30th anniversary celebrations are happening right now. I wonder how celebratory those celebrations are. Uh, 799524. We all love and uh, adore Mr. Bean. And from the Mr. Bean to the Beano, <laughs> which we all love and it's been part of our life. 395850 is your item number for that one at 1899. I have to tell you, there are so many people who are buying right now. I know a lot of people were waiting, a lot of people wait until the end of the show and then they say, right, okay, now I'm going to go make my decisions. The Genius Square, everyone needs in their lives, let's face it, it's such fun. I mean, that was the first time I played that game as well, and it was such, such brilliant fun. Got to have one of those. 549652 is the item number. Remember, you don't have to play alone with that one as well. You can play the other side of the world with that game with someone else as well, lots of other people, and I know there's a lot of competitions which happen in-house here at Hochanda with that as well. So that's 549652. Uh, Gavin, thank you so much. What a fun hour. Two, it's gone so far it too has. quickly. When it's are you back with us? Great. I don't know. Um, in the next few days, I'll be back. Fantastic. Everyone Can't will wait. know. I, I love it. I would really want to have a go at that grass puzzle as well. It is brilliant. Please make sure that you check out your baskets. Remember that you can break everything down into flex, two flexies as well with flex extravaganza. Take advantage of that. Treat yourself, treat your friends, treat the family as well. Get some fabulous, fabulous this games that really make you smile and everyone can be part of. I tell you what, my first show with the Happy Puzzle Company and it's been amazing. Thank you. So Sunday continues as we go back to our Bold Basics Fabric Freedom One Day Special with our Hayley and Lady P and I'll be back with Catherine Storick later and the Dremel too. There's lots still to come. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandra is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandra. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. 
Be Crafty is a family run company, Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Welcome if you are just joining us here at Hotenda. We are having a final look, a final live hour to the one day special. And you know, if you're just joining us, well, we launch a brand new one day special every day at 6 p.m. And then of course at 4 p.m. we have on the next day, we have got a final look at it if uh, there is a stock. Now we have got a fabulous one day special and it is one of the fundamental basics of quilting or uh, sewing and it is the beautiful color basics the planes now no I'm not on my own because that would be a no. little bit boring wouldn't it no. now we would have got the fabulous entertaining and of course the always educational <laughs> always here today <laughs> always <laughs> here I mean, like before. so just like permanently here they just keep me in a cupboard out the back and oh no I've got a gap she'll do yeah we will yeah. Join. that's what right Helly how are you doing <laughs> I'm fine thank you I'm getting there I'm going really as fast cool. as I can but trying to get other shows it as well I'm, I'm getting there we're not going to get it fully finished but you definitely start to see that bar yellow effect coming in perfect now of course the one day special you have got different options different color options now we have got six different color stories to choose from whichever option you are going to go for you're going to get six half meter pieces of beautiful fabric six different hues of colors as well i'm going to go through them and of course Haley is going to explain later what we can do with them which is plenty of things we are talking about quilting cotton from from fabric freedom oh that's difficult to pronounce actually uh, and of course you are getting uh, beautiful hues in here so now this is a, a pink uh, or the candy painting and you have got six as you can see beautiful defined different hues from more of a mauve sort of pinks and kind of that kind of muted pinks to a I would say this is a kind of a more coral then we are going into I, I think this is very much a candy floss sort of color ma or marshmallow that this is marshmallow this is candy floss okay <laughs> this is candy floss and this is probably I would say um, this is like well I would you know those sweets um, Sherberts. Is it Sherbert? It's Sherbert. Yes. Pink Sherbert. That sort of thing. But anyway, I don't know. Good. Can you get I'm sure you can. I'm you know, sure I've been to places where you can get all the different sherbets and you can just shove them yes, all in. I and think then so. It I looks think dead pretty in the beginning Absolutely. and then you start dipping things in it and it just ends up a mess. 
The, this. <laughs> that like is it. the candy paint. The 80% of the candy paint option has gone. Remember, this is the final life look at them. So grab it though yours by checking out those baskets. Then we have got the neutrals here, uh, or it's a nice neutral. So we have got, I would say this is more of a toffee. Then we have got a latte. Then we have got the vanilla. Then we have got the lemon ice cream here. Then we have got the oh, Cornish cream. And then we have got just regular cream. Uh, the richness in here. Yes, just Please tell me you did eat those crisps before we came on air because you're talking about food a lot and I know what's coming next. <laughs> it is coming. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, this is the neutrals. And then we are going into the spring, the spring hues here. Now, here is the skies, the blue skies, the bluebells, the wisteria, the green fields, the brand new leaves coming out of the of, of the of trees. And now, and then we have got, of course, the kind of blues, greens for the landscapes. 70% of the spring hues has already already gone then we have got more options this side then we have got the sunset and then we are going into the beautiful fruity kind of I think here this is kind of orange and tangerines and then mangoes and lemons very citruses and of course we have got then the lemon ice cream and the lemon sorbet kind of colors in there so depending on however you are kind of go in remember half meter pieces 100% cotton quilting weight we are talking about then we have got the lush lagoon here and of course you have got the deep waters of the lagoon you have got that kind of really extra deep here it's almost like an indigo color then going to the forest green which has got the earthy tones and then the fresh bottle green or Christmas green and then it got slightly more muted version of it that is the lush lagoon and then the final option is wild berry now here we are talking and rich beautiful purples lilacs and plums and overjays and of course then we have got the lilac here the lavender sort of colors over 80% of the wild berry has gone grab yours by checking out your baskets now that's not all whichever option you are getting you are getting fusible web you are getting a meter of that with it so I believe it is here so this is what you are getting is that fusible web that you can use for so many different options in there so so many different ways that you can use it and if you want yours, check out your basket. Your item number will be the same, whichever option you go for, 444495, 4, 4, 4, 25 pounds and 93 pence. That 15 pounds saving is there, whether you flexify it or not. The flexify payment, of course, is it would be about, let me see, that it would be 13 pounds. Wouldn't it be 13 pounds that you would be paying today? 12.97 actually even better uh, that would be what you would be paying today and if you are a freedom member you do not pay p and p remember whatever option you go for you will get that interfacing the feasible web as well right we have got more options as well look at that now the, I just love the red I just love the red anyway uh, we have got the option of going for four planes now it's again half meter pieces you are getting four uh, so here we have got the uh, gorgeous fabulous fuchsias uh, intense bright pinks this is very hochanda colors in here you can see it uh, again four different shades completely half meters then we are moving into the lime cooler uh, and again you are getting a beautiful mint then you are what what I call an apple fresh apple green or Rosenbaum uh, apple green then you are getting the proper lime with that zesty kind of vibrancy car in it and then finally you are getting what I call I would say it's a spring green full of life the new leaves that kind of when they come up and they are so luminous and that of course is the lime cooler option and um, in case you're wondering the next one is definitely my favorite the red maple I mean seriously isn't that a joy uh, now again four different options of well not different options it's four colors for red tones and this is important because red even though you kind of thinking well it's it's a deep red there are different tones to it there is kind of intense and then of course you have got of course the burgundy or merlot sort of color then you have got more of a terracotta red it's a true red but still it's a little bit more terracotta and then finally we have got that to to tomato red I mean I could spend the whole hour in this section but 
I shall not. Uh, then we have got the earthy greens. Now, if the previous one was the lime, gr uh, the lime cooler, this is going to the forest. This is the fern green that we have got there, a beautiful earthy green, but still very green. Then we have got, this I would call it a moss, a kind of a dry moss, but then this is a kind of a fresh moss, if you know what the difference. And having those tones means that there is so many possibilities. And finally, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is definitely not a green. This is more of a sand tone color, but coordinates very well because it's the earthy tones in there. Now, 14 pounds and 96 pence are the price. Now, if you go for these options, remember that they are all different colors from your one day special. So you would have, uh, if you go for one of these and one of the one day specials, you would have 10 different shades because in the one day special, you are getting six and in here you're getting four. Seven nine four five five zero is your item number, and if you want to split the cost, you can, and you would be paying um, six pounds ninety three pence or ninety four ninety. Uh, well. A few pennies. <laughs> anyway, and then we have got a uh, fabric freedom of happy hours for this hour that we have brought some uh, very popular ones indeed. And of course, remember that the happy hours, although the one day special should last until 6 p.m., the happy hours will not. The happy hours prices, we should, uh, they last until the end of this hour. So you have got 50 minutes to check out your baskets. Now, we have got the first happy hour. We have got four different options, but we only have got here the three to show you. However, you can see them um, more on the website. So the first option that we have got is that it's kind of a beautiful, I would say it's kind of a golden, um, you know, golden beige, but I, I think it's beige doesn't do its service because it's more of a golden tone here, printed onto white, so it's a perfect blender as well. So you are getting five half meters pieces of again built in white cotton and you are going to get two and a half meters in total. The width if you are interested in that 44 inches, nine, 19 pounds and 99 pence for this option. Now, um, you know, these ones were incredibly popular, Haley. Why, why do you think they were so popular? Um, I think with these, I think a lot of people have had them before and they're buying them again because they're especially at this price because they're on a happy hour price. Um, but these are a really good option as a blender fabric because they're kind of, there's enough interest in them, especially the, the kind of white on whites and the uh, white on greys. There's enough interest in them to make them, you know, not a flat, boring fabric but um, there's, they're not kind of bright enough and harsh enough to take away from any other pattern fabrics that you might have in there. So they're brilliant as a blender. You could easily use them together yeah. and make something, you know, quite, quite subtle. Maybe you combine the white and the gray or the cream and the beige one. They would work brilliantly together. Um, but a lot of the Fabric Freedom quilts, the sample quilts that we show you, will use these as their white rather than a, a completely plain white. Right. right. If you want to go for this one, uh, this is the great option, I believe. And then the, you have got the white on white, which to me, if you are doubting, go for the white on white because it, now the gray and the white have got a slightly do, uh, longer uh, delay because they sold out earlier. They will be this patch from the 12th of Jan. The gray is also limited to stock, I believe. So if you want it, even though it's extended delivery, please check out your baskets now because it already is limited to stock. £19.99 pence is the price. Whichever one you go for, you're going to get five half meter pieces. You're saving £5.055538 is your item number for that. Then we are going to go for brush cotton. And I'm going to go for black. So polka gods, really love these. You know, Hayley, we always say we need to back our cut, uh, our quilts with some brushed cotton, don't we? Yeah, well, brushed cotton's a nice option to back a quilt with because um, it's really nice and soft against the skin. It is 100% cotton, so you don't need to um, worry about it um, not being the same type of fabric. But I would still say, no matter what type of fabric, because we are going to show you the... Um, the poly cotton sheeting yeah. option as well, which again is brilliant for backing quilts. We're going to show you that a little bit later. Um, but anything that you are going to back a quilt with, make sure you wash it and you kind of treat it the same way as you would 
for the end product yeah. because um, it's definitely worth giving everything that you're going to use a wash and a dry and either if you're going to tumble dry it, tumble dry it so that everything reacts the same way and then once it's been through once it will react, the it same. won't kind of react any further once it goes through again and again. Perfect. Uh, now, if you want to go for the polka dots, uh, the item number is 295218. You're saving £12 and you're just paying 9 99 for two meters of uh, the polka dots bags. You have got 47 minutes to check out your baskets for the happy hours if you do not want to miss up on a 12 pound saving. And it really is better than half price. Then we have got, I'm going to show the whales in here again is a brush cotton and super adorable print and this is the sort of uh, you know what i would want to do it like a dressing gown with this yeah now uh, we do say um for especially for children's yes. night, well nightwear is fine so dressing gowns is fine sleepwear not fine unless you treat it which you can you can get sprays yeah. that just make it give it um a Fire flame retardant, retardant yeah. coating um because that's all it really is concerned with it's just if you know god forbid put them to bed and there's a house fire then you yeah. want that's something that's going to have that resistance on it. So uh, you have got here uh, just worth mentioning not only you are getting two meters but it is 58 inches wide traditionally it's 44 inches like the polka dot was 44 inches so you are getting more fabric in your two meters. 11.99 is your price better than half price because you are seven, saving 13 pounds if you want your a beautiful brush cotton with the whales 000786 is your item number and then we have I've got the geometric triangles. I really, no, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the black polka dots probably my favorite. But this is <laughs> this is close second. So if you've got any bit of grey in your quilt, or you've got any bit of purple in your quilt, this will work beautifully. And because it's um, that kind of offset geometric design, you don't need to worry about pattern matching too much because it's kind of a little bit wobbly in the first place. Absolutely. Bit. And now if you want yours, well, 11.99 is your price. Again, uh, 58 inches wide. Uh, now 11.99, the price, 13 pounds is the saving, but that 13 pounds saving, well, it's a happy hour. So you have got 45 minutes to check out your basket. 528630, lots more on the website. There we have it, including, of course, you have got a quilting cotton, a five and a half inches square. But those, are, I, do we have any of those Swiss rolls? our uh, quilting cottons maybe we have got a couple of the colors only navy and red so if you want those ones please do check out your baskets we incredibly popular all the time for them right and then we have got another product uh, which is um, you know what this is uh, something that is really really popular every time we have only seen it today uh, right now uh, usually you know we feature it more during the air shows but now Polish sheeting, five meters by 2.4 meters. We need to address the fact that it is a poly mix. Yes. So by poly mix, it doesn't mean that one strand is polyester and one strand is cotton, because that would then wear the fabric differently. This is actually um, when the thread is spun, it's a polyester and a cotton mixed at that point. So it then becomes one fiber and it's all uh, yeah. woven with the same fibre. Now the reason that the, having the polyester in there is really, really handy is because it just is its so much easier to work with. It, you'll see with you, you know, scrunching that up and opening it up again, yeah. creases so much less. So it's a, it's a really nice fabric to work with from that point of view. All those creases just mostly come out straight away. They um, disappear. Again, if you're going to work this with a cotton front on your quilt, yeah. then just wash it all before you start. Make sure you treat everything the same way. So you wash everything at 30 degrees and either line dry it or um, tumble dry it, whichever you prefer. Just make sure you treat everything the same first off and you'll be absolutely fine. And the beauty of this is the width. Right. I mean, it is 244 centimetres wide yeah. by five metres in length. That means you can kind of back two king size quilts with that two you can back two two king size quilts with that and well, you'll still have a little bit left over i mean also uh, you were mentioning the po uh, poly cotton uh, could be good for dressmaking because it's the material yes, that um, you use i mean for. if you look at most especially kind of uh, men's shirts and things you'll find in the back if you look at the label there's an element of polyester in all of that and that's because that polyester oh dear I'm like kind of, <gasps> and that I, 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 right. So we were discussing earlier yeah. about if Paula had a, a superpower, 
what would it be? And yeah, now you have done. a cape to go with your superpower. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> my, my superpower, by the way, is to confuse people. That's <laughs> not my superpower. So a villain comes in knowing very clear what he needs to do. Uh, and then I confuse him so much that he doesn't know anymore what he came to do. She just talks to him about a neighbor, Stuart, and exactly. apparently that's it. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so we have got four <laughs> different color options. We have got the red, we have got the ivory, which is a really soft w white, and then we have got the white, and then we have got the black. Now, whichever option you are going to get, of course, is that Polymex. You are getting them two meter, uh, sorry, five meters by 2.4 uh, four, uh, meters of that fabric. So it's incredibly good value for money. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving five pounds. Three, four, six, eight, three, six is your item number. Right, Haley. <gasps> We're getting there. We're getting there. I love, I am sewing so love. quickly what you have I'm done so, so, so quickly so what we're looking at doing is i'm gonna uh, i wonder if i get it further back here if you can see a bit more of it yeah so what we're doing is we're creating a, a bargello quilt so by bargello what you do is you put lots of strips together then cut those strips back apart and what that allows it to do is when you sew them back together you offset them as you go mm -hmm. and then that allows you to create the kind of staggered pattern now when you look close up it just looks like lots of squares but then when you go from further away you can see the patterns starting to emerge on there can you see the the kind of v-shape yep. starting to come in Absolutely. and what happens is the colors that are at the top that we're kind of cutting off as we're moving down they're starting to appear on the bottom so it actually links all the way around and links all of those colors in so we are getting there i apologize that i have not been able to sew more together <laughs> but we are getting there but what the um, plain colours that we've got in the One Day Special do is they work for this so beautifully because you can see those colours graduating through from one to the other and that's a perfect way to use those One Day Special colours. It is absolutely gorgeous and I love how it's something that a beginner could do as well. Uh, yes, um, uh, let me just go back to the, the board over here and I'll yes, show you how please. it's been put together. So initially, let me just move my ironing board out of the way, initially um, we've taken lots of stripes all the same width so you've got to have everything that same width and that's the key so these kind of things work really really well with uh, jelly rolls as well so you take all of your strips you sew them all together and if i just fold this over you can see it's actually doubled over into a big loop now and then what you do is you cut your strips off the length will depend on the pattern of bargello you want to make this particular one that we've started uh, started with a half inch strip in the center and then we're working out to larger and larger as we come out to both sides and um, all you do is you take your strip so our first one on there we started with a one inch strip so line that up on the board and yep. cut a one inch strip off now by the time you add your seam allowance to both sides that's going to leave you with that really skinny um, half inch strip that we've got in the center there so this let me fold this back out a little bit so you can see so this one that's coming up here so you can see where it goes from the darker to the light it's a bit clearer so that's your central one the next one out that is a one and a quarter inch strip so then by the time you take both off you end up with three quarters of an inch next one along that's been cut as a um, one and a half inch strip so by the time you take your seam allowances off you end up with an inch and you just keep stepping it out and what that will do is give you kind of v shapes that kind of just run up and down as the um, fabrics put together right uh, now we have had some uh, viewers <laughs> that have sent beautiful images and also i want to say jackie who is watching also has sent a message saying that she would be my side sidekick as well and her superpower it would be frustrating for, for, for straight people so oh that's, that's an excellent him. combo yeah exactly confusion, confusion and frustration, frustration. <laughs> <laughs> they just be like oh it's not worth it i'm off yeah <laughs> let's have a look though those pictures that they were sent in and margaret oh, has sent fantastic. a gorgeous margella quilt this is her fifth margella uh, quilt and that's exactly the uh, type of pattern that, that we're starting off with so you can see those tiny little bits at the the top points and then it's graduating out to wider and then she's coming back into that smaller so if you're looking left to right at it she's starting with a, a wider box yep. uh, or block and then coming in a little bit smaller in a little bit smaller right up to that tiny 
kind of half inch strip, which will be a one inch strip when you're sewing it, and then coming back the other way, which makes creates those kind of nice curves and waves within it. Indeed it does. Our gorgeous, uh, thank you so much for sending that image. Uh, by the way, if you want to send any images uh, for um, your crafty quilts, and for, especially for Jello, do email us at, at the studio at hochanda.com. Right, Hayley, what are you okay, we are doing so um, we've gone quite kind of skinny here. So my next step, I've got one that's already cut off in a loop. So. As we explained, we're kind of stepping our way out, working our way out one strip at a time, adding um, slightly wider as we go. So this is the next one to go on this side. So this is my two inch strip. So you can see at the minute, it's still in that loop formation. Yeah. And the reason you have it in the loop is whatever color you kind of want to start with, right. you can just twist it round to the loop. So I need to start with this one here. So you should be able to see which one goes next because they kind of those will follow in a diagonal line mm -hmm. so this is the one to go next so i need to break apart my loop at this point because then all my pieces will still be in a long strip and i don't have to keep sewing the the odd ah, pieces together so that's why you create a loop because then yeah. you can break it at any point now, now up to about two two and a half inches in width you can actually break them apart really easily because obviously you've cut through your stitching so you'll be able to pull from one side pull from the other side you may have to get your seam ripper for the middle but we should be able to get through this one this is one there of the few occasions where a seam ripper if you have it yes. in your hands it's not a bad not, not a bad thing on this one and then once I've laid that out what I need to do is just fold it forward and then match up my seams and the longer you s the, the, the more even your um, rows are in the first instance the easier you'll find this part of matching up. So as long as you've got nice even seam allowances and you started out with the same width of strip in the first instance, these should all just fall into place as you kind of work your way down. So then you just want to pin all of those joints in place and then you can start stitching down the next row. Absolutely, oh, that's brilliant. Thank you, Hayley. Uh, I, I, something simple, something beautiful, but also we have got a happy hours. Um, and the one day special kind of is plans, which sometimes you wanted plans that have got a little bit of patterns. Now, we do have got a happy hour. Uh, we had three options, but now we, well, we actually had four, but the grade definitely now has sold out. Uh, it was already sold out once. We brought it back on extended and now it's definitely gone. Now we have got the beige, the, the white, and we have got the cream as well. But uh, remember the white did sell out earlier and it's back on extended delivery on the 12th of January. If you look at it, I'm going to show it in, in the kind of beige. Yeah, because it's you easier can see. to see on the darker background, but what you've got essentially is uh, what's called a paste print. So a paste print is a white print on a white or coloured fabric, because usually when you print fabric, you need to start with a, a lighter base colour and then print the darker colours on top. This has done the opposite way around, so it uses a slightly different technique, more like a screen printing technique, rather than uh, you know the, the ink or um, what else do I mean? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's it, yeah, it's getting late. It's one of those ones. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Anyway, if you Very want to go too. for the happy hour, uh, you have got a five pound saving. You are going to get half meter pieces of all five of them. So it's two and a half meters of uh, beautiful cotton there. Now, uh, the cream option, we don't have it live, but we have it in the website. Uh, there is definitely pattern on it. I can see it, actually. Uh, yes, I can not see it. My monitor is better than Emily's. Uh, I'm going to just say oh, that. Oh, I can see it. The bottom. Yeah. Uh, you know, Less. Haley's a monitor is better than MLS, or maybe your eyesight is better than MLS. Oh, I don't know. Uh, right, uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, 055538. Uh, right, as you have got 33 minutes to check out your baskets for the happy hours, the fabulous deals are there for you to take advantage of as long as you check out your baskets and you can flexify it if you wanted to go for multiples while well, there is a stock. Right, Haley, where are we at? Okay, to? so what I'm doing is uh, I'm just having a, a quick look at this because I, I must have made one of my strips slightly bigger than the others and if you haven't got the confidence to do these as whole big, le big lengths then I would advise kind of blocking them off at about six in high in height creating blocks or rows and then putting it attaching your next six on 
because you might find that a little bit easier. So I'm just going to show you a quick one on how to correct something if it's not sitting quite right. So um, I've split this loop here yeah. because if you have a look at that, that's where my seam was and it's right. just a little bit past it. So what I'm going to do is just pull that so it's straight and then I'm going to just put a little fold in there because that's where I now want that seam to be to match up with the other ones. I'm just going to put that one in and just compare uh -huh. and make sure that that's running fine and then do the same on this side. Take it right up to the, where I want the seam to be and then just put it, fold it back and put a little crease in that. And then I'm going to sew those two pieces together. I mean, it's not out by a lot. It's out by maybe an eighth of an inch, if that. But yeah. when it's both outsides out by an eighth of an inch, it's nearly a quarter of an inch that so, it looks and out And we know that a quarter of an inch makes all the difference. Yes, we do. <laughs> Oh, by yes. the way, I'm referring to, of course, have yourself silly. Uh, um, yes, we made some that we fabric have that um, says that. We'll, they're coming back at seven. <laughs> so I'm going to take that to the machine as it is, and just run those back together. So just make sure when you do this, you make sure you square up those two blocks completely because you don't want it to go uh, kind of off centre. And then we're just going to stitch that back together along that crease line that we added in, and then. Now when I put this back onto here to kind of offer these up to the joins, then that is much better. You see there, okay. we, we kind of match with the joins now all the way down. Okay. So that's Perfect. the way to, if you haven't, if you haven't had that accuracy, because, you know, when you're trying to do it very quickly, uh, on in one hit, then sometimes you don't have that accuracy. But I think it is important to show you how to fix it. Yeah. And then if you get yourself in that situation, you know what to do. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. Thank you very much. And of course, you can do that with your one day special. Uh, remember, you have got six different options, whichever uh, different options you are going to go for. Uh, you are going to get six half meter pieces. And starting, we're going to start for by the end. Uh, Wildberry is approaching limited stock. If you want six beautiful shades of aubergine, light like lavender, plum, rich, beautiful purple in here, well, that is the Wildberry collection, and if that could be yours, the same item number as throughout. Remember that it's approaching limited stock, and you could do exactly what uh, Haley was showing, going for this option. However, if you want a Bargello option um, quilt, maybe you want to add another option, so you have got 12 different shades, completely different shades. One of the options could be actually Lush Lagoon, which is the beautiful blues and greens. So if you started with these blues and you put them then that side, can you see how it conti would continue? Like kind of the purples and then the blues and then the greens. So that could work really, really well. But remember that if you go for the gorgeous uh, Lush Lagoon, you are getting the blues, the teals, the gorgeous bottle green, as well as the Christmas red and that glorious forest green. Then maybe you want a little bit of something warmer, something more, you know, kind of or zesty or summery. And this one are, of course, the sunset colors that you have got. I always think this is like orange, uh, tangerine, um, you know, grapefruit, lemons, and of course, a pumpkin as well. Perfect for Halloween as well. And uh, you have got also that kind of soft yellow tones from, um, yeah, I think a lemon ice cream, that would be it. That is your sunset hues. Then, what about spring? Uh, we, you know, and the spring we have got here. I so this could be a very good option to go, if you want to do a Borgello quilt, to go for the spring hues as well as the wild berry. Now, in here, what we have got is the bluebells. You have got uh, your beautiful wisteria, the blue skies as well, the fresh leaves coming up, the mint greens, as well as a deeper sort of, you know, the kind of green that is kind of when the young leaves, but they are far in the distance, that sort of colors as well, and the blue sky as well. That is the spring hues. Then we are moving on to the neutrals. And neutrals can be not only for the Vargello, but also incredibly useful when you want to do maybe the sashing, maybe the binding, maybe just kind of letting the pattern sink of beautiful pattern. This could be it. If you are undecided, this could be it. You have got, I would say, a toffee, uh, chocolatey color. Then you have got the latte. 
Then uh, I would say this is uh, chocolate buttons. This is white, white chocolate, white chocolate buttons, or other chocolates are available. Uh, then we definitely a vanilla ice cream, the, the expensive one, you know the ones. And then finally we have got Cornish cream and then regular single cream. Uh, that's how I, I would say it, a lighter <laughs> single cream. I mean, it's delicious, don't take me wrong, but you know. Clotted cream is even better. Anyway, that is, of course, the naturals. But then we have got also the candy pinks. And here we have got, obviously, I really kind of go to the, you know, the sweet shop, and then you kind of order different ones, and you can see uh, the kind of, I would say, the corally more tones, the mauve, then the Pink shrimps. That's what it oh, looks like. Oh, the shrimps. Yeah, the shrimp sweets, yeah. yeah. That's or the you know the lips ones as well like the kind of uh, pinky colors yeah the lips one and there's one that is the lips Ooh, one well, I missed that one mm. well, anyway uh, anyway and then oh, we have got with the teeth yes right yes, I'm yes. with you now and then we have got the uh, first <laughs> we're just oh. creating a sweet shop now aren't we, we are we are and then this marshmallow. this is going to be I would say sure but, but I probably sound corrected I'm not sure exactly rhubarb and custard. That would be it. And then we have got the candy floss. Candy floss thing. Anyway, the candy colors here we have got, but of course you remember whichever choice you go for, you're gonna get six pieces of half meter, six different hues, half meter fabrics, 25 pounds and 93 pence. Multi-bite if you want it. Of course you can use a flexi-bite because we are in flex extravaganza. That 15 pound saving will be there when it, whether it's a one-off payment or you basically the cost in interest rate pens for you. Courtesy of course the flexi buy. Four 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 and nine five is your item number for the one day special. Now, Haley is still stitching, of course, that Vargello I know, fell. I'm just trying to get as many bits on as I can. And He's because I'm going fast and I'm not paying attention, it's getting a bit wobbly at the bottom here, but it, it, it is what it is now. We've, we've not got time to deal with it. Um, and what it would really benefit from is a really good press. Uh, oh, I thought my bo bobbin had run out. It was going to be a tantrum. <laughs> that was going to be a tantrum. So you can see it's really starting to come together now and you can just kind of continue on putting the bigger and bigger and bigger pieces on there to, to finish it off. But this as a, as a quilt, maybe you just want to kind of go all the way around, join it back up to this end yeah. and make yourself a cushion cover that goes oh, that all the way, so like cool. continuous all the way around. Or a table runner. Yeah, could be a table runner as well. There's lots of different, it's only because it's skinny, I'm saying that. But if you, if you do actually do the, you know, go ahead, do the whole thing and press it all out, you can get some beautiful patterns running through with this. Now, it desperately needs a good press. But, um, yeah, you can see that pattern starting to develop in there. I think and I think the cool. more kind of colours, I would say between 10 and 14 okay. is about... Ideal. So if we went for either two of the one day special, so that would give yeah, us 12. Yeah, uh, one day special and one of the sets on the back as well. And it's always nice if you can kind of graduate the colours so the same colours when they come off the bottom start appearing on the top and it all blends in. Um, but if you don't want to, um, whose was the second quilt that we saw, the one that had the green and the blue in? Oh, uh, Can we have a look at it again? Margaret. Margaret's quilt. Can we have, possibly have a look at it again? Oh, one second, mm, our Holly is doing it. some magic. There's one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh. where was that one? Uh, this, uh, this, you said green, so... Oh, uh, okay. Green. Um, but all of these quilts that we're getting sent in, absolutely beautiful. And what you can do, you can see, there's at least kind of four colours in the brown, four colours in the green, four colours in the blue. And you need that kind of little graduation of colour to add, uh, accentuate that curved aspect to it so it's definitely worth going for um either one of the sets of six that are the one day special or going for one of the sets of four that are up on the back there the mini stacks as they're called the mini stack yeah i like that mini stack yeah. uh, right oh. of course if we have got uh, the one day special i remember that it comes with the fusible web interfacing now very popular of course as always is the polish uh, polish uh, polish polymix <laughs> Cheating. Okay. <laughs> so dodgy. this um, really, really good and really cost-effective option for backing your quilts because 
Um, obviously, you, you want to use your good stuff on the front, and I'm not saying you want to use terrible stuff on the back, but you want something on the back that's going to be easy care, yeah. and um, you're not going to see it. So, realistically, you know, saving that little bit of money and having the poly cotton is not necessarily a terrible thing. People do get very snobby about, oh, it's got to be cotton all the way through and, and this and that and the other. But and as long as you treat all of that fabric the same way when you start off, it will be absolutely fine. And but look at the price. You are getting five meters, five meters by two. 0.44 centimeters uh, wide. That is a ginormous amount of fabric. Also, what I was saying is like, if you, if I close my eyes and I touch it, I wouldn't no. know that it's poly cotton. That's the thing. Obviously, we have to say that it's poly cotton. We yeah. have to declare what, what it is. But if you didn't know, you would just think that was a, a cotton poplin. Absolutely. Now we have got four different options of in terms of colours. You are going to get exactly the same amount, five meters by two point four meters that you are getting here. Uh, whether you go for the red, the ivory, the white, or the black is your choice. You are saving five pounds. You're just paying nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. If you are want to spread the cost, if you want to go for ten meters of it, you could just put two in your basket and flexi buy it. Now, if you wanted, uh, you know, two of them, <laughs> would they be in a continuous length? Yes, everything so from Fabric Freedom is cut as a continuous piece. So, sorry, postman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good point because but this also, if you're a freedom member, if you're not paying PMP, it's it's actually heavy. Uh, I strongly recommend it. Generally, I'm very snobbish with fabric, and this, yeah, but very snobbish with everything. To be fair, but this, <laughs> it does feel. No, it does feel like a, a quality cotton, even though it is a poly cotton, and it kind of sews like it's a, a cotton as well. But you've got that really handy benefit of it not creasing half as much. And obviously, if you are going to use it on bigger pieces, you've got that extra wide width. You've got that 244 centimetre width, which means uh, in real terms, I think a double, a king size duvet is 220 by 220. 220, by 220 yeah. yeah. So that's a king size duvet. So you could get that backed twice. You could back two king size duvets and still have some left over. Now, if you have got four king size beds in your home, I mean, you own a very large home, um, that I would say. That. <laughs> but also, it would be like really lovely to, to, you know, if you need it, need it, you could go for two of them. You would still pay your pain um, just under uh, 40 pounds and you would get 10 meters also. If you flexi buy, would you just, you would you would pay nineteen pounds and ninety nine today, but and then next month as yeah, well? Yeah, think about backing, um, and we've said you know about quilt backing, but think about lining things, because yeah. obviously you're going to use your fancy fabric on the outside, uh, bags, yeah. uh, blinds, the backs of the blinds, all there's all and sorts of things where you need uh, a, a piece of fabric to line something, but you don't necessarily need to put the good stuff. On yeah, it. or if uh, you know I. Uh, if you if you ever look if you are a dressmaker and you want to test a pattern or test or something yes. yeah this is perfect this is a perfect way to do it because it's working out at about four pounds uh, a meter now when you break that down even further remember you're getting 2.44 2, 2 um centimeters in width now a normal uh, 45 inch width fabric like we've been using here that's 112 centimeters Wow. So, so you're it's getting effectively more than you're getting twice. two, you're getting ten meters of this normal width fabric. Wow. So, so then that takes it down to two pounds a meter. That's gonna fall off. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, I should I should actually yeah. You know what? I should get the black and the red and then I can start a dressmaking again. Uh, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. That's three four six eight three six. And also because for, for dressmaking, that easy care, that long lasting and yes. eat, that um, doesn't I mean wrinkle. sometimes you, you want you know, the white and the uh, cream, brilliant for back and quilts. They're so neutral. They're a kind of no-brainer. They're a great stash builder. But then the black is really, really useful, especially for sometimes you've got um, either quilts that are for guys or quilts that you're going to use in, let's say, high traffic. It's my life phrase as I like, a high traffic situation. And having that darker backing on a quilt is going to save you a whole load of this. Absolutely. Uh, ivory is in the lead. So if you want ivory, well, ivory fabric, let me make it very clear. Uh, check out your basket. 346836 is your item number. Uh, now, of course, we can see the, um, well, Haley's uh, P 
piece of art. Yes, it's it's coming it's coming along nicely. You can see all of those colours starting to graduate through. And you don't necessarily need to, as we said, do this in one block. What you can do is split it into separate blocks and have multiple kind of waves going if you want to. Or do it in smaller sections and then sew those sections together because sometimes it can be quite daunting to do that full run especially if you're um, quite new to sewing and quilting as well but the principle to Bargello is all exactly the same you are going to take all of your colours and I've got 14 in total on this one so I've got uh, six seven on the back six seven on the front and then you're going to sew them all together in long strips once you've got that huge piece that's all long strips, you're going to join them at the top and make them into effectively what is a tube. Once you've got your tube of fabric, you are then going to cut strips from that tube and then start sewing those together, but offsetting them each time you do it to create that wavy pattern. So the more fabrics you have and the more kind of you go before you start coming back again, as it were, yeah. Um, every time you can create some fantastic patterns with this and once you get into it you'll never get bored with it because you can literally change uh, the width of a couple of strips and it will look completely different and you can create you can almost create kind of um, waves and all sorts of beautiful patterns with awesome. this it's a fantastic technique and it really is not that difficult so uh, we've put all our strips together um, and then we've laid them all flat on the board I've got on the board here, I've got it lined up with one of the inch markers and then I've, my next strip that's going to be added onto there is a two and a half inch strip so I've got two and a half inches uh, marked out and then I've got that lined up top and bottom on my board and then I am going to use my rotary cutter and I could do with the table being a bit lower for this so I can get the pressure on and we're going to go, ooh, move my ruler a tiny bit Ah, oh, missed one. There we go. Oh, it's okay. Missed one. There we go. And then you're going to cut your strips off. When it then comes to adding your strips back on to your piece, you are going to line them up. See, oh, see I'm too quick on me pressing. Look, it's all flopping over. We'll do this side. Um, when it comes to adding them back on, what you're going to do is come along, yeah. find the point that you want to yeah. line it up. So I've got them going the right way, so yeah. they're all kind of matching but then I'm going to offset it by right, one yeah. and then cut my um, strip open here and then that's going to allow it when it falls open. So let me just open this one. So initially I'm just starting that off by pulling it because then it's, it's not too wide, but this is now a two and a half inch strip. So it's one that you're going to start needing that seam ripper for. So let me come to the back and then just open this one up. That should be enough. There we go. And then when we put that flat, we've got another piece adding into that and that's just going to add to the wave. Now if I wanted to change the direction of that, rather than shifting everything one to my left, yeah. I could come this way shift everything one to my right yeah. and then you can see that wave starting to come Absolutely. back in the other direction so you can have a lot of fun with this i would say always keep it one square because that's the whole kind of premise of the bargello that you move one square either to the left or to the right and that is going to give you that different effect so it's up to you if i was going to move one square down rather than one square up i wouldn't have split my um tube there i would have split it two further down i would have split it there that makes so sense. So just yeah. decide where you're going to put it before yeah. you split your tube because that's what's going to save you a whole load of sewing. It's not the, the end of the world if you change your mind because if I changed my mind I would just split that one open, take this back to the top and then sew it back that onto one, there. Yeah. Oops, hang on. Let me just assist. There we go. Uh, I would just sew those two back onto the top if I changed my yeah. mind. So it's, it's never the end of the world if you kind of do make a mistake and put it in the wrong place. You'll just need to stitch that little bit back on. Indeed. Thank you so much, Hayley, for showing us. Uh, now, the Wild Berry option is now officially limited to stock. If you wanted the beautiful plums, purples, uh, berries, the, the lilac, the wisteria, the you know beautiful lavender, well, that six beautiful shades of Wild Berry, they are now limited to stock. 90% of the stock has gone. If you want to grab yours, the item number is 444495. Now, and of course, you have got the interface, the, the feasible web as well. Uh, 
Now, uh, one of the things that we were thinking is, uh, what uh, else could we use this? Could we use Haley, uh, the uh, fusible web, for the, you know how the trousers, for, especially for this is you what and Janice me. wanted to use it for as well. So, uh, yes, absolutely, you can use it for the practical purposes like your hemming and, and things like that. But one of the best things, I'm just going to get rid of this iron, because yeah. um, it's put steam everywhere. Um, one of the best things you can use it for, especially that one, because um, usually it comes in about 50 centimetre height. Okay. And yeah. it comes with a paper backing on it yeah. as well. Now, that doesn't. It's much wider. Yes. Because you're getting a metre by 150 centimetres. So for things like uh, maybe you want to attach your batting to your quilt to stop things moving about, that's a really good option to use because you just have to lay it in the middle in just... It's like the, um, the jam in a sandwich. Yeah. And then you'll be able to iron everything together and it will all stick. It's great for kind of um, allowing you to up, kind of up the weight on a fabric as well. So if you took something like the poplins and you wanted them to be a little bit heavier, you really love the pattern on it, but you wanted it to be heavier so you could do some upholstery with it, then sandwich it between the poplin and then maybe a, a medium or heavyweight calico and then iron it all together and that's just going to give you a much firmer fabric that when it comes to um, upholstery and things like that it's going to just be a lot a lot easier and a lot heavier weight so it's going to last a bit longer fabulous that you of course you are getting included in your one day special now color wise now Hayley which one is your favorite colorways of the one day special Ooh. Mm, I need to well I was looking in there to see them <laughs> I was looking at the monitor to see them, and then uh, they disappeared. Candy pink, <laughs> neutral. I actually think I like the blue and green one. Uh, this one, which is the uh, uh, spring hues. Mm, no, I think I like the brighter one, blue, the blue lagoon lush one. lagoon. Not lush lagoon. We've been calling it blue lagoon all day, haven't we? Oh well, it's, it's lush okay. lagoon actually. But they are quite nice together actually, because you can kind of graduate those um, colours down even further, couldn't you? Into it the really is. light tones. So for but again, for bar yellowing, if that's a verb. Okay. Um, it, it is now a verb, yeah, uh, then they would work really nicely together because you'd get it going from that really light into those super kind of... I think know. I am with you. I think that would be my two options to go for uh, because, yeah, I mean... Mind you, I like the neutral one. The, see, the thing I is think with that the neutral... If I was just stash building, exactly, I'd go for That's that one because I think it's got a lot of versatility. This would be, if I'm, I were thinking just as a stash builder or as for winding and stashing, this is the one I would go for. If I was thinking of Vargello quilting, I would go like you, a spring hues and a uh, Yeah, I've, I've kind of mixed and, and matched mine a little bit Absolutely. because uh, what we've got is we've got the first kind of uh, five or six colours from the pinks and then we've got another three from the uh, neutrals. naturals and then we've got another three from the reds and yeah. we've got another I three mean, from that's the fuchsias. The, that's so the other we've, thing. we've kind of mixed and matched on this one a little bit but you can see it coming together now and you can create some beautiful, beautiful patterns on this. Absolutely. All uh, right, if you want to go for the one day special, remember the Wildberry is now limited to stock. £25.93 is your price. You're saving £15. Now we have got a seven days savers of course today is sunday so they were launched at 8 a.m and one of them is so is the quilting cowboy a set of two pattern booklets california spring and deer valley so you can have them for 9.98 saving 20 pounds a massive um, saving there like twice over the price that you are paying so basically you're just paying a third of the price six to eight five three six and if you want to flex the buy well it is about five pounds so you can indeed you also have got a seven day savers cut moon sewing machine polyester thread black and white you are getting a, me a thousand meters of uh, age uh, in this uh, and 10 spools in total so you're yeah, getting an 10 absolute thousand. staple black Absolutely. and, and uh, white thread you're going to use those all over the place uh, 10 thousand meters you are getting in total that uh, is a lot that's a lot that is a lot that's actually 10 kilometers uh, now <laughs> 11 and 99 is your price that is awesome well, huh? thank you yeah, I love it. Yeah, it is. I mean, that much I know. Uh, <laughs> saving ten pounds there, almost half price. So grab yours. Remember, you can uh, multi buy it and flexi buy it. It's up to you. Now, um, it's what is it? 
just over six miles apparently. Uh, 184102 is your item number. Now, Haley, I believe you have got some news. I do have some news. Um, unfortunately, this is my last show for As Fabric Freedom. Fabric Freedom. Well, I'll continue as Craft Yourself Silly, but it's my last show for Fabric Freedom. Uh, just the Craft Yourself Silly side is getting very busy and I need to put my attentions there. We kind of helped Fabric Freedom get, get launched with the Chandon. I think it took us about two and a half years now. Uh, yeah, it so it's time to hand on the baton. <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you so much for everything you have seen for oh, Fabric Freedom. I'll still be Freedom. here. But you're I'll still, still be here, just over there. Yeah. Still you stand by Smith. So I'm sure they'll, they'll rope me in for something else. <laughs> Indeed. Well, actually, uh, talking about Craft Yourself Silly, well, we have got a show together at 7 uh, p.m. We have. Us. Uh, so do join us for that. But I want to remind you to check out your baskets. This is the live, live hour of the One Day Special. You can forget, uh, you don't forget to check out your baskets, especially for those happy hours, because although the One Day Special should remain until 6 p.m., remember the wild berry is a limited stock, it's probably going to go before a six o'clock. The happy hours uh, do, you know, will um, the saving will finish uh, in, in about and five minutes. Don't time. forget about that polycotton as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, it's such a useful one, and uh, we do bring it quite regularly. Or Fabric Freedom do bring it quite regularly because it is always a really good seller because it's such a useful thing to have in your stash. It is indeed. And remember, you can use it for dress making as well. Right, it's been a pleasure as always, Haley. but we have got a couple of minutes to remind you about the one day special. Remember that Wild Berry is near limited stock, probably it's not going to last. If that's the option you want to go, please do check out your baskets. Lush Lagoon, remember candy paint, the nice neutrals, the sunset, or of course the spring hues. Always beautiful colors. You are also getting the fusible web interfacing, you are getting them as well included in one day special remember that 15 pound saving is there for whatever option you go whether you are splitting the cost or not Four 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 nine five eight. Ah, oh, that has been catching Janice out this morning. That uh, one. Four 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 nine five is the item number. Right, stay tuned because after the break we have got a fabulous show. Catherine Sorok is back with her Dremel tools, and Derek is gonna tell. Well, they're gonna tell you all about those tools and how much power do they have. No. Right, <laughs> they reckon power tools. Well, I mean, this is going to be a much watch show. <laughs> it's going to be fun and, of course, very inspiring. And, of course, it's always Haley. So we will see you at 7 o'clock. Yes, I'm back at 7 o'clock with our Crafty Soul City show. Indeed. So we look forward to that one. Do check out your baskets. The one day special is fabulous, especially while Barry. It's not going to last till 6 p.m. So make sure that you check out your baskets. I'll see you in an hour time. Do stay tuned, though, because a fabulous Dremel show after the break here. Well, the Dremel show is back uh, with Catherine Sturrock and Derek. Then a brand new one day special with Harfeld. And then at seven, Haley's back. Craft yourself. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? 
Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. It's the perfect time on uh, this time on a Sunday to talk about doing things and the machines that you need to do things. Because actually in the crafting world, there are such a massive plethora of different crafts that our next hour can lend itself to. It's quite amazing. Of course, it's all about having the best tools for the job. And I just found out that Dremel, who a lot of us have heard about one way or another, maybe you've got some Dremel tools, um, are owned by Bosch, which is one of the biggest electrical companies that there is right now. We trust them with our white goods and, and lots of other things in our, our lives as well. So we're going to spend a whole hour, quite a leisurely hour actually, which is quite nice actually, um, in the company of Dremel. And our Catherine is here Hello. as well, which Hello. is brilliant. How yes, are you? I've come in on my day off, especially for you, Derek. Well, everyone thought that I would, I had replaced you somehow. They were all like, hang on a second. Oh. Why is he there and, and where's she gone? So now we're in the same place at the same time. That solved that we mystery. Are. We certainly are. <laughs> oh, do you know what? And Dremel, I've owned a Dremel for some time. I've got to admit, when I bought mine, and I did go for one of the boxes with all the bits and everything in, I did buy it for DIY purposes. Yep. But this is such a useful tool, not just for DIY, but for your crafting needs as well. And don't ever think 
that tools like this are just for the guys because they're not. No, absolutely. And, and, and you know, we all know that, that Catherine is a doer of pretty much every craft and and she can fix everything. It's like if you ever want the Millennium Falcon built from absolutely nothing but this table, <laughs> Catherine is the direction you go in first. Um, and actually the Dremel, the, the, the real big difference uh, with the Dremel is precision, isn't it? Yeah, it is a multifunctional tool as well. The amount of attachments that you can get to fit the Dremel, it just covers so many different things. I mean, we're talking, when it comes to DIY, we're talking cutting of various different materials. We're talking sanding, we're talking polishing, we're talking removing rust, we're talking precision cutting, drilling, all those different things. Mm. But when it comes to crafting, we're also talking about things like carving into wood, pyrography, glass etching and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. Well I have I have just been watching um, a video online um, of one of the tools that we've got coming up we'll preview them all in just a second of actually making flowers for the top of a cushion. Watch this space. Whoa, I've not seen that. Well, there, I've got a bit of something to bring to the party then. Let's start <laughs> then. And we've got a range of different um, Dremel tools and a range of different powers as well. So we've got kind of all of the options covered. The main attraction, I guess, in this hour, the main kind of do-it-all kind of tool that we've yeah. got in the show is the Dremel 4000 and it really is it, it, it's really kind of like the king of the Dremels really isn't it because it's corded um, it is multi-function yeah. the amount of attachments and discs and sanders and this and that the other that it comes with covers all bases straight away doesn't it it certainly does now with this I know it's considered purchase at 103 pounds there but if I could only choose one tool this would be the one if I could afford it yeah. this would be the one and I'm not saying that because you know we're trying to get the maximum sales no, in. Not it at is all. because you have got that tool in there which is such good quality you've got an awful lot of attachments already in there as well but the reason I like this kit so particularly is because you also get the flex shaft with it which I'm going to be showing you yes which creates another tool in itself and makes the job a lot easier if you find it difficult to hold the Dremel. Yeah, and it also it leaves you relatively hands-free. It's a lot lighter to deal with and a lot easier to deal with. It allows you to suspend the main tool and then use that flex to go in any which way you want to, which means you can get 360 degrees around something without getting yourself tangled up in knots as well and do those really tiny precision jobs. It's such a good tool. In fact, I have to tell you, and I, I shared it with um, Catherine earlier, I actually bought one of these for my partner for Christmas um, and paid a lot more than our price, I have to say, but there you go. Hey ho, I wasn't here then, that's my bad luck. Um, and my partner actually stone sculpts and has just started start, uh, stone sculpting uh, in the last year in Carrera marble from Italy. Um, so to get fine detail into carving uh, marble and that straight away set my imagination thinking well if you could do it on marble which is the very finest of stone very very difficult and very very hard to get the precision in then you can do it with gemstones I've seen the Dremel used to actually um, sink in little crystals and gemstones into pearls now you need to have precision speed and precision tools to be able to do that so don't think big powerful tool means only the rough and tumble jobs it means the finest and most delicate tools because actually in terms of revs per minute now I looked at this because I'm a boy and boys look at this <laughs> kind of thing you go from what was it, was it 5,000 to 35,000 revs per minute? So that's a massive sweep of control. Yeah, yeah, and it's easily adjustable as well. Now, the, the little attachments that you get in there, there will be things for polishing, for drilling, for cutting, for sanding as well. The type of uh, job that you've just mentioned there, Derry, obviously when you're working with gems, you're working with marble, that sort of thing, you're going to need diamond tips. So yeah. you can get other attachments yeah, as course. well, which we'll go yeah. with. So obviously you need the right attachment for the right job. But this is a great starter kit and there are literally hundreds of different attachments available. It is. It's brilliant. And they are such high quality as well. Yeah. Um, some are for cutting and some are for sanding and you've got different grades of sanding, some are for buffing and polishing and removing rust. And you'd be amazed, apart from your crafting applications that you will use this for again and again, year after year after year and decade. This is kind of thing that you only ever need to buy once as well then you buy the other little bits and pieces that go with it as as it works with you um, 
but actually you're going to love this for the other things that it can do in your life as well, quite aside the creative things that you're going to do with it. So 988036 is the Dremel 4000. Um, it's the multi-tool kit here. We have got it on three flexes, which I think is amazing, which means you can get this home straight away and pay just the first of three payments, which is really good. So £34.40 uh, plus your P&P on the first payment, which is really good. Uh, the whole price there, £103.19, which is brilliant. Now, this is extended delivery. So this is going out for you on the 18th of January. Now, I don't know about you, but I have no idea what the date is today, let alone the 18th, <laughs> but it won't be long at all. Oh, it's the 10th today, is it? There you go. It's fine and dandy, so it's not long at all. So that's the Dremel 4000. Now, we also have other variations of the Dremel as well. We have the Dremel Lite. Now, the Dremel Lite... Um, this is a this is a battery tool, isn't it, um, Catherine? It is, and it's charged. Well, you do get the charger included with it. It is a yep. lighter version of the tool, but it will take the oh. same fittings as well. There's so, the charging link. <laughs> <laughs> you do get a little box of attachments there as well. You can see it's got USB charger there as well, yep. um, which will plug into your electric plug. So you know, it very easy to use. You've got the locking switch, the little blue one on the top there. That's for when you're you're just you know you're undoing the collar oh, to the top. Oh yes, to yeah, Put this your one. little attachments in there. Yep. You've got your on-off switch there as well it is a lighter version so for someone that perhaps isn't wanting to do so much DIY maybe keeping this more for crafting maybe this might be an option for them and of course with the price points a little bit cheaper as well but it depends what you're looking for it, yeah. but it, it will do the same job so again with this one we can we can drill we can cut we can yeah. sand we can buff we can you know, there's lots and lots of different you yeah. know finishing that you can do um, with a Dremel um, so there is your light version oh that's the kind of project you want to get straight into you know get yourself this <laughs> slate coasters which we've all got around the house haven't we that need a new life and actually they are great for doing repairs you know you will start off with your crafting and then you'll realize that something needs repairing or sanding or buffing or whatever in the house and you think I've got a Dremel I've got the job I've got the tool to do that job already in the house um, so this is your light the 7760 um, and this is the cordless one with the multi tools that come with it there's little sanding discs and, and everything else everything you need is there uh, we've broken down this into two flexes as well at £32.50 plus your PMP on the first one. Remember, this is extended, so it's going out on the 18th, which is about a week from now, which is all good. Um, and again, we'll see the many applications of these tools as we go along. And basically, when we see the demonstrations for the 4,000, you can pretty much take it as read that the other versions of the tool will have the similar kind of capabilities. Now, we've also got accessory kits as well um, to go for your um, Dremel. First of all, we've got a woodworking accessory kit. Um, I actually saw an artist in a video. I was, I've been watching loads of videos of the Dremel in action. <laughs> and I watched a, a, a video of a, a, an artist that works with um, wood. And again, precision detail. It's about sanding. It's about finishing. It's about all the things that you need um, for the type of work that you are doing. So they're little sanding discs with different grit are. levels, aren't they? Yes, you can see one of the discs is already mounted onto the attachment yeah. for you, so you've got the replacement ones there as well. But you've also got the burrs in there. If you've the near the bottom, the ones that look like little drills, but they're not drills. They've got different heads to oh, them, so they've got yes. burrs on them. Yeah. So you can use them for carving wood as well. You've got the sanding disc also, as well as the, you know, the I don't know what the different name is actually. We've got the the sort of the flat one and the round ones as well. You've also got a drill bit in there as well. This is such a handy tool if you are going to use it just for drilling. Yes. You know, because it's yeah. so so easy to use. But you, I love this because those carving tools, if you've got wood, pine or some sort of basswood or base wood would be best um, rather than a hard wood. Mm -hmm. Or if you've been, perhaps you've got your pine trees from Christmas, you've been slicing them down as well, they will work very, very well. Yeah. Nice for making decorations and things like yeah, that. And we're definitely. going to show you all of that as we go through. So that was 954 465. Come on, Derek, you've got the easy job. Just do the numbers. 954 <laughs> 465 uh, is that one. Uh, then we move on to the stylo, which again is, is kind of, uh, this is about precision this one isn't it the stylo very much so i mean you can put other attachments in there but this does come with the etching tools as well the attachments and again you've got a various different number of attachments there for doing fine detail for filling in areas so basically the larger the end the ball on the end the larger the area you're going to fill in in one go ah, so okay. you've got lots of different tools there yeah 
Great for etching. Can I tell you as well, Derek, you yeah, can actually cut glass. You would need a cutting wheel, which I do believe we ha might have one on the show. Wow. Um, but you can actually cut through glass, ceramic. Can you? you can, yeah. You can file down glass and ceramic oh. as well. So but there's lots of different spoon. things. You can make your own wooden spoon. You can. <laughs> you can make your own wooden spoon. There's a challenge. <laughs> there's a challenge I'd like to see. Um, so. Um, this is a this is obviously a um is this corded or this is, a, is this yeah this is a corded one isn't it yeah you use uh, it basically it's like a pole in a pen that one yeah. or you can liken it to the flex shaft of the dremel 4000 yes it's very similar in size and in weight as well so if you were going for the Dremel 4000, you could actually use that for all your etching needs as well, if you could go yes. for the etching tool separately. But if you're looking for a tool that is you know, a little bit cheaper in price, if you're just wanting to use it for your etching, then this is a great option for you. I love it. And, and again, you've got the, um, I take it this is the speed control then yeah, as well, is. just yeah. to be able to go slower or faster. Um, oh, brilliant. So I think that would be the one straight away if you wanted to go for you know, etching into ceramics and glass and and getting creative in that way. It's brilliant, isn't it? It just opens up your world completely, doesn't it? It certainly does. It allows you to recycle and upcycle as well, doesn't Definitely. it? I actually and saw I'm big um, on that. some candle, little candle holders being made out of um, old ceramic mugs. Get rid of the handles and things like that and then create beautiful decorations and then drill into the ceramic. Yeah and then see the candle glowing out again. It's brilliant. This one, um, nice little saving on this one, £15 saving. So we're down to £64.98 um, on this one. You can split that down into two flexes of £32.49, plus P&P, of course, on your first payment. And that will go out for you on the 18th. Oh, personalisation as well. Of course, that, that opens up all the possibilities of that, doesn't it? It certainly does. Oh, I tell you what, this counter wants to watch itself. <laughs> <laughs> It could be transformed, <laughs> couldn't it? Derek was show. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, old school graffiti, that would be good, wouldn't it? Um, right, OK, next up we have got, and I've never seen a vice like this, I have to tell you, um, this is the Dremel multi-vice. Really, really clever, very, very strong. I have to tell you, everything about this is really, really kind of like sturdy and the business, Catherine, isn't it? Yeah, this is a really, really good tool. In fact, Dremel, a lot of people don't know, they do various different workstations. But I asked for this one to be brought back on here today because I just think it's very, very versatile. And actually, it's a vice that can be used by people that don't even own a Dremel. Yes. But if you do have a Dremel... There are ways you can attach the tool to the vice itself, but also attach the materials that you're working on, which, of course, then frees up both hands for working with. Brilliant. And, and it's got that ball socket on it, hasn't it? It does, yeah. It looks like a hip replacement, doesn't it? <laughs> Do but you know, that's a really good way of describing That's exactly how it works. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. So just the ball and socket kind of But joint. you do have the, uh, the nut there that will lock it into place. So yeah. if you want it in a certain position, you can lock it in position. It'll stay there, <laughs> unlike my hips. Uh, 536931, then, is the item number, then, for the, uh, the vice, which is the multi-vice. 44.99 there for you. Um, and remember, this is going out on the... 18th of January. You can split that down to flexi payments, of course, two of those at £22.50. Probably the I think my, my, my biggest excitement in this show is this tool here because I have a little bit of experience down this avenue as well. Because my dad um, actually does a little bit of pyrography um, and he's quite good. He's very, very good. But he does it with a standard soldering iron, which means, of course, you're, you're limited by the short amount of flex usually between the plug socket ah. and where you're actually working. So this is pyrography on the go, isn't it? Do you know, this is a really good kit, and again, it's one of my favourites as well. Now, I am not experienced in pyrography, but I will be having a go during this hour. But I love this kit because you're quite right, Derek. This does work as a soldering iron. So you've got the very fine tip there that you would use, but you've also got lots of other attachments as well, which will enable you to you know, build those areas again. You can use this as a torch and really blacken out backgrounds as well with it. Oh. There is so much information online. So you can see all the different tools in there. You do get some soldering there as well if you wanted you to use it as a soldering iron. Yep. But this runs on butane gas, so that's the sort of gas that you would just put in a cigarette lighter. Uh -huh. And it's very easy to fill as well. Fantastic. Um, really, not. I love the portability of this. Yeah. You know, it, it's light and it's easy. And this is brand new out of the box, so it's full of butane right now. Um, and it's light and it's easy. And again, you know you're going to be able to get the precision from it straight away, you which are, I absolutely yes. love. Now, You've just got to bear in mind with this one, do not use it when there's children around because no. it will get hot on the tip, of course, because it's going to burn. That's, that's what it's designed for. So you can use it as a, you can use it as a standard soldering yeah, course, line as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it does have that function, but, of course, we're talking about it in a slightly more crafty way. So we're talking about lending it um, to creating things. 
You know, uh, you can, well, you can pyrography into cork, can't you? And pretty much most woods you can go into, can't you, pretty much? You, you can, you can burn any wood, but there are certain woods that are easier to work with than others. So base wood again, Balsa wood can be a little bit too soft. You can work with a pine, but what you really want is something with a very smooth surface because if you've got lots of grains and knots in there, then it's not going to do the job properly. Hardwood is exactly what it says. It's harder. Yeah, yeah. So it takes more burning, but you can basically burn into any wood. Do you know, I mean, that's, that's a brilliant... Actually, if you, you've been thinking about starting something like pyrography because this has a double life as well, soldering iron, if you, if you need it, uh, for electronic bits and pieces and whatever... Um, Soldering, of course, is used in jewellery making as well. So yeah. maybe if you're a jewellery maker, absolutely perfect yeah. uh, for working with the various metals that you work with in jewellery making. Um, plus, maybe in, uh, a, a new avenue for you to wander down as well. Forty pounds and ninety-nine pence then for you. Um, split down into two flexi payments, of course. Twenty pounds and fifty pence um, as two payments, which is really good going out for you on the eighteenth of January. We also. For the verse tip, we have um, the tips that you need for pyrography, if you want to pyrographize, if that's the right word. <laughs> so you've got lots and lots of different ways, because actually sometimes you want a bit of a broader sweep on your um, pyrography, sometimes you want a much finer point. Um, Oh, that's interesting. The one at the bottom, isn't it? Because it's kind of like a point, but it's sort of ridged at the same it time. It is, yeah. Can I just mention, Derek, as well, we've Go got on. two hours on Dremel today. The yes, first we have. being now at five, yep. another one at nine o'clock as well. We cannot get through everything all in one hour. So if you are watching now and considering what you're going to buy, come back at nine o'clock as well, because we will do different things yeah, as well. Definitely. But we'll try and touch on each of the different tools and explain about them, show how to build up the vice as well, and show a little bit of work with them. But you can see that tool actually being used there, number four, yes. on the packaging there. Yes, so, because it creates, yeah. so it creates a series of parallel lines by the looks of it. Yeah, you've got very fine tip tools there. You do get some heads in with the kit anyway, but this is a great add-on if you want to put this into your basket along with the tool. But that is a great tool there for adding shading. And I'm going to explain, you know, as a crafter, if you've never used py or done pyrography before, how you can use things that you're likely to already have in your stash as well, if you can't draw your own images. Oh, I'm interested. <laughs> I want to know more. Right, uh, let's do some numbers quickly and then we'll get going. Uh, 477599 is your item number there. And there are your pyrography accessory kits. So you get four of the tips there. Um, doing the, the, the various, you see the one, two, three, four there, it creates those different effects there. £25.99, and pence. that you can break down into two flexes as well because it's flex traganza right now, which is really, really good news. Um, and don't forget to check in on the website as well for this hour because there's a huge amount there as well. Right, we also have some extras as well, so let's go and have a little look at those, shall we? So we have got a five-pack of the Speed Click plastic cutting wheels of course the wheels and discs and various things for the dremel they are going to be consumable so you will need more as time goes on so um, these are the very very specialist um, cutting wheels for very specific jobs catherine aren't they Great price nine pounds and 55 pence which is brilliant isn't it really, really good we've got diamond cutting wheels um, as well. Now, the diamond cutting wheels we use when we are what, well, obviously not cutting diamonds, but they're for cutting cer ceramics and glass, is it? Yes, or, yeah, yeah, and brick, uh, brick, brick as well, yeah. So, concrete marble, yeah, all sorts of different things. And the, the speed click, if you look at the little hole in the centre, it's not circular, is it? It's a special click. Fit. So you put this onto the attachment and you basically just twist it and it locks into position. So, so it just goes straight in. Brilliant. Yeah. 258755 then at £16 and 56 pence. And finally, we have wood cutting wheels uh, as well. Uh, again with that speed, speed click system. Uh, £16 and 56 pence. So it makes light work of cutting through wood. And there's lots of different reasons why you would want to do that as well, particularly if you are uh, if you are crafty, because uh, you'll start at what you do in card and paper, you can translate into wood and make it just that slight bit more permanent as well. <laughs> but let's go right back to the beginning. Let's go back to the Dremel 4000, and um, and you're kind of you're going to kind of do a sort of 
out of the box for us, well, I, Catherine, aren't you? I'm kind of, but I have got some bits set up on it just to save me a bit of time as well because there's a lot to get through. So you do get the tool and the flex shaft in this beautiful little carry box, which is very, very handy. You've got a little pocket on the front to put extra attachments in. You will get your fittings in here as well. You'll get your instruction manual. And something else that comes with the Dremel, which I really, really like, is this leaflet here. Now, you'll find this in most of the kits, actually. But it breaks it down and it tells you what sort of tools you need for this type of cutting or the type of job that you're doing. So we've got cleaning and polishing here. So it shows you all the different attachments that you're going to use for cleaning and polishing. We've got the grinding and sharpening. That's something we've not mentioned, actually. Oh, sharpening, sharpening your yeah. tools. Yes. Scissors, your garden tools. Yeah. Your knives, you know, you, there's so many tools here that you can use for grinding and sharpening, which is so so useful in itself then we've got the carving and engraving and it shows you again there the different tools and it goes on it goes on we've got sanding we've got cutting we've got drilling in there as well and it we've also got information on the back of this as well so you will get that in there that's very handy to keep hold of don't lose that you do get instructions now i've got to admit it's quite a big book but most <laughs> of it is not in english you have got your english at the beginning so don't think oh I've got so much to read through there and if you're anything like me I'm not great at reading manuals I thought it was just blokes that did this but I do it as well I kind of look <laughs> at the tool and think I know how that goes together I give it a go and then if I don't work if it doesn't work the first time I go on YouTube or something yep. and have a look on there because Absolutely. there's so much information there is now when you do get I've got to admit I I purchased a Dremel way before being asked to do these shows and mine isn't the 4000 it's the 3000 which is basically the same tool this is an upgrade on the 3000 yep. but if you've you know if you've already got that or you've purchased in the past then you you know you're good to go but with the 4000 we've mentioned the different buttons on there the speeds on there they're very easy to adjust as well you can see there's just a dial there from 5 right through to 35 so that's 3500 reps I believe and then you've got your on off switch there and then there's a little triangular button that's your lock switch now that's handy because that will enable you to change the fittings uh, to apply the different attachments you will also get a little spanner in with your tools as well let me just grab those tools again while I'm here I think you get more than one actually don't you um, you get the little black one is for the collet at the top where you change your attachments. Now I have attached the flex to this. So if actually we took these out so you can see exactly what you're getting. These are the attachments you're going to get with the 4000. So straight away we've got that very important little spanner. There is a spare one there as well. Don't lose those. Um, unless I've just put my, my spare in there. You do get your little sanding discs. Now you're probably thinking, well how do they fasten onto your onto your tool well you do get the shaft for these as well they just attach to the top very easy to apply those you do get your cutting wheels in here as well these again are the easy clip now these are these aren't for wood these are more your plastics this one again so you can see there's a couple of those uh, they're like little mini steel saw blades aren't they then you've got your sanders in here as well you've got your spares on there one of them is already mounted onto the shaft so they're very easy just to change when you've worn that one out easy to get all these replacements as well you've got a little brush there now that acts a little bit like a wire brush you can use that for cleaning or removing dust or you know sort of um use it for various different things Rust actually. removal i saw that one yeah. being used for that's a really, yeah, really good very, idea very very useful indeed i'm just going to put those little sanding discs back in there because we've got lots of those and they all do the same thing um now this again here now that feels like it's like a little sponge it's like, isn't yeah it? it's like yeah. a sponge like a very firm brillo pad yes or that sort of thing yes so again used for cleaning things do you know you've got fittings that are sticking cleaning the fittings up yeah i'm going to diy again now but yeah. for all yeah, sorts yeah. of different purposes but I, I saw the wood artist as well buffing um and finishing wood sculpture yeah um finishing off curves and almost like a polishing yes. for a wood for finishing exactly yeah then you've got a drill bit in here as well you can get various extra drill bits now this is interesting because in this kit you do get one of those little burrs so you can use that for carving your wood Ah. There, so that will actually engrave. So perhaps you want to do some personalization. That's already in there. You've got a nice mix of different tools. Uh, there's another disc there. I'm not quite sure what, what I'd use that for, actually. I'll have to look at the... Some, sometimes you get tools that I've not actually used before as well. And then, of course, you've got more polishing tools in here as well. And you even get the polish, 
which is very handy. Now, I, I make jewellery out of polymer clay. I like to work with polymer clay. Yes. So one and of the reasons lovely, I bought, yeah, one of the um, reasons I got my Dremel wasn't just for DIY. It was also for polishing up my polymer clay and yeah. for jewellery making mm -hmm. in that way as well. Mm -hmm. You can also carve into polymer clay. So, again, think of the craft side of it. So there's lots of different attachments there. But what I've done with the 4000, I've attached the flex shaft to it. Now, this just unscrews from here. This is where you would normally put all your attachments. Uh, hopefully, I've put safe the other end. It's in the box somewhere. But I've already attached this to it. It's a case of just slotting that in there and fixing it too. Now, this is the other end of the flex shaft. So that means now, because this is quite a heavy tool, it's yeah, hefty. Yeah. You can get other workstations as well, and you can hang these up. So if you haven't got a workstation, just a hook in your shed or your craft room, yeah. you could hang that onto the wall, and you don't have to worry about using the rest of that hand tool because this is the bit that you're going to use, and it's like working with a pen. Yeah. And that is super lightweight. And it keeps that cable out of the way as well. I saw a video earlier of someone using it, and they were working in their garage, and they literally put a nail as a hook and had it hooked above them so they could still get to the speed control, but actually they were free to just use the tool uh, where they were so it didn't confine them in any way. It's, it's really, really clever because they are quite weighty. It's kind of, if you can imagine those very, very, you know those um, clippers that you can buy for hair cutting online we're all buying those at the moment. Yes. They're quite heavy to use, aren't they? You know, one you've been round doing someone's hair, you're like, oh, am I finished yet? You get halfway <laughs> and think, I really want to give up now. Like, they're quite weighty. It's probably about that kind of weight, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So this is why I love this kit so much, because it comes with a flex shaft. You don't have to buy it as an extra. And then all you're needing to do, I haven't got anything to hang that on, so it's just going to sit there. But this is all I need to hold now. So that is like working with a pen. Now, I am going to come back to this in a second, but I want to show you the vice as well. But just before hand your little your little spanner in here let me just show you this is on the flex shaft itself you've got a little silver button there if you press that that's your locking button and if you use your spanner and you don't feel that button go down straight away as soon as you get that spanner on there you'll feel that go down and that will release and then you can change your heads over now I've got a little bit of a sanding block in this one already I'm just going to tighten that back up again so again keep your finger you can do it by you know, you can finger tighten it to start with and then just give it a little nip with the spanner there. And that's all that is for. It's not an on-off switch or anything like that. The controls are work from the actual tool itself. Okay, so we will come back to that. So that is a sanding block I've got on there. I'm not going to do anything magical or um, anything really, you know, extravagant or brilliant at this stage because I do want you to understand the tools themselves. But if you can afford to go for the vice, this is brilliant. Now, when you get it out of the box, I have used mine before, so I can't remember if one or two other bits were already apart. But basically, you've got, you've got the piece that fits onto your table, and this is really sturdy as well, and it's got a really good throat on there as well, so you can fit this onto a wide table. Now, the other thing about this as well, sometimes you might be working on a project that is hollow underneath. Yes. So if you have got that, you can still use this. You just want a plank of wood that you can sit under the lip of it and you will grip onto that wood. Use it onto a, a portable workbench or something like yeah. that as well. So all I'm going to do is just fasten this directly onto this counter and it is just a case of turning the, the screw underneath there and that's going to lock on. In fact, it's so tight that I'm going to knock the table over. I don't know my own strength sometimes. <laughs> now, you've also got a little wing nut here at the back as well. That is going to lock in position this bit. Now, you do get a couple of these rubber pads here as well. Now, these come on, on, on and off, so you can replace these, but they're not going to wear out quickly. These are going to last some time. And you can see that it looks like a bar of chocolate, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, that is because you've got those grooves in there because it's going to grip. Yes. You want it to grip onto whatever you're working with. It could yeah. be metal, it could be wood. And you don't want it to actually damage what you're working with, actually. You certainly so something don't. that's slightly softer as well. Yeah doubles the grip but also protects what you're working definitely with. so there the bar you just slide into this area here you'll see that it fits perfectly and then the other piece with the handle on you will slide on from the other end now this is a little bit different because it won't just push on I'm just going to tighten that wing nut for a minute because that's going to stop this moving mm -hmm. okay now what I'm going to do here is just slide this on just line that up with the right shape of it and there's a little blue button there that you need to, I've unlined that now, let me just line that back up. If I just show you what I'm doing there from the front camera, you've got to make sure that that's lined up together. Ah, the two together? Yeah. 
Right. Okay, otherwise it won't slide on. So it's kind of, as I've got it now, I can turn that around if I want. I can change the dimensions of it. You know, I can have awkward shapes in here, but that will not go anywhere without pressing that button. So press the button down and it will slide. It's locked into position. If you want to release it, then you release it. That's so let me so just, much easier, yeah, isn't it? It is. So let me get that straight now. So again there, press the button in. And then you've got the adjustment with this handle as well, which is really going to tighten things up. And of course, you've got the adjustment with the wing nut as well. So, you know, you've got lots of ways of working with this. You've also got this very large nut here as well, which if I just, this is the ball joint bit. If I loosen that off, you can see how that is going to move into all sorts of different positions. So just for the aid of the camera, I'm just going to tighten this back up. I always get me clockwise and anti-clockwise <laughs> wrong. Okay, and I've got a little, just a little box here. So let's just put that little box in there. Actually, that's not bad as it is. I can probably just tighten that up with the hand grip and hold that in place. So if I was working on there for the camera, that's great. For me, it's not because yeah. I'm going to have to sort of go from the front. Yes, yeah. So it's just as easy as, again, undoing the nut and I've tightened it. You see, I don't know my own strength, you Let's know. go the other way, left. I'm going to unscrew it. aren't I? Yeah, you need to go... <laughs> Unscrew. I don't know my own strength. I've tightened <laughs> it up that <laughs> Don't, Are you going don't the right let me laugh. You told me to go the other way. <laughs> Lefty loosey. No, that's not. Righty tighty. Oh, you could, oh, no, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I've just okay. over tightened it. Okay, so I've got that in there. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to come back to the Dremel and I'll sort this out in a second. Right, so what I've got now, obviously that's gripping. Let me just make sure that's really well gripped. I don't turn that in because I over tightened that now. That is really, <laughs> really well gripped in there. Let me tighten that nut up there to make sure that's not going to slide. Now, let me show you with this. I've now got this plugged in. So the controls from the Dremel itself are worked from the buttons here. I'm not going to go on full speed straight away. But if I've got this attached properly, if I turn this button on, this is a sander. That should spin round. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can we see it going? You can, you can see it starting and stopping, yep. can't you? So that means, of course, that all I need to hold now is this tool and not this one. Yes. So I'm just going to turn it on. I don't, didn't really want to sand this box, but I'm going to do it anyway. So <laughs> let's turn that on. And straight away, let's, let's just go in the centre so you can see the difference. Turn that off a second. Can you see? You well, can see, it. can't you? You can difference. see how that, and that isn't at full speed. For sanding, obviously, it depends on the job that you're doing. Yeah, you yeah. probably would work on a higher speed rather than a low one. Yes. But very, very easily. And all I need to do is hold this tool. And don't forget, I can put any of the attachments in here. So it could be a carving tool, it could be whatever you want it to be. Okay. Fantastic. So to get the box out, that's, <laughs> that's easy if I've not over tightened it. <laughs> Take that out. Go on, have another Let's go. See. Do you know what it is? I've got, I've got a sore thumb on Have my you? left hand here. See, I would so offer I'm, to help, but I, I can't get close enough. I know enough. you can't. I, th I don't want to put pressure on my thumb. There we go. I've done there it. we are. That's it. it. I've done it. It is my, it is my weak thumb. Uh, and there you see, you can put that. I'm not going to over tighten it this time. <laughs> there we are. That'll do. It's not going anywhere. Now, there's something else you can do with this as well. So if I t take the nut, <laughs> nut out here, <laughs> let's take that off. Let's take that off. You also get with this another attachment, which is this. And when you pop that in there, you can actually fit your tool into that hole and oh. have your actual Dremel attached. Ah. Now, I'm going to do that probably at 9 o'clock tonight because yeah. we've seen how to put this together. But that means your tool will be attached to the vise and you can still position it, but then you've got both hands free. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I completely get it. Yes. That makes okay. sense, doesn't so, it? So, for me, this is such a good tool. I think it's so, so useful. And, and let's just, I mean, obviously to understand the tool and, and to put it together and everything is, is brilliant because it's really good to have that kind of out-of-the-box experience because when you get this home, um, of course, you've forgotten everything that has been said, but the great thing is you can come back to this show and you can go, right... Catherine, if anyone can talk me through this, it's you. <laughs> and then you can come back to this show uh, and you can do all of that again. But let's just...
think about all of the different things that we can be doing with this as well, because this is not just a one-dimensional tool. You know, some tools are for one job, um, and this is a real all-rounder. So it's probably actually more craft-friendly and precision-friendly versions of tools that you may already have that will be in the garage somewhere, the big clunky ones, the ones that are far too big for the scale in which you want to work in if you're making a candlelight holder or you're making a wooden decoration or you're making a, a wooden topper to go on top of a card, for instance. If you're jewellery making, you're working at a much smaller scale. So sometimes when you think, oh, well, I can, I can just go out and get, there's a drill in the garage, Catherine. Like, I can just go and get that. But it's huge. The drill yeah. bits are off the scale in terms of dimension that you want to work in. So the Dremel tool, again, because it's not a one-trick one pony, it's not a drill, it's not a sander, it's not a polisher, it's not a buffer, yeah. it's all of it's those all things of those. in one. Do you know one of the very first jobs I used mine for as well, I'd got, it, it wasn't such an expensive thing that I had to rectify, but it was, it was just a birdhouse in the garden right. that I was stripping down because it had gone a bit wonky and I wanted to decorate it up and transform it. Yep. And there was a screw in there where the head had, had rusted and oh, broken off, right. so I couldn't get the screw out. And it was driving me mad, I was, I've got the pliers on, and then I thought, what am I doing, I've got a Dremel. And all I needed was one of the cutting discs. Cut it off. Straight through. Straight through it. And, and isn't, it, isn't it funny? It's those little frustration, uh, frustrating jobs that you think, how am I going to do that? Because I'm not throwing that away. I refuse to throw that away. I've got to solve that problem. Yeah. I was that kind of child yeah. that needed to take everything apart and see how it worked. Yes. You know, like, and it is, I know what you mean. That's those tiny little things that the Dremel will solve for you that you, you will suddenly say what you just said then. Why am I worrying about this? Why haven't I just gone to get the Dremel? Because that will do this job. Yeah. But it will do it in a smaller scale, which is brilliant, which is often what you need. Because often those tools in the garage, well, they're yeah. for the big, big big they, jobs. They are. They? And I've got some of the big tools as well. Yeah, cool. But the, we all dr have. the Dremel is, it stays in my house. I've got an understairs cupboard and it stays in there in the box and when I want it, it's easy to access it. Can you just, in a nutshell, Catherine, because I'm fascinated, so this is my chance to like interview with you at the same time. Um, <laughs> so give me, give me an A to Z of, of things that the Dremel for you has just been able to do like that. It's, it's enabled me as a woman on my own, because I live on my own, to do all the jobs that I would normally have to get somebody else in to do, because all the attachments are there, the tool is there, it is achievable by everyone. And we're talking silly little things like, uh, maybe you've got a tile mm -hmm. that you have to replace, mm -hmm. and you have to cut it around a pipe. It's not easy to do that without no. cutting straight down the centre of a tile and getting the snips on it. And snip it. Yeah. You can go straight into the centre of a tile and cut a circle out yeah. or you can cut a shape out you can do something intricate so for me it's my best friend that's the way I would put it it's my best friend it's cheaper than cheaper than a man as well <laughs> isn't it at 103.19 you can even split that down into three payments as well yeah. much cheaper than a fella clogging up the place <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day there is that sense of achievement isn't there actually when you've created something you've made something yeah, with definitely. it definitely there's that kind of like you know, I did that. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a quite stubborn person as well. I'm a bit like you. I used to take things to bits, and if the washing machine breaks, it's, it's not ordering a new washing machine. No. I will take it to bits, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'll fix it. Yeah, absolutely. I will not be beat on a lot yeah. of things. Uh, <laughs> I genuinely, I'll fix my own washing machine. That's a good it's way just, to be. It's, yeah, it, it is that sense of achievement. But, of course, we don't want to talk about tools that are just for DIY. We are talking about crafting tools as well. And this is the same tool. I've still got the 4,000 here, but I've just changed that, and I thought I ought to really showing you how to do that so that was the the lovely uh, little sanding block that I had there so mm -hmm. I'll just show you in reverse what I've done here so it's that locking switch again and you'll press it down and you'll feel it won't fully go yeah. until you get that spanner on there and then you feel it go right down I can't show because if I take my thumb off it won't you know it won't so be that's there. the way you know you're going in the right yeah direction and you well. can see then using that little spanner that will then mean you can just change the head now this one is from the kit from the with the tool itself so I'm just going to put that in. I'm keeping my thumb on there, just keep that locking switch down. So I always finger tighten first and then go with the spanner and just give it that little nip. Um, pity I've not got a big spanner for that instead of my thumb. <laughs> but that would have been easy. That is now locked. And if I then just turn this on again, you'll see that that is hopefully... Can you see it start and stop? I think we can. 
there. Yeah. You can see it's stopped, yeah. can't you? So just on the same box, I'm not going to bother putting it back in the vise, but this is a tool that you could carve with. So again, it's like holding a pen. And you can hear the sound, and I'm not doing anything specific, just a wiggle, but just so you can see how it starts and now that you won't just do it in one go wow you will work yeah. with you know you'll put pictures on there you will yeah. carve out you will sand that back as well and then you can stain your bits of wood and really bring the detail out but for someone who's thinking well i'd love to do all this but do you know I, I'm, I'm only good at doing squiggles that's the best it will go well you want more than that don't you so what i would suggest you do is either use a rubber stamp or a stencil and actually I was looking at these I just pulled these out from my box at home something like sweet poppy who comes here to a chanda a stencil like this that would be absolutely ideal for carving out I might in between shows if I can find a, an area where I'm not disturbing the rest of the guests mm -hmm. I might sort of transfer this through onto a piece of wood and start to carve that out so you can see it now how would I do that obviously this is a metal stencil I would either just go with a sponge and some ink and transfer that directly through or I would use a fine liner pen which I've got some acrylic ones here and I would just trace that outline and then fill in with the carving tools. Now remember there is another kit that we've got with the woodworking tool. Is the woodworking tool separate? I think it's a separate item. It is, yes. Yeah, so if you're wanting to do wood carving I would add that accessory kit into your basket if you possibly can simply because it will really enable you to do lots more with it. You've not just got that small head in there, you've got larger ones as well. You've got very fine detail heads. You've got the sanding disc and the sanding, um, I can't think of another name. The disc of the flat one I'm referring to, and then you've got the yes, ones on the, the, on the shaft discs. as well. Yeah. So you've got different types of sanding discs there as yes, well. Yes, the other ones are band. It's yeah, what they call it, a band. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and the other ones is, is a disc, which is more for sort of cutting through. The other thing that just occurred to me as you were doing your little squiggle there is you can decide, and, you, and this is the same whether you're using the tools that work with glass or ceramic or wood or whatever, you can decide the degree to which the impression that you want to make. It might just be a very, very light impression that you want to make, but it might might want to be deeper. I was watching um, someone on one of the, the videos using these tools, um, doing like a, this candle holder, and of course you need to make holes so you can see the flame coming through the candle holder and whatever. But also you can add patterns to that. So you can, obviously the hole is you're drilling straight through the ceramic, um, or the pottery or whatever it might be, but also you're making impressions on the outside. So they can be light or they can be very, very heavy, Catherine, too. They certainly can. Now, I know we haven't got a lot of time left and I do want to touch on more than one tool, but just to come back to that, please join us at nine o'clock as well. We'll continue with this. Um, you're, you're quite right, Derek. You can, you can start off just with a very shallow, you, you would never want to go really deep with it. You no. want to gradually build. Yeah, yeah. And with, especially with the woodworking kit, you have got those different attachments there that enable you to do that very fine detail, to go deeper, to, you know, really carve out those areas as well. Um, also, when it comes to carving, rubber stamps is another great thing to use. Now, I am going to use the soldering iron in a second. Now, this is, this is again, just a stamp from my own stash. I've just put a little bit of ink on there. I've not even got a block. This is basically going to be another way of doing an outline but it means that you can do some pyrography or some carving with materials you've got in your crafty stash. So is that a clear ink you're using now? It's not clear, it's kind of a grey oh, ink, okay. so right. you can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Now, I didn't bother with the block simply because yeah. I don't need to do a really good outline. No. You are going to sort of take that outline away. Obviously, you want to see where you're going. But with the... I'm going to do some more engraving in the later hour with the other attachments we've got, but I want to bring in the Dremel uh, wonderful solder name. I keep forgetting the versatip is this one. Yeah. So I have already filled this with gas. I don't want to show you any brands or anything, but it's very easy to do. Oh, so you just get the, the, the gas cans that you normally would fill up a cigarette just a lighter, lighter with. Just yeah. Obviously, we, we don't have any here because this is a no smoking show, but uh, we sent somebody out for some. Um, <laughs> Uh, and so you just fill it with that? You do. Now, when you get the tool from your box, it won't have any of the tips on there, but you do get tips included in the box, and then we've got the accessory set for the pyrography as well. These literally just screw into the end. Whoops, dropping it. 
they just screw into the end. Now, underneath here, I'm not going to take this all apart now, but inside here there's a ceramic area, which mm -hmm. is the area that gets really hot. Okay. So obviously the whole of this end, because it's metal, metal, we've got the ceramic there, we've got the tip, that is going to get very, very hot. So do not let children anywhere near this. Okay. But it's very easy to fill. At the bottom there is where you fill. So you just use the nozzle from your, your gas bottle. This is already full, so I'm not going to do it. You just put that into there and press down. Yeah. And when you see a little bit of gas bubbling, you mm -hmm. know it's full. Yeah. Now, everybody will be wanting to know how long the gas will last. It depends how you're burning, you know, what, how the temperature, because you can change that, that as well, so you can change how hot it's going to get. It will last up to, from about 45 minutes to about 90 minutes. Well, that's pretty good, So isn't that's it? good. And the butane gas is very cheap to get hold of yeah, as well, so, so it's keep, not expensive to run. You can keep refilling run. it. Yeah. yeah. Now, what you've got here is, you've got your lock switch, and you've got your slider there, and that will control the heat. Uh -huh. Okay. You've also got this little blue attachment here as well, and this is where you need quite a strong th thumb again. So if I lift that up, I don't know if we can see. I'll try and do this to the camera. As I push on that, can you see the little blue bit is oh, yeah. lifting? Yeah. So you need to do that so that then <coughs> clicks down. Okay. Ah. Now, while I've got that down, I'm going to slide that lock. So now you'll start to see that getting Oh, I see. Red. So you there is kind that. of a flame-ish that you can sort of see yeah. in there with a glow. Yeah. And that's what's heating up the tip. It certainly is. Now, this box is, is very, very smooth. I, did, I didn't have much at home to work with, but I did have a bit of tongue and groove, which is pine, obviously. I don't recommend pine simply because you've got lots of ridges in there, unless you want to sand it really, really smooth, but you're going to get knots and things. But I had a bit of a play just to practice, and uh, as you can see, any wood will burn. Okay. Yeah. But the box I've got here, which is a base wood, it's very smooth, there's no knots in there, and I can go with this. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of a test on this one, just to check that that is working. You can tell when it works. Can you see now? It's, it's uh, like drawing. Look how fine that tip is. Wowzers. Okay. And, so and there are different attachments and different tips for different things. And you're never going to leave this on by mistake, by the way, and, and cause any issues, because it, there is a, a sound to it. So there is a sound to it. You're not, you're not going to walk away from that. <laughs> I'm going to get my glasses on because I can't see very well now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, so all I'm going to do now, I'm using the fine tip. Yeah. And I'm just going to basically trace what I've got here. So any stamped image that we've got, any or if you're, a, if you're a good freehand artist, so you can get quite sort of, um, you can get quite precise there because this is like, in essence, a big, a big pen, isn't it? It is. Now, this box has got lots of little dents on it because it's an old one that's been sort of in a box and it's been dented. So anywhere where there's any little marks and things, it may cause, you know, a little bump, but it doesn't matter. It's still, it still works. It adds so to the texture, I it think. It does. And you can see if there's grain, which there is a couple of marks there, yes. a bit of grain. Can you see what's happening? But yeah. I, I do think it works quite nicely. Yeah. So what oh. I would probably do... Do you know, Catherine, be between now, between now and the, and the next show at 9 o'clock, we are literally going to be scouring this building, aren't we? We, like, we are. What should we do? We are. And also, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think that was heated up quite enough there. Now so you can see needs, it coming yeah, through. So it probably needs a minute yeah. just to kind of establish its But that's heat. fine. You can yeah. go over where you've been if it's yeah. not enough. But it's then what so I love cool. about this, this flower here, it's got the centre of the flower. It's got lots of... This is why stamps are brilliant, because you've got the shadowing already in there for you so I don't even have to do full detail I'm just kind of dotting that can you see if I leave the tip on there yeah, as well yeah now you do get a little bit of smoke from this but um, you know it's nothing excessive but just building up the center of the flower there just using the tip and putting some little dots in there it's filling in the area of the stamp so it's, it's really starting to come together quite quickly and then of course I've got also this area here where obviously with the stamp I've got the lines already in for me, so I'm just following those through. And you can't see the ink where I've been. No. I'm just literally drawing in the stamped image. So you think about the uses you're going to get for those stamps that are in your drawers as well. It's really effective it as is, well. It is, isn't it? I mean, the end result of it and is really, And this is really, just really one effective. tip as well. 
this is just using the one tip so we will do more of that at nine o'clock as well but I better show you how to turn this off as well do you know my dad will want one of these because <laughs> he, he, he does do pyrography he's done some amazing images I might between shows I might see if I can get a picture of one or two of the images that oh, he, fabulous. Has, he has pyrographized if indeed that is a word um, because <laughs> it's really really clever but he does it with a standard soldering iron yeah with different tips on and whatever but that means you're confined by the cord and the length soldering irons don't have an awful lot of flex between the plug and where you're working so you're at the mercy of where plug sockets are like a lot of things in our lives um, but this is totally totally portable and comes with lots and lots of um, accessories it does so all I need to do to turn it off is just switch the lock now obviously that is very hot and it's going to stay hot for some time you can see the glow has gone almost straight away but it's yeah. going to take some time to cool down yes so a really big tip is don't try and change the actual tips of this straight no. afterwards you will have to let this cool down yeah. in between changing those tips so my recommendation probably would be to do the outline of something with the fine tip first and then go in with your larger tips to build up the detail inside but I just wanted to show you as well let me just pop that there it does have a little stand as well so the tip isn't actually touching the surface there Good. you do get with it the soldering iron if you want to use it for soldering you've got various different attachments here as well you can use this as a torch if you want to as well again I've seen online tutorials where you can burn the background of images so I'll bring out the detail with the fine tools but burn the background to really sort of ah. give drama if you yeah. want in the background yeah. there there's all sorts of different attachments there's hot knife in here as well so think about using this for uh, another guest here I've got to go graft away haven't I because I don't want it to be about DIY and that's it Somebody like Katrina, Katrina from Rowandine, she burns through organza. Yes. You've, you can do that with this. Again, you've got the slider there, so you can change the temperature of your tool. So if you want it with less heat, you can do that. So you can burn through fabrics. You've got a hot knife, which is going to cut through things like your stencil material and that sort of thing as well. So, you know, you've got all sorts in it. I do believe that these little tools in the centre here are the tools that probably come in the... I don't know. I'll have to double check because it's a while since I've had this one. Um, I think they're the two. Yes, they are. You can see the one with the ridge on there. So the extra tools oh, that we've yes. got. Oh, yes. No, they're in the accessory yeah. kit. I so think. if you can afford to yeah. go for that as well, do so because it will open up more opportunities. That's a very handy one. You've got that very flat sort of um, chamfered edge there as well, which is going to be great for adding detail. I've just popped those into my box so it keeps everything nicely together. And of course, you get the lid and it's very portable. Yes. Very portable. Yeah. And do, and do you know what, actually, for those people who've been thinking about pyrography, and, and it, it does a lot more besides that, of course, plus acts as a regular solder iron as well uh, for electronics and, and things like that, but great for soldering if you're a jewellery maker as well because that just gives you the power there where you need it um, which is really really good um, to know that this is so simple and to come be able to come back to this show to say oh oh well if it's that simple and I'm ready to get started I've got plenty of things that I can be scorching on to straight away and actually stamping that's yeah. just opened up the door to a whole new world as well actually maybe this has made it really really simple so there is the um, the soldering iron it's actually called the Versa tip there we go the Versa tip um, it's on flexi as well which is even better uh, and it is very very busy for this I, I am not surprised if you think about how quickly this hour has literally run away um, because it is fascinating once you start thinking about tools like this and once you start seeing what they do you think oh gosh I hadn't thought about that I mean heard, lots of people have heard of Dremel haven't they and uh, not necessarily had one in their lives and thought oh well I'll never need anything like that but now you start thinking of all the crafty applications there are to that. In fact, that was the video that I saw earlier, was the VersaTip being used to cut out organza petals. You cut out three sets of um, petals with the petals in different position, bring them all together as three in one, and then just hold the tip, and that brings the organza together. I saw a video online of that being done earlier, um, and also that tool being used to create some other elements for a cushion, for heaven's sake. I mean, you couldn't think of any more chalk and cheese, couldn't you? Uh, but... I tell you what, in the next three hours as well, because we are back with another show at um, six o'clock, nine o'clock, sorry, it's nearly six o'clock now, it's nine o'clock. I wish we had another hour now, because we've only just got <laughs> started, haven't we? Um, we're back again at nine o'clock. If you've got any questions in the meantime, or anything that maybe you've got a similar tool and you've been using uh, for this, you want to give us some ideas, absolutely do that. Please, studio at hochanda.com. Thanks, Catherine. 
Thank you very much. Can I just say as well, the Versatip you can use on leather as well, and you'll notice on the packaging on cork, so not just for your wood as well. Yes. There's another thing. So we could stamp onto our leather and then decorate that as well. Too many ideas. Listen, <laughs> we're back in three hours' time, which is brilliant. And then we'll have another fantastic hour with Dreville. Please come and join Catherine and myself for that again at nine o'clock. In the meantime, stay right where you are. Because we are coming up six o'clock and that means a brand new one day special from Heartfelt Creations. The wonderful Nikki is here with Lady P and then it's Craft Yourself Silly again with Hayley later. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long-arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, 
We sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Well, a brand new one day special is launching right now. If you are just joining us, welcome to Hochanda. My name is Paula and we have got an amazing hour ahead of us with the fabulous Nikki Harley. How are you, Nikki? I'm really good, thank you. Yeah, nice to be back. It's <laughs> nice to be back and with the best of floral 2020 heartfelt yes, creations. Yes, I know. I couldn't wait for this. But in actual fact, we weren't due to do these until next week and they decided to bring them forward. Wow. So is amazing. Early bird then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And of course with Heartfelt Creations I will say early bird catches the worm because we always get very busy. I included of course the want it, I want it all collection with the wild rose. It is a fabulous collection and incredibly it's, popular as well. It, this at, when we launched this back at the beginning of 2020 we sold out I think it was on the third show we had to get more stock in. So we, we knew this was going to be popular today because we know a lot of crafters maybe have missed it. We've also got a lot of new heartfelt followers as well. So if you're watching and you're thinking, what's this all about? You have got everything in here to create your absolutely stunning roses. Now, for those ones who don't know heartfelt creations, one of the things I would say, and I, you know, Nikki, is that they are the company that they get it right in terms of dyes that match the stamps, that they match the papers as well. Exactly. You have got everything in, in here to create those absolutely stunning flowers that you see in there. You have even got the stamens here as well today. Oh, these ones. So we have got now these ones that we have got on and the one day special. It's a, we have got, uh, so they are kind of per lessons. Can we then cover them in glitter? Yes, you can put the, um, use them with glitter, you can use them with flower soft, you can use them with little tiny prills in there as well. But you've got every size rose, I believe anyway, that you will need to create stunning cards from the smaller ones that you see in here to the larger one that you saw on that one there. Absolutely. Now, I, I want to say one thing. Now, maybe we know that it's January and maybe we know that there are different budgets. Uh, now, we have got with the one day special where you are getting the die sets, three die, two die set, three die sets, sorry, uh, two stamp, three stamp sets. And of course, we are getting the two shaping molds as well as the paper pad. And that is the collection of the I Want It All Wild Rose one day special. However, if you want to go for individuals, we do have that available. The details will appear at the bottom of the screen. However, if you all want it all and you're thinking, well, I have got certain constraints of budget, well, we offer here at Herchanda a flexi buy system and it's interest free payments. And this particular one offers you to pay it into three interest free payments. You have got a massive saving of £35 when you go for the whole collection and that it still stands, that saving of £35, whether you split it the cost or not. Now, the paper, the, also worth mentioning, we have got, of course, a freedom here at Hochanda, which means that you don't pay PMP for the duration of the month and, or while you are an active a freedom member. However, if you are a freedom member, sometimes you get an extra discount and that happens uh, here. Now, here you have got an extra discount of 16 by 55 pence, including the postage. So it makes it a wide not a deal. If, if you are a, fr a freedom member, basically it's three interest free payments of 37, uh, 77 uh, p pences per month. So you pay that today and you don't pay P and P at all. Then you pay next month, pay the same amount. And then of course in March, you pay the same thing. Right, also included in this bundle, we have got the papers. Nikki, could you tell us a little bit about the papers? Papers. Right, so the papers I always say is more than a paper kit because you've got ready-made panels. They are double-sided, 
You've got 12 designs, two of each design in each paper pad. As I say, this one is absolutely beautiful. This is going to work alongside many, many collections that you may already have. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. And as you see, the focal point on all of the images is the absolutely beautiful wild rose. It is. And the thing with the wild rose as well is that it's such a... Uh, all year round flower. Yes, uh, all year round. You could even make a winter rose with it. Absolutely, a Christmas rose. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the rose that I used to, uh, my, my, mm, we used to live in a place where there was a, a wild rose mm -hmm. nearby. And I used to, every time, every day, uh, for coming back from school, I would get one to my oh, mom. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so, so that was, so there is this story that it's not just for a certain mm. specific time end of the year. I love how you are getting also the plain, uh, perfect background blender kind of colors yeah, as well. They are acid and lignin free as well. So you can stamp on them, heat emboss on them, you can distress them, but they are absolutely beautiful. You are going to make, I would probably say, when I, what I've added up and I've looked on how many toppers there are in a paper pad. They do range slightly between collections, but I think this one, you could easily make about 70 cards just using your paper pad. Absolutely. Right, the paper pads on their own are very busy. If you wanted to add an extra one or maybe you went from the previous collection, uh, now 17.99 is the collection of the, pa the paper collection on its own. 315118 is the item number for the papers on it their own now but a part they are also you are getting one of them uh, part of the I Want It All collection. You also are getting the flower moss, both the large and the small. Yes, you are. So this is going to make your flower shaping so easy. And this, I will demo this um, as one of my first demos because I think it's one of the most amazing things that Heartfelt have brought out to us, amongst many other things as well. But the moulds are absolutely amazing. Honestly, it makes it so easy and quick to create those stunning flowers. And that's the large. And then we have got the small one here as well. This is such a quick and easy to way of shaping flowers, yes, but also you is. getting both it means that you can do both sizes. Can we have a look as well at the dice? Because I always and the dice and stamps. Because as a crafter, one thing that I really kind of like with my stamps and the dice is the fact that you have got the die right on the inside edge. Why yes. is so important, Nikki? That means that you can stamp your image and then you can fit your die absolutely perfectly on top of that stamped image because there is like a smidgen bigger on the die, which means you're not going to lose any of that image when you die cut it out. But it makes it easy and quick as well. You know, I mean, we all love crafting. We, we do. all love spending absolutely hours and hours in our craft room or at, at, at our dining table, maybe. But this makes it so easy. And of course, we have got another thing that I love about uh, Heartfelt Creations is that if we look at the dies and the stamps, uh, we see that they are bunched up together. Do they, they match are. perfectly? Absolutely perfectly, yes. So you are actually getting, so you've got four stamps there, but individually you are getting nine individual rose petals there. That's fabulous. And of course, we are getting the larger ones as well. Now, remember they individually, they are available if you wanted to go for those ones. So they are at the bottom of the screen, whether you're going for the stamps or the dies themselves. Now, these are the, the dies for the wild rose, the large ones that I'm showing you. But here we have got also the gift box, which is a very oh, versatile it's box. It's very, very versatile. So many different combinations that you can make this gift box. But what I love about it is you can use it for anything. You could use this for a wedding favour box. You could use it just to pop a gift in. Maybe you just want, you've made some cupcakes and you just feel that you want to put it in something. As absolutely stunning. Um, again, so easy because we've got the dye to create this. This is gorgeous. Right, now... With this, uh, you also have got, of course, this statement in there. Now, that's the one that's special with the £35 saving. If you're a Freedom member, you have got a further £16 uh, saving there. Now, if you wanted to go with the paper pad and the two, is it the, um, the die uh, and the stamp, the die and the stamps that you can see there, exactly, the, so the smaller version of the Wild Roses, you have got that, which is the Creative Essentials Wild Rose Bundle, £46.97 saving. 
saving five pounds two nine zero three eight eight. You also have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest-free payments. That saving is still is away. Of course, I should mention as well that uh, Harfal Creations is based in the USA, so there is a little bit of an extended delivery. That means, of course, the total counter time that is flying over. I believe the dispatch date is it? Um, oh, which is the day? Oh, we'll give you an exact date in a second. <laughs> right, move. All right. All right, so I think oh. it's normally around 10 days okay, that, from, that's the, from today. Right, so we will uh, check that and confirm it in a second. All uh, right, we have got then the I Want It All Cascading Petals collection. Uh, so it's actually the eight days. So wow, today is yeah. on the 18th of January. Yeah, so not long to wait, to be honest, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> tongue goes so fast now cascading petals i want it all collection now cascading petal is that the wisteria this is the wisteria collection please please don't say to me which one's your favorite today because they are all honestly this is why we brought these three this one is absolutely stunning if you love creating your flowers you are going to absolutely adore creating the wisteria flowers and when you actually look at them, when we, sh when we show you some of the samples, these are really wow cards. They are. Absolutely wow cards. But you have got your floral song in there as well. So you've got your birds, but we've also got the decorative cage in there as well, which you can make absolutely beautiful cards from or use them for the front of your card as well like that one there that we're seeing so look at those wisteria flowers oh yeah look at that isn't that How's stunning the flow, yeah so you are getting at all uh 14 a 40 pound saving and also a flexible option to spread the cost over three interest-free payments which means that also if you wanted to add anything extra like i would say the dovers are really cool or the flower shaping you could add those ones and spread the cost in interest-free payments right if you wanted to go for the paper pad with the die uh, and the paper um, stamp set that are the first ones to to have you can see it there the wisteria petals uh, that is 46 pounds and 97 pounds savings five pounds eight seven nine three four one is your item number now we also have got the individuals if you wanted to go for the individuals of course you can but uh, the biggest saving is when uh, you want it all collection in there so this is the wisteria uh, the wisteria cascading uh beautiful and of course you are getting the floral song as well that i said yes you are you've got your florals in there you've got the flowers in there to be able to create those three-dimensional wisteria flowers so if you're going to go for the essentials that one does have the flowers to create your wisteria in. Absolutely. Uh, can I show a couple of samples because uh, they are absolutely stunning. And you can go a little bit, um, kind of a, a dif bit different with the colors as well. Yeah, look absolutely. And these, to be honest, when you're looking at the flowers, when you first stamp them out, you can see them just down the bottom there where you've got your finger there. That is the flowers before you oh, create I your see. wisteria. These are great filler flowers as well. So if you're going for maybe the wild rose, these make great filler flowers as well if you don't make them into the wisteria flowers. Indeed. And of course, we have got the stamps and dies here, a more simple one. It must be love. This is sun come for that, isn't there? And this uh, is what I love about this collection as well, because it isn't all about your three-dimensional flowers. You've got other images in there as well. So if you are posting these out, you don't have to um, put them in a box, and it makes it obviously cheaper, but they are still absolutely beautiful in their own right. Absolutely, and look at that. Now, of course, oh, there is a... Uh, like oh, there is. Oh, well, no, there is. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's a um, card that we, um, me and Paul, made for his mum's um, birthday. Oh, that's so yes. lovely. I asked if we could borrow it for the I, show. I, I, was, I, I was thinking it was a, car, a card that Paul had oh. sent you, and I was like, oh, <laughs> private stuff. No, I forgot we'd put that in. Right, well, no, it's lovely, but that shows that you make cards to send to oh, your family, with, even though it's your job. You also do. In actual fact, this is the one um, that I've used for all my birthdays this year. Well, instant it, gorgeous. Now, if you want to have it, all you have got the details on the left-hand side of the screen. You're getting 11 dies, 9 stamps, and a 12 by 12, 24 of them, double-sided. Uh, and, of course, you have got two, uh, two of each design. Now, if you wanted to go for the tw uh, 12 by 12 papers on their own, the details are at the bottom of the screen, £17.00 
$1.99. Now, remember, we are on flex extravaganza, which means that every item above five pounds can be spread in two interest-free payments. So if you wanted to go for the paper pad on its own, and that's all you wanted to buy today, you could spread the cost of that. Now, I have got a question, and I just want to double check. Will those flowers match some of the dyes included in yes, your collection? Yes, all of the images that you're seeing on those pages are the images that will clear, um, sorry, coordinate with those dyes. Fabulous. And then, of course, we have got the scene setters of background papers, yes. which are which absolutely... Which is, you know, heartfelt, bring us some absolutely stunning um, papers, but they bring us the 6 by 6s in there. They bring us the 12 by 12 in there, the 12 by 12 images, sorry. You've got tags in the paper pad. You've got toppers in the paper, but everything that you need to create your cards. Indeed, we have got here the tags. Now, uh, the paper pad on its own details bottom of the screen. Remember, you can spread that in two interest-free payments. But however, you can split into three payments at the I Want It All collection. So that makes it even easier. And if you're a Freedom member, well, you do not pay P and P. If you are not a Freedom member, why not? But also uh, think about it. Uh, you will pay the P and P on the first installment but think about becoming a freedom member to not pay PMP right we have got a final uh, collection for you which is the Delia now I'm quite fond of this one this I, just, I think this is my favorite this actually is, I can't say which one's my favorite because I absolutely love them all but if you're new to flower shaping I would say this one is probably the most easiest flower that Heartfelt have created mm. and you can make absolutely done in dahlias with this. look at that I'm going to show you a couple because before we go into exactly what you are getting because they are absolutely extraordinary now uh, the dahlia shaping mold details at the bottom of the screen because it will probably they will sell out uh, very quickly uh, now let me show you because um, the flower uh, shaping mold which is included in the uh, I want it all collection I'm thinking this is the one that, because it's a six petal flower, mm -hmm. I have got a lot of flowers that are six shaped petals. Could I put other dyes in Absolutely. here? Absolutely, yes. This is, not, you, you know, Heartfelt obviously designed them to coordinate with the Dazzling Dahlia, but all of their flower shaping molds, if you've got other stamps and dyes, try them, give it a go, because they do work with other stamps and dyes. Now, uh, one important question, obviously, with this shaping mold, how, what sort of die cutting machine can we produce? Okay, here? so you will need a deep, di um, deep dish. No, you don't need a deep dish. You need a die cutting um, machine that's actually got a wide mouth so if you have what I call a deep dish um, flat base yeah. um, you will be able to use your um, molds within it so I mean it could be a5 but it, as long it as can, it, has it will fit that in a5 mouth. there is one a5 on the market that I did struggle with okay um, but if you go onto Heartfelt's website there is a full list of machines that you can use your molds with yeah. So think about, of course, uh, Nick is using the Jane Davenport, the Platinum Junior, uh, yes. the, uh, I believe, the Big Shot as well. The, yeah, or the Tim Holtz. Um, Vagabond. Va yeah, Vagabond, that will yeah. work with it. Um, if you've got a machine that's got like the twizzle nozzle so you can change the um, depth of the mouth, then yes, it will work with that as well. Absolutely. So great for answering that. Uh, the flowers, the stamp says, well, I'm going to show you, of course, as always, the individual bottom of the screen. Uh, the shaping mold, very, very popular, £21.99. But if you wanted to go for the dies, um, now this is the Dazzling Dahlia die set. You can see the details at the bottom of the screen. Two dies. Uh, then we have got the matching uh, stamps as well. And then we have got as, as well included in the I Want It All, but there, of course, individuals are available for the leaves as well. And then you have got the matching dies there. Uh, shall we have a look at the papers? Because the papers always are incredibly popular on their own. Remember that you are getting one paper pack in each collection. However, there is a way that you can add, because it's a consumable, you may want to add a different one. Now, if you want to go for the complete collection, you I want it all, uh, you can have a flexible option to spread the cost in three interest-free payments. I love this collection because it has got that kind of almost Japanese feel of the chrysanthemums. Yes, it has, hasn't here. it? Yeah. 
and it's bright and it's cheerful and I think this time of year we all need cheering up oh, we and do. we're looking at Mother's Day I mean all of the collections oh. that we're looking at today I'm thinking Mother's Day I'm thinking the Wild Rose absolutely stunning um, Valentine's cards Easter cards you you know you can't go wrong with floral collections in my opinion um, and the thing is also with a uh, heartfelt specifically but with florals in general is that they never age I mean you never go out of fashion um, whether or not it's the stamps and the dies or your paper pad you're always going to have them to go go to hands and sometimes we struggle making cards for specific occasions there's one you know sympathy cards but you could do it in like purple and white um, and, yes. and use any of the collections that we're using but this one you have got the um, absolutely stunning dazzling dahlias in there. Absolutely, you do. And I love the dazzling days, uh, day, dahlias. Oh, I can't pronounce it correctly. Uh, it has got like the um, butterflies or dragonflies. Yes, or I think they fireflies. are. I can't see it from here. I can't remember. I think it's a little dragonfly. Yeah. And you are also getting them. They will come. They come on your stamps. If you look at the stamp on the dazzling dahlias it's got that little dragonfly on there yeah, absolutely gorgeous <laughs> right uh, that is your paper pad remember you're getting 24 sheets uh, of course 12 designs two of each and now this oh you can get it on its own part of the i want it all collection or as the uh, essential collections which comes in with the dazzling dahlia stamps and, and dies now this is the creative essentials 46 pounds and 97 pence is a price with a five pound saving and of course you can flexify it if you wish to do so it's your choice we're trying to offer as many options for different budgets as possible uh, you, in this particular bundle you have got a two flexi-buy um, flexi options for you remember that if interest free and if you go for the uh, complete collection, it has got that extra uh, co uh, saving. Uh, no, 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 that's one. Sorry, in, only in the one day special for Freedom members. Uh, right, uh, Nikki, are you ready for the demo? I certainly am. And it's like, where do I start? Well, I'm going to start with the Wild Rose, which is the one day special. And in this one, I will just grab the stamps and dies. So you're getting the two sets of the stamps and dies. So you're getting the smaller ones, as you can see here, and then you are getting that larger one there. If you are into your flower shaping and using your flower foam, this is an absolutely beautiful collection to work with because it makes absolutely stunning flower foam flowers. So, and we do have actually the heartfelt art foam on the show, I do believe. We do, we do a half got it. So uh, if we do have chance at the end of, um, towards the end, yeah. we might have a go at playing with it. Perfect. Because as I say, the, these are really large flowers. So you've got your larger one, and I'll show you the sizes. Then you've got your slightly smaller one. And then we kind of radiate down until we get two. We've still got more. Look at this. Okay. So you, that's five sizes. That's my six. And then we've got the smaller one, which is my seventh. Beautiful flowers in their own right. However, first of all, you need to stamp and you would die cut your image, okay? So that's one of mine already stamped and die cut out. Really easy to colour. You can use your alcohol markers, you can use your pencils, you can um, use your paints if you want, but if you use your daubers with your inks, it just blends so well. So I'm using um, some oxide, Distress Oxide inks with this one for the middle. And then I'm going in with my pale pink, which is sponge sugar. And this I will just try and keep away from the yellow because it kind of just sometimes picks up a little bit of that yellow. And you're using the dovers, the, aren't you? Which this is so easy. Look at this, how easy it is to colour those flowers. And you can still get lots of um, sort of like shading in using it as well. So I'm going to go in with now a darker one. So this is the Jane Davenport Squid Ink. It's a hybrid ink, but I just want to go along my edges so this is where and I'm still using the same dauber and then I'm going in and just bringing it along the tip of my flower 
and it just blends really beautifully using your daubers. You can go in deeper, you can go in again. You can use any inks with your daubers as well. You can use your archivals if you want to. You can use your memento inks. I even use um, water with mine sometimes if I really want to blend a little bit more. But as you can see, it really, really blends well. So I need to um, cover the back as well. So when I'm doing the back, I kind of go into like a circular motion. Right. All I'm doing is just getting that ink color on the back. And I tend to, when I'm doing the back of my flowers, go in with that darker color that I've used. If you wanted, because I'm thinking shaping the flowers, if you wanted the outside, like maybe more a close up flower, uh, you wanted to kind of, uh, could you have the stamped inside outside, if you know what I mean? Like shaping inwards. Yes, yes, yes. There's so many different ways that you can actually use the stamped images. But first of all, I'm going to take my flower mold. So what we'll do is we'll just do the large one because they do work in exactly the same way. So your mold will come in two parts. You've got your bottom part there. And as you can see, really deeply etched in there, you've got all that dimension that you are going to be able to get yeah. once you put your flowers in. So with the larger one, it will take the large flower there and you can see how easily they fit in. You can, if you want, put them the other way. All depends on how you're going to create your flower. So for this demo, what we'll do is I will do one either way. So we've got okay. that one going upwards, this one going down, and then we'll do the other one up. So this is kind of like a, this, one of the most simple flowers that you can create using your mold. You've also got your leaf there as well, which I've already colored, and they fit in there perfectly. So you've got four spaces in this mold for your leaves. I'm then going to take some water. This is just plain water from the tap, but it's in a bottle that spritz it really finely. And if you can see, just spraying that very finely. And because I have used my oxide inks, it actually does give it a really nice effect as well when you've spritzed it, and I've spritzed it all over the glass mat. <laughs> <laughs> so then you pop the top on. So when you look at your mold, you, you've got two feet on the left side, one foot on the right, and that will fit perfectly on top. So there is no way that we can get it wrong. You can't get it wrong, no. Because it's otherwise just, it will not. It will be upside down. If, yeah, you can't get it wrong. So you've got your feet as a guide. Then I'm taking just my two clear plates for my da Jane Davenport machine. As I say, if you're not 100% sure, go on to Heartfelt website and they've got a full list of all the machines that you can use and also in which way and which order you would need your plates because some machines come with sort of like four or five different plates but it will show you those and give you a guide on how to use it. But all machines are different. You may have a Jane Davenport at home and you may need a shim to go through yours. So when I put mine through, if I feel, oh, that's gone through a little bit easy, you can put a paper shim through as well. Or a piece Be of acetate, maybe? Or a piece of acetate, yeah. Because it's all to do with the... Um, the sandwich. The, 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 uh, the, the sandwich, the, ta the tension that you're getting when you're putting that through the machine. Now, this is where the magic <gasps> begins. Look at that. I love that. That's magical. Every How single time. amazing is that? That's and that's just the start of my flower. Could you show how it's what, the one that is still flat? Because right, the difference so is There incredible. is my flat one. Yeah. Okay, before I put it through the machine. And it looks like a proper flower now. And then look at that. Just look at the depth. Yeah in that so flower. That would have taken me probably five, ten minutes to do by hand. Okay, and then you've got this one. So because I did this the other way up, so my image was face down, it's folded those petals mm -hmm. the other way. We've then got our leaves. Again, just look at the dimension on that already. Absolutely. No flower shaping tool used on that. that. As I say, I think 
that it's just absolutely amazing. It's something that um, Heartfelt have brought out and I would not be without. And of course, if you go for the I Want It All collection, you are getting both the Wild Rose of shaping mold in the large and in the small one, as well as the matching dice and the stamps, as well as the papers and the basket as well. And yeah. of course, you are getting all the statements as well. So you are getting a fabulous, fabulous bundle in total. However, maybe you have got some elements as well, so you want to go for individuals. That's all, by all means, you can go for those ones. However, the, bi the big uh, bundle is the one that has got the saving. Uh, very popular is uh, the gift box on its own. We do have got that one on its own if you want it, but it's part of the I Want It All complete collection of the uh, One Day Special. But this creates this. But there's so many different ways that you can create them. So that one has got the top open, but if we come to the one over here, if we can just come over to this one. Okay, if you hold and it, I'll maybe hold that would be. Up. There we go. So if we just take a look at that one, that's got a different lid on it, but it's using exactly the same die. Wow. Look at that. So using those gorgeous flowers to create um, the decoration on there. But how about doing just a basket full of flowers? Look at that. It's so many possibilities. And so also, many possibilities. Am I right obviously. to thinking that you have got a square? If you wanted to make it four sides, could you yes, use you that? Yes, you, you, you. There's other ways that you can use it. You can make it bigger if you wanted. Yes. So bigger or smaller is up to you. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price for just the die for the uh, gift box. Now, if you wanted part of the collection, then is where your biggest saving it is. But maybe nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's what you want to spend. There, you can have it by all means. You can spread the cost as well in interest-free payments. You could pay half of that today. Now, if you want to go for the one-day special, and if you are a Freedom member, you get a further discount. However, uh, you are actually getting a further £16.35 extra saving in there, which makes it a why not deal. Because basically, you pay £5.97 per month and becoming a Freedom member, and that entitles you to uh, not paying a standard PNP for the duration of your membership. That also means <coughs> that in items like the one day special, you get that extra discount. So on top of those £35 saving, you have got that extra £16.30 uh, extra saving. So it's a white not deal. It, become, it, it makes sense to become a Freedom member to before uh, checking out your baskets. Right. Now, if you want to go for the one-day special, do check out your baskets. 977-100 is your item number. Remember the individuals as well. Remember the other, uh, the, the other bundles as well. Right, Nikki. Uh, right, so we're going to finish off the, um, the wild rose now. So as I say, this is one of the more simpler ones that you can create. So I'm taking now my flower shaping tool. And I'm just going around that bottom one and just lifting that up, just going in the center in a circular motion. And then I'm just going to take my glue gun and just add a little bit of glue in there. Then I'm taking my next one. Before I put the glue on, actually, you need to shape this one as well oh, in exactly that. the same way. Isn't that clever? Yeah. And I'm doing no extra shaping to my petals. As I say, this is, I would say, the most simplest form of the Wild Rose. Throughout the five shows, because we've got five shows, I will be showing you more. Now, on this one, I do actually think I'm going to close those petals up just with my fingertips, just taking those in so that when I pop it, into that flower, popping the glue on the bottom. And I do like to use my heat gun for this one, yeah. my glue gun, because it it's an instant stick. But look at that. Oh, I love that. That is the most simplest one. And yes, it's that so you can strange. create. And you can keep going, you can add more petals in there, but you can also add your um, stamens that we've got um, in the bundle as well. Okay. So taking my, um, oh, I can't think what you call it, pokey tool, pokey and I'm just adding a hole. Now, what I've got, this is one without glitter, but this one I've added glitter to, look. So all I've done is covered my stamen with some glue, some yeah. PVA glue, and then dipped it into my glitter. And I think we'll put a glittered one in here. 
and then you just pop your stamen in there oh. and there you have a beautiful wild rose. How uh, easy is that? I mean, just look at the dimension. How many, how many uh, do we get the stamen? In right, it? so, hang on a minute. 126 oh. about yeah. it. 126, that was well counted. Oh Very yeah, I, I just I just look at them and I count them all. Uh, I, I wish, <laughs> I, I can only count until 10. And sometimes not even there. Anyway, especially when it's the countdown uh, to the credits. Anyway, moving down to the one day special. Fabulous, I want it all, the Wild Rose Collection. What you are getting, well, you are getting a dice. You are getting three sets of dice, three sets of stamps. Uh, you are, get, sorry, two sets of stamps. You are getting a paper pad, 24 sheets with uh, 12 designs, two of each. You are also getting uh, amazing assignments. And of course, those two flower molding kits which are incredible. You have got three uh, option, uh, an option to go for three interest-free payments. You have got also that uh, extra discount if you are a Freedom member. Now, if you wanted to go for individuals, now look at that, what you can have. So a small, uh, smile, a small wild rose. <laughs> You have got a small wild rose uh, uh, stamp, which of course coordinates that. You can see them there. Uh, a small wild rose. And then we have got it here. So we have that. So this one, you have got the small wild rose uh, stamps, and you can see them. Then the item number is 571748. Now, if you wanted to go for the dye that matches perfectly, the small wild rose is a dye. Now that is the dies there. You can see the detail for the die. Then we have got, of course, the uh, larger uh, wild rose uh, uh, stamp. Uh, you can see them here, and then you can see the stamps. And that it features the two larger ones with the, the leaf as well. The details are 13 pounds and 99 pence. 045778 is your item number. Then we have got the matching die uh, available individually, but you, of course you can go for pairs if you wanted to. Uh, obviously you have to do the both item number separately. 846720 uh, 20 is your pine. Then we have got the matching uh, flower molds. Uh, so this one is for the large one. Uh, and of course it features the three uh, large flowers in here with the leaves. Uh, now that you can go in individually. You can see that there. 306456 is your item number for the large one. We also have got the small one. Uh, and you can see it here that this is the small uh, well, rose a full shaping mold 21 pounds and 99 pence now and of course the, the gift box on its own so we can see it here that of course is a separate item number if you want it just on its own 2084929 is your item number now all of them plus the papers plus the statements uh, the statements will come to you in a bag like this so you can see them all together so you can see 126 of them you are getting them in different colors uh, now all of that it's part of the I Want It All uh, collection, Well Rose. So on top of those prices, you have got then a £35 saving. And if you're a Freedom member, a further £16 and £30 on top of there. Now, then we have got another collection, which is the Wisteria uh, collection, which is the Cascadian Petals in there. Now, they are absolutely stunning, aren't they? And of course, it features those beautiful purples and lavenders of traditional of the colors. Now, the paper pad on its own, we have got that as well. We can, you can go for the complete collection where is the saving, but uh, you, the details for the complete collection will appear at the bottom of the screen. However, for the individuals on the left-hand side of the screen, now the paper but the papers are 12 by 12 you are getting 12 designs two of each double-sided asset and lignin free and you can see them here gorgeous 17 pounds and 99 pence for the individuals and uh, of course they have got like gorgeous beautiful papers I'm just gonna kind of flick through them as well like they're gorgeous right and then we have got the uh, cascade and petals as a complete collection if you wanted to go for uh, that details at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to go for the wisteria petals or what you can see the dice and the uh, stamps separately individually as well available uh, now you can see the 
Syria, we Syria petals, like I said, three dots in there. Uh, the cascading with Syria. Remember that the saving is with the in the bundle there. Uh, now you can see the details for the bundle at the bottom of the screen, and then of course the individuals on left hand side of the screen. Then we have got then the cascading petals, uh, which is uh, cascading actually with Syria. Sorry, it's quite confusing. The full collection is cascading petals, and then, the, then there is the cascading wisteria, and then there's wisteria petals. Uh, and you can see them, the dies, and then we have got the matching stamps, which are at the bottom of it, and you can see them there. The stamps give you that detail, and then, of course, we have got the bird cage and the floral song. The bird cage or the curative cage on its own very popular if you want to go for that one it's an incredible guy that kind of allows you to create beautiful creations like a box in here you can see there perfectly and then of course that also allows you to create a uh, base cards with the gorgeous bird songs and the wisteria Right, and that is part also of the Cascading Petals Complete Collection. Now, if you wanted to go for the floral song, Cling uh, Sam says, you have them there, 13 pounds and 99 pence. Right, then, moving on, we have got Delias now. And, uh, you know, Nikki is going to demonstrate the Delias next. So, paper pad we have got here, 12 by 12, 24 uh, sheets, uh, 12 designs, two of each, uh, and of course you look at that gorgeous, different ways that you can use it, and by having two, you can choose whichever side you want it. Right, 17 pounds and 99 pence for the paper pad, 879082 is your item number. Now, if you wanted to go for the uh, flowers, uh, you know, as well with the big, large, Delia flowers. There is an essentials collection which allows you to have the paper pad as well as the dies and the stamps. But if you wanted to go for the individual dazzling Delia die set, you have got them here on the screen. That is the die set. So you have got there 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price for the dies. They are, then we are moving to the stamp sets, which are the bottom of it. Uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price for the Dazzling Dahlia uh, stamps. Then we have got the Dahlia and the Leaves, which is another stamp set and die set. So you can see here, we have got the die set first, um, four dies in total, 19 pounds and 99 pence. And I believe this is the first time that appears on its own. Uh, I believe that is correct. Dahlia and Leaves, the stamp set, that match perfectly, 13 pounds and 99 pence. Remember, uh, remember they're red rubber clean foam mounted uh, and they are deeply etched. Now, you can get as well the Delia 3D shaping mold on its own that will match perfectly. Very, very popular, so please do check out your baskets for that one. And it's an incredible, beautiful set that will allow you to create flowers as well. And then I'm just gonna have a look at them. Look at the gorgeous uh, dailies. Right, 21 pounds and 99 pence is your price, six to five, four, nine, eight. Let's head back to Nikki though, because uh, you have got another demo, that, haven't I you? I have, so we're going to use the Dazzling Dahlia stamps and dies and the mold that coordinates with them. So with this mold, the actual large petal and the smaller petal and the leaves are all in one mold. Again, you can see how deeply etched that is and how deep that is. And this is going to give you a beautiful um, dahlia. So I've already gone ahead and used my mold for various. So, so I've used, I'm using three of the larger petals. So I'm going to pop this one in with the image faced upwards. And the same with this one, so image faced up. Again, there's so many different ways that you can actually use your mold. So you can use them with the image faced up or the image face down, and either way will give you a different effect. Spritzing again with my water, and then again, works in exactly the same way. You've got your feet on there that are going to fit perfectly over there. Now, it's also worth mentioning, because I don't think I mentioned it on the last demo, you can put more than one petal in each. So if you want to put two or maybe even three petals 
in one mold you can you just layer them up what I tend to do is give it a light spritz on each layer so if I was going to put two leaves I'd spritz first that one and then I would go ahead and take my other leaf and pop that in as well and give that another spritz that just means that they're all getting that water now using your water means that it helps the fibers kind of stretch it helps when you put it through your flower shaping mold so again I'm holding that quite tight I'm taking my two plates now with this one what I found was using two paper shims in there so I've got two paper pieces of paper that I'm acting as a shim putting that on the top and then popping it through my die cutting machine as I say when you get yours home just give it a go if you feel that you could maybe get away with a shim just start off with one shim at a time until you feel that it's um, going through still nicely if you're having to struggle and you're really having to push it it means you've got too much in there okay because it also depends on how many layers of flowers you've got in there but just like that other mold that we looked at with I the, mean, the roses just look at the detail look at that leaf there look so there we have a leaf that's just been through the mold and there we have yeah. one that wow. hasn't isn't that amazing mm -hmm. and then you've got your flower so I don't have one that hasn't gone through because I put all mine through but if you just take a look at that look you can see the detail in there wow. so with this one um, again so many um, different ways that you can um, put your dahlias together and if we have chance towards the end we can go through some maybe more of the sap finished samples because that really does show them off yeah. so on this one I'm going to go in with two that I've created with my image faced downwards so this means that the petals are faced downwards with this one I'm not doing anything with the petals. I'm using them just as they were when they came out of my flower shaping mold. So again, taking my flower shaping tool and I'm just going in and I'm just taking my tip and just doing it. You can just see those petals lifting up. And if you want to, you can just lift each petal up a little bit more. So that's my first layer. Again, taking my glue gun. And then I'm going to pop that. And if you take a look, what I'm doing is I'm just alternating. So each of my petal is alternated at the top. Just make sure you get it centered. And then I'm going in with my next one, which is my next larger one, but this one I've used the other way up so this was the image facing upwards and just going in with my flower shaping tip with this one I am going to just take my thumb and I'm just moving the tips just slightly inwards a little bit more yeah okay mm -hmm. so and again th with these you could just do simple dahlias just with two or three layers or you could really go to town and layer them up and I, I have to say that, I yeah. do actually really like layering mine up so mm -hmm. then I've got a smaller one mm -hmm. that yep. I've already um, shaped with my flower shaping tool and that one is going to go in there and already you can see I'm building up my dahlia I just uh, lift that up look at that look Look at the I was going to say, and it's funny because my production card <laughs> the same thing. It looks like a water a lily. A water lily. If you left it like that, there you have some absolutely stunning water, yeah. uh, water also, lilies. You have got like a different ways of using it as the buds close a little bit more like that. And you can see that there is a lot of different uh, ways of Yeah, I mean, it. that, to be honest, I think has got a bit of a rose look about it. Yeah. This one, I would say... It, because there's so many different varieties of flowers out there anyway and to be honest it's whatever you want to create with it I mean that is exactly the same stamp and die wow. 
I mean, but so look lovely. at that. It's just so many varieties. And of course, dahlias are one of these flowers that you can make them in different colors. And it's kind of real because the, flower, the dahlias, am I right thinking that they come in lots of different col colors? Oh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of different varieties of, course, of dahlias. You are the right person to ask because <laughs> you are a flor trained flor florist, aren't you? I am. The dahlias are, um, I would say, like an old English cotton, cot cotton? Cottage, cottage, sorry garden flower you will see these in most flowers see how oh, i'm layering yeah. that up even more now for the center there's lots of things you can do with this one you can put a stamen in there if you like yeah okay you could just leave it like that you could put glitter in there you could put prills in there but you could also create a bud so with my bud all i'm doing is going in with my flower shaping tool and this is one that the image has gone in facing downwards. And then I'm just going to take my glue gum and I'm just adding a bit of glue on the side of each petal and I'm just going to bring that up. So mm -hmm. this is kind of like the, cent up the bud. center of my flower or it could just be an individual bud. And depending on how tight you do it and how close you put the petals, is how your bud will turn out and then bring it together again this one I'm gonna have slightly open so I don't want to put it too tight yeah I've got okay. you can see there. and then you would just glue those others in 